listen to me the demonstrator and you the customers and really take our ideas on board. On the Echanda shows we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on Echanda. Good morning. I hope you are well this morning. That's the first time I've seen that Christmas promo. It's really co cool, isn't it? Um, now, without further ado, let me uh, introduce you, of course, to Pat and Mark. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Bright and early, isn't it? It is bright and early. It's bright early. And early. Yeah, I don't know about bright. It's, it's yeah. crisp. <laughs> I love this. Now, I have literally been cooing. I've been ooing and ahhing over the beautiful fabrics that Pat and Mark have brought for us today. So, we've got a nice bundle for you to choose from here. We're going to start with... Uh, so, now, the Festive Delight month number five. Correct. Yes, um, which is beautiful. And is this, am I right in saying this is the last month then? This is the last month of the set, yes. Yes, gorgeous stuff. So what do we get with this, uh, our number five? We get the, uh, <laughs> fab you get some plain pieces of fabric. Well, yeah. they're, they're not plain, they're mottled, uh, which we're going to do some uh, twin needlework on. Right. Um, and the borders as well, which finish it off entirely. So if you're all up to date, yep. you've just got four corners missing that need to be filled in. And um, I'm going to show you, I'm going to demo the twin needle in the next hour. Yeah. Uh, but I know you're all keen to get going on this one. So you get the four corners and got all it. the border fabric, which is beautiful. Um, and you also get the twin needle. And here's the twin needle. Here it yeah, is. Yeah, in case you haven't got one. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent stuff. So it's beautiful fabric, as you can see. There you go. You can see what it makes. Uh, have a little look. Isn't it beautiful? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. It's £34.99. Uh, item number is 139895. Uh, then continuing along, then we've got the full kit now. The full kit. Everything you need, obviously, apart from backing and wadding. Yes. With all the fabric to make the top of the quilt. Excellent, because we have got backing coming up in a short while, but let me tell you, this is super, super limited already, so it's going to be fast as fingers first. Um, and uh, again, we can see it behind you there, Pat and Mark, isn't this beautiful? Look at this. <laughs> it's ducking down. <laughs> Love that. But it is an absolutely stunning, stunning set of fabrics and stunning set of blocks. Um, do you know what's so nice, though, is I love how, we've always talked to this, about this, haven't we, that you put everything together for us in packs and you recommend is this correct you do one like pack at a time one pack at a time it's all pre-cut so if you turn it over all the fabric is already cut for you as all of our kits yeah so you can do one block one evening yeah leave it another week or two then go back and do another block without it all being mixed up and completely a mess it's one but i mean do you know what it always impresses me because you put so much effort into it and love <laughs> into your business and the fact that you like i said you have pre-cut everything so that we as crafters we go yes we can just get in with the juicy bits <laughs> yeah. so we the really appreciate that and i know you do at home um where did i just put the lid where did i just put the lid i don't know do never mind um <laughs> there it is <laughs> hilarious I can't see for looking. Anyway, so everything is all pre-cut in there for you. Obviously, you've got your instructions as well. Uh, and also, what's nice is we have spread the cost for you three ways rather than two. But as I said, it is super, super limited. Uh, three payments of £58.33. Uh, 385540 is your item number. Then we've got, okay, backing fabric first. This is Choices, and I love that it's got like a bit of gold foiling in it. Got a bit of little metallic, yeah. Yeah, I love that. Um, now, we don't have many of these either, so if you want the backing fabric, and I would go for it because it matches. Yes, you know. it matches, and it, it just blends in beautifully. Yeah. You get two drops of fabric mm -hmm. that you'll have to join, which is fine. Tells you how to do all that okay. in, in your kits. Um, but they, it comes in two pieces, and it's this, it's plenty big enough to. It feels it. And a bit more. You, know, you can. You be, I'm sure there are people making things off the bit they cut off the edge. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah. That is good. So you've got two different options for you. 
Uh, so we've got the green, red and gold dots, which I'm holding up. And then we've got the red and green ball balls. So I, again, I would thoroughly recommend go for this. So it all lovely matches. Uh, 60 pounds and 49 pence, 708690. And of course it is on Flexi Buy as well. Then we've actually got the pattern by itself. So we've, you've sort of laid everything out. So it's like we've got the whole kit and caboodle here. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> all, all the things to do with Festive Delight are, are yeah. there in that, that section. Wonderful. And as ever, full step-by-step -step instructions, really comprehensive to follow. Um, so there you go. So that is for the pattern on its own, £25.99. 666778 is your item number. Then moving along, you've done another really nice um, pre-cut kit. So this is the Incredible Stars. <laughs> Oh, which is over there, which is lovely. We'll get a shot of it in a second. And again, you can see absolutely beautiful pre-cut. I, I adore your choice of fabrics. <laughs> I adore them. What's happened, I'm um, just out of curiosity, like rep-wise in this situation? I think we've seen one rep, haven't we? We've seen one rep this year. Yeah, when we had that little bit of a break of, yeah. you know, yeah. we were still socially distancing. Yeah, of and, course, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, we've only seen one, and yeah. then they just keep sending... Um, screenshots through and ah. that sort of thing yeah so it's, it's been a little quite bit the same as touchy feeling no, as it can have a look why yeah. i was yeah. curious yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah it's interesting isn't it um there you go we can see that beautiful quilt there uh brand new today again you can spread the cost two payments of 28 pounds and 95 pence eight four eight eight six six is your item number for that lovely fabulous kit uh another brand new today um here we go. Let me hold this beautiful quilt up. Oh, the fabric feels so soft. <laughs> yeah, it's lovely. Oh, it's lovely. Right, here we go. I'm just going to hide away so you can have a little look at this quilt. That range is Moda, by the way. French, Moda. French, French General, General Moda, Moda, yeah. yeah. Uh, which, when I'm learning that Moda is like a magic word in terms of quality. <laughs> there's a few magic words. There's a few magic words, yeah. <laughs> magic words, yeah. But Moda's one of them, yeah. Amazing. So take a little look at this design, whether you would like to go for this uh, collection again uh, pattern mark pre-cut it all it's all done for you oh I might wear this <laughs> so nice it's so lovely and snuggly Especially this morning yeah <laughs> so um, w um, so we get all of our pre-cut fabric so we'll just need to add the wadding and the back yeah. in the morning and, yeah, and the, we've got one finishing kit on and it fits both of the quilts right the uh, stars and the uh, log cabin yeah, the finishing it? kits on the website yeah, yeah. yeah. Know, yeah. And actually, our Russ has put, popped that at the bottom yeah. of the screen yeah. there, so you can finish it off. Uh, but for this kit, two payments of £28. Item number is 933663. Then we've got a really cute little wall hanging. <laughs> Have a look at this one. So what do we get in this kit? Everything to make the front there as normal. Lovely. Um, Visions of Christmas, we've called that. Mm -hmm. Visions which, of which Christmas. Which is just perfect. It is. Look at this. Isn't it so sweet? Again, the fabrics are absolutely divine with these. Beautiful, beautiful. Everything is in there, Christmas. including the backing and the wadding as well. And the wadding. Yeah. yeah, I was just thinking that. I was having a little look. Yeah. So you don't need to add anything else yeah. now for this kit. So your lovely Visions of Christmas hanging kit. Uh, £14 a night. Very reasonably priced. It, it's a nice yeah. little Christmas project to get yeah. done in, in a few days easily. Very nice. Uh, so yes, fourteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. This one already very busy. You've got a seven pound fifty saving. Five eight six six zero seven is the item number. Then what have we got next? Visions of Christmas. Oh no 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 no. Merry Christmas. Cushion. The cushion. Yes, here's the vision. Sorry, I was getting confused then. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it just says Merry Christmas on the front, but um, very nice. Again, so reasonably priced here. Is this right? No, it's just, that's uh, the last one. Yes, I thought so. This is the Merry Christmas it's cushion. Merry that's Christmas why I was getting cushion. confused. Yeah. You, were, you were right, you, you were right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yeah, It wasn't you. <laughs> you weren't losing it, Alex. Good, no. uh, good. There, <laughs> there you go. go. Still, there still go. a very good price, though. <laughs> there you go. For the um, 18 by 18 inch uh, lovely cushion that you can make. Again, you just need to l add the cushion pad, and that's it, isn't it? Yeah, mm -hmm. the, and the pad is on the website, I believe, as well. Indeed it is. There you go. Have another look at this beautiful cushion. £22.49. and pence. Once more, everything is um, pre-cut. If you do want the cushion pad, Ross has just popped it at the bottom of the screen. Uh, but for this kit, it's uh, £22.49, pence, 637894 
Then moving along. It was another little cushion. Another little cute little cushion, this one. 12 inch cushion, this one just sits nicely in a, in a chair. Doesn't uh, need moving or being a, afraid of sitting on it sort of thing as well. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's a really lovely cushion kit. Again, you can see there's some lovely gold um, flecks that are going in there. It's be absolutely beautiful. So what do we get in this kit? Again, everything's uh, pre-cut. Yeah. Plus you get the, a metre of each of the ribbon right. that is actually uh, around the edge. Uh, goes in like a border on the cushion as well. Mm, it's very, very pretty. And you've got the wadding. The wadding and back in as yeah, well. Yeah, wonderful. Fourteen ninety nine. Again, another fabulous um, price point there. Seven nine seven one two six is your item number. And then we've got another pattern coming up for you. See the December pattern there as part of the collection. There you go. Details just coming onto the screen. Twenty five pounds and ninety nine pence. There you go. So there's the booklet that you can see. Look at all those. How many patterns have we got? Have we got in here then? Um, there's three quilts. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think it's on the first page. There's three quilts, a few cushions. It's, it's a collection of some of the um, really nice. items that we've done this month and from last month. Yeah. Wonderful. So they're put together but, for, for people who want to use their own. Ev everything from this month is in there, and some projects from last month as well. Yeah. Right. Lots. Oh. There we lots, go. Lots, lots. So there you go. There's a throw. There's a table runner cushion. Um, and again, everything is lovely and comprehensive. Look at that. Beautiful. So, there you go. There you go. There's the festive table runner. Wonderful. Look at that. So loads of patterns. So you can see there on the front what you'll be able to make. £25.99 uh, is the price. So where am I going? Oh, the threads. Okay, yes. So you've popped some threads together <laughs> for us. Um, beautifully laid out, Kirsty, may I just say. Um, so again, details are popping onto the screen. Oh, let me just move this and you can see it properly. There you go. There you go. So have a little look at all. So we've got loads of different shades that you've popped together. The, these are um, um, DMC. Which uh, is, again, fabulous good, brand. Good quality brand. Um, they are single strands, so you don't have to actually try and separate them. You can use them as they are. We're always getting a twist with that when I'm <laughs> they're separating. They're not there somewhere always, isn't they? Waiting to happen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they are perfect, lovely and smooth for quilting. They go through fabric very nicely. Pat always uses these yes. um, for, the, for the quilting process. And they're in four different uh, sections. So there's bright, yep. pastel, country and basics. So like the basics is all of the colours you'd use as a, yeah. as a general rule. And then you've got other different colourways in the boxes. They come in the plastic boxes as well. Oh, amazing. So you've got somewhere to keep them all nice and tidy so you don't get tangled up with other things that might be in the way. Yeah, so, yeah. brilliant stuff. Again, you think of everything for us. You really <laughs> do. Uh, so we're just having a little scan down, but obviously go to the um, go to the website and you can see the colourways. There you go. That's the brights that Jimmy's just panned down. And then the last one here we're looking at, of course, are the pastels. Twenty-seven pounds and forty-nine pence. You've got a whole array there for you to choose from. One three seven eight eight five is the item number. Here's the website. Don't forget, you can shop by brand. So, of course, you can go to Totally Patched. Have a little look. Ah, right, we've had that sell out. Yeah. Um, the full kit has now sold out. Beautiful. And again, look at that review. Wonderful. So do make sure you're checking out your baskets. There's lots of other new todays um, that we haven't even mentioned. Oh, yes, the mug. Yes. Ah, the mug. Yes. <laughs> we need to talk about the, the brand new mug. Do you know, you made Charlotte, our, our producer, so happy that one time. Yeah. You gifted her a mug. She's so happy. Um, £15.89 pence there. And you've got the crafting, my happy place. What made you decide to do this one? Well, Cus customers. Customer, customers, uh, customers asked yeah. us, yeah. Um, that said, so can't we have one with crafting on? They were totally um, patchwork people. They'd done a bit of all crafts. Yeah, so yeah. they asked if they could do a crafting mug. So. And we... This we have to th we have to thank Morland Pottery yes. for this because turned they very, turned it round very quickly, very quickly oh, for yeah. us. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that is so cool. Details are on screen here. There you go. There is the mug. Um, also, I know. Did you want to talk about your charm packs? Yes, now? The charm packs. Yeah. Um, we've got five charm packs. Uh, they are. Oh, there we go. Oh, you got some more. Okay, okay some great. More. There, this one is the uh, down on the veggie patch by Annie Downs. Yeah. And as you can see, it's got some little uh, vegetables, some little flowers, mm -hmm. some little animals dancing around, carrots, uh, all very <laughs> sort of earthy sort of colours and 
Very nice. Yep, lovely. And there is 40 in there. Got We've you. also got this one, which is uh, La, Rouge, La Rose Rouge. <laughs> it's um, a motor, French General motor. Yep. Again, very rich colours, but with some nice creams in there as well. Some nice florals. Mm. There we go. There's that one. Lovely. There's also, we've got Basic Harmony, which is the range we used for the Big Stars quilt um, last year, mm -hmm. which again, if someone wants to make something smaller, there is all the different colours in there. Oh, I like those. Mm. Nice soft colours, gentle yeah. yes. colours. Yeah. yeah. And they go really well uh, with the pastels from the, the skeins of threads as well. Uh -huh. They all match together very, very nicely. You can Beautiful. See. Uh, we've then got, our, we've called this Totally Charming, it's blues and greys. Mm -hmm. oh, very classy those. Very sort of uh, modern sort of look and style as well. Yeah, a little bit more masculine as well. Yes. Yeah. And to go with all of those, we've put our uh, background and blenders arranged together. I don't know if the camera can see this. They're all like cream on cream, white on white. Yeah. Um, these go really well with any of the actual uh, charm packs we've got there. Um, and perhaps made four little cushions mm -hmm. in all of the charm packs and the background and blender charm pack as well right. to show them all to, how they all go together. That is the... Ah. So this is just using two squares uh -huh. from different charm packs, a background and a print. Um, I've made four cushions with my other one, Mark. I love them. love them. Love them, love them. That's so sweet. These might be going in our, <laughs> in our home somewhere. Yeah, love them. Um, they're just fast and easy to do yep. and anybody who buys two charm packs we go thinking background in a print or whatever we're going to i'm going to do a little sheet with the instructions of how to achieve these blocks this is just a pinwheel and these are quarter square triangles right. and you you don't have to cut them you just use them exactly as they are so you could so versatile like a charm pack and a background and a one design you'd mm -hmm. have a beautiful quilt because yeah. there's so many different fabrics within it isn't yeah. it nice yeah Beautiful. Lovely stuff then. So details are on screen. Without, without further ado then, I'm going to hand over to you, Pat. What would you like okay. to demo? I'd like to demo everything okay. right now. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a lot to get through. Right. <laughs> so I'm going to talk, uh, first of all, about the incredible stars. Um, the uh, kit as normal comes beautifully boxed. Yep. Uh, full instructions. And then uh, Mark's put each fabric, the six fabrics, far, enough in each packet to make five blocks in each fabric. Right. So your one packet is all the one fabric. So I don't want stick with that colour, get those done. Right. Um, so six fives are 30. My quilt's only got 25 blocks in. Okay. Did you miss them out? No. Okay. I didn't, I wanted mine to be square. Right. So I've got my remaining blocks here yeah so you can have your on the box lid there's two sizes isn't there what's there is. the sizes 45 Four, square or 45 by 54. 54 yeah so with the whole box if you do them all you, you'll have a six by five quilt um, but I've got a five by five and then five squares left that I'm going to make probably into a runner or there you could split them up as cushions as gifts yep. or whatever so uh, we just thought we'd give you the choice of the putting them all in the quilt or whether to make some different things as well with nice. them yeah it was because I I couldn't decide could yeah. I? I was <laughs> like and and I thought I, I like a square quilt if you yeah. just put it on the top of something mm -hmm. like a, the a square throw looks lovely on a bed um, on point like turned at an angle yeah. if you've got like a plain bed linen right yeah. and then you can make see there's always a method you can make more quilts <laughs> yeah. learn more and it not be a big thing that's going to take over the whole room and your life sort of thing. Got you. And be intimidating. <laughs> and and yeah. then you can like switch them about more and they look beautiful on point, don't they, on yeah. the top yeah. of the nice. yeah, top of the bed. Okie dokie. So we're going to start with, I'm going to show you this block. Um, I'll do it exactly as the pictures show to start with. Uh, you take your uh, pieces of, I'm, I'm right here. And I've drawn a diagonal line, corner to corner, on here. And I'm going to place this on the corner, right sides together, exactly, this is where I am. Uh, and I'm going to stitch on the diagonal line, OK? So. First sewing of the day. 
did nice. a lot of sewing yesterday, didn't I? Mm. Did you? <laughs> yeah. So when we get to that stage, we need to cut off this excess fabric, which it shows you there. Uh, you can do this with a pair of scissors. Do that again, do that again. Shows you here. Yeah. Lovely, yeah. Yeah. See, I just show Mark, Mark, so Mark just tells me when I'm too fast. <laughs> <laughs> so you can cut that off with scissors if you want to. Yeah. Um, like that. And then you press this back, and what happens is you, you, you're filling the space with a different fabric. Mm -hmm. Rather than cutting something this shape, you see, you know, we don't need to keep, make our life difficult. Right. So we're starting with just three squares for each section. So that's that one there, which looks like this now. Now we're going to put the other side on, and you do exactly the same, like so, making sure your line's coming from the bottom up into the corner. If you put it this way, you won't, it'll all be wrong, look, because you've got nowhere to go. Right. So you need to put it this way, like that. Just follow the pictures, can't go wrong. Okay. And stitch on the line again. Now, the other bonus thing with this kit, which I couldn't resist doing, do you know what I say? I don't know what you're going to say. I, did I hate to think what you're going to say. I will tell you, <laughs> I, did, I did tell Mark this at the time, and he looked at me, and as with that, you know, are you crazy sort of look. So I don't think he took it in quite. Often that happens. Yeah. So, but everybody will know what I mean in a second. So, there we've got our one block done, one section of the block done. So we're here. Yep. Yeah. And then it's going to be this section in here. We only need four of these to make up one block. Got you. But these little gorgeousness here, mm -hmm. when you've done all of your blocks, you've got all these gorgeousness pieces. And if you trim them down, stitch them together, so like just leave that as it is and stitch down the seam there. Right. Yeah. Press it and then you can... If it, they should all be the same size, but you know, if yours aren't, you can trim them down and then you get this little half square triangle ready made right. to make anything you like. Like, again, you could put it to a cushion or something. Yeah, cushion, mm. runner. I mean, there's loads of them. I'm, so you can understand, can't you? L yeah. L Rather than the wastage. Yeah, that Mark looked at me crazy. See. But then that's amazing value for money. Yeah. The amount of fabric you're getting, yeah. what you can do with so it. So you're getting all of the quilt, bigger or smaller, yep. and then if I'd have had time, I would have made something with them, but I just didn't have time. But, like, there's loads of them, so I couldn't bear to throw them away. Absolutely. So, yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff, I think. <laughs> so let's place this out now, exactly as it says at the bottom of the screen, uh, page. I don't know whether you're on the screen, are we? <laughs> yes. Okay, great. So you put your print one in the centre, like so. You can't mix them up because all your others are still in your packet. You haven't opened them all yet. Mm -hmm. I've mixed up the one I've just made and another one in there, like so. Got you. Beautiful. Um, and then you do join your rows. So we're going to join this row, this row, this row. So right sides together and stitch a quarter inch seam up that edge. And you do that on all three rows. It's just so nice seeing it come together. Yeah. Yeah. Sense of achievement, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And just beautiful fabrics. And they, they don't take long to put together at all, as you can see. Yeah. Um, now, with the incredible stars, we are over a quarter of the stock gone. Brand new today. Details are on screen again. Two payments of £28.95. 848-866 is the item number. It's called Incredible Stars, isn't it, Mark? Because... Oh, yeah, what's the story? <laughs> well, it's, it's really difficult coming up with names for things all the time. Mm -hmm. um, and at the moment, a certain um, Gary Barlow... Oh, we love him. <laughs> Have you heard his song? Um, Incredible. We, the, yes, yes, it's yes, a, the one for the advert. It's a yeah, yeah. beautiful song. Isn't it? So it's, that's why this ah. is called this, because every time it comes on the radio, I turn it up full blast. You, and were, you were making this when it kept on coming on. Yeah. Thought, oh, this is a sign <laughs> there is somewhere, it. isn't there? Yeah. So that's why it's called yeah. this. For it those people who don't like song, Gary Barlow, have the other one. <laughs> <laughs> who doesn't like Gary Well, some people might not. <laughs> might, might not. Might not be their cup of tea. They need to listen to the song. It's yeah. lovely. <laughs> it's really lovely. 
Yeah. And it was your idea, wasn't it, Mark? Yeah, it was a great idea. No, that, yeah, great idea. And I'm sure you won't mind. No? <laughs> um, no. Not a plug either. <laughs> a bit of promotion. Yeah, I'm sure, sure you won't mind. <laughs> so, as you can see, I've now joined all three rows. Yeah. Nice. And, it comes together quite quick then. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I t I've just realised I turned my speed up on my sewing machine yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Because I was... Frantically, <laughs> yeah. Finishing stuff, yes. Yeah. Um, and then it's, I just put my foot down and went, woo, without me. So, uh, just a little bit on pressing again. You know, I always talk about pressing. Yeah. Oh, I've got it the wrong way around. Um, <laughs> so, we want to press away from the bulk, okay? So, the bulk is here, <clears throat> and you can see it wants to go this way. So, if you look at the back, yeah. it's, it's going to want to go out. So, you press out towards the whole squares. So, if it's got piecing on, don't press that way, because if you do you'll just be doubling up all, you, all of your bulk. So right. here, it'll go that way. This way, you're going into five layers without even trying. So press it away. That way. So this one, pressing away from me. Are you with me yet? Yeah. yeah. Away yeah. from me, that way. Turn it round and press away that way. Nice. Lovely. Yeah. Then press this one in because this is the whole square. So this one goes in, but I'm still pressing away from me, turning round, like so. And then this one you press out. Yep. Lovely. Like so. Ah, there you there. go. And then you just join them together and you've split the uh, bulk. Um, just in case you notice, this piece of fabric here is the wrong way round. I did think that. I wasn't sure. I thought I'm not going to say <laughs> You're not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything, just in no. case it isn't. Um, I'm, is the camera on it? Yeah. yeah. Um, if you look at it, it's really quite close. And under the lights, I, I thought they were all the right way. So, look, you can see if I turn it over. Yeah. So, I've put it on the wrong way round. So, so just I just un undo that and turn it round. But, you know, just be careful as you're doing them. You won't be rushing like me. Uh. So they go together and you seam will go snugly against each other because you've spread the bulk of the seam. Right. Like so. So one's going to the left and one's going to the right. And then that way you've, you're only stitching through three layers instead of two, six, instead of six. If Is you that what bulk. they call nestling? Yeah. Yeah. You can, you, people learning. call it locking. different things. Locking your seams oh, okay, yeah. or um, scooching them up. <laughs> I call Scooching them. them up. Is that I, your own technical word you made up? I said a word the other day, Mark said you can't say that. I can't remember what it was now. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to describe something. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I think I said that because no one would understand what you were on about no. because you made it up yourself. <laughs> when you get to this stage, don't put the last line on. I always press. It's easier to press every time you join a row, whether it's this big or whether it's a quilt. Yeah. If you try and join it, you're not going to squash it into the wrong place. So you just press it out. I usually press the middle one out, like so. And then one more, mm -hmm. and we're done. And we've got one, one block already made, and it's only very early in the morning. It's <laughs> indeed. <laughs> Uh, we are now over half the stock gone of our incredible stars with French General Quilt Kit. I think it's Gary Barlow. So. Yeah, that's what it is. He's, he's buying it. Oh, yeah, he yeah now, now he knows it's named after him. Get the radio on, open him up, open it up, and you'll think of me now. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. How quick has this come together? And it's so satisfying. Ah, gorgeous. Beautiful, yeah. There Lovely. you go. All right, my lovely. Shall okay. I leave you for a second? Yeah, I'll do something else next. Oh, um, now we've also had a little email come in from Christine. Hello, Christine. Good morning to you. So her grandson is six years old, mm -hmm. absolutely loves crafting. She wants to get him your mug, uh -huh. but she said, do you think it's too heavy for him? I bet it would be all right. Yeah. He's six. Two hands. Yeah. No, no it's not. It's, it's not a heavy mug. No, no. I didn't it's, think so. It's, Sturdy, but yes. not heavy. Yeah, Joe's. Um, 
Is Joe's, they get this right? I think Joe's had his since he was about <laughs> seven. That's what I'm going to say in case I get his age wrong. Right. <laughs> That's what, uh, our youngest grandson, and, and the, the, you know, it's fine. It's fine, yeah, yeah. I thought so. Good stuff. He'd love um, it, wouldn't he? And it's big enough for Dunkin' Biscuits. Oh. Oh, dunking biscuits, is yeah. that what you said? Yes. yes. Nice stuff. <laughs> All right, uh, I'll be back with you in a second. I'll just do a little recap yep. here. Okie okay. dokie, right. So we are starting off here with our um, Festive Delight Month 5. This is the last one. And have a little look. You've also got the um, twin universal needles that are coming with it. You go, you've got these beautiful strips. Isn't that nice? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have a look at the flex. Aren't they stunning? So there you go. So it's for the borders. Absolutely stunning. Um, and then this fabric here as well. And you have, oh, it's lovely. It feels so beautiful, doesn't it? Okay. Uh, £34.99 pence for this set. There you go. This is what you're going to make. Here's the corner. So that's everything there for you. Uh, our lovely Festive Delight Month 5 borders. £34.99 pence. 139.895. Now, if you did want the full kit, sorry, it sold out. We'll have to get that taken off, won't we? Taken off the counter. However, we have got some backing and it is absolutely stunning. You've got a choice here. It's a huge piece. Absolutely. Shall I? Let's see. Let's. Uh, it's two pieces. Yes. Sorry. You're so right, Mark. Hang on. I think, oh, what have I done? No, it's two pieces. You join them together for the backing. So, yeah. <laughs> they get one piece. Hang on. There you go. Here's the second piece. So, you've got lovely, lovely amount of beautiful fabric. Uh, this one, as you can see, obviously is the ball ball option. There you go. And. I will fold that nicely in a minute. Sorry. Um, I'll pop that back there. Uh, but then you've got the, look, this is so much nicer than it's folded. Um, but there you go. That's the beautiful, that is the, um, the green, gold, red spots uh, or dots. Uh, for either option. Oh, right. This one has now gone limited anyway. Right. So it's £60.49. and pence. Or again, you can spread the cost on Flexi by 708690. If you would just like the um, pattern, there you go. We've got that available for you if you just want that on its own. And there it is. I love that. Isn't that's it beautiful? The that's the first time we've bought that. Is it? Yeah, it's new, new today. Right, with the pattern uh, by itself. Lovely stuff. So new today. It's £29. Sorry, no, £25. Sorry. And 99 pence. Triple six seven seven eight is the item number. Gorgeous. Right, then moving on. Okay, so one of our stars of the show right now is this lovely um, uh, item. Uh, literally stars of the show. Um, but you've got all of your pre-cut pieces as ever. It comes to you in this beautiful, very wrappable, by the way, box. So this is your incredible stars with French General Quilt Kit. Full pre-cut. Uh, makes your 45 by 54 inch quilt. Two payments of £28.95. Right now, two-thirds of this has sold out. Lovely jubbly. 848-866 is your item number. Then we've got into the cabin. Again, I will just pick this up. Now, two-thirds of this has also gone. <laughs> we haven't, haven't even, even seen this demoed. Yeah. No. It's lovely. You, uh, you, you named this as well, didn't you? Mark? I did. I named that one as well, yeah. Yeah, because it looks as if it's going in, doesn't it? It's uh, yeah. got a lot of depth to it, yeah. Doesn't it? And, it? and again, the fabrics are absolutely divine, aren't they? So, yeah, you're going for this as well, very much so. Um, again, everything's pre-cut. You just need to add the backing and the wadding. Backing and wadding. Lovely. The backing and wadding does either of the two, as good. we said earlier. Yeah. Oh, good to know. That's yeah. good. Um, so if you want to go for this, £55.99. Uh, again, you can spread that cost. Item number is 933663. Then we've got this cutest little, little wall <laughs> hanging. It's so adorable. It's gorgeous. Isn't yeah. it? And you get everything in here. So you've got your wadding and everything too. Uh, half the stock of this has gone. Very busy. We'll see what happens for our later show, eh? <laughs> we so shall. We've got left. Yes. Nice stuff. So have, feast your eyes on these. I have to say, the re especially the red is so rich mm -hmm. it's, it's christmas red isn't it yeah, yeah. it's beautiful yeah. absolutely beautiful and we and didn't want something you know these little christmas things and the cushions and like little things you can get done not yeah. too stressful yeah um and and at a good a good price as Very well nice. so we wanted to give it richness and also they coordinate with the quilt should you be yeah doing that wanting, wanting to add them. a few yeah <laughs> 
a, a, you know, husband annoying cushions to the <laughs> <laughs> event. The, the, the small ones are good for throwing. No, <laughs> ah, there you the 12-inch cushion is a good one for throwing. <laughs> I've learnt that. <laughs> you heard it here first. But yeah, very, very reasonable price point here at just £14.99. 586607. Then moving along, then we've got our lovely Merry Christmas cushion there. Uh, again, you get everything. Everything you need. is there. Yeah, lovely. everything. Including the uh, the bonder web that sticks the oh. actual letters and uh, yep. the wording together, yeah. Marvellous. There you go. See, there you go. You just need to add your own cushion. That's all you need, which there are some available on the website. £22.49. There you go. Ha feast your eyes on this. Uh, 637894 is the item number. Beautiful fabrics. Then we move on to our little diddy cushion, where again you get everything that you need. Right, Ross is telling me this one is now limited. Oh, right. mm. yeah, super busy. Uh, <clears throat> uh, not those details. We'll there you go. We'll just change that for you. Uh, again, excellent, excellent fabrics. Only fourteen ninety nine for this item number is seven nine seven one two six. Russ is telling me there's only a handful of these left. Wow, just a handful. It's oh, really the people busy. are up. Not people just are us. up today. <laughs> people are definitely not just up. us. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, last but not least, we have got the pattern. Here we go. Uh, well, not the pattern. You've got loads of patterns in there. Yeah. A nice collection. So quilts, throws, wall hangings. Um, our lovely Jimmy's just getting a shot of those. Um, Twenty-five pounds and ninety-nine pence. Let's have another flick through. Here we go. So you can see, right, so the, we've got the throw, we've got the table runner, festive table runner, the Christmas star cushion, the Christmas hanging, visions of Christmas hanging, uh, Merry Christmas cushion, the incredible stars in French general, and into the cabin. So there's loads in there, absolute loads, and you can see them on the front. Lovely. £25.99, that will keep you busy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's ducking. <laughs> Love that. Mark's going to sleep, look. He has. Have a little look at the website again. You can shop by brand. Oh, okay, um, Ross is telling me uh, right at the end you'll find the cushion pad. So just make sure, yeah, just make sure you're scrolling along. There's our mugs, our fabulous mugs. Don't forget the skeins of thread. They are there as well. Ah, there they go. There's the cushion pads. Um, if you want to ask um, Pat and Mark any questions, or of course you want to send in anything that you've been making that you've bought previously um, from Totally Patched, then as always, we would love to see. Okay, we've had an email from Sonia. Good morning, Sonia. She's saying that she's completed two of your quilt kits during lockdown. Oh, she really well, enjoyed it. Well really done. Excellent. Well done. And she's and saying really easy to follow. So oh, really good. Yeah. Oh, good. Thank you. We, we, we try. We do. <laughs> but she's done the hard it, work. Try to make it as pictures. easy as possible. Yeah. Yeah. Sonia, let's have some pictures. Yes, please. That'd yes. Um, right, what would you like to do now, Pat? Uh, I'm going on to the log cabin. I'll just talk about these cushion pads, though, because... Sure. They are beautiful. They're duck feather. They're very feather. easy to go to sleep oh, on. They are. Nice. They're duck feather. That's why it gives the cushions a plumpness. Mm. Um, and that's what I've used in my all of my little of these. Yeah. Um, and the little cushion there that's uh, four-cornered that star one. Christmas. Yes. Whatever it's called. Uh, and those <laughs> are the three sizes. But you can see, like, they just puff back up because mm. they're just so gorgeous. Mm, Love them. Snubbly. Love them. Okay. Log cabin now. Yep. Into the cabin. Okay. The, when you get your box, um, as per, mm -hmm. beautifully put in here, look by Mark. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Very nice. Uh, you get both. All I can't of guarantee it's going to arrive like that. No, not if the postman has his way, but we do try <laughs> <laughs> to wedge them together. Like yeah. 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 Uh, these are all your sizes here. So if you want to make another quilt, another ten quilts, yeah. more blocks, whatever yeah. you want to do, um, and you can easily see uh, first. It, in the order they're in, you just take them out, you'll see what they are. And if you line them up, can I just... Yes, go on, carefully. Can, okay, you can have them back. <laughs> what I do is when I start, I would put them out like this, in size order, like so. And I put them all, lay them all out with my big, that's my starting point. So that would be my first one. This will be my second one. Yep. Then I want this one here. And that would go there. That's the same size as the last one. Then this one will go bigger again. If you put them all out in that a line, all on your table, mm -hmm. and work from the middle up, up, all the way out, 
you'll, they'll always be in the same order. It just makes, uh, it makes you only have to think once, which I like. I don't, yeah. don't like thinking too much unless I have to. <laughs> I do enough of that. <laughs> so that just, if you lay them all out like that, it, it keeps you in line without uh, too much stress. So just take them out, move them up. Okay, Mark, here we go. Ready? Pattern holding. Um, <laughs> I've laid one on the table, uh, which you could also do. You could l do one, take one out and put it in front of you if you wanted to. Yeah. Um, but once you've done one, you can go through this process. And you know where you are, because, like, if I was there, this one would be upside down, because we cut them in pairs. So if I'd gone up the here, all these would be upside down. This one isn't, so that's the next one I use. Got you. Simple. I like simple. Okay, so we're down here now. I'm going to put the first piece on like so. Mm -hmm. These are gorgeous, rich. I, I couldn't wait to, I, I made both of these quilts. Before, the fab, before I think the something fabric had, else that you were meant to make. I think the fabric had been in the house probably about three hours before I started. Yes. Oh, yeah, really? I couldn't wait. Couldn't yeah. wait, nice. But French General is a, is a, is a well-known, very liked uh, mode of range as well. And we're quite lucky to get it because uh, the <laughs> mode of fabric is very delayed at the moment. Very. Right, uh, right so one piece on. This yep. picture here shows you the front and the back. And I did the pressing without even speaking to you, sorry. Um, you press away. Always press away from the centre towards the edge. So every log that you add, mm -hmm. press out from the centre, away from you. Okay. Pop it back if you're not sure. This is our next one. Can we turn the page, Mark? Hopefully I've done a picture of this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You always do pictures because pictures paint a thousand oh, words. They do, but look, they're, they're quite gorgeous pictures. Look. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's why, like Sonia said, yeah. you, it, it, I write as I sew. Right. So, and I do the picture as I sew. Right. Um, and it then that way, because with, with the best will in the world, you, you can lose track of where you are. Absolutely. Um, and sometimes I do. So if I do it as I go along, the pictures are showing you what I'm doing. So yeah. it's always a reference point for, yeah. for you as well, and, and a bit of a confidence yeah. boost to say, "Well, I am at the right stage, and it looks like the picture, so that's yeah. good." <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yeah. And do you write the instructions at the same time as well? Like, yeah. Do you have a computer outlet? So you're... Yeah, I've got like the computer up here, sewing machine here, yeah. computer here, yeah. and then I take the photographs. But at the moment, it's getting dark too early to mm. take <laughs> nice photographs. I have to get all my sewing and photographs in by at least three o'clock, don't Definitely. I? Yeah. Then I go, oh, I can't do any more today. <laughs> sewing? Sewing, yeah. <laughs> then I have to go to something else. But that's quite noticeable at the moment, because it is getting darker and darker, isn't it? But Because uh, if I just keep sewing, then you'll have no pictures. <laughs> so here we are now. I'm here, I've gone to... No, where am I? Here. Yeah. There we go. Put it down backwards, look. <coughs> there you go. So Which look, one again, that one? There, that's where we are. Yeah. Now, when you get to this stage, um, I know a lot of people know this, but I'm going to say it again because it's a life-changing thing to remember. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's a little bit, a that's a bit maybe, of an exaggeration. Maybe seen. not in the world at the moment, you know, the way <laughs> it is, but in, in my world. In patchwork. Yeah. Mm. If you look at this here, <laughs> are they with me? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you look at this outside edge, there are no seams. It's just one piece of fabric. Yeah. If you look at... Oh, no, I've gone wrong. I've put it on the wrong place. Oh, no, forget that. One, two, this one should this be This is how not to do it. Yeah, I'm going to take You're it off. You're talking too much. Oh, don't I'm going to take it off because I've, got it, I've put it in the wrong place. Oh, no. Yeah. See, you are fallible then. I won't let yeah. everybody see what I do. <laughs> you see? Like, like, yeah, there, that's though. because I didn't take my time and look what I was doing. So she is human after all. <laughs> oh. What a sh See, look, that's where it came from. Uh, One, two. Right. Three. Got yeah. it. Now it's going onto there. So I'll pop it onto there and then I'll come back to that lovely thing that's life changing. Mm -hmm. That's gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> <laughs> and just to let you know at home though, please do check out your baskets because we are super limited now. Details on screen for the Into the Cabin. Uh, £55.99, pence. really good price there, considering everything's pre-cut for you, get the full, um, in, what did I say, pre-cut, and you get full instructions and everything, there you go. Okay, back to you then, Pat and Mark. As if nothing happened. Well, there you go. Yeah. Right, if you look at this here, <laughs> <laughs> this edge has no seams in it, just right. fabric. If you look across here, we've got one seam on this side, look, yeah. one seam. 
If you look on here, you've got one seam. Here, you've got two seams. One, two. Got you. Okay? And that's where you join your next piece to. So we know it's this colour because we're walking, going along our mm -hmm. list there. Yeah. Uh, we're looking at my pictures to make sure it's correct. And so this is where I am now, exactly here, and I'm putting this piece on. I am. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's right, isn't it, Mum? Yeah. On the, on the screen I was saying, you were pointing it wasn't, they weren't there yet. Oh, I thought you were See, saying I was doing it wrong no, again. Again, no. <laughs> God, dear. That's Twice. I, I wouldn't point that out. No. You, yeah, you, I, <laughs> no, I've already put a piece of fabric on backwards. Mm. I've put oh. a strip on the wrong place, so there's one more to come, isn't there? <laughs> oh, we're the rule of threes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think so. Stay tuned. <laughs> she spots it first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, now, we're back together a bit later as well, aren't we? We are. Uh, 11 o'clock. 11? 11 o'clock. Yeah, 11 o'clock, so make sure you are tuning in. But we'll see what we've got left. Because I've just been extremely <laughs> oh, busy. No. Yeah, it's all good. I think, I think we're doing, going to do some twin needlework. Yeah. Oh, at 11 good. as well, yeah. It's yeah, fun. for anybody who's not sure, don't be scared by the twin needle. It's, it's fun. It, yeah, it's, it's good. Fun. Okay. It's good. Um, and it's so effective, mm -hmm. as you can see from the quilt. But if you don't like it, you don't. You can use the fabric and do something else. You could applique something on there right. or whatever you fancied doing. Um, so it's up to you. But don't shy away from it. Go back to it and, uh, you know, give, give it a, a try. Give it a try yeah. But right. I will do it at the top of the 11 o'clock hour. I'll have my machine set up and I'll explain to you how to mm -hmm. set your machine up and everything. Lovely. Not that you do anything technical. Right, so here I am again. I've gone one, two, three, four. I'm now on this piece here. It's going on here because it's got two seams mm -hmm. and these haven't. Okay, so even if you put it down wrong, look, you think, oh, two seams, but that one's too big. Turn it round. You've got it in the wrong place. Keep looking at the picture. Yeah. Can't go wrong. Um, now I have some news. We have now technically sold out. Of this? Of this, yeah, no. of the Into the Cabin. <laughs> We have now technically sold out. Thank you. We'll let you know if any bounce back, but uh, do check out your baskets. Oh. Um, are you, Mark and Pat, would you be all right to chat through the charm packs just while Rob yes. chats to me? I can do that, yeah. <laughs> we can chat through the charm packs. Yep. That, that and I can't do any more log cabins. Nope. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, whichever one you fancy um, picking up then, Mark, and just giving, giving us okay. a little flick through of the yep. charm packs, that would be great. The one, the one I've got laid out here then. Is uh, La Rose Rouge, the French General uh, Moda Charm Pack. Yeah, which uh, is which is this fabric we've been which using. Which is what we've used in the uh, the two throws, yes. Yep. And you can see that there's some lovely creams, florals, different uh, size floral as well. Mm -hmm. Some nice crisscross patterns with the uh, floral as well. Um, I'm trying to find a larger print. There's quite a larger print there as well. That's the, the beauty of them, especially with patchwork. Sometimes you don't want huge prints. Yeah. Sometimes you want a bit smaller. Sometimes, you know, really ditzy. And that's when you're looking at a quilt, because people say, how do you design? What do you do? Nice. You, you need a variety of sizes within it. Normally, unless it's a tiny thing. Yeah. It looks it looks better with various <laughs> uh, print sizes in it. And like the stars... Um, you can see the fabrics beautifully. You can see right. the different fabrics beautifully rather than cutting them up. Absolutely beautiful. But that's why they're so popular, French General. They mm -hmm. do it so well. Yeah. Like They've done the hard work here, not, not me. Absolutely <laughs> beautiful. Yeah, looking at these. So they, these are your... These like are your mixers and blenders. Yeah. Blenders and backgrounds, sorry. <laughs> uh, the, and they go with all of the, all of these uh, charm packs. Yeah. So whichever one you choose, uh, the, the background and blenders will work with those colorways marvelous yeah. and with those backgrounds and blenders we are um half the stock gone on those 14 pounds and 99 pence item number is five six seven three eight nine <clears throat> then the next one which which one are you going to this pick one up is um annie downs it's uh, down on the veggie patch and as i said earlier it's got some some sort of rustic sort of browns and some creams some little pinks and some greens all sort of colours you'd expect to see in an, in nature, really. Greens, yep. some blues, mm -hmm. some little bunny rabbits there jumping around. I love around. the carrots. <laughs> they yeah, make me smile. And some carrots <laughs> as well, yeah. Yeah, love those. All of those. And again, they'll go with the blenders. Yep. You've then got the uh, 
basic harmony, which is all a selection of ones from the actual range that we used with the quilt. Mm -hmm. Some hearts in there, some dots, uh, some little ditzy stars mm. and some little snowflakes. Again, all soft colours, nothing too harsh, nothing yep. too, too strong. So a nice little pastel palette. Yeah, I love the little hearts. They're yeah. adorable. Again, details are on screen. And again, we've got them uh, totally charming with the greys and the blues. Again, this one is sort of a bit modern, like you said. Yeah. Or it could be for a fellow as well. Yeah. Masculine sort of colours. I like those dark. with the chevrons. Yeah, yeah, little dark blues, the dots. Mm -hmm. uh, what else have we got? Some... Oh, all you, you've seen things. the presenters do this, haven't you, Mark? I have watched. It's harder than it, it looks, is, isn't it? It's is harder than it looks, actually. Yeah. yeah. And some circles. Oh, look at that one. I yeah. like that. That's really nice. Uh, 14 99 again, for this little charm teal pack. teal colour there as mm. well. Lovely. That's that one. And then you've got the uh, mixers and blenders, and again, the, the La Rouge, Rouge Moda French General. I think that one's the star of the show, actually. Oh, oh. that one's sold out now. <laughs> chuck it away. No, don't definitely not chuck it away. Um, okay. Then we've also got some threads. Now, you were saying that these you don't have to separate. Don't have to separate. They're single strand. Yeah. So you can sew them as they are there. You don't have to try and uh, undo the knot halfway down uh, that you eventually come to. Um, so they are perfect for quilting. Pat uses them all the time. Yeah. Um, they are. Lovely and smooth. Mm, yeah. So yep. smooth. So basically, we've got different options for you. Uh, so the, f the first one is the basic. Here we go, that one over there. So all the ones that you need. Then the second one, here we go, Jimmy's on this one. There you go. Is this one the country? Uh, this one. Yeah, Your so cards almost, underneath. The cards underneath say, yeah. Uh, oh, yes, it is. That one's 20. 20, <laughs> 20 skeins in each, in each box as well. Oh, good. So you get a, a good number of skeins, yeah. You have, haven't you? Look, the, here, these are the brights. And then the last one, what, the last one that we have for you is the um, pastels. And again, Pat and Mark think of absolutely everything. And you're going to receive them in this box as well, one of these boxes. So you can keep all your threads together very, very nicely indeed. Uh, £27.49 and pence for any of those options. Item number is 137885. Uh, here's the website again. We've got just enough time to have a uh, quick recap up until the end of the hour. There have been lots of sellouts. Um, Pat and Mark are going to be back with us at 11 o'clock. If you are going out and there's anything you've got your eye on, then do check out your baskets because it may not be here by the time you get back. Right. Starting from the beginning then, we have got our festive delight, month five. Is this? Are you in again um, this this year now, or is this the last one? We <laughs> have got three shows: one on the sixteenth and two on the seventeenth. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. So, yes. Yeah, is that a one-day special? Nope. No, no, it's just, no. just three shows. strange for us. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing Love one this, and the one on the sixteenth evening, nine o'clock, and then oh, two yeah. on the next day. So yeah. we've got. got you. Lots more goodies. Yes, lots, lots, more, more. lots more goodies to finish off yeah. the year with. Yeah. Good stuff. Right then, so um, what you've got here is the borders kit. We were just having a little look at that. Um, so uh, again, you've, so you've popped in this twin needle for us. Mm -hmm. And you've popped in, I love these strips. They are beautiful for your borders, absolutely gorgeous. There you go. And they're also, fabrics. the border strips are cut to size. Oh, good. So that they're a little bit bigger than you need, just in case yours isn't quite the same size as mine, but I'm sure it is. Right. Um, <laughs> and so there's two shorter ones, two longer ones. Put your shorter ones on first, but it tells you all that. Yeah. I'm good. overrunning, sorry. Yeah, no, say that again, sorry. <laughs> I'm overrunning, I get, I want oh, to no. tell everybody everything. <laughs> no, it's good, it's all good. It's good. <laughs> We're having a little look there for you. There you go, that's your... Uh, corner in the border, £34.99. pence. Again, stock is running low on this. 139895 is your item number. Then we've got our, how long have I got? We've got our backing fabrics for the lovely quilts. They come in two pieces. Here you go, you've got your um, ball balls, red and green ball balls, or you've got the green, red, gold dots. Which one's in the lead, Ross? This one. Yep, yeah, this one is currently in the lead. This one. Oh, look at those flecks. Oh, has it gone? Has it? It's sold out. Yeah. So, and also the red and green. 
Nice catch. Um, <laughs> the red and green baubles is also now limited. Uh, Sixty pounds and forty-nine pence. Item number is zero. Um, sorry, seven zero eight six nine zero. Then we move on to the um, pattern by itself. Brand new today for your festive delight. I like this a lot. Festive delight. Details just coming onto the screen. Um, fully comprehensive. Really nice and easy to follow. And that was such a nice testimony, wasn't it? From um, I think it was Sophia. Sonia. 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 Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Apologies, Sonia. You know, it's just saying how lovely and easy all of the patterns are. Here you go, we can see it in the back of the set, wear pattern marker. Uh, £25.99, <laughs> item number is 666778. Do give us a call, 01733 or please do go to the website at hitchander.com. Thank you, lovelies. Thank you. We shall okay. see you see again. In a, okay. yeah, at Thank you for getting up early. Yes, Thank you, everybody, everybody yes. has. Yes. Yes. You've all had your Weetabix. Other cereals are available. <laughs> right, I'm going to hand over now to uh, Hayley and Catherine. Oh, maybe I'm not. Next then, we have got our Fabric Freedom Blenders One Day Special and then bag making with Mrs H and Emily. Hi, I'm Ali from Ali Stitchy Fingers. Um, I've been sewing most of my life. I absolutely love sewing. I've been with the Chanda now from the very beginning, really. That's when I started to go there. The Chanda family are lovely people to work with, and I'm really enjoying my time with them. Designing is a big part of the journey uh, for me as well. I, I love going out and finding the fabrics to use in the projects and bringing them to you. I love the designing process from start to finish and then the finished project is just the icing on the cake. So make sure you don't miss out, come and sew with me on Agenda. Have you heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Hachanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a Chanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away, or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888, and join her Chanda Freedom today. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and we've been established for seven years and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. What I really love about Hachanda is I get to demonstrate lots of different techniques for you to understand how to use our products and hopefully inspire you. I've got loads of fantastic ideas buzzing around in my head so I can't wait to get those filtered into our products and out to you at home. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on Hachanda. I'm John Lockwood from John Nextdoor and Crafts 2. 
I've been with Hachanda since the very, very beginning, and I've been crafting a lot longer than that. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking, and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years, and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it, and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products, as well as some of their other amazing brands such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut, and the Craft Artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. So don't miss the John Next Door and Crafts 2 shows on the channel. You just want to wave at everybody when you see that, don't you? Good morning, everyone. Do you know, I've had a little bit of a break, so it's nice to be back. And, of course, I'm back with a one-day special. We've got, of course, the wonderful Hayley Smith with us as well. Uh, she's just fiddling with her sewing machine at the moment. But, Hayley, good morning. Hello. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm good. Good, good. Yeah, we had a little bit time last night with Scott. I've been hearing about that. <laughs> yeah, oh. it's out of control already, mate. <laughs> oh, did this take place on Fantasy Street? Well, it's not quite, we haven't got a name for the street yet, but it, it is currently a Fantasy Street that we made up because, sorry, it's falling over there. Um, <laughs> well, how it started was we've got a fantastic one day special and there's lo so many fabrics laid out that they're kind of all hung on these lovely A-frames and Scott was peeping through them because obviously we're at other, at other ends of the studio for social distancing. And he was peeping through them like a nosy neighbour. So then that kind of continued on that we uh, had the houses next door to each other. And then that continued further because then Paula moved in to the street as well. And then we, we had a, an official planning meeting between the 6 o'clock and the 8 o'clock hour and have drawn a whole street... <laughs> um, and you're free to move in. It doesn't cost anything oh, to move in. And there's I've some got flats John next door. There's some flats as well. You know, in case you don't want to, um, if you don't want a full house to look after. We've then... got a pub. Yeah, there's pub. There's the uh, duck and dog. Oh, and that's at the end of the street. I think we need a candy shop on this street as well. If anybody wants to take charge of the candy shop, but let us know. The only deal is, if you're moving into our uh, pretendy street, you have to kind of come with some kind of skill. Okay. Or something you can offer the, the, the community. Oh, such as? Yes. Uh, well, we've got a fire eater. Wow. Uh, we've got a mechanic, a nurse. Wow. Uh, <laughs> Ross has got the list. I'm sure Ross will fill us in a little bit later on once we've actually <laughs> talked about what we're supposed to be doing. <laughs> Oh, do you know, it sounds amazing, doesn't it? Perhaps you'd like to live on Fantasy Street. Let us know what your skill is. Uh, keep it clean, by the way. Now, let's have a look at the One Day Special, of course, because this is what it's all about, isn't it? And we've got different options for you here as well. We've got eight, in fact. Let's have a look at the first of those options. So we can see you here. Oh, beautiful, beautiful fabrics. I've got to say as well, Hayley, I saw a little bit of the launch last night, and I thought, what beautiful fabrics. But actually, when you see them in the studio, they look even better, so I know no one's going to be disappointed with what they're getting. Yes, so now these, these are, are two of the new, we've kind of got the four new collections up first, and then we've got some of them that you may have seen before, but maybe not in this full configuration. So these are your brush stroke options. Your first one there that you've got is the neutral, so that's all of your, um, your greys, your browns, going into your beiges, and even kind of as far as cream in those ones as well. Beautiful. And they're all beautiful. They've got this really soft um, kind of brushstroke feel on the front of them, which, I mean, would be brilliant for fur as well. Maybe you're doing they some art quilting yeah, and you're looking to, um, to maybe add a, a dog or something like that. It'd be perfect for those. Um, Stunning. You're getting 10 different colours in total. Yeah. And half a metre of each. So it's five metres of fabric overall. Wow. And when you look at the price, that works out at about £4 per half metre. And that's, that's on a quilting cotton. 
Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So we've seen the neutrals. We're now looking again the same design. You can see that brush stroke design on there. But these are well, we're just calling these brush strokes. So we've got the neutrals. These are the brush strokes for you. These are beautiful. Again, we've got the bright colours in this one, but still some softness as well with that very sort of beautiful sage green in there as well. Do you know it does look like fur, Haley? Now you said that you can see that effect. You can see, you? or if you see it, look in the green one, then that could easily be a kind of leafy jungle background the darker green and oh, the yeah, or christmas green, tree as well yeah, good work jimmy beautiful. good su suggestions there yeah, <laughs> gorgeous oh look at the pink yeah they're, they're absolutely stunning so you've got your kind of all your neutrals or you've got all of your brighter colors as well stunning. and there's a kind of full rainbow in there so you go from your yellows through to your kind of mid orange through to that terracotta you've got there then you've got red really really bright cerise in there as well you've got a purpley blue you've got a couple of the lighter softer colors to mix in as well like that kind of light gray blue and we've got some bundles coming up later which i'll show you where and um, if you were to go for that watercolor one you could you've got really good matches and i'll show you how well they match with patterns that um, maybe you've got a pattern or a color that you can't find a match for and the reasons that this kind of thing this kind of blender fabric works really well is because it isn't one solid color because sometimes when you're trying to match one solid color with another pattern or yeah. and there's not that perfect match it actually looks worse than having a, yeah. a clash but because there's actually three or four colors within this one three or four greens say within one green piece i've got the i've got one Beautiful. here with some salvage on I've, I've used the salvage for for Scott's house. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's well, it's complicated. We'll oh. get there. Oh, I've cut I've cut all the salvages off. They're in these curtains. Um, <laughs> You can see there's kind of four or five colors and that means that when you're trying to get a match because there's a little variety of colors in there it will match a lot better than trying yeah. to match with a solid color. So there it's that. like using a batik in there because it's got that little kind of variation in the color. They're absolutely beautiful. So we've seen the neutrals, we've seen the brights as well. So that's the brush strokes options for you there. Now we're going to have a look to my left here as well. I've got to say out of all of them, I think these are my favourites. Yeah, uh, I mean, these, these are absolutely are, beautiful. Um, these are beautiful. And these are, I keep calling them vintage vines, but they're not. They're vineyard. That's what they're called. They're vineyard. And I keep, I think they just look so vintage. They look so 40s. And they've got that kind of classic design to them. They um, really have two colour they? options Absolutely in this gorgeous. one. And what you'll find with these is that there's a lot of kind of positives and negatives. So you'll be able to pick out pairs. So that one you've got there where you've got the purple background and the kind of creamy print on the top. It's very warm, isn't if it? If you have a look away. further along, you'll find it's it's opposite. So I, I think it's one it, from yeah. the uh, one in from the middle. Keep going. Keep going. It's this one. Uh, I can't see where you're pointing. You're too it's far this away. One. That one. Yes. I just so put if you those put two those two together, together so you'll see. see you've got the kind of positive and negative oh, of the lovely, same one. They? So you can use these as little pairings if you want to, or you could kind of, you know, chuck them all in together because you can easily see you could put all of those together into a larger project like a quilt and everything would, would match beautifully. They are absolutely beautiful. And we've got more as well. So that's another option for you. So that's the light option. Now the same design. Oh, but in the darks. And again, these are absolutely stunning. Now, these have been a favourite, actually, because they did sell out last night. They're now on extended delivery. This is on the darks, the 9th of December, so not long at all. We're on the 6th, aren't we, well, today? I think it's, so it's because three days. they're quite kind of nice dark colours, and they have that kind of wintry, warm feel to them. And you could absolutely use these for so many projects. Break them up, use them individually, or put them all together into a project as well. And remember, because it's Fabric Freedom and they cut everything from the rolls, if you do go for multiples of these, they will cut them as continuous pieces. Oh, so if you wanted to go for two and get a metre of each, you absolutely can. Oh, I absolutely love these. These are definitely my favourites. I can't choose between the darts and the lights, actually. I just think the design is so beautiful. Because the, the print's the same on both amazing. of them, you could go for both and mix and match them in. Definitely. You know, they are absolutely stunning. Every single one of these, you're getting 10, of course, 10 half metre pieces here. We'll just give you a reminder of the details. They are on the screen there, but you've got FlexiBuy on this as well. You're saving £25. And we can split that cost down for you as well. Item number 215611. So two payments, if we split that down into a flexi-buy option for you, would be... 
Well, it's under £20, isn't it? £19.98. and pence. There we go. So we've seen the brush strokes. We've seen that beautiful, beautiful vintage design there as well. Remember the darks on extended delivery. Uh, only three days to wait from the 9th of December. The lights are still on immediate dispatch, but they have been the busiest options. Absolutely gorgeous, but we haven't finished there. We're going to show you some more. You're looking at the uh, the beautiful brush strokes again there on screen. Remember, you've got your, your lights and your brights when it comes to those. But we haven't finished because we have got another rail here. Let's have a look at this one. Again, we've got the most beautiful colours, Hayley, in this particular design here. So what's yes, this one so called? This one is your, um, well, you've got two on there, actually. You've got your mottled florals, and that's the one we're looking at now. And then there's the ditzy florals as well. We've kind of put these two together because these are the brighter ones, and you've got a very similar colour palette between the two so these are ones that you could actually kind of mix and match together between those two sets if you want to and this is a very clever print because it can it has a lot of um, light and shade within it so you've got light and shade within the background because you can see the mottled background with those lighter and darker patches on but then the print itself on the top also appears to have lighter and darker bits because you can see those really dark butterflies and then you can see the lighter almost bleached out flower it really is stunning, well. isn't it? Do you know, I, I, this is a close one for me now. I don't know if I prefer this one to the last one now I've seen it. This is Jimmy's favourite as well, maybe. Has he got a house on uh, Fantasy Street, ah, Jimmy? Yeah. I think these you are his curtains. You can have a house. What skill are you going to bring? You can have a flat if you like. <laughs> OK. <laughs> He was happy to live in a shed, you know, in the back, back garden of someone's house. I don't think he's got much talent, though, so I don't know if he's allowed on the street. Well, it depends what talent he's bringing. Oh, he'll have to let us know. He'll let us know. Oh, we've oh, already got a photographer. a photographer, I'm afraid, Jimmy, have so we, we can't have that. Oh, Elaine's already there. Videographer, that's what he's going to be. Right, we'll let him in. We'll let him in. Absolutely beautiful. Aren't they stunning? So there is another option. So is that the mottled? Yes, that's the mottled floral that you've got yeah. there. And then the next one's the, the ditzy. next one along is the ditzy. So the, the mottled one, and um, you've got quite a lot of interest in there. Now the ditzy, you've got a really small pattern, but you can see a lot of those colours um, are the same colour palette. So you yeah. can kind of mix and match mm. some of those together if you want to go for the mottled and the ditzy, because they do complement each other really well. But on top of that, that ditzy one is really useful because it's such a small pattern that if you've got things like um, your bindings, your edgings, your, um, you know, you just want to put thinner strips in or maybe a paper piecing, but you still want to have quite a lot of interest yes in there it's got that it's a it's a much simpler on this one it's only really uh, got two colors balancing it out so you've got your lighter colors your background your darker print on the top but even just that those two colors is enough to kind of split the color from being a solid so it will match with a lot more things than you would get from your just your standard flat um color and especially that black that you've off. got there we were showing escape. this sample last night because we've got a, a couple of different um, quilt blocks that are available, templates on the show as well. And this one is what we call our wonky window. And replacing the solid black that I've got on this sample that I've got here with the one that you've got there with that little bit of, just a little tiny bit of a print in it can make all the difference as well. Stunning. Right, we're just having a look now at what yeah, you've so got take there, it For this block, for example, so you could have you know, much bigger, more statement pattern pieces in where I've got these plain blues and greens and then replace the solid black with something like you've got there which has got that little bit of something to it. So you're still getting that nice kind of dark breaking up elements. So you've got that nice bit so you can really break that pattern up and see the clear pattern of the template, but having that little bit of just something extra going on rather than completely flat plain yeah, is, is what they're stunning. perfect for. It really, really does. Oh, what lovely choices we've got for you as well. Now, we still haven't finished, of course. We've just seen those uh, beautiful, the mottle floral, the ditzy there as well. But again, if I turn to my left, oh, something that is always a favourite. We've got some little spots for you next as well. Again, beautiful colours here, Hayley. And again, you haven't got that solid background. You've kind of got that mottled effect here with the Yes, the you've got the mottled, well. it's almost like a batik effect but it's yeah. only with a couple of colours on the background and then on top of that you've got the spots which are almost like bleached out so it gives you a really kind of soft effect on here and again we put these next two sets together so your um, boutique spots and your boutique florals because 
if you have a look, they're exactly the same colour palette, so you can kind of mix and match these, so you can put the spots with the, the florals and kind of mix the two together. So if you go for um, well any of them and then just find its friend in the, in the next batch. Do you know, just putting these together, as I pick them up each one individual, but leaving sort of them laid side by side, you can see how beautifully they do work together. I mean, all of they these really bundles do. that we've got today, you could literally put them all in a, a bag, close your eyes and pull any three out and sew them together and have a really kind of beautiful result. There we go. Aren't they beautiful? Oh, do you know, I'm going to have to tie that one on as well. There we go. But they're beautiful again, aren't they? We'll sort that out by the time I come and do oh, a recap. Okay. But we've got another option still <laughs> to go as well. And again, just as beautiful. Let's have a look at this one. Oh, the green. Isn't that the most gorgeous green? That's almost a mossy green, isn't it, Hayley? Again, well, I mean, it's going to work so green. beautifully with everything. You've got a couple everything. of greens in these bundles. And green's a great one. Greens and purples yeah, are great ones to go it. for if you don't know what to what colour to put with something. Because yeah. green and purple, they're both secondary colours. So they're both a, a, a mix of either obviously um, red and blue or green and yellow, uh, blue and yellow to get your green. So because they're that secondary level colour, they match with a lot more things. They certainly do. Yes, that green for me, it is a must-have. It really is. Don't forget, you're getting 10 half-metre pieces here. I'm showing you all those different colours, those different uh, items there. That beautiful pink again with the green works so beautiful. You've got the blues, you've got the lilacs in here. We've got another green coming up, actually. But another one of my favourites, actually, when it comes to colour palette, is the greys, because, again, the greys work so beautifully yeah, with everything. Absolutely. And it's just a little bit less harsh than putting a black in sometimes. Sometimes you want something that, it's going to let those fabrics breathe and, and let your eye rest between the fabrics, but you don't necessarily want something that is as harsh or as Absolutely stark as a black or a white. So greys are perfect for that. Stunning. So just a reminder again there of those details, £25 saving. What a great price this is. Two payments of £19.98, 215 Of course, those eight different options. So do have a look on the website because that's where you're going to find them all. And we've got lots more on there as well. We've got all sorts for you, actually. I've got to say, the quality that you see in here in the studio today of these fabrics is absolutely fantastic. It really is. We've got some happy hour deals coming up for you as while in a little while so do have a look at those don't forget happy hour it is only for the hour we've not mentioned them yet but you may have found them let's have a look at them oh i do know those uh, crafty cell silly super squares have been very busy as well yesterday i did hear that when i was watching so don't miss out on those as well right when it comes to happy hour we've got some choices for you here we've got some beautiful beautiful swiss rolls for you first of all Haley. so tell us about what we've got on offer okay so the uh, swiss rolls you've got uh, swiss rolls freedom rolls um you can they're called all jelly rolls they're called all sorts of things it's the same thing it's two and a half inch strips and uh, we had the smaller versions of this one on last night but we've actually managed to get the bigger ones in Ooh. as well so these are uh, 40 pieces there are five different fabrics so you're getting eight strips of each and this is the noah's ark collection Ooh, nice. so I'm sure we had a big quilt of this somewhere. You're going to have to open one up, I'm afraid, Catherine, because you Can really can't that? see the the nice pictures oh, and things. Yeah, so what, is we that need your to see colour? it, don't we? I'm going to open this one because we've got different options. Okay. Do you know what? I'm, I'll, I can't I'll, get the I'll knot promise one, so I'm to slide try and get off. it back into some kind of semblance of a of a roll. Okay, let's have a little look what we've got here. So we've got oh, so we know as well. That's your got feature some fabric. On that's there, got look. all of your uh, your kind of your biggest print, your animals, um, you know, all of the elements that you will get within your you know as ox. So all of your all of your animals, all of your um, your little boat in there, and all your kind of sea themed bits and pieces. You've got uh, <laughs> oh, they're upside oh, down. Oh, they are upside down, <laughs> aren't they? Oh, well, it's just probably when it's been made that one's been put in the other way up. So you've got the really nice neutral rainbow stripes as well. You've got your rainy skies. So everything in there to make an instant quilt. Absolutely, you've got absolutely gorgeous. instant quilt they in there. Really, really and just are. to give you an idea of how much fabric is on that roll, it's equivalent to about two meters. Wow! If you just laid it all out next to each other, I'm sure it's about two meters, maybe two wow. and a quarter that you get from that and then you've got three different color options obviously um 
That is the uh, aqua. That must be the aqua that we've yep. just done. We've got grey there as well, and we've also got sky for you. I'm not going to open any more, but you can see the beautiful fabrics there. So it is that colourways that changes. It's the background, really, isn't it, mainly, that yes, you see the colour it's, change? Yes, it's more so the background than anything else that changes okay. in that one. Well, just £19.99, you're saving £10, four six seven nine zero one. Remember, these are happy hours, so we are almost 20 minutes past the hour, so at 9 o'clock, these will go up to that original price. So do not miss out. But we've got more to show you as well, because we've got some charm packs for you as well. Tropica. Oh, nice. So we had these as a roll. Uh, well, not all of the colours. I think we had the black one as a roll um, for a happy hour previous. Not today. Different day. Uh, but that's Tropica Grey and Tropica okay. Lime, I think, that we've got there. And these are much easier for you to see the patterns on because you can just slide it down a bit. We don't have yeah. to destroy it. No, um, I'm not going to take so it right off. Front oh, these picture are nice. one there, that's your kind of big feature fabric. I quite like this one. This one in the grey, I think, has that kind of vintage Hawaiian yeah, I agree feel with you. to it. Rather oh, these than are lovely, Hayley. Yeah, it's it's a beautiful one, and because it's a charm pack, again, you've got 42 five-inch squares. That equates to an, a, around about a metre. I think it might be 1.1, 1.2 metres of fabric if you just laid it all out. And you can literally just go straight in and sew all these together and, and come up with something beautiful. So beautiful. brilliant for a beginner. If you know somebody who's maybe getting a sewing machine for Christmas and you're looking for something just to add on as a little, as a little stocking filler, then they're a really good option. Just showing a little bit of the other colour option as well, just so you can see how they change. Because it does make a difference when you see the different colours. Despite the design being the same, they do have a different look. Well, I've just spotted something. Yeah, I'm they really do. I think the um, the grey one has more of a kind of vintage Hawaiian feel, and oh, then the like brighter that. lime one. Yeah. Lovely. They are some beautiful fabrics in there. Very, just stand very alone nice beautiful indeed. fabrics as well. Again, happy hour deal. You're saving five pounds, just nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Two three eight eight six two. We've got one more to show you, and it's this little one at the back. Now again, the colour palette, Haley, is absolutely beautiful. You've got Can greys and blues and yellows in there. It's one? quite yeah, do it. I like to ask. We're down the rabbit first. hole now. We need to see it, don't we? We do need to see it. Oh, this if is anybody lovely. can put um uh jelly rolls back together you can be on the street <laughs> <laughs> now that we need is that. a great skill <laughs> we need that <laughs> oh these are lovely Haley. yeah these absolutely are absolutely gorgeous. beautiful so there's um i think it says uh like things like be happy made with love that kind of thing on the the larger kind of feature print and then you've got some nice small prints in here and especially with those strips if you don't necessarily want to use them on a quilt um, you could use them separately as just bindings and, and edgings because you've got uh, 20 strips. There are five different prints, so you're getting four strips of each. Stunning. Absolutely beautiful. Just 11 99 for this hour only. £6 saving on that one. 525855. Five. Hayley, now how yeah, are you getting just, on? With well, I have house? to just wait a second because I've got to be over there. You've got to be over there. And you need me to be over there. I need, oh, right. Okay, well, let's have a little reminder of a few things then. Um, let's go to the website and see what we've got on there. Oh, just a reminder, actually. Uh, one of the happy hours. Oh, I've just here. I'm getting an update. The Scandi Flora. Oh, that's that last one I've just shown you. That has sold out already. Already gone. Ooh, can't give you the details now because they have gone. We've got more happy hour deals for you, of course. Do not miss out on those. The prices will go up at 9 o'clock. Now, there's absolutely tons on the website. I do know those square templates. When they were launched recently, just one set, they were so, so busy. We've got a whole bundle of them now. In fact, there's lots of different templates for you as well. Uh, now, oh, now it's Sunday morning, isn't it? 8 o'clock oh, this morning. Oh, there's new Something stuff, happened. isn't it? What's new the new stuff? seven day savers is it? it's the first look at them Ooh. what have we got we've got we've got some cork top led lights there they're great for your bottles you've got your holographic card there as well we've got jelly bean craft safe for rainbow card with five star reviews there as well knitting needle roll look at that 9.99 perhaps you know somebody who's just picked up some knitting uh, just maybe they're starting maybe you need some new ones yourself we've got a whole bunch of scissors there as well We've got ribbon. You can never have enough. That's a good pack, isn't it? Look at that. And then we've got, oh, we've got totally patched for you as well. Some cotton fabric and meter there for just ten pounds and forty nine pence. In fact, we've got some amazing, amazing oh, deals for you. A little bit of a vacuum wow. cleaner as well. That vac? Is that right? 
buy a seven day saver for the vacuum cleaner. <gasps> I've never seen that on there before. Ooh. Look at that. The <gasps> Is that Paul doing a bit of green. demo as well? Oh, I can't wait. Add, it's, add and it's, demo It's this. worth having a look at it just for Scott doing the demo. Do you know what? If you, if you want to go for this and keep it just for your uh, craft room, this is a great little little vacuum. I've seen Adam using this. I was amazed at what it picked up. £44.99. It's got a really good suction on it. You've got that HEPA filter there as well. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful. Oh, we've got some really good <laughs> guys, haven't we, for the seven day savers. Absolutely amazing. Do you know, it's nice. I feel honoured to do those for the first time in the day <laughs> at eight o'clock in the morning when they've just changed. Now, the stock could run out, of course, before we get to next week. So if you do like the look of any of those, don't hesitate on them. Now, we're just having a look again at uh, the wonderful fab fabrics behind me, but hopefully we can get over to Hayley yes, now because we've had a little she's got shuffle more to now, tell us we? about. We've had a little shuffle. <laughs> it's, all, it's all good. It's all good. So, um, these are the lacquered prints. Now, these are sometimes called paste prints as well. And what you've essentially got, I'll just move these two off the top. You have um, your solid coloured background, and then on top of that, you have a white print. So that's uh, a little bit more difficult to do, and it's a different technique that you have to use. To, to get these printed so um, it's more like a screen printing type yeah. of technique that you need to get a darker uh, background with a lighter color on the top so and um, these ones are your beige that you can see now you've also got a gray option but I know the most popular one last night which I have stolen one from uh, because I'm making Scott's and windows um, is the cream option so cream background with a white print on the top so really really subtle so again if you're looking for something that's not a plain plain and you're looking for something that's if i just give it a wiggle there you oh, go that's nice isn't and it each of the sets have slightly different prints within them so it is worth going on the web yeah. and having a quick look because okay. they all have if i just give them a little wiggle you might be able to just see some of them there let me just a spotty one it's very, very subtle, but sometimes that's actually kind of quite a nice thing to have something that's a bit more Definitely. subtle. There's a they white very option. very fresh as well, don't they? Yeah, they are. And there's a white option as well. So there are four different options with these, and you are getting five, uh, five half metres, so two and a half metres in total. Beautiful. Yes, you are indeed getting two and a half metres in total. There you can see the details. So just use the drop down menu. Have a look at those. Item number 055538. Absolutely gorgeous. Nothing to stop you going for more than one option, of course. Right, Hayley, you've got something else there for no, us as well. These are phenomenal. These are the rainbow stripes. And a sneaky top tip, these match exactly with your Noah's Ark. Oh, yes, that would work So, well. um, I can't get it because it's behind my screen, but these match exactly with the Noah's Ark bundle. So, this one goes with the teal, this one goes with the sky, and then that one goes with the grey. So, if you are going for one of those um, Noah's Ark bundles and you want maybe something to back the quilt with, this is an excellent option. They are very nice. I mean, and just nice, bright, well. summery ones. Maybe you're wanting yep. to look ahead and make kind of beach bags and more summery things. These are absolutely perfect for that. They are, aren't they? Just nine ninety nine as well. Four zero one seven two five. There we are. Now, of course, do you know it's lovely <laughs> when we've got things that match things, as well, don't they? Well, we've got those options again for you there. Remember, you are saving three pound. These aren't a happy hour, but the Noah's Ark, the jelly rolls were. So don't miss out on those. Bottom of the screen, if you want to go for those happy hours, if you're going for these to match, of course you can go for either or. Uh, but yeah, details on the screen there. Four zero one seven two five is what we're looking at now for those rainbow stripes. Stunning, absolutely gorgeous. We've got so many different options for you today. Yeah, right, Hayley. Always comes with fabric freedom. So this one I know has been one of the most popular ones that they have ever brought yeah. to you. So this is the Celtic option. And what you're getting within here is you are getting five half meters. And within those five half meters, you are getting two of your feature panels. So this is one of them. And with this one, you're getting kind of two almost kind of cushion sized panels so you can either make those into cushions you can put them within a larger quilt if you want to you're getting nice kind of border and edging pieces that you can use as well and there's actually a second panel as well um, which if I can just grab this one there you go 
Now this one I would class as a feature panel as well because you could easily fussy cut out all of these elements and use them in their own right as the kind of mini quilt blocks or maybe you want to cut them out and use them in um, in between sashing yeah and things so you can I would cut these out as individual elements personally so you've got those two kind of big feature panels I'm just going to destroy the red one and hopefully it'll magically come back together and be fixed um, and then you're getting three fabrics to go with those that coordinate as well now all of those three fabrics are patterns that you will see echoed in those two feature panels that I've already shown you and these work brilliantly with that wonky window design that we showed you earlier so I would definitely recommend if you're going for any of these Celtic ones get yourself some black fabric just plain black fabric and then um, I'll tell you what we'll maybe sew one of these if I've got time yeah I reckon we've got time to, to do a quick block because if you imagine this there. kind of block with these fabrics oh, yeah. and the plain black in the middle let me go rummage in my bag and see if I've got some While plain black. While you're rummaging, we can see the details yeah, there Yeah, if I've got some plain well. black, we'll do it. If I haven't, I've definitely got some oh, in the I car, so I can do it in the next hour. Perfect. Twenty nine <laughs> ninety nine is the price on these. Look again, a great saving, ten pounds saving. So you've got five half meter pieces. So again, you've got two and a half full meters there. The blue, the gold, or the red. I don't know how you're going to choose between them. They're all as beautiful as each other. We're looking at the blue currently on the screen. Isn't that stunning? absolutely gorgeous and they are so super super soft beautiful there's the gold for you i don't i really can't pick a favorite myself here and then of course the red 489310 is the item number do not miss out on those now i'm just going to mention some more sellouts because when it comes to the happy hours we have had a couple of sellouts now first of all when it comes to the charm packs i've got cotton threads on me from the fabrics uh, the gray is gone so uh, I'm just going to put that to one side so we've got the lime left for you I'll just have a very brief flick through this one again because you can see absolutely beautiful Do you know it's called lime but actually you've got such a so many different colors in there the blues the yellows the purples you've got coral in there you know it's absolutely stunning it's like the other one the gray one that's gone that's like the kind of 1980s Magnum PI. And then this one is like the, the new <laughs> remake Magnum PI. The more contemporary version. Yeah. <laughs> that's, love it. that's how I see it. <laughs> well, still a happy hour deal on that colour option there. Now, something else that we've sold out of as well. When it comes to Noah's Ark, the grey has gone. So I'm going to now, remove that. That's remember that, one gone. that rainbow fabric that I've got. Uh, uh, it is option number two. Option number that two, matches, if it matches it. Is your grey one? The grey one, yep. yes. If the grey one that's gone, this is the rainbow fabric, and it's option two that matches with okay. the grey one. Nothing to stop you still going for the rainbow, but when it comes to, of course, a jelly roll, the grey has gone. Aqua, oh, I'm just hearing that's okay. now gone as well. So you're matching so we are on for your aqua. Oh, there's no sticker. Oh, no. I've got, I've got no sticker to tell me which one this one is that matches, but it's this one. I would imagine this would be the pink multi because it's the only option that I have with pink in it down there. So that is the one that you need to go with the one that is just gone, the teal one. Amazing. But we do still have, when it comes to the jelly roll, the Noah's Ark jelly roll, we've still got the sky option, which is very nice, actually. You've seen the designs. It's just the colorway. So beautiful. Remember, price going up at the top of the hour. Are you ready for demonstration, Hayley? Uh, well, have you got oh, more we've got a more fabric first. Wow. I know, there's You're so fabulous. much. There's so much. They do try and pack as much as they can into each of these shows. Now, this is the Wildflower Collection. We have seen this before, and if I could get in the cupboard, I would find you the quilts, because the quilts in these are absolutely stunning, and you could easily add just a white to any of these and come out with something absolutely amazing. So, there are three colour options. This one, I think, is my favourite favourite. Oh, like it's the teal well. and navy and you could see you could easily just add a white into there and come out with something absolutely beautiful now last night we were having a look at the brush strokes uh, one day special option and we added in that lighter green this nice. is from the brights option the brush strokes and that one that's got the really soft pale blue in 
Yeah, they work very well, don't they? Well, because you've got seven half metres within that collection, and then just adding two out of your one-day special wow. gives you nine half metres, four and a half metres of fabric. That is a fairly hefty quilt that you're going to be able to make it. with nine and a half metres of fabric. what a statement piece that would make as well, particularly. I think, I agree, I think that's my favourite option that you've got there, Hayley, but actually, they're both stunning, there are, aren't well, they? There are two more options in this, oh, so that's one. The next one we've got is... I didn't even spot that light on at the back. The, this uh, is the purple yellow. So this one is really bright, stunningly bright, this one. And I think, again, if you're looking at your one-day special, this is the brush strokes. Again, wow. we've put the yellow in there and that green. And, and again, because the bright now, if you have a look at those greens together, what happens is because there's so many different elements of green within there, you can pick up those different colours within all of them. So you could put those yellows and greens in they and again certainly have work something so well. it would work fantastically well. And if you wanted to go even further, then just add a bit of white in yeah. there as well. But you've got a beautiful collection right there. So the two at the bottom there, they're from your one day special. And then these are your wildflower mega quilting bundle. And then the last colour option I've got, this one's a lot, lot softer, a lot more subtle. This is your pink and cream oh, option. That's pretty. And did the same again from the one day special special brush strokes option. I've taken that really soft kind of grey blue and the um, the little green one there again and you can see just by chucking them in you're picking out more more colours and you're seeing more definition from a lot I of them. I think because this option would make the most beautiful when you haven't got that green in for summer for a, girl, a little girl. Yeah yeah absolutely it's a, it's a really nice kind of summery option this one I think or a spring kind of option um, and I think when you kind of see it like that, you maybe don't see as much green. But then when you pull the green in, it starts pulling more of the green out of the other colours. It does, doesn't it? So it's very, very, it's very clever the way you can add another colour in and just see something different again. And then we add that one in. And that's that soft kind of, gray, it's pulling out the greys from here and here and from in here as well. Do you know, just seeing those from a distance, although I love them all, I would have said that was my least favourite option. But now you've done that, that's the one I would go for now. Is it? Yeah. I'm, st I'm still on yeah, the blue. It's, it's amazing the to still see the favorite. difference when you pull those colours out. Absolutely love it. Well, we have got those different options for you. £37.46, you're saving £15, 3825.07. Oh, we've, we've got, we might be getting some new neighbours, Hayley. <laughs> Will we? Excellent. Oh. Oh, we've got Diamond. Diamond oh, she's, she's coming, coming over from, from a way. Oh, Diamond wants to move in. She's a financial analyst. Oh. We need her. She can throw pots as well. I, I don't think You're she in. means at people. I think she means, you know, with clay work. Yes, that sort of okay. Thing. I've got a kiln, so I can help but out yes. with that. Yes. Oh, Diamond, you're a must-have. <laughs> oh. Where's, where's she going to live? Number 35, Diamond, is that all right? You're near the pub. You haven't got far to go. <laughs> oh, and then we've got Heather as well. Uh, Jimmy's offered to reenact Heather ghost scenes with her. <laughs> he Heather, I like this one. Heather's going to do a knit and natter. She's going to bring her knitting skills to the community. Can I be the first on the list there? She wants to live at number 28, but somebody's already in there. Uh, we're going to have 28A and 28B. You're going to be flat, mate, so that's good. <laughs> Marvellous. Love it, it. It is getting well out of control, this. I'm, I'm not going to lie. We, we didn't expect um, quite the response. We oh, well, we let Jimmy. He did say he'd be happy to live in one now, of the gardens. I must say, chairs, there's not a lot of people living in the old numbers. Jimmy go to number 36. Okay. Is that okay? Oh, is he going right next to the pub? Is that right next to the pub? More or less. It's a bit close it? to the pub, yeah. Oh, that's the a bit higher dangerous, you go up the then. street, the closer you get to the pub. The higher the numbers go, the closer oh. you get to the pub. Oh, goodness and me. And we've decided there's... I've made a whole map. We'll, we'll take a picture, we'll put it on social media. Can I, can I move in? Yeah, Have what I do got a be? number? Can I, I don't mind what number I'm in. I'll be the odd job man. I'll be the DIY odd job man. Right, well, we've decided that the sea's at one end and the pub's at the other. So do you want to be at the seaside end or the pub end? Oh, I'll be at the seaside end. Okay. Oh, that's the show house number, number one. one. You can have number one. Oh, yeah. that's the show house. Yeah, you might have to change the carpets. Is it kitted out? Obviously, yeah, but you might have to change the carpets because a few people will be okay. okay. That's all right. Yeah? That's okay. okay. Number one. Number one, that's where I live. <laughs> number one, Fantasy Street. Love it. We need a proper street name, so if you want to kind of pitch in with a proper street name rather than just Fantasy Street. 
And <laughs> <laughs> we can, uh, we'll go Diamond for suggested some names Excellent. for us. Oh, oh. Chanda Heights. That's good. Like that. No. <laughs> Not as a corner. Did I? <laughs> In, oh, I like this one as well. Imagination Nation. Well, yeah, all of those would be appropriate. <laughs> all of those. <laughs> oh, Nutter's Corner. That's where Hayley that's, lives herself, I yeah, think. That's about right. <laughs> <laughs> so, last night, uh, we, 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 the demos have gone off piste, I'm not going to lie. We started, uh, we started quite sensibly. And then we decided we'd make Scott a house to go on the street. So, what we've been doing is just using the... Because, um, obviously... If you're using the blenders in quilting, you can make something quite nice and sensible and it will look lovely and it will look fine. So this is a, a block that we did last night where we used some of the templates and we used a, a nine square patch and cut it up and then shuffled it around to make a disappearing nine patch which kind of moved lovely. everything around. They're often the brights, and, you know, aren't they? The brights brush strokes. Yes, those, yes. Yeah. So these are the bright brush strokes that we used in there. But then we took it a stage further and Scott decided he wanted a house. <laughs> so I have uh, cut out a piece which is going to be the background for the house and now we're adding all the bits and pieces. So last night we added some curtains and we did that just by um, stitching up one side kind of putting a load of pleats in, stitching along the top just to hold them in place. This side I've actually pulled back because we're going to put Scott peeping around the curtains because he's going to be our <laughs> nosy neighbour. Um, <laughs> and now I'm just adding the window frame over the top. So adding the window frame, I'm just folding up. I think I've made this one a little bit wider than it should be, but... Uh, oh, I've just folded both of those pieces underneath. If we've got time within demo to do the whole street. Not within anyway. the whole street. We'll do one big house. Okay. And that will be like the sample house. I mean, to have done 25 houses off plan last night, I think is pretty good, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Any estate agent would, would love to have us. It would, wouldn't it? There's 40, well, there's 40 houses in total, but some of them we are splitting into flats. Right, Because not okay. everybody wants a whole house, do you? True. Yeah. Oh, I've got no bungalows, I'm afraid. Um, uh, Jimmy's just asking me about bungalows. I should have just said that. Uh, well, the thing, the thing is, well, you can have a ground floor flat if you don't want to go upstairs, so it's fine. Um, but it's, it's a Victorian terrace. You've got nice high ceilings. Oh, nice. So, you know, it's not tiny flats. Oh. It's fine. <laughs> Do you know, we've still got 12 empty houses there. We don't need to extend on the street just yet. We've still got room no, for it's, a few it's more. No, it's an exclusive community. Once they're gone, they're gone. You can't, you can't get in after that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, all I'm doing now is adding the bits in to create that uh, window. So, well, I've lost my windowsill. I had a windowsill oh, no. as well. I've lost my windowsill, Catherine. Oh, no. This is terrible news. You need a window <laughs> box as well. So, well, <sighs> so <laughs> my windowsill, I'm going to make slightly wider at the bottom, and then I'm going to cut some little kind of diagonals off there. So let's get it okay. roughly the right size first. And then... Because um, we, I originally last night was going to zigzag these in with satin stitch, but A, it's going to take me way too long, and B, I'm just got a dark thread so that I could have a kind of more sketched, yeah, kind of sketched out feel. So I'm going to then trim the edges off of here so we get some nice diagonals on, so we get a little bit of perspective on there as well. And I need from there. Now, probably it would be a better idea to actually draw those on first and make sure they were nice and even. But there you can... I need to flatten the curtains out a little bit. There we go. Okay. You see, it's just kind of yeah, giving lovely. that little bit of kind of 3D dimension to it. And because I haven't stitched this side down, I can actually kind of slide Scott in a little bit later. <laughs> we're going to make him with his little, with glasses on and everything. It's going to be great. Um, <laughs> But what we've got going on is just using those fabrics to create something that's more kind of art quilting based. Because okay, yeah. you can see that these will work perfectly in your kind of normal scenario. But even for the little leftover bits, this is a great thing to do with all your leftovers. Definitely. It's a brilliant thing to do. So I'm going to uh, just stitch the other side of this on. So line it up, get it. It's not pressed as, as well as it could be, but it's... It's a little bit, it's, it's an older house, it, it can be wonky, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to pop some more pins in there and then just do a little running stitch that's going to come all the way up one side, around the top and down the other just to secure this all in place. Okay. Now, oh, 
We've got another name for the street. Maybe it should be called, apparently, Spencer says, Electric Avenue. Oh, Ooh. I quite like an idea of an avenue. Mm. Oh, but we're a cul-de-sac. Oh. Does that affect the name? I, does it? Or do you just stick cul-de-sac on the yeah, end of it? Aven yeah, Avenue should leave somewhere, I suppose. And Scott's band we've, got another, we've got another new apparently. name we're wanting to move in, though. Sylvia. Sylvia Allen. She can come. She's got many talents. <gasps> Have we, we got totally a gardener yet? No, we haven't got a gardener. You're in, Sylvia. <laughs> You're in, definitely. Number 18, will that do? Hopefully? Yeah, perfect. They're all the same. We've made them all the same. So, you know, nobody's, nobody's got a better one than anybody else. They're all the same size and stuff, so it could be fine. <gasps> Who lives in the pub? Does somebody actually live in there? Uh, well, Brig and Dave are entertainment in the pub now. Are they? Yeah, they, they joined in as entertainment in the pub last night. They've already moved in. Oh. <laughs> Sounds good to me. The Duck and Dog, yeah. that's the name of the pub. Yeah. <laughs> it had to be, didn't it? Well, well, we figured that they were going to be the majority of the pets on the street. Aww. Ducks and dogs. <laughs> on some it's, things it's a pet-friendly street. Oh, it is. It's a pet-friendly street. We had to work out a, a method of separating the dogs, ducks from the dogs, just in case there was any fatalities. Um, but we've, we think we've done that. Um, I think we're going to put a kind of uh, pond, duck house in the middle of the pond, yeah. so that they're, they're separate. So it's Perfect. Fine. Sounds yes. good to me. It's all, it's all sorted. We've got it under control. Scott and I have had extensive planning meetings about this. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> last night, that's what we were doing. In between the shows, we had a proper meeting about um, what was going on with the fantasy street that we'd invented. It's uh, it's very uh, it's got it's got out of control. That's all I can say. As it regularly does, oh. Catherine. As it regularly does. Do you know I can just visualise this trip when we're all at home together. We're gonna have one heck of a party when this COVID thing well, is all over. Oh yeah, it? the street party's already organised. Is it, oh, That's is been it? the first thing we organised. <laughs> The, the post-COVID street party was thing number one. And there's, a, there's no noise after 11 o'clock unless we're all having a street party together, then all bets are off. Do you know what we've <gasps> got? I've got to make an apology, actually, because Spencer, who we emailed in, I'm so sorry, Spencer, I can only tell you or voice what I'm hearing in my ear. And someone made a little mistake. I prefer this one. It wasn't Electric Avenue, it was Eclectic. Perfect. That's it. That works very well, That's it. it? That's the name. Got it. <gasps> Spencer, well done. We've well got it. Well done. We like that a lot. <laughs> so when I'm, I'm, I'm just putting the top of the window on now, and what I've done is I've just kind of folded those corners in a little bit. I don't know if you can just see there. I have just folded them in a little bit on that corner just to create a little bit of a diagonal okay. so that when I add them on the top there, it kind of tapers in yeah. towards the, the window frame. <laughs> it's coming it's coming together quite nicely i'm, I'm quite happy with it to be honest <laughs> so i'm gonna get the top on we'll put a windowsill on and then we'll hide a little peeping around the corner scott in <laughs> what, will he be in for final call me no oh scott. scott i think he is in for final call yes actually in his house um yeah i'll make sure He'll he's make in his sure house for final oh, call we'll get another win a couple of windows on uh he wanted some ivy so um we'll probably use some of the green and create some some ivy up the side. I'll see if we've got this some is green the thing with the one-day well. special here. We've got so many beautiful fabrics, beautiful colours. Yeah, we've you gone really, off. We've gone off your imagination. Piece. Yes, we have gone, gone off wild. Piece, I'm, I'm not going to lie, but you know, totally patched. I've got some lovely quilty patchworky things, and there's they other have. people with lovely things. So uh, you know, it's nice sometimes to go off piece. We've well, we're well past the piece now. <laughs> <laughs> we're long past the beast, but um, <laughs> it's nice to have a little bit of a play and to do something a little bit different with it. And I mean, all of the things that we're doing here, these don't have to be just kind of standalone. These could then be put into a bag, put into a cushion, put into a quilt. It doesn't just have to be a, a standalone random art quilting piece. It can be added in to other bits. Now, I've got some fluffy bits off the top of me uh, curtains there, which I'm just going to trim off before we start. I think I can hide them a little bit better. I've got to ask, if I'm living at number one by the sea, who's my neighbour then? If I'm the first one, uh, who's, who's in number, number two? three? Oh, are we going in our numbers? Nobody's in number... You're on the other side. Oh. Uh, uh, there's... 
uh, I think Scott's at number four because uh, oh, Kaz is at number two. Odd numbers go up one side, even numbers go up the other side. Um, I'm in six. Scott's in four. Right. Uh, Janice is in fourteen. Twelve. She's in number twelve. There's Close nobody enough. at number three who wants to be my neighbour. Let us know. And what <laughs> skill have you got? Uh, what do we need, actually? What, what, is there anything we're missing? I think we could do with some kind of plumber handyman. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll, I'll do the odd jobs, but I'm not <gasps> like a, tra Ted a proper Glenn tradesman. Like in what? Postman Pat. A what? Ted Glenn in Postman Pat. Oh, that's what yes, we need. Oh, yes, yes. Leave it with him. He'll a proper fix tradesman. it tradesman. Yeah, yeah, that's what we oh. need. Oh, now, there's a Catherine with a C who's emailed in, and she says, apart from several crafty interests, she can also offer... Anti-aging beauty You're therapy. In. <laughs> You're in. Do you want to live at number three? Come and live next door to me. <laughs> Two Catherines together, yeah. You'll keep oh, me young. double Catherines. Love it. <laughs> Catherine with a C, number three. Oh, dear. It's so far out of control now. I'm really sorry. Oh, dear. Oh. I'll, have to, I'll have to ring up uh, the Fabric Freedom people and apologise. <laughs> Yeah. Right, okay, so I've added in my, I'm just going to pop that needle butt down, I've added in the top of my windows and adding the, the darker thread on the top gives it that kind of hand-drawn sketched feel and if we've got enough time we will get this made into something in its own right. So let me just put a little right. fix on that. And just a reminder for everybody watching, if you're loving the fabric Haley's working with, it is, of course, the brights with the brush strokes. That's the option for you as well. You can see the options I've got, actually. Uh, in fact, we're looking at brights on the screen and also the lights there as well. We've got both of them. So we can see the different options, actually, for all of the One Day Special, in fact. Oh, I do love those. Oh, there's Jimmy's favourite as well. We've got two options on each rail, so you have got those different ones to look at on the website as well. Beautiful colourways. So many of these fabrics will mix and match together perfectly. And what an amazing saving of £25. 215611, of course. Well, That's your item number. I'm, I'm just making decisions, and I need an input, please. OK. OK, so um, I've, I've done the window, and now I'm going to put the window sill on. And because Scott's peeping out, what I might yeah. do is leave this... Yes, I think you should. Hanging out. Definitely. So you can see him. So the wind's blowing in and he's peeping out. Yes. Yeah? yeah. Leave yeah. that out? Looks like okay. there were sashes up on the window and there's a nice breeze coming from the sea. Excellent. Seat. Okay. That's fine. So to keep that out of the way, now I will probably need to either hem that edge or do something with that edge, even just run a little zigzag along the bottom of it because I've tried to know. change my mind halfway through. I don't know, Hayley. I've heard about Scott's curtains. Have you? They're not very well finished. Are no. they not? But no, if so I want to wash I it... You know, if I'm making it into a project, not this is not uh, aspersions on Scott here. This is just practically, if I'm making this into a project and I want to wash it, I probably will need to seal that edge in some way. So um, what I'll probably do is just before I add this bottom bit, I'll just add a little zigzag stitch onto the bottom of there just to help seal that off. Okay. All the other option I've got is to put a, just a tiny weeny hem on it. Yeah. Just to, you know, just to could stop you, it from fraying. Could you go with the tiniest bit of fabric glue or would it notice? Uh, no, you can put, you could put a tiny bit of fabric glue on if you wanted to as well. So um, you, you've got a couple of different options. I think for speed, we're probably just going to uh, leave it and crack on. But now what I need to do is the little uh, windowsill that I've got going on at the bottom here, I just need to turn a couple of little edges on that. And I'm just putting tiny, tiny little turns on here. I've got an idea, Hayley. I'm just stitch because I'm stitching so close to the edge. I'm not too worried about having a huge amount. And this is a great way to use up all those little bits and pieces that have been kind of hanging around. Yeah. Art quilting is such fun. Once you get into it and you kind of get into that whole um, designing bit, and we've got some stuff coming next year actually that kind of gives you a little bit of a, a head start on it. So it gives you oh, a nice. background to follow and then you're adding your own bits and pieces into it. But you can see there, it's already starting to kind of come to life because you've got that little bit of movement in there. You've got that popping back. I'll probably put a little well, plant on there. Well, I think when you do Scott peeping out, I think he should have a little hand as well. 
okay. with a needle and thread, and he can be sewing his own hem. He can be fixing oh, his own curtains. His own hem <laughs> on his curtains. I think you put, um, you're pushing my skills now, Catherine. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> well, talking of skills, no skill intended for the next uh, little reminder. I'm just going to remind you about the happy hour deals, actually, because we haven't got long left. Remember, the happy hours will go up in seven minutes' time. So we do have the charm squares left in the lime option. So this is this one here. This is the Tropica in design. Those beautiful colours in there. There we go. You know, there's much more than lime in there. And then, of course, we've got Noah's Ark in the sky option left. I am just going to very quickly just pick up the one. This one has sold out the aqua, but just so you can see a little bit more of the designs that you're getting in here because that beautiful stripe's included in there. You've got Noah's Ark. You've got, uh, you know, some are upside down in this one, so I'm just going to turn that around. But the designs are the same in the sky. You've just got that different colour palette running through it beautiful remember price going up again both of those happy hour deals 467901 is for the jelly roll there at 19.99 you are saving 10 pounds right back over to Hayley okay now that is all sorted and it is just getting pinned in place right now so I'm going to leave that one side of the curtain uh, out flapping in the breeze but because I don't want to catch it when I'm sewing along here I'm just going to actually pin it up out of the way for now um, there we go let's just pin that up out of the way and then make sure that's nice and flat so the next step is just to sew all the way around that windowsill and get that properly in place but I don't think we're going to have time to do that in this hour because we've got about 45 seconds left we certainly have where has the time gone again well we're messing about with fantasy streets oh well eclectic we're, avenue eclectic avenue yeah, yeah. Do a lot. i'm going to put that on my sat nav see if it takes me there to number one uh, you know, i've i've been lost several times and i found a Haley street once when they got lost you? yeah i found really? a Haley street in manchester oh wow do you know you never know what you're going to find on this sat nav then do you <laughs> we're back together again <laughs> that, later was on, that was a to z mate that was a while ago <laughs> <laughs> do check those baskets out. Do continue looking at the website. Don't miss out on those happy hours or the ones we've got left, of course. The prices are going up very, very soon. Uh, do you know, we'll be back a little bit later. I'm going to go shopping now and measure up for some curtains, I think. <laughs> Oh, lovely hour there. We've got another fabulous hour ahead. We've got bag making with Mrs. H and Emmeline. And then we've got Sunday Savers. Join me for that one. And then we've got Totally Patched Christmas. Very busy show this morning. Hi, I'm Abs from Orange Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colours, textures and creating depth and dimension. Holland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We pride ourselves with high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different sizes and formats. In my shows at Hachanda, I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Holland Create shows on Hachanda. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favourite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it. Now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. 
Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the Added Channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with the Chanda is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please, don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on a Chanda. Hi, we're the team from Daisy B Stamps. My name's Nina, this is Josie, and this is my dad Roy. And we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. So three years ago, we decided to embark on turning our own designs into polymer stamps. We're really excited about where this is going to take us in the future and how we can evolve those designs and keep bringing you something that's just so, so different. So we wanted to add an extra element to our stamp collection and this was down to Josie using her iPad and hand drawing the amazing sentiments that we now have in our collection. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. So make sure you don't miss the Daisy V shows on Hachanda. Again. Now, I'm super excited because I am joined by, um, uh, and, well, no, you've been on once before, haven't you, Lynn? Once before, yes. This yes. is my second time. But this is the first time that uh, we have worked together. Uh, and so I was wondering if you could tell us a little bit about Mrs. H and Emmeline. Yes, <laughs> I can. That's all right. So Mrs. H, um, she makes bag patterns. That right. is what she does. She designs the bag patterns. Uh, she has quite a large selection and I am one of her pattern testers mm -hmm. so she has a team of us that whenever she creates a new design yeah. she'll send us out the design and we'll work through it with her to make sure that it's exactly right ready for production yeah. um, and Emmeline um, that is a hardware company mm -hmm. so the lady who runs that is Janelle and she creates really lovely super good quality hardware um, which teams really great with Mrs. H's bags. Wonderful. And what about your crafty background? Um, I've always been a crafter. <laughs> I've actually, um, bag making, I've been doing for about six years now. Right. Um, but before that, I've always sewn and knitted uh -huh. and done all that kind of thing. It's just it's the thing that I've always wanted to do. Yeah. So. Absolutely, and now we've yeah. got it here on Hachanda. Yeah. Marvellous. Right then, so let's show you these patterns, and you've also brought in some wonderful finished samples for us as well. Um, so we're going to start off with the um, wallet. This is the gentleman's wallet pattern, and you can see some of the samples here. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of slots, isn't there, for your cards and whatnot in here? Yeah. Let's just open this one up so you can see. Lovely fabrics as well. There's a nice little window as well. Some people like to do put business cards there, don't they? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Very nice. Oh, um, uh, Webster has just said in my ear he puts his driving license there. There you go. <laughs> Not a bad plan. <laughs> yeah. there's, so, there's some really, really nice samples here. There you go. Now, 
on Mrs H's website you can also um, see the patterns to make zips is that right is yeah there's just there's an additional free pattern that you can download okay um, I actually wrote and I need to update it and I meant to do that oh, to before today but <laughs> it's absolutely fine to use it now and that will just help if you want to add on that little fastener mm -hmm. Um, and also a zipped pocket instead of the slots that are on the left hand side. Lovely. Uh, there you go. Here is the pattern then. This is what you're going to be getting. Uh, just $9.99. Item number is 545879. Um, and just like you. It, you literally, it's really nice and comprehensive, these, isn't it, these patterns? And you get in the templates as well? Absolutely, yeah. You get, you get the pattern pieces in there. Yeah. And also, what I find especially useful for this pattern is that you, um, you get, um, what are they called? The, the little labels that oh. you put on your pieces yeah. so that you can see exactly which piece is which, because it can get confusing with all the rectangles. Okay. Um, so I pin these to everything so I know exactly which piece that I need, needs to go where. Good stuff. Um, would you say, could a beginner do this or do you need to know, have a um, reasonable amount of knowledge? Absolutely. This, in its basic form like this, it is quite an easy pattern to do. Mm -hmm. You have to concentrate. Like I said, I've done this pattern about 10 times and I still have to concentrate on what I'm doing. But um, all the bags that you see today are suitable yep. for beginners oh, good. to make. Excellent stuff. Uh, 9 99 then for that pattern. Uh, then the next pattern that we are getting, so this is the ring sling bag. Uh, again, have a little look at the pattern and then you've popped on a really nice um, sample for us here. Let's have a little look. It's a nice, nice size bag, isn't it? Yeah, it's a good handbaggy handbag size. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Nice, very nice indeed. So that is the pattern. Oh, well, that's the sample, I should say, and you'll get the pattern for that. Hang on, let's open. Has that got up. the rose gold hardware? I can't see from over here, but um, yes, it's, it does. It's lovely, lovely colour. That it's also called copper. It, people use it interchangeably, rose yeah. gold and copper, but it's a really lovely colour. There you go. Have a little look. You can just see that that colour there, because you can get the hardware. That's at the bottom of the screen, of course. So yeah, nice size bag. Obviously, we've just padded this out, but um, little zip in the back there like so marvelous so if this is your sort of thing and it's also got that sort of boxed bottom it has got a box bottom and the the thing about this pattern is it's made slightly differently so it's not a front and a back right stitched together it's a, a side and a side oh. um, I don't know if you can see because the the fabric used on there it's not so obvious there's one behind you as well with some purple and blue flowers and this a, a silk yeah might be able to see a little bit better, I'm not sure. Okay. Um, not just the construction's slightly different. E each bag that she designs right. has a slightly different method of construction, just to make it interesting. Yeah, that's cool. And then there's sewn down there and sewn down there. Lovely stuff. Uh, 11 99 for that pattern. Item number is 159494. Here's the hardware uh, if you want to get this. So you're getting the O-rings, the sliders, Zip ends all there. Uh, so there's your hardware for 1499. 706435 is your item number. Then moving on, we've got the reversible. I love reversible things. <laughs> Just because you get two for one. You know? Exactly, yeah. yeah. Love that. So again, let's um, pick this up so you can see. It's th this is an even bigger bag. Here you go. Let's have a little look inside. So, all right, so you've got the sort of clasp at the front. Yeah. There you go. Um, mm. So the finished size is 15 inches. So maybe um, even a small laptop will go in there. Yeah, it's yeah. quite a substantial size. It is, isn't it? Um, yeah, and it's great just to whack over your shoulder, that one. Nice slouchy bag. Yeah. And there's two pockets. There should be two zip pockets on that one. Lovely. Yeah, well, there's one here. Obviously, you can make it as you want. Yeah. So everything is an option. Good stuff. So for that pattern, uh, 1199 item number is 187242 and then uh, the hardware again to go for this this is 1599 so you've got the triangle and the swivel snap hooks there you go 1599957562 then moving along the companion carpet bag again another really nice size yeah yeah 
Really good. Really sturdy, actually, this one. Yeah, it's a lovely bag. I actually, the, the time I was here before, I demoed oh, the carpet you? bag. Yeah. Um, it's deceptively simple, actually, to make oh, really? a carpet bag. Um, I showed last time how to put a frame in. It, it sews up really quickly, and there's two sizes of the carpet bag. And here we go. Both oh. sizes. Got to get out. Oh, it's inside. It's inside. Okay. Oh, you did open that up and got a bit of a surprise. There you go. Um, yeah, they they sew up really nicely, and you can use whatever fabrics you like. You can have a nice tweedy fabric, or you can just go with the quilting yeah. cotton. Excellent. There you go. Um, so you can make those two different sizes. Uh, it's eleven ninety nine. Item number is eight four seven four two zero. So again, so what um, what do we call this hardware that clasps together here? The frame. Ah, it's so, literally yeah. just called a frame. Right. Yeah. Um, and there are two sizes. I think it's the twelve inch for the large bag and yep. the eight inch for the smaller bag. Excellent. Fourteen ninety nine then for the carpet bag hardware kit. There it is. So for the small, here we are. Details onto the screen, 1499, 713125, and then for the large hardware of your clasp, that is 1599, 253778. Next up then we've got the saddle bag. Here we go. I love all these different designs. <laughs> they're all yeah. really cool. Look at that. Is this one an easy one to make? Um, as I said before, they're all perfectly easy to make. Um, I love the shape of that one. It's lovely and curvy, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Um, it makes a lovely present for Christmas if you were thinking of making something. You've got a little bit of time left, yeah, haven't we? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> and again, open this up. But right, this is like, I feel like Russian dolls here. Look at that. It's there tucked all inside. Uh, so there you go, three different sizes. Small, medium and the large. There you go. The small is 9 inch, the medium is 12 inch, and the large is 14 inches. 11.99, item number is 337000. And again, for the hardware, let's give you those details for this bag. 11.99, and you get quite a lot of um, hardware in this kit. 11.99, So you've got sliders, metal clasps, rings, it's all there for you. Next then, we've got the squiffy. Why is it called the squiffy? Because it's just because it's a little bit of an angle. It's a bit squiffy. Oh, that's yes, all. yes, it is, yeah. isn't it? A little bit different there. Um, loving the buckle. It's nice, isn't it? It's yeah. a nice feature. That's a really nice feature. Liking that. And then so for this pattern, if I just give it a little twizzle round so you can see it in it, all its glory. 11.99, item number is 325691. And the hardware for this is $15.99. Here you go. Item number then is uh, 465407. So this time you're getting the magnetic snaps and the sliders and the rings. And then last but not least, we've got um, a book here. So the complete bag making masterclass. <laughs> I like that. What a nice gift to give. And let's have a flip. And I know you were saying that some of the bags, the examples are Yeah, I me. haven't had a chance to make all the bags. I think there's eight patterns in that book, which is really good value, actually. Um, um, it's, it's a reference book, is what it is. Although you get the patterns inside it, it gives you examples of how to do all the different aspects of making bags. Right. So patterns, um, you get the patterns in there, but you yeah, also... Can see there's lots of Templates. methods for you know adding zips and right. doing pockets yep. and all the things that you need and so you can mix and match and you know make them as you like them. Excellent, look at that. And so yes, behind me, um, the one uh, that one is the hobo bag. I think it's called. Mm -hmm. um, you see there, uh, oh, piped so hobo is what it's called. That's right. And then the uh, the sort of pewter one. Um, that's the crisscross bag, I think. Just that one. Yep. Yeah. I really like that as well. I might have to pick this There's one. lots of pockets in there. It's like tons of pockets inside that one. And they all look so professional. They really do, don't they? Yeah. Marvellous. Then for the book, 1699. Item number is 638074. Do give us a call, 01733602000, or have a look on the website at hachanda.com. Uh, here we go, here's the website just so that we can show you some of the seven day savers as well as the patterns.
Okay, the, I've just been told the seven day savers, they are new, they launched this morning, uh, but we're having a bit of trouble with the link. But anyway, I'm sure we'll, we'll get that up to you as soon as possible. Um, now, if you'd like to ask Lynn any questions, um, if you've got a, if you're a big Miss H fan and you'd like to show us the bag, any bags that you've made, of course you can send your pictures to studio at tachanda.com or you can pop them onto our Facebook page. Right then, where would you like to start, Lynn? Okay, well, actually I'll start at the beginning on this one. Why not? <laughs> just, I don't always do that. So I'm just going to do a demo of parts of the gentleman's wallet. Uh -huh. So this is what I'm going to be doing here. Um, when you start making the wallet, I've got my pattern here because even though I'm on the telly, I still need a pattern in front of me. <laughs> so, the first part of the pattern, you have um, the uh, right card slots. Okay, so apparently it can get quite confusing with all the markings to make the, these right card slots here. Um, so, I'll just take, okay, so the this is obviously, I've had a little go at this already because of mm -hmm. time constraints. So it's simply a long rectangle. Yeah. And on the pattern, you will notice that it's wrong side up. Sorry, this fabric frays a lot and I don't know why I chose a grid pattern at all because you can see every mistake. So first thing you would do on the wrong side of your fabric, right top. You don't have to do that, mm -hmm. but obviously it helps to the confusion if there is any. Then it will show you on the pattern that there are lines marked every so often down here. And to make it more obvious, we've got them in different colours. Blue, red, blue, red, blue, red. Right. And these indicate where we're going to be folding. Um, so I'm not going to tell you the measurements. There's no point at this stage. It is on the pattern. Mm -hmm. So what you would do... I'm going to get a little bit of this interfacing. So in order to make these card slots a bit more stable, we're going to put some interfacing on. And the interfacing goes on the red lines, which you can see here, it's slightly below, just about um, a millimetre below the line to help it be stabilised when it folds. So I'm just going to iron the last one on here. If my iron is on, yeah, it's on. Perfect. Okay, it yep. doesn't have to be completely secure at this point um, because because I've used friction pen, which will disappear when I iron it. Got um, I'm not doing a full iron; it's just to hold it in place. So then you need to start thinking about the folding. What I tend to do, as you can see here, I've put pins in mm -hmm. just to help me um, with the folding. So the first line is more obvious you turn your fabric over and you fold down on the blue line so this is obviously the front of the fabric press it in place now I'm gonna have to be slapdash about this normally I'd really take my time right. and make it all lovely and even but obviously we've got time constraints yeah don't worry so at this point we're not doing that we're gonna turn it over again uh -huh. So the next line, you're going to be folding in the opposite direction. Now, what Mrs. H suggests is a Hera marker, which is one of these little plastic things. You don't have to use this. This can help. I'm not going to use it because I'm leaning on a, a woolen mat and you need a solid surface. But what you would do with this is it, it's like scoring. Um, so you would place it on your line, score down it, mm -hmm. and it makes it easier to fold over. Right. Um, so I actually did this on advance. The, the, they've been scored already. So then you would fold on this line and obviously as well as the scoring, my pins are there to indicate the edges of the lines yep. to help me get it in the right position. So press that as well. And then we continue on. So the next blue line is folding right sides together. Okay, yep. and the next line, wrong sides together. It's kind of like a concertina. It is like a concertina, yes. And I, I'm 
like I said, I'm being a little bit slapdash, but the, what you really need to do is concentrate on getting the exact measurements, measurements if you can here, right. to make it perfect when you actually do the folding. So just take your time with it. Yeah, not like I'm doing right now. <laughs> Don't worry, we're on it. <laughs> so, and obviously at this point as well, I am securing that interfacing that I put on earlier as well, yeah. because I'm eyeing it again. So I take the pins out and put them wherever I put my pin tray. So then we have, looks like this, and then on the back it looks like this. So I'm gonna do this from the back. We fold over there, and then lift, and then lift, and it all comes into ah. place. That, I'm not sure if you actually saw what happened there, because <laughs> it was a bit quick. But if you have ironed it, then it will sit in the right position. Yeah. And after you've done that, then you want to be a little bit more accurate with your measuring. Because um, this is the point where you need them to be, you know, equal. So I would, what I do at this point is I use my quilting ruler to just position. Um, the little slots are half an inch apart. So I'm not going to do it properly here, but I'm just showing you how I do it to make it nice and neat. Press it again mm -hmm. on the top. Yep. And then what we're going to do, I'm just going to do one. We sew across the top with a top stitch. Um, I do that a slightly longer stitch for top stitch. Actually, I'll do all three because it's, it's quite quick. And I have got one I made earlier that I can work with. Um, now, with the um, booklet, the, what was the booklet, with the book, just, um, just while Lynn's doing that bit, uh, we are a quarter of the stock gone. Uh, it's a really, really nice Christmas gift. And as you were saying, such good value, Lynn, because... Absolutely, yeah, eight patterns. Yeah. What's that work? That's like just over two pounds per pattern. That is superb, superb value there. Um, little flick through again, just so you can see. Uh, it's really clear pictures. You've got all about zip closures, tips and tricks. It's all there, and then you've got templates in the back as well. So it's a, it's a good old gift. Okay, back to you, Lynn. Where you okay, to? right. Well, I've sewed. I've top stitched along the top. And then again, just to be sure, measure it again, make sure you've got half an inch between them. The total um, depth of this should be about four and a quarter inches. But what I do find yeah. is that when you're using folds, you lose a little bit of fabric each time. So right. it might be more like four and an eighth, but it doesn't matter because it will all come out in the wash as long as everything is nice and straight and there's not too much difference and you've got your half inch between them um, that's what you want it to look like so I've, I've sewed up the side I've basted up the sides on a piece that looks the same here okay. to be a bit quicker as you can see I've used a long stitch I'm not sure if it says this in the pattern but I like to baste everything because you can shift so easily these little card slots and mm -hmm. it's it looks wonky and it doesn't look so professional when you've finished it so we've gone through all these pages then you want to take your um where they gone the card back yep um could have done with an iron beforehand there we go give it a little go there so your card back is facing right side up then you want to take your right card slots like this place them on top so as you can see there's a tiny little bit of difference so I've just placed it centrally and I've just lost that when I've done the folding it's not a big deal just try and make it as accurate as possible at this point and we are going to sew down this edge so that when we open it the seam will be on this left hand side so I'll just do that now we Mrs H generally uses three-eighths of an inch seam okay 
on everything. But that should also be in the pattern. Then, it right? will be yeah. in the pattern. It always states at the beginning. That's good. I believe that's a centimetre for those that use metric. We sort of mix and match. I, <laughs> I don't know why. But um, there will always be the metric conversions in there. Yeah, okay. Okay, so then what we're going to do is just trim it down. We do what's called grading the seams because we don't want bulk in mm -hmm. the seams. And for this, there's only two things to grade. So I'm just going to cut down the bulky bit, which is the right card slots. And try not to cut anything I shouldn't. Okay. So then fold it back over, give it a bit of a press. Uh -huh. Um, and at this point, I tend to use clips, and of course, I haven't put my clips somewhere handy. Where are they? They're in a safe place. Uh, yeah, safe place. <laughs> Here's some clips. Um, I like to put clips on here just to push it into the right position. You can okay, ro roll it. Yeah, right. rolling it between your fingers tends to get it in the right place. Mm -hmm. These are great little gifts to make for people, aren't they? Yeah. Perfect little stocking stuffers. They're great and they're quite quick and they're good for, you know, they're good for kids as well with their mm. little first wallets and stuff. Yeah. Okay, so then just press it all down and then we're going to baste up the mm -hmm. other side. And that is your right card slots done. Perfect. So then you put them to one side for the moment. The left card slots are made in a similar way. Have I got time to quickly oh, yeah. show that? Yeah, we've got loads um, of time. Okay, where's the left card slots? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, I've got little bits of fabric all over the place. Okay, left card slots. As you can see, I've got my label on it because I'm hopeless and I look at it and I'm like, what bit's that? So, left card slots are there. Mm -hmm. We've done it in the same way. Turn it over so the... Um, wrong side of the fabric is facing up. Yep. Right top on it, just so you've got a clue about what you're doing. First line I've done in blue, second line I've done in red. Again, I've put a little strip of woven interfacing about a millimetre below the red line, and that is just to stabilise it. And then we do turn it over and fold this way on the blue line, so right side to right side. Yep. Press it. Turn it over again, we're well, seeing the wrong side again. I would put pins in here like I did before and also use your hair marker if you want to to score it to give you a good idea of where your line is. Actually, this fabric is so thin I can see where I've marked the Frickson pen. Mm -hmm. Just be careful if you're using a pen that disappears when you apply heat because right. it can reappear. Okay. Um, obviously, it was minus three this morning, so you don't want a wallet that suddenly, ah, what's all those lines? It does happen, so you, even though the lines disappear, mm -hmm. just be aware. Okay. So again, we're going to sew top stitch along the top. Just change the settings on here. You know, you don't need a fancy sewing machine or anything no. to make these. You can make every single one of these bags on a standard domestic machine. Yeah. Um, I said this on the last show as well, but I haven't always had a fancy machine. Mm -hmm. I've had a £100 machine initially, and I made all these bags. Not all of them. <laughs> these aren't all of mine either, but a lot of bags on that. Um, it is easier if you've got a heavier duty machine to make any bag, to make anything, to be honest. Yeah. But it can all be done in domestic, so that, what about that is not an hand issue. hand stitching this? <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> you can. <laughs> Take a long time. I personally would not hand stitch this. No. Um, anything can be hand stitched again, but I really wouldn't advise that. Life's too short. Eh? Life is okay. too short, and it, it can take a good eight hours to make a bag with a machine, so I can't even imagine how long it would take to do it by hand. Okay. Um, have I got a... I'm just looking. What you have I thought I had a little bit that I'd made already. I haven't... It doesn't matter, actually, because this is quite a basic piece. So, again, just measure it. Okay. 
Yeah. Base down the side. So oh. very nice and sort of straightforward. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Perfect. Um, again, details for this pattern are on the screen, just nine ninety nine. Um, and then you can make as many as you like. What's uh, what's Mrs H's angel policy? Can we make these to sell? Absolutely. She loves you to make things from her patterns. Uh -huh. um, she has Facebook groups where you can get support and also post pictures of what you made, right. which is really helpful for other members of the groups as well. Um, so as many times as you want, make these patterns. She it's loves it. <laughs> Don't be afraid. Um, Okay, I think that's it for now for this little slot, and then I'll do the next bit okay. later, if that's all right. Lovely stuff. I will do a quick recap then. So let's have a look at the wallets. There you go. Have a little look. The nice little slots there. They do look really professional, don't they? Look at that. Loads of little slots for your cards. There you go. Or business cards, or whichever. Um, you can totally personalise it, pop somebody's initials on there or a little bit of embroidery. So you can, you can keep going with it. Um, here we are. This one's got lots of little cards in as well. Funky fabrics, liking that. Obviously, I think this is also great projects for maybe any scrap materials that you've got because it's a little project. Um, by the looks of it, you know, it doesn't use that much fabric. Now, on the website... You can get the add-on pattern, should you wish, to do the fastening. And inside the zip, hang on, let's open this up. There you go. Uh, nice little coin purse there as well. Uh, right then, uh, 9 99 for the pattern. Item number is 545879. Marvellous. Then we've got the ring sling bag, for the pattern that is. So again, have a little look and see... If you like the shape of this one, it's got a nice boxed bottom. Um, the hardware is also on the website for this, but there you go. Nice size bag, this one. Okay, the hardware at the bottom of the screen, it's kind of got like a nice rose gold feel to it. But yeah, the hardware is at the bottom of the screen at um, $14.99. Ah, okay, I'm being told we've got the silver option, not the rose gold. Okay, uh, and then at the side of the screen, we've got the bag pattern itself 11.99159494 next then we've got the reversible bag love a reversible bag Ooh, 15 inches wide so a really nice size of um of bag so if you're like me and you carry around a lot of stuff then this is good but it could definitely get in your tablet or a small laptop to be honest now the hardware is at the bottom of the screen again so you'll get the clasp here um, Lottie's just saying, which I totally agree, that it's nice if you've got fabric with a big print like this because the bag is such a nice size. Nice, nice, nice. You can see there's a zip there. Uh, 1199 <clears throat> um, Next, we've got the carpet bag, and you're going to be able to make two different sizes. Let's do. 16 inch wide, and the eight and a half inch so let's show you these two and you can get the hardware for i do like the, the metal clasp the mouth as i like to call it um there you go let's give this a little bit of a swizzle the hardware for the small is now at the bottom of the screen so this is just small it's a really cute little bag isn't it now the large hardware or the hardware for the large bag that's 15.99 now at the bottom of the screen and then for this pat set of patterns they go uh, 11.99 at the side 847420 next then we have got the sassy sassy saddle uh, bag oh uh, this one's been very popular this hour. Um, you're going to be able to make three different sizes again. I love that they're all tucked inside each other. How cute is this? Hang on. Let's get them back out again. This one. So there's your medium. And then inside here, there's the small. How adorable are these? I feel like this is like for one for mum and one for the kids. <laughs> You've got your nine inch, which is that one. 12 inch which i'm just tucking back in like so and the 14 inch and just to show you also um, the pattern will tell you how to do the zip and then there's a couple of pockets 
where these pockets I always put my phone in. Perfect for your phone, keys, etc. Um, for your sassy bag, sassy saddle bag, it is eleven ninety nine, and at the bottom of the screen is the hardware, also eleven ninety nine. Next then, we've got the squiffy sling bag. I like this because it is on a jaunty angle, just the pattern of it. It's good, isn't it? There you go. Opening, opening. Hang on, she says. Oh, it's actually, there you go. Let's open this up. There's your buckle. Again, you can get, sorry about the bags in there. It's just to pad it out. But um, you can see that you'll be able to make, there's a pocket and a zip in there. But I do like this. Really like the style of it. Um, and if you're experienced, you could adapt it. You could put a zip across the top, most likely, um, or a zip at the back. You could add to it. 11 325 Ah, right, okay. So the star of the show today is the book. There you go. Really great value. Eight patterns for just 16.99. You can see on the front here, those two bags, patterns there, and then again on the back. Webster's just, just said she's got too many bags. No, you can never have too many bags. <laughs> right then, for the book, 1699. Item number is 638074. Uh, again, you can call us on 01733602000 or you can also shop by Brandy's, Mrs. H. There you go. I love that name. There you go. You can see all the patterns that we've got available for you today. Uh, Okie dokie. Um, without further ado then, um, what would you like to um, demonstrate for us now, Lynn? Okay, well, I'm going to continue on with the gentleman's wallet. Um, so we're going to do the ID pocket at this point. Cool. What I would say is, um, generally, I would use clear vinyl. I'm not sure if you, you can sort of see that reflected. Um, which is perfect, obviously, if you put ID in it, you can see it. For the purposes of the show, however, I've got some of this because you can see it a little yeah, bit better. Fair enough. Uh, you can, it's, it's still transparent, um, but I'm not sure I'd normally use that in a wallet. It's just that it's really tricky to see this on the show. If you are using clear vinyl at home, uh, try and cut it out on a coloured background so you can see what you're doing. Um, preferably on a, a cutting mat that has a grid on it, so you, yeah. again, it makes it a lot easier. So I'm just going to put that to one side. Okay, so the ID pocket, again, I've got it labelled up, mm -hmm. so I don't forget which bit it is. It's just two little rectangles here. So we need to cut out a window. So what we do to do for the window is we get one of our pens, and at the top, Again, right top, so we know where we're at. The top is an inch, and yep. then round each side, you've got to mark three quarters of an inch. Lovely. And this is to show us where we're going to sew yep. to make this window. And just to make it easier to cut the window out we're going to do diagonal lines from corner to corner which okay, will we will you start in the middle do you well what we do is we sew all around this rectangle yeah and then we use the um, diagonal lines to cut across right into the corners not so far that you snip the thread in the corner but far enough to get a nice um, crisp finish and I actually, you can mark a quarter of an inch in on these to show where you're going to cut as well. Okay. You don't have to, I, I do this by eye, but for here I'll just mark another quarter of an inch in. Yep. So I'm going to sew around the outer rectangle, just move that out of the way, sorry, reset the machine. So you're going on the line? So I'm going on the outer rectangle all the way around. Yep. I don't start in the corners, oh, I always start somewhere in the middle because um, if you start in the corners then you have a, a looser thread. So it's like more vulnerable? It's more, that's a good word, yeah. It's more vulnerable if you start in the corners. Just start in the middle or somewhere along that line and then sew all the way around the rectangle. Try and keep it neat. I'm wobbling a bit here but... Pretend you don't see that. 
just admire my lovely glittery nails. I know, I was actually. <laughs> I've got to have a bit of glitter. I've got shocking fingernails. I thought I'd better paint them for this. Um, now, if you want, um, I think we've got some clear PVC for that nice little pockety bit. We've got some on the website for $9.99. Uh, 1.5 metres. One and a half metres. That's a lot of wallets you're going to get out of that. <laughs> it's a lot of wallets. It is. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is. Um, okay, so I've sewn all the way around the edge. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just snip in with little scissors. which makes it a little bit easier. And then cut right to the corners of the, the diagonals. I'll repeat it. Do not snip the thread in the corner. That would really be a bit careful. disastrous. You'd have to do it again. Um, so just really take your time. A good a degree of concentration. <laughs> just so make sure you don't go over. I'll try not to stick my tongue out or do any of the things I <laughs> normally do when I'm concentrating. <laughs> right, so I've snipped into the corners. Then I marked a line a quarter of an inch in. That's just a, a guide because this is our seam allowance. Yeah. So I'm just going to snip along that line as well. So we're snipping off four little triangles here. So again, this is a really nice, easy project for okay. a beginner to do. See, normally I have a bin here and I'll just <laughs> dump my stuff, but put it there for now. Okay, so now we're going to press. Um, pressing can take a little time. I'm going to show you how I do it, just to try and make it as neat as possible, and then I'm going to pull in the blue Peter one I made earlier, because, because I probably would spend quite a while getting this neat. So I actually press the seam allowances first. Um, it just makes it neater when you turn it through. Mm -hmm. So I do... all four sides of your rectangle. Yeah, look, I've just ironed off where it says top. I should have done that in pencil, so... <laughs> but, um, I'll put that back on again in a bit. Yeah. So, turn it over and press the other four sides of the rectangle. Quite satisfying, actually. What, watching it? <laughs> or doing it? It's quite satisfying Very doing it. Um, Unless, unless you accidentally make a mistake and then it's not satisfying. Okay, so then we're going to push through one side to the other side. So I would take your top strip and push it through. Okay. All the way so the wrong sides are, are matching. What, how I would normally do this is I get a pin just to fasten one side together mm -hmm. then pull the other side through and I'd get a pin there and then if you just pull on those sides you can see that it's moving into position here so yeah. you just need to roll again and get this nice and sharp it's not particularly sharp but you can see what I'm saying and then yeah. I go to the other side and again I'd pin this is just the way I do it everybody has their own methods of making it work but I, I just find that Press and pin. Well, it's nice to see, you know, different um, styles, different styles yeah. of how people pop stuff together. Okay, so then again, take some time to roll it into position, not, don't just do what I did then. And then you can pull the shorter edges, press those into position as well. Uh, and then you need to take some time mm -hmm. to press out these little corners. They will flatten. Just get any dents out of the corners to make it nice and neat. Yeah. Okay, so then you've got your finished window. So what I'm going to do is cheat, as I said I was going to, and get the one that I pressed already. Right. Which is exactly the same, as you can see, as the one I've just done. In fact, it's gotten squashed while I've brought it here, so it's creased <laughs> as well. Let's ignore that. Okay, so this one's still got top marks on there. Yep. We're going to put another little bit of interfacing in. Um, right, how are we doing this? I'm going to turn it over here. 
So we want the interface. Where's my ruler? Here's my ruler. Um, just check this measurement. It's three eighths from the top. So three eighths of an inch from the top. Then we'll place yep. the interfacing there. Press it on. Yep, lovely. Okay. And then on the opposite side where it says top, we're going to trim off a quarter of an inch from that. So um, you can, I've marked it on with a pencil already. Um, I'm just going to trim it off. I say I've marked it on. I can't really see it, but hey ho. It's, it's all good. All good. So do you prefer to use scissors rather than rotary cutters? Um, actually, I use both, yeah. and normally I would use a rotary cutter for this, but I don't have any space or a mat at the moment, so I'm okay. using scissors. But it's such a, a little amount that it doesn't matter all that much. If okay. Obviously, it's a long strip, you would use a rotary because it's neater. Yeah. Um, but you will always get a neater finish, obviously, with a rotary blade. Mm -hmm. But in this instance, I'm not too fussed. So we turn it over again, and you can see there's now a shorter edge and a longer edge. So I've marked down a quarter of an inch on the side that I haven't cut down and I'm going to fold that over. I'm just going to press it. Um, my top tip here, not everybody likes glue. <laughs> it's not cheating if you use a bit of glue. It helps hold everything in place. Yes. Um, it makes it easier to see what you're doing. So make that nice and flat. You're folding the slightly longer edge over the top, and I would use just a little bit of glue along there. Right. Whatever you normally use when you're, you've got fabric, you can, there's ones that are the roll up ones, but this is what I have handy, and because of the small nozzle, it's easy to apply. Yeah, fine tip. So just fold it over, press it down, it should stick immediately, and uh -huh. it just makes it. She says, getting all over her fingers as usual. There we go. So that just presses down. So that's the front of your window. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to put in whatever you're using, your clear vinyl. In this case, it's not, you can hopefully see that on the camera. So we're going to fold it again, another quarter of an inch. And just press it this time. We're not going to sew it at this point. Okay. 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 Yep. It's not as accurate as I was like again. If you're at home, spend lots of time doing this, making it nice and neat. Take your little bit of vinyl. You, you're going to place that centrally mm -hmm. and push it to the top of where you've just folded. Yep. Again, my hint here, use a little bit of glue if you want to. Right. Just to make sure it stays in position. You need to be careful with vinyl because obviously if you put a pin in it, it's going to show, it's not yeah. going to disappear at any point, it will always be there, that mark. So you don't want to be pinning vinyl. You can use your clips, and, or you can use a little bit of glue, just to put it into position. I've got no idea what the front and back of this is, I'm assuming it's the same. I'll put a little bit along the top and then a little dab in the sides, mm -hmm. um, because you won't be able to see this in the wallet. Yep. Uh, just while you're gluing that down, just to say that our lovely book, 60% of the stock has gone. A really great value book. Only works out at uh, just over £2 per pattern, because you're getting eight patterns. So that is such good value. Again, I'll turn this around so you can see all the different types of bags. Marvellous. 16 99 for that. How are you getting on Okay, that? right. So I've pressed my vinyl into place. The top is folding over like this. Let me just double check my pattern to see I'm doing what I should be doing. So I'm going to sew along this top edge of the vinyl. Hopefully my machine doesn't say no to using this. Do you have to do a forward and back stitch or you don't have to then? Um, generally yes. But in this instance, because it's such a small piece of fabric and we're going to be sewing across these later anyway, yeah. it'll be within our seam allowance. So I'm not too bothered about forward and backwards and it should hold in place without doing that. But yeah, to secure generally. And then hopefully you don't get little knots like this on the 
outside. But let's just ignore that again for now. So then you would sew all the way around the outside as well. Yeah. To make a nice little window. So try and quickly do that. Again, I would start somewhere in the middle, not on the side seams. Uh, sorry, not on the corners is what I should say there. Yeah. Take your time over this, do it neatly. I'm not doing it neatly, <laughs> but I'm just doing it as to show you. Not really up in about an hour. What do you reckon? Um, you can probably sew it in quite a short time. I'm not yeah. sure if you manage it in an hour. Um, it's generally the cutting out that takes a bit longer. Right. So it depends how many you've made and how quick you are. I'd, I'd say more like th three or four hours. Oh, really? Realistically, yeah. Oh, okay. um, just be because of cutting things out mm -hmm. um, and making sure it's all nice and neat. But it, it, it depends how many you've made. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure some people can get them done in, in two hours. I'm not sure I can. So what I would do here is pull your threads through to the back so you don't have any unsightly threads on the front. Then knot them. Again, I'm not going to do that right now. Okay. Um, so that's your window. Then what you would do is you would take the left card slots that you have made previously here marked left card slots this is the one that I lost beforehand I found it again oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> so you just need to position it on top right side up for both let's put it into position okay and then you can clip it in place yep yeah and then you want to base down the sides just to keep that in position. I'll just do that quickly now. Okay, I'm a bit messy here. <laughs> like, oh, I've got to get this done quickly. It's all good. We've got um, five minutes. Okay, five minutes. well, that's okay because we're so, where we want to be. Do you know if you're in again before Christmas? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Oh, okay. <laughs> I wouldn't say no, but, um, you know, not that I'm aware of. Yeah, and because I did that by eye, it's slightly wonky, which is not what we want to see. But if you were taking your time, this would all be nicely lined up. And then you would take your card back. Yeah. Okay, and then you place your card back right side up. Take your left card slots and pop them right side down. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to sew here. So again... This is going to fold this way. Yep. Um, so when did you first get involved with Mrs. H? Well, I had made some of her bags early on, and then she started running bag retreats. Oh, amazing. Um, so I went to one of her bag retreats 2016 and met her and various other makers of bags at the time that I'm still in touch with and she asked me to be a tester at some point I can't remember yeah, yeah. Um, and then you know I've made such a lot of her bags um, so she said would you mind doing the show mm -hmm. I live quite close so oh, do you? <laughs> that oh, helps see, yeah. <laughs> she lives in Wales I oh, think it's still a bit far, from it's here. Bit far. <laughs> okay so you've got your slots here again you want to um, grade your seams so you any seam allowances that are sticking out you want to make different sizes so that we haven't got too much bulk later on mm -hmm. fold that back over be careful with your iron obviously if you press a hot iron onto vinyl it will melt and you, after all your work you do not want melting vinyl so I would just finger press at right. this point and just be aware from now on you're working with vinyl I quite like that colour vinyl that you've used it's to not honest. bad actually is yeah. it, it didn't look great at home but under these lights it yeah, looks, it looks quite really nice funky. and you can still see through it, you can see the pattern underneath there yeah. so you would still be able to put ID Yeah. Um, ok so we're just going to base up that side and uh, again, just a quick reminder while, while you're sewing that, 
Uh, 70, nearly 70% 70 of our book has gone. Again, just to say, great gift, amazing value, because you've got eight patterns in here. Um, so it's just over two pounds per pattern. Oh, and we are actually nearly half the stock of the wallet pattern. Again, so affordable, just 9 99 for this pattern. And you can be making some very gorgeous professional wallets. And as, um, and as Lynn said, you totally can make, make to sell. There you are. Don't forget, go onto the website and you can find the fastenings for this too. Okay. Yes, so now we have the trickiest bits, to be honest, that are finished. We've got your left card slots, yep. your right card slots. Right at the beginning of the pattern, I didn't show you then, we have what's called our front dividers. Uh -huh. One of these front dividers has very badly applied interfacing, so I shall just press that down again. We've only got about a minute. Okay. <laughs> well, I was going to stop at this point anyway, okay. so I'll just briefly show we will have the front divider face up. Yep. I want to sneeze. And then we place our left card slots and our right card slots on here, pin it in place yep. neatly, then we will take our probably take these out first but take our other piece of front divider mm -hmm. place that over the top I won't do it now because I'll make even more of a hash of it um, but we're gonna sew all the way along the top at our normal 3 8 of an inch allowance yep. and then it will flip over so you'll have the nice neat edge there and then you will top stitch baste it down underneath mm -hmm. and then move on to the rest of the wallet got you Perfect, thank you. That's so nice we saw that whole project pretty much. Yeah, yeah that was great. That was really great. Um, some samples, again, just to finish off, let's show you this one. This is the one that's with the zip and the opening, which you can find on the website. Uh, yeah, you can see the pattern on Mrs. H's website, the add-on. But look how professional they are. They're wonderful. There you go. But this is the pattern itself that we've uh, got on the screen. Look at that. You've got the slots there, ID sections, really funky fabric. Um, 9 99 then for the pattern, 545879. And don't forget to grab the book because it's such a nice gift to give to somebody. 70% of the stock gone, just 16 99 638074. Again, you can call us on the usual number 01733602000 or do go to the website at hachanda.com. Thank you very much, Lynn. Thank you. Have a good Christmas. And you too. Marvellous. Uh, now, do keep Catherine company because she's on a Todd for this next hour. But we've got some amazing bargains coming up. So grab yourself a quick cup of tea or coffee. We'll see you in five minutes' time. <laughs> We have got Sunday Savers coming up next, uh, followed by Totally Patched um, with Pattern Mark, and after that, Fabric Freedom Blenders One Day Special. Hi, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp. And uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full time. Then I had a moment of clarity, if you'll pardon the pun, and I came up with the transparent art stamp. And the rest is history, really. For the last 27 plus years, I've been pioneering the art of transparent stamping. I love teaching. For me, it's all about that. And so working with her Chanda is fantastic because it gives me the perfect platform to reach out and work with uh, like-minded people and to be able to show um, some of the tricks that I've learned along the way. If you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray, on her Chanda. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi order? When you place an item on Flexibuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order. 
which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for a Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Hi, I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly and we're really excited to still be working with you guys here on Hachanda. We were there from the very, very beginning and we're still bringing you lots of really exciting soft crafts. We design and manufacture all of our kits and all of our fabrics here in the UK and we love bringing them to you. So if you're an experienced sewer or you're just starting out in soft crafts and sewing, join us. There's tips and fabrics for everybody. Make sure you don't miss our shows and come and craft yourself silly on Hachanda. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dyes in there, designer papers, I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. So on our Hope Chanda shows we aim to inspire you, to be educational and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Be sure to join us for our Sentimentally Yours shows on Hope Chanda. Hello there. It is wonderful to have you company this morning. We've got another one of those happy hours, so do stay with me throughout the hour. We've got some bargains for you. Of course, the price will go up at the top of the hour, so keep an eye on that yellow box because that's where the savings are. Now, we might have a little game or two uh, during this hour. We'll see how we go on, but also, I'd just like to mention, this is the first time, I don't know if you can see it very well, I've got Christmas trees on, look, so I'm not quite tall enough. Uh, my Christmas jumper, that's the first time I've worn it this year. So, I would like to see what your Christmas jumpers are like. Perhaps you've made your own, perhaps you've purchased. Please send your pictures of your Christmas jumpers and I'd like to see, you know, how, how they vary. You know, nice and simple, really bright and bold. It'd be lovely to see what you're going to be wearing because we have got a very special Christmas jumper day coming up on Friday, I believe, as well. Right, let's get back to those happy hours for now, though, because, of course, this is what it's all about. We need to see what we've got on offer. And we've got a card blank set for you. It includes envelopes, coloured paper and inserts as well. So there's a whole host of different shapes and sizes, different weights. Let's go through everything, first of all, because, you know, they really do vary. In fact, here we have, I've just fold this in half so you can see these are pre-scored for you. Now, I don't know if they're all the same. They're not. They look like they're different. We've got a little cat in here. 
Let me see if, let me just pop that out a little bit. So we've got a cut in there. Do you know, if you still do the tea bag folding, that sort of thing, it would look amazing to put behind there your different papers. You could put fabric behind there as well. Now, I believe we've got some dolphins in here. Let's see what else we've got. Oh, we've got some balloons there for you. Do you know, you can't see these unless I start to pop them out a little bit. There's your balloons. You've got uh, cats, as we've just seen. Oh, there's the moons. There's actually one full crescent moon on there you can see or it could be banana if you really want it to be who knows uh let's see what else we've got we have the dolphin for you as well let's have a look can you just see the outline there there's the dolphin looks like he's jumping out of the water of course you can use the apertures separately if you wanted to you could ink them you could color them in you can stamp onto them no you could ink them do you know some silly person the garage just said you can eat them you can ink them. Don't eat these at all. Now, these are really nice. All pre-scored for you. So I've got some envelopes coming up as well. Uh, more card blanks for you here, though. Pre-scored, again, you've got your DL size. So these will work either landscape or portrait. These are nice and thick, actually. Textured card as well. Nice cream card for you there. So if you want them to go landscape way, they can do. Uh, then at the back, now these are interesting. I've not seen these before. Now we've got a rather large card here. Now there are a couple of score lines on here. So I think there's different ways you could fold these. So you could perhaps go with a Z fold like that. Let's just score that there. So you've got your Z fold. Or perhaps you could fold inwards sandwich some nice pretty paper or fabric in between the two hearts and if you pop those out you'd see it from both the outside and the inside as well and you've still got room to do your writing and uh, your sentiments there as well so i don't know how many we've got of those i don't know if we've got the details for that because there's quite a few of them here uh that's one two three there must, oh there's got to be at least ten there but i think there's more we think there's 14 then we've got these now these are always very popular so you've got your scalloped edge cards here again pre-scored for you so if i just fold this in half you can see there we are there's your size these are really heavy weight as well there's 10 of these um these definitely feel like a good 300 gsm i'm not sure they are but they're very very thick you could actually turn these into an easel card if you wanted to as well so you could take half of another one and mount onto the back there to give you a, you know, a larger version as well. They're actually, I'm just being told, 315 GSM. I knew they were very weighty. You can tell the quality of those. Then we've got some beautiful shimmery paper in all sorts of different colours. We've got uh, sort of a peachy colour in there. Oh, that's a nice colour. That's nice. It's kind of a latte, isn't it, that one? Very nice indeed. 27 individual pieces we've got blue we've got pink we've got a cream a purple a brown a blue do you know there's nine different colors you're going to get three of each they'd be great for die cutting or making your flowers or perhaps making those chain links as well if you want to make decorations very beautiful shine there that yellow is making me think all spring fi springified and easter lovely beautiful color still keep going though because i've missed the envelopes out in the middle we'll come back to those because i'm doing the card stock first now we've got some smaller little aperture cards or gift tags these could be you've got your balloons there as well i think they're all balloons in this bundle looks like they are on my counter anywhere so you can again put your papers behind there use the balloons separately use that as a little stencil if you wanted to as well you could stencil through as your background and then mount your little balloons onto foam once you've coloured them in as well. Uh, then we've got some lovely cardstock. You've got streamers and all sorts on here. That could be a Christmas jumper, couldn't it? Now these are an assorted size of offcuts. You've got different print colours here. This is again, very, very good quality, very thick. You've got nice foiling on there as well. Very nice indeed, some really good colours. Obviously you're going to get an assortment, but it will look something like this. So we'll do like that lime green, very nice indeed. Then we've got more little colours, uh, little offcuts again here, all different shapes and sizes. Do you know there's some watercolour card in this one? Now I don't know if these are going to vary as well, I presume they will do. Different weights, oh that's nice as well. That looked like my windscreen this morning. I was so frosty this morning when I came to work. Very frosty. We've got all sorts of different shapes and sizes there. Then of course we do have envelopes for you as well, we've got some square ones. They look like a 
five by five, I think, those. They are. I'm just having that confirmed. You've got ten of those. Then we've got your other sizes here as well. I'm going to put these together so you can see the difference, actually. Ten of each. Now, is that one different? Or is that the same? No, they're the same. I don't know if there's a slight difference in colour. I've got three different bundles of card here. I don't know if it's slightly different style, but you've got two that are the same size here and then a smaller one as well. So you've got your A5 and your A6, I believe. Uh, so all that for £17.99. £8 saving. Just for this hour, remember, this is a happy hour deal. 027724. I've no idea as individual elements in there because we've got an awful lot. We've got tens of this and 27 of that and oh, it just goes on, doesn't it? And then don't forget... With a lot of your cards, you've got those apertures as well that will pop out, so you can use those separately. So you're getting a lot for your money. You can make little banners, couldn't you, out of those? String them all together, make some bunting as well. So you're getting plenty in each of those card blanks. Yeah, get ready for your Valentine's Day. Maybe weddings will be, you know, accepting guests again next year. Maybe, you know, everybody will be celebrating their anniversaries. I think we're all going to go to town, aren't we, when we can finally get to see everybody. But before then, we've got more happy hours for you. Let's have a look at the next bundle. Uh, lots of happiness. We're always it's happy hour every hour in this studio. Uh, Christmas jumper pictures, that's what I want to see. I can see one or two around the studio. Kirsty's got a lovely Christmas jumper on. Oh, Sylvia said she likes mine. Oh, thank you, Sylvia. You can't see much of it behind here, can you? But it's got, it's got some rather bright Christmas trees on. Anyway, back to here. No Christmas jumpers in this happy hour deal. We've got an assortment again of card and paper and also vellum in this one. In fact, there's even more than that because I'll show you. At, we'll go through each and every one, but there's something else. It's very useful in here as well. doesn't look that exciting at the moment, but I'll explain. Now, you've got... 215 pieces in this bundle for just nine pounds and 99 pence so let's start with the marbled effect paper now this is a really lovely smooth surface as well you know you could print directly onto that if you wanted to and that would look lovely great as inserts or maybe maybe you want to print a menu or something out and then mount it onto card that would look really posh wouldn't it if you're having a dinner party very nice indeed. Uh, fold that in half if you want it as an insert for your cards as well. That will give you an A6, I believe. Let's just get one of these. Let's fold it. I think these are A6, yes. There we go. So they could be your inserts if you wanted them to be. Very nice indeed. And then moving along here. Oh, what we've got down here. Now this is super smooth. Very, very smooth. Now that is a paper, but you could do different techniques on there if you wanted to. No idea how many of those we've got at the moment. We'll see if we can double check that. Um, it's, I don't know what you'd call that other than it's very, very smooth paper. Very nice. Mm, not sure about that one. Uh, the parchment paper is the one that looks like marbled because if you're looking at the details, we've got one that says parchment. That's that one because it's A5. Okay, now this one, the smooth, is an A6. Then we've got, in the same size, the A6 again, you've got your mirror. That's very shiny, isn't it? 20 of those. Really nice size to work with as well. Of course, you can mat and lay, you can cut into that, you can die cut it. Do you know, we're thinking that this paper might be gummed paper. I'm not going to lick it. <laughs> I'm wondering if it's sticky. You're getting 20 of them. If we think they're gummed sheets... Because that's what it says on our details, and that's the only one that looks like a gum sheet to me. Right, moving along again, we've got our black card here. Now, these are already pre-cut into squares for you. This is a really good weight as well. 12 by 12 centimetres, that one is. So it's a little bit less than 5 inches, because 5 inches works out, I think, 15 centimetres. So 300 GSM, really good weight. Then we've got some more mirror card for you here. Now, different size pieces. Do you know, I'm just going to put these together because they do look slightly different, actually. Now, one's thicker than the other and one seems a little bit more shiny than the other. So I wouldn't call this one a matte, but, yeah, you've definitely got a difference there, haven't you? This one's more mirrored. There, can you see? You can see the difference, can't you? Different sizes as well. Again, 20 of those, really good weight again, very, very good weight. Let's go to the back again. Now, this is the one I said, it's not card or paper. This is poly polypropylene. 
Now these are really good actually. You're getting 20 of these, 800 microns, so they're really thick. You could make stencils out of those. I think they're great for your mixed media mats as well for mixed in paint. You could use them as a little palette. Great for blending on as well. If you use your sponges and your inking, use them to blend on top of. Just you know, lots of uses. You can even make covers for your little journal journals and albums, or maybe make your um, your page separators out of those as well to separate different areas of your albums and journals they would work very very well indeed then moving along again we have the vellum for you now this is nice i didn't even realize it's had a shimmer on before look at that 25 sheets that's very very nice indeed are they all shimmery they are aren't they i didn't even realize that very nice I do like those a lot and then finally we've got some craft card for you now this is A5 as well, there's 20 of these, again a really really good weight, very thick indeed, you can hear it can't you? On the other side they are white, so you can go with either side or if you're scoring and you want white on the inside for where you're going to put your, the insert or you want to write on the inside of your card, but you've got that craft card effect on the outside, that works perfectly. Just 9 99 for 215 pieces, 909302. How much does that work out per element then that would be just under five pence that's really good value actually really good value nine zero nine three zero two now we're staying with the card and the paper just for the moment because we've got more for you here we've got all sorts of different panels for you here this is a whole collection again we've got the silver mirror for you a good weight again 20 of these now that's nice for die cutting, 280 GSM, really nice weight for die cutting. You could put alcohol inks on that, you could emboss it as well. Oh, mirror card looks lovely when you're embossing it, you know, with the embossing folders. Or just with your tools actually. Don't forget, there's the old fashioned way of just using your boards and your tools as well. Now we've got a rich purple, that's very nice. That reminds me of that chocolate, doesn't it? 20 of those. Uh, then moving along again, we've got that very, very bright yellow. Now that does have a linen effect on it. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Oh, let's just see if we can come. There, you can see it, I think, now. Very nice indeed. It's picking up a reflection from the mirror card underneath as well. It's giving it a completely different look. Nice quality again, really good thickness on that one. 20 of those. Then we have the black again. Good quality, good thickness, 10 of those. These are great just to use as they are, that you can cut them down, 300 GSM, that one. Then we've got that lovely colour. Now, this, uh, you know, I wouldn't call this the name that it's been given. Would you believe, there's lots of different greens, isn't there? That, to me, is not emerald, but that's what it's called. Emerald green, to me, is normally a much darker green. I would call that more of a, it's more of a minty green. But anyway, that's what we're calling it. It is a green. It's that beautiful, beautiful colour there. We can't change. We're not allowed to do that. So we've got all of this here, all those different colours, uh, the different shapes. You can see the size of those as well. 95 millimetres by 190 millimetres or 9.5 centimetres and 19 centimetres if you want to convert it. Range from 280 GSM to 300, 80 pieces in total, 097508. And you're saving three pounds for this hour. Right, moving down. Now, I've never seen these before either. Now, I did have a little look at these earlier on and I can confirm. I know it does say they're glue pens, but they are very sticky. The glue is a very sticky glue, which is what we need. And look at the nib on this as well. You're going to get six of these. Six. There's 36 millilitres in each. I'm not going to squeeze this because I don't want it to go all over the place. But obviously there, you can see you've got that really wide nib on there. So if you're applying to, you know, your big card pieces, um, you know, your pages that you want to stick down quite quickly, not for your smaller areas, although you could decant those. You could take the top off and put those into your little bottles with nozzles on if you wanted to. Now, this will give you both a permanent or a peelable bond. Now, there's a difference with how you, you use it. Now, if you use these when it's white and it's still wet, it's permanent. When it's clear and when it's dry, it's peelable. Really? <laughs> 
white and wet it's permanent clear and dry it's peelable that's what we've got on our details I'm going to test this out later. £10.80, £11 is the saving here, 027757. Do you know, we've got loads of bits of card and paper around. I might just have to test this out. I think we're going to do that. We'll see. 027757, £10.80. You are getting six of those, though, so an awful lot. I can guarantee it is very sticky. Whether it's dry, whether it's wet, permanent, removable, whatever, it's a glue. So it's a really good buy. Now then, we've got a beautiful, beautiful die for you. Now this has been a very large price when it was originally created. Now look at this. Look at the saving on this one. Now, I've got to show you this. There's a reason why this has been so expensive. You don't just get the one die cut in shape in here. You're getting all those that you're seeing there. Not only that, look at the depth of this die. So it's a steel rule, rule die. So you can see the sponginess there. I'm not going to squeeze it too much because the blades or the cutting blades are underneath the foam. So all you need to do is run this through your die cutting machine. Being a steel rule die, you can cut things like your denim, leather, balsa wood, all your different cards and papers. What I will point out though, because I must do this, this is a large die. So you're going to need a die cutting machine that's an A4 that's got the wider mouth. It is a spell binder, so if you've got the spell binders platinum, that will definitely fit through there. There are other machines that will take this as well, but you do have to make sure that it is an A4 that has the wider mouth. Just £19.99. I think that is perfect for you quilters out there. Because look how many hearts of different sizes and different shapes, to be quite honest with you, different variations. You can cut all in one pass. Perfect. 950857 is the item number. Right, we're going to play a bit of a game as well. Oh, I've got to, I've got to not look at something in a minute. Somebody's going to, have to tell me when I've got to shut my eyes or turn around. There's going to be a name comes up on the bottom of the screen. It's somebody famous. I can't look. Now, what you've got to do at home, you've got to email in some clues for me to guess. The guys in the gallery will read those clues out to me, and I've got to try and guess who the famous person is. Let's hope that I know who it is. Uh, right, I'm shutting my eyes, I'm not, I'll, I'll turn around. Right, apparently the name is on the screen, but I can't see it. Right, everybody look in, make sure you get your emails in. Right, it's, it's gone, I can turn back. Can I? I'm safe, I can move my hands. Yes. <sighs> oh! Email in clues to me. You've got to email in some clues. So it could be something like, I don't know because I haven't seen the name, but it could be something like, this person has dark brown hair. Something like that, you know. And the more clues I get, the easier it should be for me to work out who it is. Do you know, it could be quite difficult, this, thinking about it, depending on the clues that come in, of course. Right, okay. Do you know, if you send those emails in, and I can guess this, we might be able to move on to another name as well and keep it going throughout the hour. Let's have a look at this next item. This is one of my favourites on the counter, actually. I absolutely love this bundle. This is from Ross Papercrafts. You've got the A4 Pearl Paper Bundle here. 120 GSM, you're getting 250 sheets in total. The reason I like this so much is I think each and every one of these colours is absolutely beautiful. My favourite, I've got to say, is this one the green and it's got a gorgeous gorgeous gold shimmer in there as well look at this isn't that stunning absolutely beautiful I mean you could you could cut that with your die cutting machines you could make flowers out of it and leaves out of it you can mat and layer with it you can use that as an insert into your cards if you wanted to some of these of course were a lot lighter again that bronzy color look at the gold shimmer in there and these as well I will just show you they're not shimmery on both sides it's a, a solid color on one side so you've got the best of both actually because if you want to use the solid you can if you want to use the shimmer you can if you want to mix it up Look at that. That works really well, doesn't it? To have a little bit of both showing. Beautiful. So all those different colours is what's included here. 250 sheets for 11 99 You are saving £13. That means it's less than half price. I've got one of each colour here, actually. Let's have a look at them all. I'll give them all a little bit of a flex. So you've got the gold, 
gold with the gold shimmer. Then you've got my favourite, the green there again with the gold shimmer in it. It is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Then we have that bronze. I'll just turn that around so you can see the other side. Oh, that's nice on the other side, isn't it? Then we've got, I don't know what we'd call this. It's kind of an ice white, I think, that one. It's white with a white shimmer. Actually, there's a little bit of blue in that. It's more like an ice blue. I don't know if it's picking up on screen, but when you look at it, it's got like there. Can you see? Yeah, it's a little bit like a duck egg, isn't it? This one's more white. Again, with a white shimmer. Actually, that one's double-sided. That's a double-sided shimmer. Can you see? There we go. And then we've got more of a sort of a rusty brown, maybe, that one. Again, with the gold in it. Lovely. Absolutely gorgeous. Eleven ninety nine. Don't miss out on those. Really do like that a lot. 950-419 is the item number. Then moving on. Oh, we've had some clues come in. Can I do a clue now? We'll do one clue now. Oh, right, okay. There's quite a few clues coming in, so we're going to go with one now, then I'll give some more details, and then we'll just keep throwing these clues in. So the first clue, this is from Mo. Oh, now the clue from Mo is sometimes a wool comes wound like this. So this is a famous person. It's not Zoe Ball, is it? Ball of wool. Uh, Mo was also giving another good clue, actually. And we'll go with this one as well. Mo was saying, blank, blank, the piper's son. Is it, was it Tom? The piper's, piper's, the Tom, Tom. Tom. Thinking of the wound wool or the wound ball of wool, skein. No, not got it yet. Not got it yet. Might just come to let's 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 give you some more details and I'll have a think about that one. Right, okay, so we've got the Oakwood set of two die storage cases. 20 magnetic sheets in total in here as well. Really nice. You've got the lovely sort of uh, ring binder element in the centre there with the flat edges. Let me just turn that so you can see it properly. Very important because that means when you turn these pages over, even when they're full of your dies, they're going to fit nice and flat. They're not going to kind of go back on themselves. And because you've got the magnetic sheets in there already, perfect to go with. Uh, you could put things in both sides of these as well. Maybe you want your dies one side. Maybe you want a reference on the other side. You know, the die cut pieces so you can see how the die cut. Or maybe you have matching stamps or something like that. Or just dies both sides. It's an entire look to you. Really good strong zip on this as well. Let me just zip that around so you can see. You've got your tab there. Zip that around. You've also got your carry handle as well, which is very, very useful. And something else I just spotted as well. Look, you can even put a label in there. So maybe if you've, well, you are getting two of these, but if you're going for multiples, you could have one for all your nesting dies, maybe. One for all your butterflies, one for your florals, one for your Christmas. So you can keep it all very well organised. Two of these for that price, £24.98 for this hour only. £9 saving, 892272 is the item number. And there they are. That's both of them for you there. Really good buy that one. A great saving of £9. So don't miss out on those. Perhaps you've already got some of those and you are collecting. Now's the time to put those into your basket and get some more while we've got that saving. Right, this is why happy hours are so good, isn't it? Because you can make those savings. But you have to be quick and check those baskets out. Now that clue, let me have a think. What was the first clue again? Sometimes it's... Wool sometimes comes wound like this. A bit stumped on that one. Keep thinking. Let's look at the next bundle. This is huge. Look at this. Every cross the bargain, you've got Simply Creative Christmas Collection. And that is exactly what you've got here. A very creative selection indeed. Let's have a look through this. We've got all sorts. Now, we've just seen there 
Oh, wow. Those little trees. I adore those little trees. They'd be great. You, you know, you can actually put those on your Christmas cake if you want. But I think those clear baubles, you know, the baubles that you can decorate, you can personalise, that you hang on your tree or hang in the window, would look lovely with those. We've got all sorts of different embellishments of snowflakes. You could put those back to back and hang them with string or cord if you wanted to as well. So as they turn around, you see that beautiful mirror effect on both sides. We've got confetti for the table. Or maybe stick the sequins onto your cards. There's wreaths. Oh, we'll downlaid at the front, actually. We didn't see it on the first run, but there's some lovely glitter envelopes. I'll show you those in a second. We've got all sorts of trims there as well. The pom-pom trim. You've got individual pom-poms. We've got advent numbers. We've got pegs there. We've got glitters in the uh, traditional Christmas colours there. The red, the green, the gold and the silver. Nice fine glitter as well. Do you know those bottles are so useful? Don't throw those away when you've emptied them. Keep those and use them again. We've got all sorts of berries in here as well there's stars we've got stockings we've got wooden elements we've got glittery elements the berries are beautiful the faux berries there do you know you could put these on your cards on your home decor pieces those tags are nice as well decorate those tags up with the elements that are in the bundle I'm just going to show you these envelopes at the bottom actually now you've got different colours in these. There are six in each of these. They're really nice. They'd be great as your card toppers, wouldn't they? With little notes inside. You could personalise them. Maybe put advent numbers on them. Maybe use them in your scrapbooking page. Perfect. All of that. Look at the saving on this one. £25 savings. 018441. Each and every one of those you're going to get. There's an enormous amount of content here. 30 individual packs, but there are multiples in everything. Some of them are laser cut as well. And you can see it's real wood as well, that, the laser cut. Beautiful. Now that's going to keep you going, isn't it? Not just for this year, but many years beyond that as well. I'll let the children have it or split this down into stocking fillers for people. I mean, you could split this into 30 different ways, couldn't you? You've got 30 packets. Amazing value. 018441 is the item number. Uh, there's another clue coming. Right. Who's this clue from? This is from Patricia. With... Ah... Uh, Right, I'm going to let you into a little secret, everybody at home. There's been lots and lots and lots of people emailing in with clues, but a lot of you have given the same clue. But it might give it away too easily, so they're keeping that one back. They're giving me the harder clues to start with. So the next clue is from Patricia. Oh, they're American. And they found love... Oh, I know it. Love in Seattle. You see, why well, don't you think that nah, the wool one was a really, really good clue? I was thinking skein, and I'm thinking there's another name when you wind the wool and it's kind of twisted round, but I can't think of it. It's Hank, a hank of wool. It's Tom Hanks! Tom Tom the Piper's son. Of course. Oh, the clue that was most popular, and I would have got it straight away, is life is like a box of chocolates. Of course, from that famous film that Tom Hanks was in. Uh, we'll come up with another one. They're going to think of another name. I won't be able to look because you've got to send the clues in again. So keep them coming in when we give you another name. Right. Let's No, no jumper pictures, though. No jumper pictures. Christmas jumpers. You like this game best. Oh, I'm so pleased it was my idea as well. So that's really good. <laughs> right. Let's see what we've got here. Now, these are really, really nice. Oh, somebody's pinched the one that was open. Where's it gone? We had one that worked. Um, let see if I don't know if these will turn on. Uh, we'll, fi we'll find out where it's gone. But these are coloured lights. These are coloured lights. These are LED cut garlands. So you can see how these work. If you're decorating your bottles, and I know many of you do, you just drop the lights into the bottle. The cork sits in the top but that's where your battery is and they're included and you just switch the switch and the lights light up we will be able to show you these in a little while uh, these are the colored ones as i say we've seen these before maybe in the warm white lights but these are the colored strings you can see the the details on the package in there now i think yes there's 15 leds there i can see that on the packet so individual lights now you don't have to put them in a bottle if you can hide you know, the battery pack somewhere else. You can certainly string this around in other areas as well. Quite often we use these in our craft pro projects. One thing, do you know, I've got a Zuri Rewind show. I've only just found this out. It's on Tuesday. And somebody asked me recently, how would I put LED lights into resin if I want to put that resin into a mould? These are perfect because the lights, they're so small. 
if you put resin, clear resin, into a mould and then sort of sink the lights into it, just so they're below the surface, let it set, obviously leave your battery pack out. You can turn the lights on and light up your resin cast. Looks amazing. Just one idea. £9.99, you're going to get four. We're only seeing three because one's going into a bottle. 453-579, that's the item number for these. Don't miss out, there's a £6 saving. There we go. So lots to see there down the counter, isn't there? Lots of variation as well. We've got more, though, for you. And we've also got Seven Day Savers that have launched today at 8 o'clock. We're just going to see if we can see that bottle. I think Jack's got it at the other side of the studio. We'll see if we can get the camera. Oh, there it is, look. Oh, well done, Jack. Got to say, though, Jack's not wearing his Christmas jumper this morning. I thought I'd be the last one, because I've had a few days off, I thought I'd be the last one around the studio with a jumper, Christmas jumper. No, Jack's not got his on. Too early, too early Jack. Too early. No, it's never too early for a Christmas jumper. It's never too early for those lights either. Do take advantage of those. Right, before we go to a video, apparently we're going to see another name. Does that mean I've got to turn around again? Oh, hands over eyes, I'm going to turn around. Right, I believe the name might be on the screen for you now, everybody at home. I'll let you have a good look at that. Everybody, make sure you know you've got good clues. Don't make it too easy. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. I can turn around. Right, you'll start thinking of those clues. Email them in. Some want to be quite hard, some want to be quite easy, because if I'm really, really you know, a bit, a little bit hard remembering a few sort of uh, celebrities or something like that. Maybe I'll need an easier clue or two. So send them in, all sort of abilities. That's what we want. Uh, let's go to a video though, because of course, if you are spending over 60 pounds, you'll be opening up that flexi basket. Let's have a look. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for a Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Oh, thank you, Leone. Right, let's have another bit of a recap. We'll go right back to the beginning where we started and take another look at this wonderful bundle here. We've got all sorts of cards and papers and envelopes in here, different shapes, sizes, aperture cards. We'll run through them again so you can see what we're getting. I'll start at the back row and go right along the back row this time, actually. Now, this is your aperture card selection, but you've got various different designs. So the first one... It's just hard, you know, without popping everything out, it's hard to see it. I don't really want to take all the bits out because they'll get lost. But they will pop out. They're just held with those little tabs there. But you can see we've got the balloons there. Or they could be lollipops where somebody's bent the stick. You never know. You never know. You know, when you've been sucking on a lollipop and sometimes the stick goes a bit soggy, doesn't it? It goes like that. <laughs> Not that I do that. Not that I have lollipops. Just thinking back to many years ago. There's the moon. Again, you can use the aperture with the card and you can use the cutout separately. Both will make either stencil or mask as well. Remember that you can use these in different ways. It doesn't have to be a card blank. We've then got our little cat. I can't but help to think of Maggie and Kay when every time I see a cat, because I know they love their cats so much. There we are, there's our cat. Then we have our dolphin. There we go. Echo the dolphin, apparently. That's his name. That's the name he's been given. And there we've got a butterfly for you as well. Or it could be a moth. It could be a moth if you wanted it to be. So we've got those different apertures there. Really good way to card again, these. The fact that they're, um, they're a nice surface to work with as well. So if you wanted to add ink or your colours, you could do. 
if you wanted to put inserts in, of course, you could do as well. We've got inserts, actually. Um, you know, on the show today, we've got our card and paper that would work as inserts. Next along, we've got the hearts. Now, these are a good size. If I open that out, you can see that is much bigger than an A4 piece of card in its entirety when it's opened out. The fact that you've got two score lines means that you could go with a Z card shape. Or you could, as I said earlier, fold inwards there. If you were to put some fabric or some fancy paper in between so it showed through the back and the front, then of course you've got that decor from the, the inside and the outside as well and you've still got room to write on there as well. So really good size. Then moving along again, the scalloped cards. 315 GSM, I remember these. These are really, really good weight. Uh, lovely shape, and it's nice to have that scalloped edge there as well, because it just adds a little bit more interest to it. Nice white surface, really smooth cardstock as well, so it's going to take your inks and your stamped images as well beautifully. You can stamp directly onto there if you want to. So very, very nice indeed. Then moving to the front, we've got the DL cards. This is a textured card. I don't think it is watercolour, but it feels like a watercolour. It's very soft. Um, I can't say that it will take your watercolour techniques. You could give it a try. I think it's a very thick card, but it's got a lovely feel to it. Then we've got some envelopes for you. We've got the 12 centimetre square envelopes. Then we've got some A6. Do you know, I did say these were A5. I don't think they are. These aren't A5. They're not quite that big. Ooh, are they... Oh, they probably fit sort of a five by seven card, something like that. They're 18 and a half by 13.3 centimetres, if that means anything to you. <laughs> then in front of there, we've got all sorts of different shapes and sizes of card here. Now, these are clusters off cuts. So you can see why. They're all different, but they're very useful. I do like that. That's got such a lovely feel to it as well. It's very tactile. Do you know, you could just punch out, if you've got punches in your drawers, use your dies, use it for matting and layering again. Do you know, that there is some watercolour in this one. So that would work very nicely. Yeah, turn these into tags, that would work. Uh, then these are nice as well, because you've got your foiling. These would make great tags for any time of the year, actually. It doesn't have to be Christmas, birthday, look. You've got streamers, weddings. Put a little hole in the top. You could put a bit of shape to that if you want. They're solid on the other side when it comes to colour. Uh, very nice indeed. Then we've got, these would make great tags, in fact, I'm, <laughs> we just, we've turned this into our tag bundle, haven't we? Let me just take one of those out. So when you put a colour behind, there you go. So you could line that behind and, you know, really, really make something special out of that. And then look, 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 look. Use your balloon separately. It's that lollipop again, isn't it? Uh, then we've got some paper for you. Very nice shimmery paper. Ooh, 27 sheets. It's the nine different colours. Did I remember that rightly? Like, yes, nine different colours, three of each. Whole array of different colours there. Don't forget, again, you do get the apertures in a lot of these cards, which, which can be used separately. So it extends on this bundle as well. 17 99 is the price. £8 is the savings. 027724. Oh, I've got a clue coming. Right, who's this from? From Lorraine. Lorraine says, the queen, the queen at her local. Hmm. I'll sit on that one for a little while. Hmm. The queen at her local. Might need another clue, but we'll see. I'm just having a little think on that. I've got an idea, but... Oh, do you know what we haven't seen for a while? We need to see it, don't we? That little bouncing clock, that little happy clock. Clocky, where is it? Oh, there it is. That's what you've got left to get these happy hour deals because the price will go up at the top of the hour. That reminds me as well, we've had brand new seven day savers launched today at eight o'clock and they are fabulous. So do have a look at those as well. But happy hour deals, this is important. You need to check those baskets out before that clock runs out basically because then the price will go back up. Let's have a look at the next item. Now, this is a whole collection. You could really call this a bit of a mixed media collection as well, if you wanted to. Card, paper and vellum, but you do get the polypropylene in there as well, which I'm going straight to because I really like it. Really good weight, 800 
microns. Do you know, that would make a lovely frosty glass, maybe in a doll's house or something like that. Or maybe um, Haley's been making that window, hasn't she, for Scott? Maybe he needs some frosted glass in his window. Uh, oh, if you've not been watching, that's the one day special, Fabric Freedom. There's a fantasy street. It's been named now Eclectic Avenue is the name of it. And we've got lots of very skillful people living on that street. If you haven't got a clue what I'm talking about, you need to see the one day special. Yeah, I live at number one by the sea. And uh, there's another Catherine at number three next door to me as well. Catherine with the C. Uh, Jimmy, our director, he lives, he lives, I think he's in one of the flats, and he lives next to Wendy and Debbie. He's kind of in the middle of Wendy and Debbie. Oh, they have afternoon tea on a Wednesday, social distancing, of course. Uh, they must be in um, they must be in tier number one, I think. Anyway. <laughs> Let, oh, there's a pub as well called the Duck and Dog. And Brig and Dave, I think they're managing it. Do you know, I've got an idea who this person might be. There's another clue come in, though. Joanne sent one in. We are amused and will continue. We are amused. See, that's a queen. That's, that's, that's a queen clue as well isn't it the queen says we are not amused doesn't she but we are amused to play on that one and we'll continue hmm. queen of the pub is it only the pub that's near La was it Lorraine the first one who emailed it there's a few Sylvia's emailed in as well pulled many a pint see I'm I'm thinking Barbara Windsor. Is that right? Yes! You see, as soon as the Queen of the Pub, that's what I thought. And then I thought, no, may maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. Yes! Oh, we had loads of clothes coming for that one. Oh, flying bikini top, yes. I know which one wasn't bikini, actually, it was, but it was very similar. Uh, yeah, carry on camping. Oh, those were the days with the carry on fields. Right, there's going to be one more famous person before the end of the hour i obviously have no idea who it is so get ready with those clues again they really really do help because obviously i've guessed two now uh, but for now back to the happy hour deals let's have a look at this one again so let's go through everything we've got the parchment paper there which i personally think makes the most amazing inserts you can put that directly into your printer and print onto it if you want to mat and layer it or die cut it you can do as well that is a5 i've just folded it in half it doesn't come pre-scored you can just fold it as you like this is definitely the gummed paper definitely because we've got that on our list and you can see oh, there's a bit of a shine there i don't know if you can see it 20 of those uh, then we have the mirror card or one of the mirror cards we've got two different ones actually this one is a different size let's see if we can find jack who's not wearing his christmas jumper oh, am i going the right way no i'm not going the right way am I? oh hang on i can see the other card stop coming up where is it He's waving. Ah, oh, you can see him waving, look. There he is. There he is. You can see his mask. But no Christmas jumper. How it's disappointing. It, this morning. Foggy. It's a foggy jumper. <laughs> John went through all the seasons this morning. Where I live, which is quite a long way away, it wasn't that cold. Well, it was cold, but it wasn't frosty. Driving down this morning, I came to an area. There was snow on the ground. And I thought, ooh. Yes, they've had uh, a sprinkling of snow here. By the time I got down to towards the studios, it was minus four degrees this morning. Minus four. I think it was about two degrees when I set off, so it was very, very cold. Very cold indeed. And I didn't have my leg warmers this morning. I think I need to go home and make some more. Right, let's continue with this. We've got some black card for you here as well. <laughs> Jimmy said he didn't make tags out of this. <laughs> Jimmy's gonna make so many tags. He's got so many presents. Yes, on uh, Eclectic Street, he's got to get his neighbours some nice presents this year. So he needs lots of gift tags. That looks like watercolour in there. 
215 pieces in there. Don't forget you've got your polypropylene in there. You've got craft card as well. 909302, just 999. Eight pounds saving. Now, you know who else lives on Eclectic Street, don't you? He lives next to somebody because John next door, he's definitely there. And he's sent us something in for our happy hour show as well. So we can see here the embossing folder and die sets. You've got the bird cages and the butterfly dreams. We haven't got these on the counter. So this is the first time we're seeing these. You do get both of those, £9.99, £10 saving, two sets. So dies and the embossing folders as well. Beautiful, 349269. Oh, I think we might be getting the last famous person for the hour in. Does that mean I've got to, oh, I've got to go around the other side? Uh, right, if you've only just tuned in, I've got to make sure I'm not covering my microphone. What we're doing is there's going to be a name of a famous person. It's apparently it's on the screen now. So take notice. It's somebody who's very famous. And you, everybody at home, you've got to email in with some clues. So I can guess the name of the famous person, or try and guess. Is it still there? Has it gone? It's still there. Okay, take it in, everybody. Everybody should know, apparently, who this is. So this is going to make me look really silly if I don't get it. Right, it's gone. I can turn around. Get your clues in. This is the last, the third and final one for this hour. I like this game. It's good. Right, okay. We've got more card and paper for you. Let's look at this one. This is the card panel collection. So these in size are 95 millimetres by 19 millimetres. So if you want to convert that, nine and a half centimetres by 19 centimetres. They range from 280 to 300 GSM. That means they're all card then, doesn't it? Uh, lovely colours. So you've got on the silver, the weight of that is the 280. 20 of those. The rich purple, very nice. 300 GSM, 20 of those. That lovely yellow linen. Oh, 290 GSM, 20 of those. Very nice texture on there with the linen. Then you've got 10 of the black, 300 GSM on those. And then 10 of the emerald, that's not really emerald, but that's what we've got to call it because it says it on our details. But it is a lovely colour. Nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. You are getting eighty pieces in total. Three pound savings. Zero nine seven five zero eight. Oh, I said I was going to try that glue out. That's coming up next. You see, I'm just going to get a bit of this parchment paper. There we are, the glue. So you're getting six of these. I don't know. I, I don't suppose you have to shake glue, but just in case. I don't think this has been used ever, so I don't know. Do you have to prime it in any way? Squeeze it? Don't, oh, yes, you do. You have to press it in a lot. So you do have to prime it. Oh, it might take a little while for it to come through. Oh, I can see it coming through. Look, once you prime it, you can see it coming through. So it does come through white. And you've got a nice sort of spreading nozzle there. So what does it say on our details again? It says if it's white and wet, it's permanent... Ah, do you know, I think it is. Right, I think I've worked out what this means. White and wet as a permanent bond, or clear as a removable bond. I think, because that to me at first didn't make sense, but what I think that means is, as I've just gone there, it's white and it's wet. So if I was then to put those two surfaces together and let it dry, it's going to be permanent. Okay? So that's nicely stuck together. But... If I went like this, prime it up again, put some white on there, not going to stick anything to it, just let that go clear. Then it would be tacky, but you could remove it. That's how it works. It's just all the pennies dropped all in one go there. There you are. So I need, yeah. So if, while it's wet, if you want a permanent bond, stick things straight away. If you don't want a permanent bond, let it dry before putting together. There we go. Right, 027757, £10.80, 11 pound is the saving. So just under half price. We've got the first clue coming in. This is from Alison. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> the clue from Alison is bald, lives in a box, comes out for an airing when needed. Do you, dare I say this? It's not Scott, is it? Is it Scott? <laughs> Do you know why I got that? I don't know if Alison is referring to the time that I'm thinking of here. <laughs> I was putting Mark over there. It was when we were in the other studio. I'm sure it was when we were doing uh, Good Morning Achanda and we were doing the box game. And Scott came in and we, we said we, we'd had him put away in the box. He lives in the box and we let him out every now and again. So I think that is where that has come from. I might be wrong, but I remember that being said. And of course, Scott is very famous, isn't he? Oh, Sylvia sent in a clue. Wall facing, I think she means the wall planting. Yeah, Scott does that very well. And then Dave and Briggs sent in, he ought to live north of the border with a name like that. Scott. Joe. <laughs> what? Joe said what? Beam, beam me up to the bad mountain and valley. That's, it's got to beam me up. Beam. It must be something Scott says that. Beam me up, Scotty. <sighs> yeah, I wouldn't have got it with that one. If that was the first clue I'd have been given, there's absolutely no way I'd have got that. No way. But I do remember the box. Very good. Very good clue, that one. Right, moving on. There you can still see the pens have just disappeared on the screen. Then we've got the Spellbinders die. Let me just give you a reminder of this. This has got a huge, and I mean huge, saving on it. For just $19.99, you can go for this die. You can see fabric has been cut. These were created originally so that they opened up the options for your soft crafters as well as your paper crafters because they will take things like your leathers, your faux leathers, your denims, your thicker fabrics, hessian, um, balsa wood. But you must make sure, if you're going for this one, and I, I wouldn't be fair for me not to do this, make sure you've got the A4 size machine with the wider mouth to fit this through. But it is, oops, oh dear, uh, that was my fault. <laughs> there is steel ruled eyes underneath the foam there, as you would expect, so very safe to use. All the pressure comes from the machine itself. You don't have to put your fingers on any blades or anything like that. It's perfectly safe. A really good buy. It's a huge die as well, and puts out all of those either way up <laughs> either way up all in one go 19 pounds and 99 pence and 98 pounds saving 950857 we have got some gorgeous gorgeous pearlized paper there as well but i'm just because i've got long left i'm just going to skip past that and remind you of this one because it's been very busy so the oakwood archer set of two die storage cases so remember we've only got one on the counter you are going to get two of these 20 magnetic sheets in total so i presume that's 10 in each because you're getting two cases they are you know as you can see there with the leaves inside though you could put your dies one side stamps another your paper cutouts your notes whatever you want do you know, great value these as well because a good zip on them, you can carry them around, you can label them as well. So if you have got, you know, your different dyes, you know, split down into florals, into butterflies, into Christmas, that sort of thing, perfect. £24.98, 892-272. That's the item number. Would you believe we're out of time? Three out of three. I did it, I did it. I'm not, oh, I, I like that game. I'm going to do it again. Let's play again. <laughs> Oh, I did enjoy that. Coming up next, so oh, do not miss this Totally Patch Christmas, another hour with the guys. And then we've got Fabric Feed and Blenders One Day Special with Hayley, and then we've got Chicken Wired. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar, and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. Back in the day, there were very few quilt patterns in the marketplace. And so uh, I started to bring patterns into the UK from America and Australia. And along the way, I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic British designers. And that is what really the essence of Daisy Chain Designs are.
At Data Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Ali Reeve. I'm from the company Stamps Away. Stamps Away is a family-run company with my husband and I. We create all things crafty, especially with a passion for mixed media. At Stamps Away we create a lot of MDF products because we have laser cutters and router cutters. We also create our own stencils and masks. We try and make everything we can in-house so that you've got all the materials you need to create your projects. If you're watching a show with me on Hochanda you'll expect to see lots of different techniques, lots of ways of using the products that we produce and it's all very much mixed media so pretty much anything goes. So I hope you won't miss the shows on Hochanda with Stamps Away. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. Most of our products involve textiles and age-old techniques from button making, lace making, weaving and other forms of passamentary. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B Silkworks shows here on Hojanda. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dyes that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders. We have decorative dies. We have coloring daubers. We have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping molds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. So I hope you can join Heartfelt Creations here on the channel. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Echanda shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on Echanda. Hello, good morning. Well, let me tell you, we had a supremely busy show at 7am this morning. Of course, you can catch up on Rewind, but we've had so many different sellouts. So, what are we going to do, Pat and Mark? <laughs> we could sing carols. We could, we could no. do that then. No, no. no. <laughs> Not a good idea. Okay. People, people would tune off. <laughs> Say that again, Mark. Sorry. If we started singing, people would tune off. Oh, bless. I'm sure they would, and I'm sure they wouldn't. Um, look, this is what we have got left for you. Um, this is... Um, so, now, because you're known for bringing monthly blocks, this is number five. And we, I think you're going to demo a little bit of this, aren't you, Pat? Yep, sure. Marvellous. 
Um, so can you tell us about the block and this twin needle, what we need it for? Um, yep. The fabric that you get in this month is yep. just a plain, it, when it comes it's a plain piece of fabric. Okay. Uh, and you've got to put some twin needle work on top, which I'm going to talk through exactly how you do it. Excellent. Um, anybody who doesn't have a twin needle who has bought a whole kit or bought bits at a time, mm -hmm. there are some on end of call twin Wonderful. needles. Um, but the people who've done it monthly, they get one with their monthly pack. Um, and it's just, a, it's, it's a really good technique to use because you can do it onto a piece of fabric yeah. and cut that up and use it within your blocks right. anywhere. And it's really effective. So. Excellent stuff, and we'll be able to see it because it is behind uh, Mark there as well, that the corner. Um, so it's thirty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence, one three nine eight nine five. Now, as Pat's mentioned, the end of call, we can actually show you this. Let's have a little look. There you go. There it is, the twin needle for four pounds twenty. That's a nice little add-on for you there. Okay, then we've got our incredible. I thought we'd. Hadn't got any more of this. Oh, right, it's super limited. The Incredible Stars. Do you want to tell us about the name again? <laughs> I like that story. Well, when we... Um, we always have trouble naming quilts because we make so many of yeah. them. Um, and down there, sewing away, you, sewing you, away. Sewing so, so away. In my uh, own world. Yeah, in your own world. You, uh, going at your own speed and, and the, the radio's on and this song keeps on coming on the radio. And it's, uh, <laughs> Incredible by Gary Barlow. And every time he comes on, Pat's, oh, that's lovely. I turn that up. Turn, turn it up, or whatever, an extra turn of radio up, and that sort of thing. And and then, um, so we ended up calling it Incredible. Why not? Because that's what Why you were not? making at the time. It is incredible. And I, well, I, while we're doing that, can I just say that I had an email from Sheila during right. the break, yeah. and her claim to fame is Gary Barlow used to live around the corner from her. Really? <laughs> yes. It's so all. It's all happening. It's, it's all happening. <laughs> now, did I just hear right? This has now sold out as well. Okay. Lovely. Again, um, we will let you know if any bounce back, but enjoy, because like I said, we've had so many sellouts. It's been so nice. Right, next then we've got um, our lovely Merry Christmas cushion. Details just coming onto the screen. Um, and it's 22.49, and you pretty much get everything you need for this kit, don't you? Everything is in there. Yeah. Um, nice all, all the fabric, uh, backing, and the wadding. Marvellous. Um, <coughs> so have a look at this beautiful sets of fabrics, all pre-cut for you, as um, Pat and Mark always do. Um, Twenty-two pounds and forty-nine pence. Twenty percent of the stock's gone. Six three seven eight nine four is your item number. Then you've popped in your pattern book. You've lots of project in here. There's patterns from uh, last month's and this month's show. Um, I think there's eight or nine, is it, or something? Lots. Like that? Lots in there, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's three. Number. I know there's three quilts, so yes. lots yes. of other things as well. And there's throws. There's a lovely um, little wall hanging, which is really sweet. There's lots in there for you, lots of projects to keep you going. And that is £25.99. I've just realised the saving here, £19 off. Mm. Really good yeah. saving. Yeah. Uh, that is 09663. Now, something a bit different behind me we've got some uh, we've got the pa panels uh, we've got the house one there you go so have a little look here uh, this is called Holly Hill the panel 12 pounds and 49 pence what would you do with these make a wall hanging or make a yeah yeah, make it more hanging, or just leave it as a panel and put a binding on it, or, or just hang them on the back of a door or over a sofa somewhere. Yeah. That's yeah. nice. They, they're just good this time of year. You yeah. can get them done, yeah. finished, and yeah. use them straight away, or give them as a gift, obviously. They're actually nice, um, nice and colourful, colourful, aren't they? Yeah. Um, Twelve pounds and forty-nine pence. Eight five three, eight zero five is the item number. Then we've got home for the holidays. Details just coming onto the screen. Uh, and have a little look. No place like home. 42 inch panel they are. Again, 12 pounds and 49 pence. Item number is 914880. Are we having it? Oh yes, because we've got a nice finished, a finished one remember, behind yeah. you. Yeah. yeah, that's lovely. And you could do a bit of free motion embroidery on it. Mm -hmm. um, and this one's been quilted. Yeah. It's beautiful. Add some sparkly things, anything really. Yeah. Mm. 
go to town on it, really, couldn't you? Just, just bling it up as much as you wanted to. Absolutely. Yes. Loving that. Gorgeous. Okay, 12, uh, 12 pounds and 49 pence, 914880. Right then, we've got these charm packs, which were expertly demonstrated <laughs> earlier on. I must agree with you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Um, now, these are all different item numbers, just so you know. Let's have a little look at the beautiful blue set. So this one is your totally charming. So let's have a little flick through. I feel under pressure now. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. Let's have a little look. Hang on, because obviously that some of them are um, sort of back to back. Um, so with a charm pack, what sort of thing could we do? You know, for people, because a lot of people are just starting to get into sewing because of lockdown. Mm. Yeah. Um, so yeah, what sort of things can we make with our charm packs? Well, charm packs are great for a beginner because you've got 40 squares of right. coordinated fabric that you can just stitch them together if you want to. And it's very satisfying to get something under your belt when you're beginning. Yeah. And you can practice just your straight stitching and your pressing. Um, or you can um, make, uh -huh. like, like these, I've made these four cushions, one in each of the charm packs with one of the background and blenders. So... It, this square, this is, I've got two squares of this right. and two squares of background and it makes a, a block that size. Got you. But yeah. you could repeat that with the whole charm pack and the whole backgrounds and blenders and have a whole quilt made of that. And I'm going to give a little, if we've got time I'll do a demo as well later, but there'll be a little... Um, information sheet. Yeah, info sheet on it with the charm pack so oh. you can follow it through. There's pinwheels or this. Yeah. And I think they buy two. Yeah, if they buy two. And this is the easiest way to use them once you've used them as a square. Mm -hmm. uh, because you don't have to think about seam allowance too much because the squares are all the same size. Right. And then if you use the squares to do this, they're the same size as each other, which yes. is what you've got to strive to do, really. Good stuff. Um, now, with the Totally Charming, a third of the stock has gone. 14 .99. Item number is 003194. Okay, now the Moda last hour was extremely busy and we're half of the stock gone. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, so this is the French General. Again, have a little look through it. It really screams quality, this. It, yeah. It's nice to touch. It's touchy for you. Yeah, it is. It really is. And beautiful, rich reds you've got going on. There you go. A little look through those. Stunning. Um, 14.99. Item number is 853301. Then moving along, another charm pack. This one is the veggie patch and it makes me smile because of the carrots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good fun one, this one. Here you have a look through here, these lovely fabrics. They're really pretty. Um, so nice and fun, but also, again, quite, um, quite gentle colours. Maybe a nice one for paper piecing. Yeah, all yeah. of them are great for yeah. paper piecing. Yeah. Uh, because they're there, that you can just cut into them straight away. This is from Annie Downs. She's a really lovely designer. Renowned, yeah. Yeah, designer. really lovely. Annie oh. Downs, yeah. Okay. She's Australian. Oh, lovely. Mm -hmm. um, a third of the stock has gone here. 1499337427 is the item number. Next one then, we've got loads for you on here. This again, some, there's some really sweet colours here. So this one is your basic harmony. So you've got some lovely little hearts through there, stars, just really nice. Really nice. Pastely sort of colours and, and prints. Yeah, which I think are quite on trend at the moment. Mm. And these are these are uh, from Stoff. They're a, Den a company in Denmark, right. and the fabric is designed in Denmark but made in Japan. So the quality is in the base cloth there. Right. It's fascinating. I love learning all this stuff. Fourteen ninety nine two nine four zero nine six is the item number and then the final one so I, I, I'm starting to see these as essentials really yes yeah. I mean they, they I mean they'll go so well with them or with anything else really yeah it's nice to have a good a good selection of prints on white on whites and cream on creams they're just so handy yeah. to have versatile um, is a good word to use yeah I mean, I, I'm lucky I've got a bolt of all of them because, <laughs> because it's my job. Yeah. <laughs> but, but they could they do, they're I use versatile them and they go all, with, with all, all of those the time, as well. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. 14 567 389 And then we've got some skeins of threads, which you were saying in the last hour, so they're just single threads rather than you have to undo them, if you know yeah, what I mean. It, it's uh, single strand, so you don't have to stand there or sit there trying to gently undo it without a knot getting in it. Yeah. You use them as they are. 
and they are in four different uh, boxes yep. uh, with different uh, colour schemes, let's say. So they'll come to you in come those. In that, yeah. Yep, lovely. So this is your first option here. This is the basic collection that we're looking at. Then moving over, we've got the country collection, which is nice sort of earthy tones in this one. Uh, then moving over again, we've got the brights. And then last but not least, at the end there, there are the pastels. £27.49, you've got a lot there, 20 skeins in each one. Uh, 137885 is your item number. Oh, <laughs> Lot is really excited about your new mug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, here it is. So you've done one for the crafters there. Yes. Crafting my happy place. Um, made here in the UK? Yes, made in, uh, in Warner, which is potteries. Right. In, in Stoke, that, that way, yeah. Lovely stuff. So if you want a new mug, um, £15.89. Uh, we've also got a patchwork one. Again, details just coming onto the screen. £16.49 once more, but different item number. 699230 is your item number. Ideal, ideal for Christmas. Is it, good? it is, isn't mm. it? It's a really good one. Fits nicely in the stockings, yes. mm. which would be good. Um, again, if you would like to send in any pictures of anything that you've been making, maybe you've been doing the blocks and following along, then do send your pictures to studio at tachanda.com or pop them onto Facebook. Um, right then, over to you, Pat. What were you doing? Oh, yeah, we're doing the corner. Yes, we're doing the corners. If you're up to date, you, you'll, you'll have your four corners missing now. So right. your rows will be together <laughs> and there'll be these four holes on the sides. So we're using our twin needle machine, uh, a needle. So what I'm going to show you first and then I'm going to explain how it works with the needle. So all you do is you exchange your single needle yeah. uh, and put in the double needle. It's just literally when you take your needle out, pull it out push your needle up and then screw it back in exactly as if it was one needle yep. you don't have to think about anything else um, and it's a good opportunity to think when and I did this this morning I got my needle and then I got my spare ordinary needles because we forget to change our needle don't we all right. the time right so when I take this out then I'm going to put a, a new needle in so it's a good time to think about that isn't that mm -hmm. I think packs the needles on end of call as well, as well yeah. Gone all needly, haven't we? Here we are, yeah. <laughs> all needly. So I'll explain the threading in a second, yep. but I'll show you how it works first. So this is a piece in front of me here. This is one of the corners I've borrowed from over there, um, and this is the uh, way I've done it. I've do I've used two different threads, which you can or can't do. That's entirely up to you. You can use the same threads uh, colour or you can use something really contrasting and it just gives it a different look. It's, it's good to have a little play with it on some scrap fabric and, and you can see how it looks if it's how you want it to look. Mm -hmm. And I've just put a diagonal grid on mine, which I'm going to show you here in a little smaller version, little cute one. <laughs> but you can do wiggly lines, which I may well do as well and show you. Just have a play and, and yeah. find what you feel comfortable with. Yeah. yeah, because it's so versatile. Like this it could be just a piece of fabric that you cut up and use within a block mm -hmm. or behind a piece of applique, that sort of thing. And um, what we're going to do with ours when it's complete... I've got two, see, this one here, this one here. <laughs> In these little squares, yeah. we're going to embroider like Christmas 2020 mm -hmm. and then where you were. Yeah. Or That's family nice. names or yeah. whatever you want to do. So gradually you you can put more and more onto it every year, which I think is just a lovely idea. Really personalised. Yeah. Mm. So the first thing you have to establish is how far you want your lines to be apart. And don't do them too close, although you think, oh, I think I'll do them a bit closer. They, they, they look quite nice when they stand alone. If you try to put them too tight, they begin looking like, as if they're like a, just loads and loads of rows, which right. isn't the uh, objective, really. So this is what we do. We just take our, we take our piece of fabric, so that is exactly what I did with this, mm -hmm. and I drew a diagonal line, corner to corner, on... Uh, the right side of the fabric, obviously with a pen that will come out. Now, if you don't have a um, seam guide, which is what this little thing is here. I don't, oh, yeah, I think the camera can come in to see yeah. this. Yeah, this is a seam guide, and um, there will either be a little hole in the back of your um, foot or uh, a clip or something to attach it. This is the thing you leave in the bottom of your box and you never get out because you I think, see. what am I going to do with it? What's I don't that know. piece of metal for? What's right? it for? Yeah. Well, you'll see 
because if you haven't got one or you haven't used it, give it a try because this is a little bit of a, you know, why not experiment. Okay. Um, and you'll only need to draw one line. So I'll explain. If not, you'd have to draw lots of lines, which you'll see in a second. So the first time, we're going to just put our foot down as per normal and we're going to stitch a straight line. Okay, don't just look normally. You're just sewing on the line uh, along. Don't go too fast because... The threads are coming through your sewing machine through the one tension uh, beads. You haven't got a separate one, they're coming through together. So the faster you go, the machine's thinking, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Uh, so just go nice and steadily, like so. It's nice and calm. I'm not even touching it, look. Could be doing anything. Um, and then when you've finished, you'll get... Uh, that's why I say practice, because you, you can do... Um, it, how your machine works is what you want to, you know, try and gauge. Yeah. You, you know, not the speed you can go. Try it a bit faster. If it sort of goes, whoa, I don't like this, you know, right. makes a strange little noise. So, you know, you've gone too fast. Take your time. When you pull it out of your work, make sure your threads go back, like so. You don't want them getting muddled up. And away we go again. Mm -hmm. Nice and steady. See, so I start nice and steady and then I get excited and I go too <laughs> fast. That's, that's always what I do. So just stay nice and calm. Okay. Just following that along. It's not, it's not a rush. We yeah. can cope. So Being I'll have done my diagonal, both diagonals now. Uh -huh. uh, if I didn't have my scene guide, I would be drawing all the lines on. Right. Or if you wanted it to be a little bit um, different, yours could be unevenly spaced. I mean, once you've done it, you'll you'll think, oh, I quite like this. I thought you said, have a little, have a little play with a bit of uh, scrap yeah, fabric, yeah. and just find out what you like and what you yeah. don't like, sort of thing, to, to and try that. Um, I used it in a quilt once, in, inside a block of a quilt. Okay. So a normal block, instead of having all uh, the same fab plain background, I did this. And do you remember, some ladies mm. came into the shop when we got a shop, it, yeah. and, and she had to come and find me to ask me, she said, what's that fabric? They where did you buy the fabric, where they did thought you... it came like that. Oh, yeah. I see. But, yeah, no. And when I told them, they couldn't believe it, no, could no. they? <laughs> that, it, you know, you can make fabric your own, and you can colour the threads. These threads on here could be red, they could be any colour you want them to be yeah um, and it gives it such a different look once you change your thread colour as well mm -hmm. so what I'm doing now and not even telling you sorry is <laughs> I'm not looking at my needle okay I'm looking at my seam guide and I'm keeping that on uh -huh. the line I've already stitched right which is really weird because you're used to looking at your needle yeah but you've got to look at, at the seam guide so I'm just keeping it along here like so you see that yep. yeah yeah all good like that and that way what happens is your lines are the same distance apart without even trying and like then you, it looks really professional it does yeah. yeah like you know and it's it's easy you can see and fun it's something you, you yeah. say it, it's fun to do and practice and so i'm looking here yeah. i'm looking at this line and that's giving me the the correct guide so all of you who've got them at home and haven't used them get them out okay. dust them off give it a go today um we do have queues on the phone lines still very very busy so your fastest way to order is online at hachanda.com if you can so that's that's all you do yeah. easy peasy so i'm just going to show you i've got another piece somewhere yeah i'll i'll just show you if you wanted to do squiggly lines okay. so it could look a bit different and all you do is you just go slowly slowly mm -hmm. and you steer it so let it come round a bit, turn it back, don't do a sharp turn, wiggly, wiggly, wiggly. So just gently easing it. Yeah, you're just gently st steering it round. Don't pull it or anything. Uh -huh. Take your fabric out from the back like that and then you can see, look at that, how gorgeous. If you were doing an applique with something um, like a sea mm -hmm. or sky or clouds, can you see it? Yeah, yeah. definitely. Just, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. Mark's saying move, just... Move it away from the light, you can see it. Oh. That's better. There you go. Yeah, yeah. that's better. Yeah? yeah? Yeah. Right, I'll do another row so you can see it. Um, you could use your seam guide again if you wanted to, or you could cross them over. You could do anything at all you like. And, you know, this is where once you've done a few things, you might just be making a cushion and you might think, 
Oh, I remember that. Yeah, Pat said about trying this twin needle again. And then you can just pop it onto something and it just makes it your own. That's all it does. Yeah. Can you hold it, Mark? Is it better if I'm yeah. away from yeah, the light? Hold it over where the other one is now. Oh, OK. Yeah, away from the light from the machine. There you go, we're coming in. Only just, yeah, you can see there. Yeah. So it's it's really interesting and it gives a plain piece of fabric uh -huh. a, 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 a lot of lovely design. A completely yeah. different look. Yeah, and with like, as I say, like with red on or mm. green or anything, yeah. it just brightens it all up and looks gorgeous. So once you've got them to this, um, this state? finished state, yeah. Uh, I've given you the, p the fabric's a little bit bigger than you need because in case your machine pulls it up a little bit, which it probably won't, uh, you just have to trim this to the size of your other blocks. Okay. So they should be 12 and a half, should be, it is 12 and a half. <laughs> yeah. If not, you need to trim it to the size yours are, but I'm pretty confident because people have been telling us mm -hmm. they've got, I, want, I think so, we need some pictures, don't we? we do need Definitely, some pictures, yeah. love yeah. pictures. Um, so that's what happens there. So I'll just whip back to this part now so you can look at the machine. Okay. Can you do that? Yeah, Let me turn see. It turn it around, yeah. yeah. Watch. Yeah, there you go. There you yeah, go. is that, that right? okay? Yeah. Just coming in. That okay for Mr. Yeah. Cameraman? Yes. Okay. So what you can see, I'm, I'm not going to do this. The reason I did that first was in case my difficulty threading my <laughs> two needles yeah, on air. So, but I'll show you the actual threading of the machine. We can pretend I haven't done anything at all. So what you do is you take your two reels of thread. Now, you'll have a little spool on your sewing machine uh, where there's a hole. So yeah. this is mine. This is what you put in extra for when you want another reel. If you don't have another reel, a holder, what you can do... Can I borrow, can I borrow one of those mugs, Mark, please? What? <laughs> one of the new one mugs? One of our new crafty <laughs> mugs. If you don't have a, a spool holder, if you put your second reel in yep. a mug behind your sewing machine, it'll feed through the same. It'll be noisy. It'll be noisy. But it'll work. But it does work, yeah. yeah. Um, because it, that shouldn't stop you doing it. it, you know, in any any mug you can use, but obviously, you you know, you'll have your drink <laughs> in your crafting mug, I would think. Okay. Yeah. Uh, take the news, that's my spare bobbin. Okay. So you take both of your reels of thread and you put them on your holders, right? So one in, holder, next one on, holder, or in your mug behind, which is fine. Then you take both of your spool your re your threads cameras, that way. Cam yeah. cameras what way am i in the way of the camera yeah. Yeah. okay so you take both of your uh threads and you thread your mach machine mm -hmm. absolutely normally pretend right. they're one so i'm going through my tension i can't go backwards mm -hmm. doing it can they see yeah so i'm going down up and down through my tension and it's pulling the thread off both of these reels yeah you come to the bottom and then you go into your, there's usually a little diddly bit here, isn't the way you have to put your thread through. All right. Mm -hmm. Tell me when they're on there, Mark. Yeah. Yeah. So when you get to there, if you look, your thread will probably be twisted up a little bit. Two or three twists, that's all. Okay. If you untwist it at that point there, then you thread the right hand thread through the right hand, hand eye of the needle yep. and the left through the left. And then you start sewing exactly as I did. So don't be worried by it. Check yeah. your manual if you need to. Don't alter your tension, nothing. Don't right. mess with any dials. Just thread it through, blop, 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 and away you go. And start slowly. Start slowly. Yeah. And have a little practice on, you know, yeah. anything. And you'll, you'll, I, I think you'll love it. Marvellous. Thank you, Pat. I'll be back with you in a second. Um, so this is the um, uh, block five, uh, the December one, obviously. Um, what you've got is obviously you've got your instructions, you've got the twin needle, and then you've got your lovely fabrics for the borders. Just look at those, I love those fabrics particularly. They've got a really nice little bit of like gold foil to them. It's really, really pretty. Uh, and full instructions there, 34 pounds and 99 pence. Again, gonna encourage you for pictures. We wanna see how you've got on so far. Uh, 139895 is the item number. Next then, we've got the cushion kit. You get everything that you need. Um, so you've got your, again, your beautiful fabrics, the wadding, the interfacing, it's all in there. It's a lovely size cushion, isn't it? Uh, now a third of the stock has gone. It's 22 pounds and 49 pence. 
Could you, <coughs> would you say a beginner could do this one? The, the cushion? Yes. <coughs> Excellent. Good stuff. I, I, and I think on the top, you know, where you've got those blank spaces, I've quilted some stars. Oh, if yes. you were giving it as a gift, nice to put the name on or yeah. a house number yeah. or the year. Could be a good time to put the year on, couldn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. <laughs> there you go. Uh, £22.49, 637894. Then we've got the December book. Let's have a little flick through. I'm going to pick this up. Look, here we go. Booklet four, pattern collection. In here you, we've got the, um, there's a throw, there's a table runner, uh, star cushion, Christmas star cushion, Christmas hanging, uh, Merry Christmas cushion, incredible stars in French general and into the cabin with Moda. So there we go, that's the throw. Lovely. So if you missed out on those kits, at least the patterns are in this book. Um, tells you absolutely everything that you need to do. It's really good step-by-step -step instructions there. That's your Christmas star. Very nice. What else have we got? There you go. The wall hanging, which is adorable. Okay, so you've got lots and lots in there to keep you going. £25.99 is the price. Item number is 096363. And we are a third of the stock gone here. Then we've got our lovely little charm packs. We are extremely busy for these this hour. Uh, now this one is the Totally Charming and it's 14 99 So it really, we were saying earlier, this was quite a nice one for the gents as well. So some lovely, um, lovely sophisticated colours here. Hang on, there you go. Let's do this and then have a look. Like, I really like that one. There you go. Really lovely, lovely fabrics. And that one is 14 99 we are nearly 40% of the stock gone. Item number is 003194. Okay, this is the La Rose coming up, the Moda itself. Again, have a look. We are, oh yeah, right, we have gone limited stock for this. So do, again, pop it in your basket and check out. Look how rich these fabrics are. Aren't they great? Very nice indeed. £14.99 again. Uh, you've got the 40 squares in there, 853301. Next then we've got the veggie patch, charm squares. I love this, look at the little carrots and the little flowers and the little florals. Um, cute maybe for, even for Easter. And then you can see the ones with the squares. <laughs> yeah, look, there you go. Again, really nice, sweet colours. Um, over half the stock has gone. 14.99. Item number is 337427. Next then we've got our basic harmony and a third of the stock's gone on this collection. There you go, you've got some little hearts in here, little stars, some really nice little funky patterns, great for your paper piecing. So it's nice and, nice and delicate this one. Got the pastel colours, lovely. 14.99 once more. Item number is 294096. Then last but not least, we've got the blenders. So you've got some white on whites in here, um, creams, but they're a, a really good essential pack to have. And yes, you are finding this as well because we are nearly 70% of the stock gone. 14.99, And then we've got our skeins of threads. Now we've got four different options for you. Um, Pattern Mark also popped them in a nice wrappable box, by the way. Um, and in each option, you can see you've got 20 of the threads. Uh, this one then is your basics. Moving along, we've got the country collection, sort of nice earthy tones. Moving along again, we've got the brights. And then last but not least, we have got the pastels. And it is £27.49. and pence. Item number is 137885. Some more things for you to add to your basket. Ah, here we are. Now, if you're making a quilt, we've got the calico backing just coming onto the screen. 75 by 90 inches. There is 13 pounds off. Uh, it's 33 pounds and 49 pence. Item number is 141121. We've also got some wadding for you. Nice big piece again, 75 by 75 inches. 30 pounds and 
uh, 30 pounds and 20 pence 894780 uh, and then we can show you the mugs here we are so crafting crafting my happy place is 15 pounds and 89 pence 410616 and then we've got the patchwork one uh, here we are 16 pounds and 49 pence and your item number is 699230 the crafting one is half the stock gone um, you still got time to send in pictures you've got about 20 minutes so do send any pictures of what you've been making to studio at tachanda.com or via Facebook is everything all right yes I'm just gonna say the, the picture of the actual crafting and the patchwork the colors on the lettering is, is oh, they vary. It's not exactly that one that you see there. They are very different colours. Oh, okay. Do you yes. have them there, actually? Yes, the crafting ones are just there. Oh, okay, yeah. excellent. We can take a little look at those then. Good. Thank you for pointing that just out. Just in case people think, oh, I don't like the blue. I want to that. Yeah. Uh, ah, yeah. lovely stuff. All right, then, here it is. There it is. The trouble is, you look at them and you go, I like that one. Then you look at the next one and you go, oh, I like, like that, that one. one. Like, we've been using our patchwork ones for ages. Yeah. And then Mark got one out of a box today. Yeah. I went, oh, I like that one. Oh, there you go. You see the yellow and the, and the, the uh, teal and the pink and, oh, the, and, the, and the purple, yeah. Fabulous. Cool. Okay. Right then, what are you going to do for us now? I'm just going to tell you something I forgot to say. Okay. <laughs> Uh, when you're finished with your twin needle, yeah. pop it back in the case, the box packet, whatever it came in, mm -hmm. because they come in different widths. Oh. This is a two millimetre, yeah. uh, which is actually, it's the only one I ever use. I find it's quite a nice width, but you can get wider or narrower. Um, but if you put it back in, because sometimes, like if you go and use a, like a jeans needle or something yeah. and you forget, yeah. Then the next time you think, oh, I wonder what this is. So pop them right. back in your uh, little packet if you can. That's okay. a good idea. Um, also, I'm back on to the um, festive delight. The uh, pattern that we talked about this morning, um, this is the first time the pattern booklet's been shown. And I know, like, you might have been thinking about it and thinking, but, you know, if you've got a stash of Christmas fabric, uh -huh. you can whip your way through this and yeah. get it done by Christmas Eve. <laughs> next year next year yeah. why not <laughs> next year um or you know like you know people see a bit of fabric and then they might add to it and it'll be done for next year that yeah. sort of yeah. thing so yeah. so we're going to talk a little bit about the merry christmas cushion now um we've laid out the pieces in front well mark has in front of us here and this is your backgrounds to the actual merry christmas and the little tree so just put them out in order you can see them clearly on the front of the uh it's got a lot of pages yes. oh, oh so yes. yeah it's got all your letters to type uh, to trace. trace off yes. yeah um and i you, was whispering if, to you earlier but I, I, yeah. you could didn't understand what i was saying but no i, I didn't trying to get <laughs> it was it was, it was i can't hear i don't know <laughs> what's he talking about do you want me to be on this page first <laughs> right so um Obviously, you can put whatever you want on yours and you literally join this together. But what I did first, I put my word Christmas on this bottom section here. So let's talk a little bit about that to start with. Mm -hmm. um, this is my little mock-up of the event. You've got proper pages with yours on. Um, you, uh, I took my, cut my bonder web. There's a piece of bonder web in there, but I cut it so it was just about a little bit, you know, a little bit bigger than the actual letters themselves. And you trace them off, obviously spelling Christmas. Now, I know this is ob obvious, but it happens a lot, so that's why I'm going to say it now. Um, sometimes people go C H. R I S T, and when they need two letters the same, they yeah. think they've got to see them here. They just trace the letter twice. Okay. So, like an S in this one, we need yeah. twice. It does happen. Yes, it does. And it, and then when somebody tells you, you think, how stupid am I? But when <laughs> you're following it, it through, <laughs> yeah. you think I've only got one S. Right. But you don't because you're tracing both. So you place your bond web um, tells you all this. Um, on the rough side of the bond web down onto your lettering which is in your uh, pattern that's why it's nice and fat oh I'm leaning on the thing I can't do it and then whip around like so and if you want to make them a different shape that's up to you yeah so now we've got Christmas written on here backwards which is fine so we take our lettering fabric and then press the rough side of the bond web onto the wrong side of the fabric and that's crucial 
do so it the rough. So you've written on the smooth side. I've written on the smooth side. And you put the rough side down. Onto the wrong yep. side of the fabric. Um, just clear, clearing that up, because you said the rough side. The when rough you side. When you're drawing. Oh no, you draw on the smooth and you put the yeah. rough side down. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then you press that into position. And that's why I cut it this size, so you haven't got lots hanging around yeah. all around you. And literally, cut, what you're doing is you're melting the glue of the bonder web onto the piece of fabric you wanted. And if you wanted to change this, or this is, it comes exactly as your uh, path kit is. Yeah. But, you know, you could all, all your letters could be different colours if you want them to yeah. be. And, you know, it's entirely up to you. So... Press it on, uh, let it go cool before you cut it out, um, your letters out, because... Uh, it's hot. <laughs> no, not because it's hot. Because the, the glue is then sticking to both sides, yeah. so you don't want to... If you take it off too soon and start peeling it off, it can pull away. Right. So then you're going to cut out on the outside of your letter uh -huh. and don't be too pernickety about it you know it's just a letter if it's not quite on the line nobody's gonna come and tell you off no letter police no <laughs> not today that's good it is the season yeah no no I mean, none of that need christmas spirit yeah um and then so do the one do you want to do some more? yeah that's fine. great Good job to pass on. Yes, yeah, it's it's a good job. Look, could you just cut these out for me, darling? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah, oh, yeah. Of course I can. Um, and then you, you're going to do it on this piece of fabric here. I'm not because the way things are selling out, we might need this kit. <laughs> I see. I see. I see. Um, but you put them on here, mm -hmm. and I'll, I'm going to do it on here so you can see. But when I show you on the um, pattern what I wanted to do like I'm quite a quirky person and I like things being off center or n not the right way yeah but I just felt Christmas needed to look a straight line okay, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> which is strange for me but who you know um, should I bring it over here yeah I'll bring it over here so you can see what I'm talking about okay so if you put a rule on the bottom of your fabric so one and a half inches I put mine at as you can see from the picture like so um, and then like put your letters in place on that rule so mm -hmm. and get your spacing right how you want them I put a little a mark on there and then centralize them up but they don't have to look like mine they can look exactly as you want them to look so um, then I um, where's my pin got here it is all this equipment I've got one pin with me in the world <laughs> <laughs> scrape the back of your bond web yeah with the pin and then give it a little crack, peel it off. And do that. If you can do it on your ironing board, it helps. Then mm -hmm. you don't have to move anything. Yeah. Um, and then put your C on and put your whole word out on there. Um, I'll just do it on here so I don't waste this piece of fabric in case we are really desperate. Um, so I'm going to put it on. I put it on the background piece and press it into place like so. So I've peeled the back off, which has left the gluey, sticky bit on my letter. And as you can see, you could do this by um, applique in it traditionally, yes. but it's small-ish and it's curved. So you know, you know, life's a bit too short, isn't it? For, yeah. you know, I like a bit of bonder web. <laughs> <laughs> But I know some people like traditional applique, and yeah. that's fine. If you want to, you can cut it out bigger and then needle turn it under. Lovely. Um, uh, we are half the stock gone of this cushion. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's as simple as it is. And then what you do is you can or not. Sometimes I haven't gone round the stitching re on that, uh -huh. but you can stitch all the way round here with a, a blanket stitch on your sewing machine with your cotton abrode. Um, to give it a nice finish, which if I've got a needle here, I'll show you just how easy it is to do. Cool. Um, the other thing I should mention that we've got on the uh, end of call, which you might think, what is that for? <laughs> and this, they're called needle grabbers. And we are, I've got one somewhere, haven't I, Mark? Probably mm. in that box up there. It's what it is. If you look on Endercore, it says needle grabbers. Mm -hmm. They're very. They're not very much money. They're a circle right. of like rubber. Let's okay. say. 
<laughs> that's the only way I can describe them. Yeah, fair enough. That's and fair what enough. you do, especially and when you're quilting, they're really handy. If you have trouble pulling the needle through, you mm. know, sometimes it's like, you know, tugging away and it won't come through. And they just, gr they do what they say. They grab the um, thread. The needle, they, they help you pull the needle through. Yeah. Yeah. Basically. So this, I'm Is that just, what you're trying to say? Yeah. yeah. I'm just doing a blanket stitch around the edge. So you come in, keep a loop of fabric there. They're very small in the packaging. Mm. <laughs> I can hear somebody looking for them, mine. And, uh, it's not a very big thing to look for. So where you'd use them is you'd go like that. Yep. There's my <laughs> stitch. And then if, you know, if you ha if you, especially in the summer, if your fingers are hot. Yeah. Um, or you've got a bit of dexter dexterity problem. It, it goes around your needle and helps you pull your needle through. It's really good. Oh, okay, I think we can show it to you actually. We've can got we? it on the website. They're £4.40. They go end of call. And I think you get two for that. But there's there's two in a pack. Yeah, there's two in a pack. Right. And they're well, they're, you know, especially if you've got dexterity problems or if you. In the summer, like my fingers get quite hot when I'm quilting yeah. or, or trying to do anything. But this this is so relaxing, just look at that. Nice bit of hand stitching in front of the telly. Yeah, lovely. Little, uh, you know. I like a blanket stitch, I think yeah, it's really effective. Mm. And as it's festive, a little, you know, little mulled wine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you get that there. <laughs> um, or if you don't want to do a blanket stitch, you can just do a running stitch. So you just do a little running stitch all the way round. And that, I, I like that as well. It depends. But even now, it's just so relaxing to mm -hmm. sit and do it. It's even nice to watch, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was doing it once on here, and uh, our daughter Sarah, she said, you looked as if you could have gone on stitching like that. for." <laughs> and I said, well, I could. So that's sort of your choices. You okay. can leave it with nothing on. Um, or you can do a blanket stitch, or you can do a little running stitch. Lovely. The applique, Kate, it's all... Oh, Mark's still cutting out, look. Still going. <laughs> Lack of concentration, Mark. You've got to do something. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, I mean, you don't, you don't need to watch me stitch this together, do you? Because it's just stitched onto each rows, join the rows together, yeah. put your applique on exactly the same as the C is, mm -hmm. and away you go. And you will notice on the cushion, it's got a gorgeous back as well. Yeah, I'm going to show um, you. They, I think the, f the backs may vary. I yeah. Did you use two yes. different ones? Right. Um, but they're, they're all in the range of fabric. So if you were feeling a little bit as if you wanted to save that for something else, yes. you could put something else on the back. Good you? idea. Mm -hmm. But, but I thought Christmassy, like, I wanted to put something nice on the yeah. back as well. So Very nice. I'll do a quick recap and then we'll probably have about 10 minutes. Okay. Yeah, lovely yeah. stuff. So if you'd like to go for your cushion. We are nearly 70% of the stock gone, and you get everything you need. Um, okay, yeah, once these are gone, they are gone for today. Um, you've got all of your pre-cut fabric, you've got your wadding, it's all in there, and of course, full instructions. £22.49, 637894 is your item number. Then we've got the book with all of the fabulous patterns that are in here. And then you can see there's like a throw, there's a wall hanging quilts, cushions, loads of different projects and such a good price because you've got £19 that you are saving today. It's just £25.99, 096363. Then we've got our fabulous charm packs again. So let's start with the Totally Charming. And again, have a look at these lovely colourways because they're really nice in terms of, hang on then, in terms of the, the blues, there's greys in here. Hang on, oh, I'm not doing as good a job as Mark at all from earlier, <laughs> I'm not. There you are, so lovely, I love that one. And then we go into some greys. That one's really nice. Well, they're all really nice, aren't they? You get the idea. Uh, did we say half the stock has gone? Nearly half the stock. Uh, 14 pounds and 99 pence. Item number is 003194. Most popular is this next one, nearly 70% gone. It is the Moda. Uh, beautiful charm pack. La Rose Rouge. And certainly you can see all of these beautiful flowers. have got a really nice red hue to them. Look at that. That's a really nice bold pattern, isn't it? Marvellous. There you go. You get the idea there. 1499. Item number is 853. 
301. Then we've got the veggie patch coming up next. This one's now gone limited stock. You've got some bunnies, there's turnips, there's carrots on there. It's just really cute. Lovely set of um, fabrics. Hang on, let's get, let's get that one. And there's some greys, some blues, some really nice dipsy prints in here. Marvellous. Oh, hang on. Come on. Come on. There you go. There you are. Uh, £14.99. Mm -hmm. Item number is 337427. Then we have got uh, our basic harmony. Moving on here, so some really nice, soft, gentle colours in this collection. There you go. Uh, now, stock-wise, half the stock has gone. There you are. And then finally, oh, look at that, there's some really nice purples in there. Look at that. $14.99 again. Item number is 294, I missed it, 096. And then the last charm pack that we've got are the blenders. Um, and for your backgrounds and everything. There you go. Have a little look. We've got white on white or some cream or some white on cream, you can see there. So they're really nice because you, you've got little patterns on them all. Uh, $14.99, nearly 80% of the stock has gone and it's five, six, seven, three, eight, nine. Um, right, are you ready to go, Pat and Mark? I'm ready to go. Ready to go at home? Where, where, where are we going? <laughs> <laughs> nearly there. Oh, where are we going? How exciting. Um, <laughs> Um, so I thought I'd do a quick little um, demo on how to make these gorgeous little cushions nice. because, you know, a little your friend or a neighbour or, you know, just somebody who you wanted to give something yeah. to, but not to not cause you much stress and something that is lovely in their little home. So It'll be appreciated. I, yeah. I think yeah. it is though, isn't it, if, yeah. you, if you give a, a gift that you've made. Um, so I'm hoping to do two mm -hmm. now. <laughs> Probably get cut off. <laughs> so I'm just drawing a diagonal line on each of my light fabrics. So I've chosen two uh, fabrics the same. They don't have to be. You could mix them up. You could. The world is your oyster once you've got them home. Um, so I've picked those two and these two for the one and these for the others. I'll just yeah. say, just double check that you, it is the wrong side. Yeah. When you get the the white and white cream on cream. Yeah, because they are really close, and this lot, I've already messed up once this morning, didn't I? Not messed up, that's a really wrong <laughs> thing to say. I got one back, back this to This could front. be the third. It could be, yeah. <laughs> no, I thought I might stick the bond okay. web to the iron, oh, because right. I'm waiting that, for that my third, third, aren't I? Yeah, I did two this be. morning, didn't I? Yeah. So, put them right sides together. I've drawn a diagonal line on them. Right sides together, and I'm going to stitch either side of the drawn line. I'm going to do this nice and fast because I want to really want to show you how quickly you could whip these up. If you bought two packs, how many cushions could they make by next week? Mm. Is that a question? Yeah. <laughs> You've got to do the math as well. He's Not. ignoring me because I said I Not. said I said I was clearing up like yeah. after I'd done my little Christmassy bit with yeah. the cushion. And I went uh, Okay, Mark, stop now, because he was still cutting the letters, <laughs> and he just got the last got S one to do. Left. Oh. <laughs> he went, really? Really? I'm just this. <laughs> you want me to stop? <laughs> you have to do that a bit later. <laughs> yeah. So this is your variation on what to do with your charm pack if you um, don't want to leave it in squares. Yeah. Um, the other thing you could do with them is just cut them in half into rectangles yeah. and then you could use them like as a border a piece border yeah they're so versatile me. no rectangles rectangles okay. i meant rectangles so you cut them in half like a piano keyboard oh, down the middle not corner to corner no. got you okay okay so these if you haven't got cutting equipment you just slice on that line across there like that if you've got cutting equipment, you can use it. You can cut that for me, Mark, because I'm on a time scale now. I need the you've got five minutes. Need the ruler. <laughs> you, you, need you, the don't, ruler. you don't need the ruler. You've got the scissors. Oh. I oh. gave you the scissors. Oh. You know, I can use that. Quicker. Oh, no, I'm going to use that. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> then, if you've got rotary cutting equipment, yep. you slice on the line, like so. Closing your blade every time. Like that. Uh, Open them up and press them towards the dark fabric. That's what I'm doing. Dark fabric. 
dot fabric. I tend to do this as well, what I'm doing here. Yeah. I do a little bit and I'll get the next one, make sure it's flat, leave it there while I pick up the next one. Right. A little bit dangerous if the phone rings, but, you know, <laughs> it gives them all a good press and you don't have to keep moving. I'm, I, I think don't I sound, forget you left the iron on. I sound really lazy, but I'm not. I just like to uh, use my time yeah. effectively. Efficiently. Yeah. yeah. Efficiently, yeah. So place them out. This is nice. I like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> place them out in front of you. Join them into two halves. Yep. Uh, because you've pressed them both towards the dark fabric, the seams will lock together in the middle, mm -hmm. like so. It's a really good shot. Good contrast. There you go. See? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. And you stitch on the diagonal line. Make sure you're doing the right line. I think I've turned mine round. Um, could be my third mistake. Do the next one. Same again. Lock the seams together. Like so. Yep. Open them out. Nice. No, press at the end. Yeah. Good, look at that. Lovely. And then whip them together. And I don't press at this stage. Mm. I usually lock the seams as I go on a pinwheel because there's a lot of bulk in them. Okay. Whipping this up super quick. Let's see. <laughs> see where we can get to. See where we can get to. Right, I won't bother pressing. You can pop. just place that on top of the pinwheel so you can see it. Yeah. Yeah, take it away. And I'm going to get on with the next one. So that's exactly that bit there. Look. Can the camera see? Just coming in. There you go. Beautiful fabric. That's lovely, isn't it? This is gorgeous. Absolutely <laughs> gorgeous. And if you didn't want to put them in a cushion, you could add three, four, five, six, nine together and you've got yourself a first. Yeah, you could. Comp you, if you bought the two charm packs, which yep. I've taken this from, you can go, just keep going. Mm. So that one then you make another one another one another one and you're you know on your way to a quilt aren't you very nice indeed i bet i'm not gonna have time for this one <laughs> i can feel <laughs> a few minutes <laughs> two minutes <laughs> counting down no i'm not no. and now you're back in did you say the 16th 16th yeah yeah i think that's only a week away isn't it something like ten that days. Yeah. 10 days, ten days. <laughs> ten days. <laughs> Ten days. Thanks for reminding us. <laughs> yes, you've been busy. Who said that? You've been busy packing the orders. What I'm doing now is what you're going to get on the little leaflet so that you know. So I'll just show you this, which is slightly different to the pinwheel. Yep. That, am I okay? I'll sit down. Um, slice on the line and then slice the other way. Don't move it. Slice across the other can diagonal. You yeah. Can you, can you do that? Yeah. You should always cut away from you. Definitely. Um, and it's difficult in this like that so what you do then you've got four pieces instead of two and then you put them together like this which is that one which is you put them on there if you want and i'll put one on here so you get two of these like that i've got two to do so that's one there's the other one and yeah. this one will form the others so it's really easy mm. to get a really good effect yeah lovely stuff yeah. okay <laughs> there you go. Mark, what, oh, you, okay. uh, what are you doing? Turn it around. Like that. I look upside down, aren't I? <laughs> well, <Yeah. laughs> what can you say? Brilliant. Thank you, Pat and Mark. So we'll see you in 10 days. Okay. Um, do make sure you're checking out any of the charm packs and, of course, this lovely uh, cushion kit because that is approaching limited. They go for your cushion kit, you get the full kit. We're just popping the details onto the screen just for the last few seconds that we've got here. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, thank it's seven o'clock bright and early. Yes, yes. Thank, you. thank you so much. Brilliant stuff. Okay, uh, it's still very busy on the phone lines. Uh, fastest way to order is online at hachanda.com. Right, it's 12 o'clock, which means it's the penultimate live hour of the one day special. <laughs> What we have for you are Fabric Freedom Blenders. After that, uh, we've got Chicken Wired. Looking forward to seeing what we've got there. Um, and later in the afternoon, it's Crafting with Clarity. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light 
It's been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Echanda shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on Echanda. Hi, I'm Lucy from Sweet Poppy Stencils, the Craft Station Limited. We're a craft retailer and we specialise in stainless steel stencils. Our stencils are manufactured in metal. Uh, this allows us to have designs that are intricate. We also have new products coming on board. Um, our craft bonds, our uh, pole drops and um, our acrylic paints are joining us. We've recently joined Hachanda and we're really excited. This allows us to demonstrate and show our products. Um, we know customers like seeing um, the demonstrations. So make sure you tune in and don't miss the Sweet Poppy shows on Hachanda. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Blanche is a crafting company located in Germany. For over 20 years, I'm designing and selling stamps, paper crafting products, and home decoration. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. We produce a whole range of products. We produce paper products. We have also shrink sleeves for your jars, glasses. We have home decoration products, paints and wall decals. Everything, the whole range of crafting we produce for you. I hope you enjoy watching us at Hochanda and crafting with La Blanche. Hello everyone, we're the Pink Ink Ladies. I'm Kathy and I'm Mel. We've been with Hochanda right from the start and we've been crafting for 30 years. We're passionate about fabric, so our main thing is to stamp on fabric or stencil on fabric. We can't wait to show you all our new hand illustrated stamp and stencil designs, whether you're using them on cards or soft furnishings. Kathy and I get together at Pink Ink Towers and we can't wait to share our ideas. We choose all our subject matter together and then Kathy goes away and hand illustrates all our fantastic finished designs and we pride ourselves on the quality of our range. On our shows on Hochanda we're excited to share all our hints, tips and techniques for you to get the most out of our products. Please tune in to the Pink Ink Shows, get inspired on Hachanda.
Hello, it's officially the afternoon, isn't it? It's 12 o'clock noon. That means, of course, we've got another hour of the One Day Special. We've got another hour with our guest as well. Hayley, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm fine, thanks. I'm just doing prepping some stuff for some demos. Wonderful, wonderful. Oh, and uh, I think we might have some new neighbours moving oh. into Eclectic <laughs> Avenue as well yeah. this afternoon. If you don't it's know what we're talking about, you need to get it on Rewind. Let's have a look at the One Day Special, though, of course, because this is what it's all about, isn't it? We've got the most amazing fabrics fantastic prices for you as well and eight different options let's start with brush strokes that's what I've got here right next to me yes. details on the screen we'll keep going through these as well for you so hey okay, brush so strokes brush strokes first of all, is... got the lights haven't we yes uh, there's a there's uh, these are a new pattern for fabric freedom and fabric freedom do really well with their kind of blender fabrics so the fabrics that maybe aren't a feature fabric but those ones that kind of work in the background to help those feature fabrics really stand out and, and kind of sing. Um, and they do a really lovely range in these. And the brush strokes are a new range that they've brought out. And what you're getting within the one day special is you're getting 10 half meters. And those 10 half meters are kind of, we bundle them into two sets. So you've got the kind of more neutral toned ones, the ones that you've got there. So all of your grays, your browns, your beiges, right through into your creams. And then there's another set and they're all of your bright colours. They certainly are. We're still looking at the neutrals at the moment. I'm kind of picking these out and uh, sort of applying them in order, but showing you the different options and the ways you can put these together at the same time because they do, as, they, as the name says, they blend so beautifully, don't they? So the neutrals there, the lighter option there is the one we've just seen. So those 10 half metres. Then we have the bright, so the same design, those beautiful brush strokes, but you can see the colours here. Hayley, again, it's the green for me. You, yeah, it wouldn't the, be a bundle I mean, without that green. The benefits of having, uh, rather than a completely flat fabric, the benefit of having something like this where it's got lots of different tones and within there, because that green's actually got four colours in it. Yeah. And as all of them have got four colours within them. Sometimes they don't look like they've got four colours, but they have. And what that means is if you are trying to match something up, you are oh. going to get, um, if you can't get that perfect match, these are going to work brilliantly because they're going to, the fact that there's four different tones in there is just going to offset the need to have an exact match. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. We've just lost a couple from the rack, but never mind, I've managed to show you those. Uh, these are stunning, aren't they? Just two options, so we've seen the neutrals. This is the brights of the brush strokes. There we are, there's the last one. So those 10 and a half metres, again, details on the screen permanently for you at the moment. Now, I can tell you with both of those options, almost 60% of the stock has now gone absolutely gorgeous i wonder if people are buying both options of that because it's neck and neck with that one it well, really the, the is the beauty of them is you can um either work them together because you can see all of them together on that one uh, rod and they will work beautifully like that or you can just pick and choose and have you know just the ones that you need for the project that you're going to do so you've got options with those beautiful but we've got another seven options to show you haven't we so next up let's look at these oh these are gorgeous I think these are my favourites. I think I'm not so sure I because there's another these option. Vintage vines, but they're not. It's called Vineyard. This one, and you, again, you've got the two different options. You've got the lights, or you've got the darks option. Now the darks has already sold out, and we're on extended dispatch with them. I think they just have a really nice wintry, quite classic '40s feel to the dark option. But the lights are also beautiful, and you can mix and match those two sets together as well if you want to. And um, what you'll find in both of those collections is you'll get the kind of positives and, and negatives of each of the patterns. So I think you found the purple one earlier, didn't you, where you found... Yes, these? I'll pick that out again, actually, because I've done one of them. So if I just bring forward this one again and then go and you to you find its little friend at the other one. end. <laughs> oh, aren't they beautiful? So you can easily work those together and pair them up as individual projects or you could stitch them, you know, all together. You can. You I'm going to put those to. greens together as well. Look at these two. Very nice indeed. Look at these. Now, 80% of the light option has gone. This is what we're I'm looking sure at at the we moment. Used to the have light option. I've wallpaper like that in my mum's house. Beautiful peach in there as well. Let me just bring those two forward as well so I can pair those up. I really, really love these. The more I see of these, Hayley, the more I'm loving them. And I mean, it does make a difference with your decisions, I think. Yeah, seeing and them I put think together in different with, ways. Um, getting the, the full set and you're getting those positive and neutral matches, uh, positive and negative matches in there, 
you've got so much more you can do with them. You could take two of those half metres, add uh, another half a metre of plane, and you, you're away. They are you know, stunning. So you, you've got a lot more options. Let's have a look at the darts. Now, the darts did sell out. We do have them on extended delivery from the 9th of December. So it's only three days to wait. Already busy on the extended stock, though. Nearly 20% of the stock has now gone. Just bringing these in again. I'm placing together what I can so you can see them together because they do work so beautifully. Oh, I might have to go shopping again, you know. I'm trying to be really, really good. Oh, I do like these. You never manage it, though, Cassie. I know, I'm terrible. You never manage it. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do with them yet, but I just think they're beautiful. I think there's so many reasons yeah, to Yeah, the dark these. ones, and I think coming to winter as well, there's so many kind of uh, quilt patterns that you can, you can get out there that these would just work perfectly for, because maybe just putting a, a cream or a beige with them just to spread them out a little bit, or you could use them all together. I mean, even just a calico colour. Definitely. You know, just like a seeded cotton with them. Because these are all 100% um, cotton and they're all quilting cotton weight as well. So they're they all exactly the same weight. Quality. So you could easily work all of these gorgeous. together. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Details still on the screen. So that's the darks. We've seen the, the neutrals and the darks in the option there as well. Or they are separate options. Just going to give you the details then. Then we'll go through the others we've got. We've got a flexi buy on it for you as well. Two payments of £19 and £98. Huge saving of £25. Because they're half metre pieces and you've got ten of them, that gives you five full metres in total. Nothing to stop you going for more than one option. All also, I know I can safely say this because Hayley confirmed it earlier, if you want more than one half metre of a particular option, they will be cut as a continued length if we've got the stock. So do remember that as well. So if you want to go for two lots of, of say, the darks that we've just seen, you will get that as metre lengths because there's half a metre in each option. Let's have a little look at the next ones for you. Now, it, do you know, it was a, a close one for me. I know Jimmy loved these. He absolutely thought these he fell in love with these straight away Haley as soon as I was showing them and I'm not surprised I think once you start opening these out again you appreciate the beauty again of this of this fabric this one because it, it kind of goes uh, both light and dark in different patches so you've got your background to it which is that mottled light and dark background but then you've also got a light and dark print on the top which makes almost some areas look bleached out and then a darker print in other areas. So it's a very, very clever design that's uh, been able to, to do that all in one hit. It is beautiful, the most beautiful colours in here as well. Half the stock is gone of the mottled. You can see, you know, you've got butterflies in there, you've got the little berries or the foliage in there, you've got florals. Do you know, it's so, so pretty. And the I am reason trying my best to show you each colour here. they've been grouped with the uh, ditzy florals is if you kind of look at the colourways again, a lot of those colourways will cross over between the mottled florals and the ditzy florals. So if you're going to kind of mix and match things together, then that's another great way to do it. I love this set as well, Hayley, because you've got almost three different sorts of grey in there. There's a bluey grey, you've got more of a greeny grey, a light grey. They yeah. all work Grays so beautifully so with the other colours. Because yeah, if um, you know, maybe you're looking for something to, to blend in with a, a quilt and maybe you don't want to go for a cream or, or a, a light colour, but then you also don't want to go for a really stark black, yeah. then a grey is a great option. Well, that was the mottled. Now we've got the ditzy for you. So oh, look at the purple and the pink together. Just stunning. Again, and this has got a really gorgeous tiny, colours. tiny print on there. So maybe if you're doing your English paper piecing or you're doing projects that, you know, have smaller elements to them, then that's a really good option to have because you can do your nice small bits and pieces. That is such and a still good get quite well, a lot of design, it? you know, quite a lot of design showing on, on the elements that you're adding in. These are gorgeous, they really are. Do you know, it's one of those again for me, Hayley. I think I could quite happily have a lucky dip in and be happy with absolutely anything. <laughs> well, that's what we said. These bundles, you could literally put them all in a, in a box or a bag, pull any three yeah. out and work them together, and you'd end up with something really, really beautiful. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Details exactly the same, of course. That's our floral, so the, we've got the mottled, we've got the ditzy there. We've got one more wrap to show you as well. The mottled half the stock has gone. Make sure you check these baskets out. There is a final call show, but we've already sold out of one item. It's back on extended. You've got lots of choices, so do have a look on the website, but whichever you go for, £25 saving, amazing saving. Right, now we've got our batiks for you next, but these are no ordinary batiks. Look at this, of course, you've got to have some dots in there, haven't you? Again, beautiful colours. The fact that you've got green in here, you've got the grey in there as well, so all the other, other colours will work so beautifully. Oh, that pink and green looks lovely. 
That's yeah. a lovely colour, and, isn't and it? Again, with this one, uh, because we've kind of grouped these together, these are all those same kind of muted tones. So if you look at these spots and then you look at the floral uh, batik ones, you can see they're all kind of the same colourways, they're all the same kind of colour or tone and hue kind of family. So you could pick any of these and work them together and you'd come out with something really pretty. Lovely. Look at the grey with these as well. Absolutely beautiful. And then I'm just going to drop those down and bring in the final few to show you as well. So you've got the browns, the blues again there. That gorgeous mossy green that works so beautifully once again with any colour. Do you know, it doesn't matter if you put it with the blue, with the brown, with the lilacs or the purples in there, with the pinks. Do you know, absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful, and there's that purple at the end there as well, which again works so beautifully with that green. So that's our dotty one. And then again here, look at the ditzy pattern on this one. This is our final option that we've got for you here. Again, that beautiful green that's going to work so well. The little ditzy pattern there, you've got the florals in there again, you've got the foliage in there, you've got that mottled background, which is so beautiful. Do you know, there is more, you, you first look, you think, well, there's probably just a couple of colours in there, but I think there is more than the two again. I know with the other fabrics, there were four different colours in there. And once you start layering these up, once you start putting your borders in there, whether you put in black with them, whether you put in white with them, whether you're just working with them as they are, you start putting these together and they totally, totally change. Change. loving the denim blue color there as well I don't know if that's the official name but you can see what you're getting here for your money this is exceptional value exceptional quality as well that gorgeous gray that's going to work with all those colors once again beautiful and then we've got that softer green there as well that leafy green which is very very pretty so once again all those different options eight different options we've got 39 pounds and 95 pounds uh, pence, sorry, I should say. <laughs> £39 and 95 pence. 10 half metre pieces. That's five full metres of fabric. This is 100% cotton. You've got 112 centimetres for the width of that, or convert that to 44 inches. Item number 215611, and take advantage of the flexi buy as well. £19 and 98 pence, I believe, was that. We'll see that spin around a little while. But if I can do the maths correctly, that's what it is. It's incredible for, meter for quilting cotton. Yeah, you'd be expecting to pay that for kind of poly cotton or a um, uh, like a poplin weight. Yeah. So I mean, it's a brilliant, they are brilliant beautiful. Price. Now I can tell everybody, please be quick. We are very limited on the floral vineyard light option now so if you want that one in particular please don't hesitate before you check those baskets out now as always we've got some happy hour deals for you as well these change in each hour uh, we had some sellouts earlier on as well so these can go very very quickly oh Haley, i've got to ask permission can i yeah, oh thanks <laughs> Thanks. I just I have to ask permission because I don't want to get into trouble. Well, but what you need to see what you're getting. Is um, when uh, once every kind of three months, once we've kind of saved up all of the uh, spare bits of fabrics from demos and um, things like opened rolls that we can't get back together. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what we're doing is once every three months, we're actually doing a, a giveaway. Oh. of all of the because obviously there's sometimes samples where i've taken a little chunk not a huge bit but a little chunk off the end and um, we can't do anything with those so we bundle them all up and then i think nikki was the one who won it uh, last month oh wow these are fun aren't they yeah these are really cool and even just adding one of the little strip maybe you're just making um a little bag or a satchel and you just wanted to use a couple of them for straps they'd be perfect for that Love these. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at the price as well. £19.99, £10 saving. Of course, these are two and a half inches wide. You're getting 42 inch in length on each of those as well. As always, 100% cotton. What a great saving. 848535. Of course, at one o'clock, they're going to go up by £10. That's in the stock last. I did say you have to be quick on these. We're well, we're very busy on those, uh, almost at limited stock. Now, we've got something else that's very, very fun. Now, I'm not going to take the label off this one, but I am going to slide it down just so that I can show you a little bit more of this one. I'm saying that I can't slide version it without turning it. We had the... Um, I'm not going to take it off. I don't want to get into any more trouble. We had? we had the jelly roll or uh, freedom roll version of this in one of the previous hours. Um, and I think if you've got somebody who's young and new to sewing, 
this is a really nice way for them to learn because they can patch these together so easily. A lot of the patterns are non-directional, so it doesn't matter if some bits go upside down and things like that. So it's a really good, fun one to start somebody off with if they're just learning like that. as well. And it's a great price for a stocking filler as well. It really is. Do you know, they are fun, aren't they? But again, if you were to take them out individually, as you say there, Hayley, different age groups perhaps, different projects, they're absolutely beautiful. This is reminding me of a, a game we used to play as a family when my children were little. It was called Monsters. Oh, so loved it. I don't know if you can still get that game. I'm going to have to try. I'd play it on my own. It was that good. <laughs> 951730. It was. I loved it. That's the well, item number for that. A happy hour I, I again. I want to now. know what happened in the game now. <laughs> oh, it was just fun. Oh, you used to... Oh, I'll tell you later, Hayley. Okay. I might be able to tell you as we're going through, but I better give the details for this one. So, um... If you move into the street, can we come round and play monsters? Oh, definitely. The more the merrier. <laughs> With social distancing, of course. I live at number one, Eclectic Avenue. <laughs> that is our... What, what, what did we call it first? The Fantasy Oh, Fantasy Street. street. It's now got a name. It's got it a name now. I think it was Spencer who sent in a suggestion. And Hayley said, that's the name, Eclectic that's Avenue. It. Now, if you'd like to join, we've still got some houses. We've got one or two numbers that no one's living in at the moment. But there is, there is uh, some specifications yes. that we have to tell you about. If you want to move onto our street, you've got to have a skill. Now, apparently, this all began last night with <laughs> Scott and Hayley. And one of our skills, we've got a fire eater on the street. Would you yeah, believe that? We've, uh, we've got fire eater, We've got mechanics. We've got nurses, mechanics. We've got gardener, gardener. in the last hour. Um, Leslie from Chocolate Baroque's moving in. Is she? What does she? What's her skill? Well, she's going to bake stamps, apparently. Oh, well, well, we know she's. We know she's very skilled at that. What else would it be? Do you know? We want something. I want something more fun, like you the want fire something eater. More out there? Yeah. Can we have okay. something that can do something really, really fun like okay, that? Okay. Yeah. Go for it. We've got a pet sitter slash babysitter. <gasps> We've got a hypnotist Have on we? the street. <gasps> number twenty-seven. Oh, that's a good number for him. That is a good number, well. isn't it? That's one of my favourite numbers, twenty-seven. I think uh, it's a prime number. June well. lives at number 37 and she looks after hedgehogs. Oh, that is so worthwhile having June there as well. We've got a pet sitter. So if you've got your pets, that's fine. That's good for me because I've got four dogs. Number 31 is where the pet sitter lives. We've still got a few empty houses. The lower the number, the nearer the sea you are. Yes. The higher the number, the nearer the pub you are. <laughs> we kind of thought of the everything, the haven't dog. we? <laughs> What number does Scott live at? Uh, he's next door to me. He's number four. He's number I'm four. number six. Um, and then... Oh, at one, you'll have a sea view. I, I know. That's why I chose number one. Number one. I'm... Oh, guess who I'm opposite? I'm opposite number... Oh, Kevin, number two, will it be? Yes, because odd numbers on yep. one side, evens on the other. Oh, who loves knitting and crochet? Well, that's my thing at the moment. I'm crocheting on stuff at the moment. You might get to see one or two things I've been doing in the future. You never know. Well, happy hour deals. Busy on those. As a reminder there, they will go up at the end of the hour. Check those baskets out before 1 o'clock. 9.99 is the price of the one I've just shown you there, the Dream Charm Pack. It's busy on that, 806970. We better go over to Hayley, though, because you've got more, haven't you? I have got loads over here. I have um, just huge amounts. <laughs> um, hi. Hi. Yeah, you have to bear we, with. We've got we, to do a little bit of jiggly pull. We will get to She's there. Come, she hasn't run away. She's not gone to a new address. She's got some there beautiful go. fabric for you. <laughs> so, just... I've got... <laughs> it's fine. Seamless. It's fine. Um, <laughs> I've got the Celtic option here. And uh, this is one that you've seen before. And this one is just such an easy sew. All you need to do is add a little bit of black into this. And you can make this go so, so far. I've got a couple of the options um, that are made up into cushions, which I'll show you in just a second, because this is a bundle of five half meters. So you are getting your half meter with your big panels on. So these are kind of cushion sized. If I flip that around, there you go. You're getting cushion sized panels, but you're also getting other little feature bits. So maybe turn those into straps for a bag, or I mean, you could just do them as a, as a trim or a lining on some, or a, you know, an edging on something. So you're getting the big panels, you're getting another feature panel piece, which has lots of little blocks in, which these I would be cutting out and using as individual pieces, so using them as blocks in their own right. And then you're getting three coordinating fabrics, all in the same colorways that will kind of complement the two big panels that you have. So let me get those. Oh, oh I've knocked my screen over. Um, so you're getting those three 
but um, you can't really call them planes, can you? But you know, the, the, the plain, three kind of um, patterned designs, which are all in that same colour family. So this obviously is the red option. There is, is this called green? Gold. This is the gold option. It's got kind of a, um, a sage green background to it. But this is, I think this one is one of my favourites out of this. I think it just looks so opulent. And then there's the blue option as well. So I've got a couple of these pieces that have been oh, made up hey, into cushion gorgeous. covers as well. Wow. So that's obviously that big panel that we showed you on the front. And then on the other side, what they've done is they've used oh, uh, one of those pieces of the, I can't keep calling them plain fabrics, but the, just the... the the patterned yeah. fabrics, not the not the big panels with all the bits in, the patterned fabric, and then this is actually that little border piece Doesn't that was that on the edge well. of there. So I bring that in, you can see that's that little border piece that's that's on there, and then there's another one, and they've done this, they've done a matching set. Look, so they've done the same on that. So there's enough to do both of those cushions within there. These are stunning, aren't and they? And I've got another, I've got a demo that we'll do in a minute, which uses some of the uh, blue option that we've got, okay. and actually the wonky window template. And just as I said, adding a little bit of black to it makes it look completely different. So we're going to do that oh, I'm forward in a to little bit. Demo. So, um, which ones? Oh, I need numbers, don't I? You, you do, do need the numbers. numbers I'll give you, you the numbers. These are the Alcatic <laughs> panel, panels. We've got the blue, the red, and the gold, as Hale has just demonstrated there for you. All the same what? price, all with a £3 <laughs> saving as well. 16 99 652 Five eight nine, beautiful, beautiful, and the quality again, Haley. I remember the first time I saw these, and I absolutely fell in love with them. And every time yes. I see them, I think every I know time they're why on, these they're are busy. Popular. Yeah, and we just have to kind of wait for them to get more stock in before yeah. we can put them else again. Is busy. The phone lines as well, actually. So if you can go to the website, quickest and easiest way, or use the app. But if you're hanging in on the phones, we'll get to you as soon as possibly uh, possible. Uh, the moment I'm hearing about two minutes waiting time on the phone lines, but do bear with us. We are very busy. Right, Hayley, next. These are so cute. We had the um, jelly rolls, not jelly rolls, freedom rolls, strip rolls, whatever you want to call them. We had those on in the previous hour um, that went with these, but I think these in their own right are a lovely fabric. So uh, unfortunately, if you missed out on the, the rolls, that is fine because I think these as either linings yeah. or as anything, these are stunning. So you've got three different options in these. These are the rainbow stripe quilted cotton and it's pick and mix any two half meters. And with always with fabric freedom, if you go for two of the same, everything's cut from the roll. So you'd get a full meter. Now I'm not going to wiggle these about too much because they will send the cameras bonkers. Um, but you've got three different colour options in these. So I can't remember which ones went with which um, rolls that we had, but I'm sure it'll be fine, won't it? Well, so we saw that two of those rolls, didn't we, in the earlier hour? Da, da, da. There we go. That one's the pink one. Very and nice. Then I'm waiting for it to flip round because I can't remember which one's which, I'll be honest. Ooh. There's a sky and a turquoise and... I would say the I web think is your best Did bet. you say that the pinkier it, it one went with the sky? It refers to the colour that the roll was yeah. more than what's in the background of it. So I would say turquoise is, is the, has it got red in with the turquoise? Right, so this one here then is the turquoise and then this one is sky. I'm going to write it on the back of the stickers so then I'll remember for next time, won't I? I'm going to get my pen. There we go. Could you do me some numbers while I write these on I here? I certainly can. Nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Any two half meters. Again, I presume then, Haley, if anybody wants to go for more than one option of the same fabric, yeah, they just get a full again. meter of it. Wonderful. Four zero one seven two five. Of course, you can go for them all as long as you put those multiples correctly and you choose correctly. Then you'll get whatever you want at the moment while we've got the stocks. Three pounds saving. Now something else. I'm just going to give you a reminder of is the dream a little dream now we are very busy on this we're very limited on this particular item i'm just going to show you a little bit more of this one actually these are your happy hour deals that we're looking at the moment not the one that Haley had there but the one that i've got here um in fact we've got one or two things on happy hour again they proved very very busy early we had, we had different options earlier on we had sellouts this one looks like it's going to go the same way very limited 9.99 
five pounds saving 42 pieces of course this is your charm pack five inches by five inches each eight zero six nine seven zero and then the monsters as well our charm pack here gorgeous i love this this is so much fun isn't it you've got all those beautiful bright colors in there and again, this just is a brilliant lovely. one for somebody who's maybe a younger person. Maybe they're getting a sewing machine for Christmas or they're just interested in getting started off. This is a really nice way to get started off because everything's cut for you and you can kind of sit with them and, and they could make a, a good size quilt out of this in quite a short period of time. Oh, lovely. And it costs, it doesn't have to be a quilt, does it? It can be other items no, as well. I just think these are great. They can make a bag fun. out of it, patchwork it together, Beautiful. make a bag, make cushion. You know, you've got lots of options. I love the fact that you get those plain so solids in there as well. Sometimes Beautiful. They, the collections need that just they to do, allow that they? little bit yeah. of space between the, the patterns to because it could be very, very busy if it was covered in monsters. Gorgeous. Five pounds saving again, nine ninety nine nine five one seven three zero. And then oh no, we've had a I did tell you you need to be quick. The roll has sold out. Oh no! Really? All gone. It's all right, I've still got some stuff. Have you? Yeah. Oh, you have some more happy hours at four, will you? I will, yeah. Oh, God. I'll get some more. God. You need to be quick with those happy hours. <laughs> so, right, uh, Hayley, what have what you got I there? Have is I have the wild uh, is it Wildflower collection. I want to say Wildflower. I may have made that up. Um, it's the Wildflower collection. There are three different colorways in this. So the one that I've got here, this is the pink and the cream option. And then you're getting seven half meters here. So it's all from the same collection. So it's all designed to match perfectly. You could add a bit of white into this yeah. and be away, and you know you can make anything you anything you like. There's a huge amount here. There's you know three and a half meters of fabric there, and that's thirty-seven pounds and forty-six pence for three and a half meters of fabric. So it's just over ten pounds a meter. Just a I just smidge. think these are beautiful. I really do. Yeah, these are beautiful. And then you've got uh, two different color options with these as well. So we've got this one, which is my favorite, which is the blue one. Gorgeous. I just really like it. I think it's um, the kind of navy in there just works so, so well. And then the last option that we have is the purple one, which is over here. And all of these, as we said, all quilting weight cotton. You are getting uh, seven half meters, but you are also getting an inspiration sheet with them as well. Oh, nice. Which I'll take the post-it off. Um, <laughs> and this will tell you how to make this block that's on the back here and you need to add a little bit of white in yeah. to, to do that but i think we've all got white quilting cotton kicking about also i know there's some big uh, bundles on the website there's a i think it's a fabric freedom one and there's also a craft yourself silly one kicking about on the website somewhere and that will tell you how to make that big block with a pinwheel in the center and kind of working its way out and then from that you can build that up as many times as you need to make your uh, whatever size quilt that you want so if you did, wanted to do maybe three by four blocks or you want to do a four by four block you can kind of make as many blocks as you want and then work those into a quilt or just keep one block as a cushion Love it, love it. Again, exceptional quality and value there. A saving of fifteen pounds, thirty-seven pounds and forty-six pence, three eight two five zero seven. And again, if you want more than one option, you can go for those as well. Oh, we are spoiled, aren't we, on these shows? We really <laughs> are. Oh, make sure you do check those baskets out. Happy hours have gone. They went very quickly, actually. We've still got uh, lots of options, of course, on the one-day special. Now, just a reminder that when it comes to your baskets, you do have a time limit on them as well. If you leave things sat in there too long, things do bounce out. So if there's something you really, really want, especially if it's limited stock, you may lose out on that. So don't forget about that. We do have to remind you. Of course, details on the screen for the fabrics we've just seen, but Hayley's getting ready for her first demonstration. Are we going to do that block, that wonky uh, Yes, so block. I'm going to do the wonky window. It's oh, one lovely. we've brought to you a couple of times before, and I have a finished one Ooh, just over here. I've left it in the wrong place. There we go. So that's the one that we've done there with just the uh, plain colours in. But what I'm going to do is to take the same kinds of colours, those blues, and we're going to do one in the... Um, Celtic design because I think this will kind of show it off really really nicely so the way that the wonky windows work is you get five pieces to your template because I am not a fan of rotary cutters I'm not a fan of measuring stuff because I always get it wrong so what I've done is I've made templates where you just literally cut around the templates okay and then everything comes out the right size yeah and then it all fits together Lovely. Because I cannot be relied upon to measure you you, you always kind of get so far and then you've moved it 
accidentally half an inch or I've got a ruler where it's got maybe half an inch extra on one side than it has on the other. So if you get it the wrong way up, you end up with a bit ah. too small or too big and oh, I, I gave up. I so what we've got is we've got five pieces and okay. it's called a wonky window because when you put those five pieces down, you think, well, that doesn't fit together. Because you see, you've got bigger bits here than you have there. So you think, well, okay. that doesn't fit together. But when you take into account your seam allowances, it right. all does fit yes, together and it provides you with a perfect yeah. square when you're done. So let's just move these out of the way because I've already cut all of these pieces. So you need one of each for each window and you're going to need two. Uh, your thinner pits, so bit two and bit four, you're going to need in whatever your kind of sashing colour is going to be. Yeah. So in this case it's black and then you need your um, extra colours, your extra, um, your, your feature fabrics in pieces one three and five there you go so what we're going to do from here is you sew what and you just sew by numbers one to two three onto four onto five okay and then those two pieces together so what we'll do is we'll put uh, that onto there and you can move these round at this point so at this point if you decided you want the smaller piece to be oh hang on on the left <laughs> You can just swap them over at this point. So the, the wonky window template that you've got there then, Hayley, yeah. is that part of the, the tool set that we've got on the no, screen No, that's there? a slightly different tool set. What I'll do is I'll, I'll put this together and then I'll um, get that tool set out because you need the full block together before you use the next bit. Uh -huh. There we so, are, the wonky window quilting template. There it is, $17.99. So you get those five pieces there, 702-725. Really lovely design as well. Now we've got another bundle as well available, the circles. Ah, and the wonky window, windows with it as well. Look at this one, £30.98. pence. originally brought these two out to go with um, the Japanese-inspired fabrics that Fabric right, Freedom had on. Yeah. Because any fabrics where you've got quite a big, bold print, like, you know, on these ones where there's a lot going on, or any of those little blocks where we could actually just have taken out one of the feature blocks from one of the other panels from the Celtic one. Right, this okay. lends itself really well to that because instead of this part here where I've got the, um, the pattern on, I'm just going to go and steal uh, this well, bit. I've just noticed the Freedom price on that bundle as well. If you're going for the wonky window with the circles, Freedom members, £24.78, 960513. There you that go. That makes it £12.39 each. Yeah, it's, it's all right. It is all right. It's all right, especially as it's the, the plastic. You know value. the plastic stuff's expensive. I do know. <laughs> I certainly you do. You know the plastic stuff's expensive. So, um, what you can do is if you wanted to use one of these kind of feature blocks in place of uh, where I've got this one here, so if I wanted to put that feature block instead, use the template, obviously it's clear so I can see through it, I can line it up exactly oh, where I want it, and then cut that out so I can sew that in instead. And all of the templates that we do have a little hole in the corner so if you've got a little kind of clip ring or a bit of ribbon or something you can tie them all together oh, so you keep all doing, one it? set yeah, together definitely. so I'll pop that out of the way so we've got one onto two we've got three onto four onto five we're going to attach those two together let's just get a talking of wonky windows there. I can guarantee there's no wonky windows on Eclectic Avenue Oh, I think they're, they're, I think all, they're, they're all, all wonky perfect, over there. <laughs> Do you know, we've had an email from Jackie, first of all. Jackie wants to make sure that we find a bus driver to take us to the sea and to take us to the pub. It's at the top and the bottom of the street. I know, but if you're living and in the mall where I am, the, I've got a long street, walk so to the top of the street. Down ever so, slightly. so you walk up a little bit to the pub. And then it's all downhill on the way home. <gasps> we need sledges oh, and toboggans, okay. <laughs> don't we, for when it snows. We can go to the pub and then sledge back down to the seaside. <laughs> Alison's emailed in as well. Oh, what we was haven't that? got she, it. Alison lives in the hairdressers. Is that where she lives? She's opening a hairdresser. Number 20. She's opening a hairdresser's at number 20. <laughs> oh. It's going to be great. We had the uh, beauty therapy lady in. We did, didn't, didn't we? we? Yeah, she's yeah. in. Yeah, <laughs> we've got the pet sitter we said, didn't we? We still, I still like the fire eater best. Do we like that? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, we've still got a few, a few empty properties. Now we've got Hazel and her husband, Adam. They're living at number 11. 
Oh, Hazel will look after any cats. Any cats that need to be looked after with a cat sitter. Oh, and Adam plays the bugle. Oh, and he plays on Remembrance Day every year and he's happy to do it on our street. Oh, I think we need it more than on Remembrance. He can, for all he can occasions have a gig in the pub marked. as well. Yes. We've got Brig and Dave at the pub, haven't we? Christmas carols, yep. we need Brig those Dave, as well. Resident not pub just, band. Not just ladies called Carol. Carols aren't just for Christmas. We want the carols themselves to sing at the Duck and the Dog. That's our pub. Yeah, an open mic night. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Karaoke <laughs> night. Oh. Oh, I'd like a quiz night. Quiz night, definitely. Well, and just think of the subject in, in, in the a beach. quiz type situation. In the summer, when we can all get together again. Yeah, we've got pub for the winter, beach for yeah, the summer. I know. See, it's, it's just a perfect location. <laughs> I know it's Jackie, this is. I did think this has got to be Jackie Woodward. I knew it was. Jackie's my personal weather lady. Because she lives, she lives in my neck of the woods and she tells me when the weather's bad. She lets me know when I'm at work, she'll say, be careful driving home, it's windy or it's rainy or it's whatever. Jackie used to be a bus driver. <gasps> can she be our so, bus driver? Jackie, which number can Jackie live in? She needs to live left. on our street. Number 24, Jackie, you're moving in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, now I have put that block together, I've got the super squares. So initially... I've mixed all these up now, so you'll have to bear with me while I try and work out which one goes with which. So, initially, we made this lovely 10x10 10 10 one, which okay. is dead handy because you've got 10x10, 8x8, 6x6, and 4x4, four four, which all fit inside each other, and you can use those for when you're kind of squaring off your block at the end. You've got exactly, I'm just going to move this out of the way because I think it's going to help. And you've us got the internal measurements bit. as well, haven't you, Hayley? Obviously, yes. there's still so squares, but if you've got you, the options. If you wanted to measure from the inside as well, obviously, these are all one inch width. So let me just pop that one out of the way. So on the outside there, that's 10 by 10. Yeah. On the inside edge, that's your 8 by 8. Yeah. So you've got uh, different options to how you want to kind of, if you want to trim these down. Because this one needs trimming down a little bit. Or, what we then thought was, I mean, this was very, very, very popular because I think everybody thought, well, why hasn't somebody just made the square I to know. cut the things out with? But then we went ahead and we made the 10 by 10. Yeah. We made a 9 by 9. Now, this is how they'll come to you. They'll come with the protective um, film on. And obviously, lovely Steve-O puts a little bit of tape on the back just so they don't all fall apart at the post. Oh. So um, that is your nine by nine. So your nine by nine, obviously you can lose half an inch either side. Um, well, quarter inch at top, quarter inch at the bottom. So half inch total and then half inch either okay. for the sides as well. So your finished block size, if you're putting it into a quilt, would be eight and a half by eight and a half. Yeah. So you've got the 10 inch, the nine inch, there's a nine and a half inch, which would Ooh. give you a nine inch finished block because remember you're losing quarter top and bottom. Yeah. and quarter side and side and you've also got a ten and a half which would give you a ten inch finished block now each of these comes with their own little ruler now I've oh, got to try and so work handy, out I've got to try and work out which one goes with which so oh, I believe the then in the different sets yeah you get a diff you um, if you get the whole set you get all of them yeah uh, but if you get the individual squares they've got different sizes on so the ten and a half I believe gets the five eighth inch one and yeah. five eighth inch is exactly the um, seam allowance that you would use. I'll just shift this out of the way. That's the seam allowance that you would use if you're dressmaking. Right. So okay. that's why we've made a five eighth inch one. Now I think the nine and a half inch. Does that get the three three eighths or the half inch? Ooh, Help me. We'll see. If we can check that. For I mix you. them all up. This is my problem. Well. If you are going for the full kit, you are yeah, getting each and get every one, so it doesn't matter. And half of the stock has gone. That's how most of you have been purchasing. Uh, we have got there the Super Squares tool. That's just for one size on its own at 14.99, And we just see if we can verify which measurements come. It's fine. Now, now with that the, one, only ones on the, the now, only ones I'm mixed up with yeah. is the... Um, the three eighths and the one half inch. Okay. So uh, one of them comes with the nine and a half, and one of them comes with the nine. I'm not entirely sure which way around now because I have mixed them up. But we do know 
and you will get the right one that goes with it. However, I have mixed them up. So why would you want a 3 8 3 8 is really useful when you're cutting triangles and you're sewing. Um, if you're trying to sew uh, like a half square triangle, and you've actually cut the pieces out rather than doing it like Pat Mark did earlier where you sew either side of a line. Right, if you're cutting the pieces it. out, yeah. then 3 8 of an inch seam allowance on that edge is a much better idea because what you'll find is it doesn't get snagged in your machine as much because it's got a little bit more for the feed dogs to grab hold of to pull yeah. it through. So that's what you need the 3 8 for. Okay. And then we've put a half inch in there as well because as uh, Pat and Mark did there where they uh, put a, a line down the centre and went either side of it to do a quarter inch either side for seam allowances. If you're going to do that, then this is a great way to do it because you've got a half inch, you pop that down the middle, line either side and you're straight in there. So that is all of the options. You can get them all together in one big bundle or you can get just the separate one. So if you just want the 10 inch set or you just want the nine inch set the nine and a half inch or the ten and a half inch set you can get them as individuals wonderful, wonderful. Ta -ta, do some numbers please uh numbers i <laughs> certainly shall so the numbers are there for you ten pounds off if you're going for the big bundle that is most how most of you are shopping actually and i'm not surprised 49 pounds and 96 pence look at that with that saving there you're getting an awful lot for your money here because we're not just talking about one template as you've seen in each of those sets you're talking multiple sets and those measuring sticks as well those rulers as well 791530 is the item number and it's two payments of 24 pounds and 98 pence remember anything with a flexi anything else you're popping in there you'll be able to split the cost as well now the super squares tool that's going for individually. I remember this one, quarter of an inch is the ruler on that one. I do remember that. Fourteen ninety nine is the price of that one there. So that's just for those squares. The largest one, Haley, if I remember rightly, is the 10 inch on that particular set we're looking at now. Four uh, seven four nine nine one. Ten and a half. Ten and a half. We've got on ten, the individual one. Yeah. Ten, um Oh no, you can get yeah, you can get ten you can get all the sizes as either as individuals. So it was still or, the options as yes, the individuals. Yeah, you can right, get perfect. all of the ones that we've shown you as both individuals and as the whole bundle. And you Lovely. will get that bonus little uh, measuring tool in each of them. I'm sure it's on the website which one goes with yeah. which. Perfect. Because I have mixed them up. <laughs> <laughs> So what are you doing now I'm then, I'm always Hayley? quite happy to confess when it's gone wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, we can't so remember So I'm going to make another couple eater. of the wonky windows, actually, because um, I was going to try and get four together for you to show you how you kind of put those blocks together once okay. you've got them together. So um, I'm starting from scratch, and I'll show you how quickly this goes together. So we're putting one onto two. Let me just whip these pins out. And then we're going to put three onto four and four onto five. Remember, your even numbers will be whatever you're going to use as your kind of sashing type fabric. And you want plenty of that because that's what's going to go in between the blocks as well. So one onto two. Okay. Um, and I'm just making sure I get three different ones in each block. So I need these two and a little bit for the middle. So this one onto here. And of course, Hale is using the Celtic fabric in three different options as well. The blue, the gold and the red are the options you've got. It's the blue that Hale is working with at the moment. Each and every one is absolutely stunning. It seriously is. Right, so at this point, I now need to make a decision because my first block, I'll just kind of press that out a little bit. My first block had the, um, the piece here, the smaller piece on the left. Okay. Sorry. Totally still don't know my left and right, and I apologise for that. So I have to make the decision whether I now want to stick with that and make the blocks all the same way, or I want to move them around. Because the beauty of the wonky window is, when you start putting it together, you can either put them together kind of, you know, quite uniformly, yeah. or you can start twisting and turning them and making different patterns. So if I bring the one that's already done in here, and I know it's different colours, but you can twist it and turn it so it looks like it's going to kind of continue yeah. on. Obviously, you'll have a strip in between there so you can either keep them all the same way and have them quite uniform or you can start really playing about with them and creating quite an interest interesting random you know, it's remarkable <laughs> geometric the difference pattern. that it makes to turn things around as yes, well so it's it well does. worth doing so that's that, what i'm going to try and around. quickly if you oh we're nearly done try and quickly <laughs> do um uh, if you can do a quick recap i'll quickly whiz another okay. couple together and we'll okay. have a bit play about 
Wonderful. Well, we're going to give you a reminder of the wonky window template as well, because that, of course, is the set that Haley's been working with there. You, there is another bundle. If you want to go for this on its own, this is the one you're looking for, 702 725 1799. The other bundle is the one where you get this set, but it also comes with circles as well, and there is a nice freedom price on that, so do look at both of them. Uh, you can make a decision if you want more than one set of templates or whether you want to go for the one we're currently looking at. There we are. Let's just give you a reminder of the one day special as well. We'll be back to Haley as soon as we can. So we've got eight different options here on the one day special. Now at the side of me here, we've got those beautiful, the mottled, that beautiful floral there. Absolutely gorgeous. Now I don't want to spend too much time on it because I want to get back to Haley as soon as possible, but it's worth just pulling out some of these colors again, just to show you how these work so beautifully, whether they're individual or together, mixing and matching these as well. Now with a mottled version, which is the one we're currently looking at, how much has gone? 60% of the stock gone on this one. 60% gone on this one. Beautiful greys in here as well, which works so, so well with each and every one of those other colours. Then we've got the ditzy, the floral ditzy here as well. Those beautiful bright colours. So you've got the purples, the fuchsia pink in there. You've got the brown tones, that gorgeous red. I mean, that is a stunning red, isn't it? The beautiful blue in there. Then you've got the softer colors as well. You've got the pink. You've got more of a gray in this one. You've got the black in there as well. It's almost a midnight blue in the background with the black print on there, which is stunning. And again, you've got the lighter blue there and that beautiful turquoise as well. So £39.95, that's just two of the options we've got, a £25 saving. Uh, we'll just show you again there. That's what we've just looked at. 215611 is the item number. We've still got the, the ditzy dots to show. We've still got that, oh, those beautiful vintage ones, the brush strokes there as well. We'll show you the other options in a second. Uh, but details on the screen for you, 44 inches wide or 112 centimeters if you want to convert it, 25 pounds off. Those two flexi payments make it so much easier at 19 pounds and 98 pence as well. Now, in front of me now, I've got, or to the side of me, I should say, we've got the brush strokes. So you've got the neutrals first, which are absolutely gorgeous. Almost mustard tone in here, as well as those sort of sandy golden colors. You've got the grays, you've got the browns, you've got the cream. There are four different colors in these. You first look and you think, oh, there's a couple of different colors in there, but no, there's four. When you put these together, you start to pair them up with other things. They work so beautifully. They start to pull out the colors of other fabrics as well. I know Haley did put some green next to some of the other fabrics we got on the show earlier, and it really changed the way that it, it did showcase those fabrics. Grab the, a couple of colors out of that. Uh, brush strokes batch and I'll move Wonderful. them in with um, some of the watercolour uh, not the watercolour ones, the wildflower yeah. ones and you can Gorgeous. see the different colours coming out it did make a difference didn't it so brush strokes in the neutral is the one we've just looked at. Then we've got the brights for you as well. Now you have got brights in really vivid colours, but you've also got those softer tones as well that are very useful, like the greys and the greens as well. I love, love, love the two greens in there. Then look at this, going through to the purples well it's almost a, I don't know it's it's kind of a, a royal blue with um, almost a midnight blue and a purple color in there as well then you've got the fuchsia in there you've got the rust color which is very nice lilac again the red just look at the red when you pull that out and you see the other color in the background and then that soft gray there which has almost got a lilac color in there as well almost 60 percent of both of those has now gone both of the brush strokes absolutely beautiful same details of course part of the one day special they are wonderful and then we've got we've still got more to go for because of course we have got we're classing these as more of a boutique look but you've got the dots here again working these colors together using them individually you know, you've got a whole array of gorgeous colours in this one. You've got the purples, the pinks, the blues, the greys, the browns, the greens again. I mean, each and every one of those, regardless of how you pair them up, if you want to pair them up, they just work stunning, absolutely stunning. Then we have, next to it, we've got those ditzies again. Kind of an overall pattern, those small sort of details in there, the flowers, the foliage. Again, the batik effect, the batik floral is the name of this one. Those lovely colours once again. So, do you know, I, I don't know which you prefer, but I mean, if you want to go for both, you can. If you want to go for two of one, just a reminder that you can get these in, in a continuous length as well. We've got one that's con just come and knotted a little bit, so I'm not going to tug on that one too much. The browns, the pinks, the blues, those beautiful greys and the greens running right through again in this selection. They are absolutely stunning. Beautiful. 215611, remember. 
there we are we've got the florals on the screen for you now don't forget with the flexi buy if you're putting anything else in your basket you certainly can split the cost as well if it's not already split for you there's just one more to show you in a second as well we're still looking at the petite florals there um the next one that we're going to show you actually was the busiest one that sold out last night we've got two different options we've got a dark and a light now they're both gone now they're both unextended the darks went first uh, just a couple of days I believe it's just the 9th of December so that will be Friday oh I, I do you know I do love these I really do think I might have to go shopping at the end of this look at these to them I think that's why I love them so much and I love the fact you've got the negative and the positive as well absolutely it's that kind stunning. of shabby it's got that shabby chic look to them hasn't it it ha it's beautiful isn't it so the lights there and then also the darks as well both on extended delivery as I say the darks were the first to go they are beautiful they really really are I don't know how you're going to choose between the two of those either but they're all there for you again details the same it's a one day special 215611 now we haven't got long left so we're going to go straight back to Hayley and see how she's getting on with yep, those blocks I have been uh I've been whizzing these together because once you've cut all the bits out and with having the template a set size and not having to kind of move it around to create your blocks it's much easier if you're cutting with a rotary cutter and you're doing you know larger stacks so um, you can cut several pieces of these out so you can lay your fabrics up and go through several at once yeah. and cut all of your blocks ready to go and then these whiz together so so quickly I'll just move this out of the way a little bit and then all you're going to do is put those blocks together but with that black sashing in between so if I just lay a couple of these bits out um, I'm going to chop that off well, it doesn't it make a difference once you start putting the sashing in there though Hayley and then you can play about with these blocks as well so you can it's start so kind of turning oh I picked up the one that's not sewn together uh, <laughs> you can start kind of turning them around to create different shapes and create the kind of little wonky elements you can add pieces together so you can see I've got all those blues running together there or I can keep turning and changing them and you, you can keep going and make it completely irregular or you can have them go in kind of all the same way if you want and just changing the colors that come between them so you so can create options. lots and lots of different designs so say if I had all of these pieces all those longer pieces come towards the center to create more of a kind of a, a pinwheel design I want that have I made them the same yes I have that one well that one that way and I want that one that way there we go so it's kind oh, of coming around and yes, a bit of yeah. a, a pinwheel and you can really have a good play with this as well now obviously th ideally you want three or more different patterns in there because you've got three different spaces so you can see these blocks are all different although it's, it's exactly the same uh, the three blocks are different because I've got the I've just changed it around each time I've put a um, one on the top and then whatever's on the top the other two go in the bottom piece and I've just switched them around but if you've got four then obviously you've got uh, a different color you can switch in again and then that especially if you're doing that kind of pinwheel design or you're putting all those big squares together then you're gonna have four different colors touching Love it. so just have a think about that either three or four is perfect amount it but you certainly can put as many is. and it like. works so beautifully with that particular fabric as well remember those different colors available the details on the screen show the wonky window quilting template 1799 now you see the possibilities with that it's just a wonderful template set to have and then of course when it comes to the fabric the Celtic there we have got it it's five half meter pieces so in total you're getting an awful lot for your money there and those templates as well those patterns there as well ten pounds saving hayley has been working with the blue we've got the gold option we can see the blue there on the screen at the moment there's the gold for you and we've also got the red aren't they stunning wow pattern included ten pounds saving 29.99 489310 now there's one more show to go the final call will be up at four o'clock so Haley's going to be back then Will the street be full? We are. We haven't got many properties left no, now, have we? No, I don't think we? we have. I don't think we have. Is, have I got Scott at four? We've only got. Wow, we've only got four properties available. 
You have to be quick then. I know, and I believe we've got a map. We've even been building a map. Oh yeah, map. there's a map. Uh, Scott and I had a proper town planning meeting, <sighs> and we'll get the map out of the gallery for the, the last hour, and we'll show you. We have actually <laughs> mapped everybody out. So if you want to move on to Eclectic <laughs> Avenue, you must email in. You need a special skill. What is your skill? Let yeah. us know. You may be invited onto our street. Four o'clock, Hayley's going to be back. Hayley, thank you very, very thank much. Thank you, it's been a, a joy, as always. <laughs> much more to follow, though. I will be seeing you bright and early in the morning. After I've done the menu, I'm going home. See you soon. There it is. Coming up next, we've got Chicken Wired. Oh, do, do stay with us for that one. Very interesting. Cracking with Clarity to follow. In fact, there's two hours with Clarity, so don't miss it. Have you heard of Achanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Hachanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with Hachanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Hachanda Freedom today. Hi, I'm Matthew Palmer, professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. The SAA exists to inform, encourage and inspire all who want to paint and that's exactly what you'll learn to do with me as your teacher. As a self-taught artist of 30 years ago, I know the challenges of a white piece of paper and learning how to paint. But with me, Achanda and the SAA, I'll show you how easy watercolour painting really is. I'm here on Achanda because I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. So whether you're a beginner or an advanced artist, I've got some fantastic watercolour techniques that will get you started and take you even further on your watercolour journey. So join me, Matthew Palmer, for my shows on Achanda. Hi, I'm Hayley. Join me for some amazing Fabric Freedom shows. Fabric Freedom design all their fabrics here in the UK and they design them with quilters in mind so they're really good at picking out those unidirectional prints. Really nice and small prints so you can work on smaller patchwork projects and paste prints as well which is one of their signature fabrics. They do lots more fabrics besides quilting cottons so tune in to the Fabric Freedom shows here on Hachanda. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high-quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with Achanda is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dyes, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on Achanda. Hi, we are the team from Daisy B Stamps. My name's Nina. This is Josie. And this is my dad, Roy. And we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. So three years ago, we decided to embark on turning our own designs into polymer stamps. We're really excited about where this is going to take us in the future. 
and how we can evolve those designs and keep bringing you something that's just so, so different. So we wanted to add an extra element to our stamp collection and this was down to Josie using her iPad and hand drawing the amazing sentiments that we now have in our collection. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. So make sure you don't miss the Daisy V shows on Hachanda. Hello, good afternoon. Right, I'm really looking forward to the show. It's something a little bit different for you. Um, let me introduce you to William. Hello, William. Hello, hello, how are you? I am good, thank you. Like I said, really looking forward to seeing how all of this works. Mm. Um, now, you've been on once before, so this is your second time. The second time, yes. I came on with Catherine yes. about a month ago, just over a month ago. Well, for anybody who didn't get to see that first show, could you tell us a little bit about your background and Chicken Wired? Okay, yeah, yeah certainly. Well, a Chicken Wired is something that's been about 30 years putting together. I started when I was 17, and the story is that I went, uh, I was at home, my father asked me yeah. to clear away some well, wire, uh -huh. some fencing, so he was re-fencing the garden. I cleared away all the old stuff, and I took that stuff away, and I made a dragon out of it. Cool. And that was when I was 17, so over 30 years ago, and I've been making sculptures ever since. So that's, that's where it all started off from. Yeah. And then for the last eight years or so, I've been visiting schools, going to schools, teaching workshops from year three, so about seven or eight years old, yeah. up until A-levels, that sort of year. And um, we've, we've been making everything and anything, and every time I went to a school, they had uh -huh. a new idea, our theme is this, can we make this? So lots of different ideas came together, and it's from there that all of the different sculpture kits came about. Yeah, And that's nice. how it all came about, and I find myself here today. Yes, indeed. How is it with schools at the moment? Very tricky. I mean, yeah. I, um, I've had a couple of bookings uh, this year, as in November time. I managed to get into a couple of places. Mm -hmm. Before that was March. Right. But the schools don't know what's going on no. so unfortunately hopefully next year yes. when the new year comes we'll be back in and be working hard again lovely stuff now you're also giving everybody a nice little gift free yes. gift with purchase yes yes uh, absolutely which is the template yes. and what can we make with this okay so we've got two bonuses for christmas uh -huh. okay we've got a star right okay very christmassy yep and on the other side we have our snowman so this is our snowman Cool. Okay, where are we going? Let's see if we can have that one. A little see. snowman with his top hat. Yeah. The carrot nose. And what we can do is, because spray this just a white. Yeah. Get, get spray paint, spray it up white, and then with your uh, brush, you can spray um, paint the nose orange, the buttons black, or we'll put some buttons on it, all sorts of things. Yep. The other is the star. Okay. And the star is. A very nice one. You can't see it against my shirt too bright. <laughs> what I've done, I've actually not got a black one here, but what I've done with the star is we've left the bottom part open, okay? Yeah. And then that way, what we can do, you can put it on top of the Christmas tree, mm -hmm. decorate it with a bit of tinsel, that sort of thing. Yeah. But all of the those two templates will be in every kit, whether it's a single kit or whether it's one of the gift boxes. We're right. going to include that just as a little Christmas bonus and a little thank you for joining yeah, in. Yeah, marvellous. Now, we have got um, some kits. There's different ways that you can buy these, but on screen, uh, basically, we've got the kits to make four. So the first one we've got is the um, farmyard animals, and there are six different options in terms of kits. So we've got farmyard animals, which we're having a little look at here. So it is the rabbit, the duck. There you go. There's our chicken and... There's a little chick at the front. A little chick. Yeah. So each of the gift boxes have a little beginner's template. Nice. So we can start off nice and easy and then get harder and harder. And I think probably in that farmyard animals, the chicken is probably the uh, most difficult of the three. Oh, is it? The, okay. The, yep. the three harder ones, yes. But you've got to have a challenge. Yeah, you've got to, haven't you? 
Um, then the next option that we have got is our critters, I believe. Um, the desert critters. What do we get in this? What, shape, what animals have we got here? The desert critters. You're just missing out the head of the meerkat there, but you get the <laughs> meerkat, the scorpion. <laughs> Uh, yeah. We got a little lizard. The lizard is a little beginner's piece. Uh -huh. Okay, and then we have the spider, which is at the back of the stadium. Oops, back of the stadium, back of the studio. I shall bring over to the yeah. front here. There you can see it. If you can see from above, we got the spider. I really hope okay. Janice isn't watching though. Yes, we, <laughs> there have been comments regarding the spider. That's why it kept out of harm's way. Yeah, indeed. So that's your second option. Then moving along. Um, what's this next one? Oh, yes, yes, yes. The dinosaur option. He's quite big. That's this one here. The Diplodocus. Yes, he's just over a metre long, I believe. He's a, well, it's a, it's a Diplodocus. They're great big things. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> they had a Diplodocus, uh -huh. the Plesiosaurus, which is the ones with the fins, which um, is very similar to Diplodocus. Right. And then we have um, the T-Rex, and the beginner's piece is what I call Diddy Rex. Which is Diddy Rex, which is just the little T Rex. That one there. That one there. Yeah, he's so, cute, isn't he? And then, uh, then still going along, we've got our feathered friends. Wow, the feathered <laughs> friends. I went a bit crazy in so far as there's quite a number of different ones. So if right. I remember rightly, there is the introductory bird. Yep. Then there's a little standing bird. There's a little uh, simple owl. There's a macaw. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a flamingo and the feathered phoenix-like bird as well. So, so there's, you've there's got six, a lot. There's six different um, birds available in the feathered friends kit. <laughs> Amazing. Then, just because we can't, we can't fit it all out. Hang on. Which one is it? Under the sea. Under the sea. Yeah. That's going to be our penguin, which is one of the favourites. I love the penguin. He's around here somewhere. <laughs> and then we have the dolphin, uh, the introductory angelfish, and seahorses. Well, see, seahorses. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Um, the seahorses as well. So, and that, the, the penguin's quite a small piece, but you've certainly got enough wire there to make half a dozen different penguins. Oh, really? Oh, yes, you can okay. make quite a few there. There it is. He's just next to the box behind you to the left there. Oh, sorry, at the back. At the, the back. Oh, our yeah. penguin there. That's our penguin there. Fabulous. So, so again, that's another one. And, you, as I say, you can make a number of different sculptures, so you mm -hmm. don't just make one. You yep. can make it, and you'll have a little roll, row of penguins. Yeah, I and love that. A little, and make, your own, um, yeah. make your own Christmas decorations. And then here's our final option. So this one's the, got the dragonfly, the butterfly. There's an ant in here. There's an ant. There's uh, just a little fly, which is quite a little complex little piece, but it's very nice. And the beginner's piece is the bumblebee. Yeah. Okay, which is a lovely little one to decorate. It does some lovely workshops with the bumblebees. It's wonderful stuff. Ah. And the dragonfly is, uh, is one of my favourites. That's one of the oldest sculptures that I started up oh, with. Oh, really? Lovely stuff. Um, right, £21.99 then for any of those kits. Do have a look on the website. 663297 is the item number. What sort of, um, what sort of age range is this? What, where, where can we start? Or is it, are each kit different? No, no, no. Um, because you've got the beginner's... Um, beginners template in there. Um, I teach from eight years old and over. So yeah. that sort of age, it's, there, there, there's no real problem. It's going to be tricky for the harder pieces, but from eight years up, you can start cutting yeah. out. It's all about, I mean, we have here our cutters, mm -hmm. which come in the kits as well. Yeah. And below seven, eight years old, mm -hmm. and there's a little bit of problem with the motor skills, dexterity, and just yeah. that, that strength. But what I found is, you know, a family situation is one person or some of the children can make the sculptures yeah and then younger children using the tissue paper that is also supply, supplied with them uh -huh. you can decorate them and you can make them oops here's one here you can decorate the sculptures so uh, give them a bit more color a bit more life to them as well right so it's uh, it's it's for everyone lovely um now we do also have a um pick and mix options so you can choose any two of them. Uh, again, we'll pop the details onto the screen. And you are getting an additional saving if you go for the pick and mix. Le there we go. Let's have a little look. So you're picking any two. Oh, which two would I pick? I don't know. Oh. I I, mm, farmyard. Okay, Leslie picking farmyard. Uh, yeah. And I like the one with the uh, penguin. There you go. I the, pe the penguin one's fab. Yeah. So there you go. People like that. They have their favourites. Yeah. They really do. Absolutely. So there's the basket. Check out. Um, oh, and there's also that free item with the order. Brilliant stuff. OK, check out your baskets. Now, we have got some individual items as well. 
They're here, aren't they? So for we those have who are wanting a taster, yeah. Yes, we have got. So the rabbit is available as a single kit. Mm -hmm. Okay, that one there. there. The T-Rex is available as a single kit. Yeah. Uh, then we have uh, the birds. And we've got two different bird designs, mm -hmm. one of which is the feathered bird here. That's available as a single kit. We have the beginner's kit, if you, uh, um, which is the dolphin, the angelfish, and the introductory bird. Yep. So a very simple one for the young for the younger people for the younger children. Mm -hmm. And then what else do we have? The final one which we've added this time round is our Spitfire, which is Brilliant. our piece here. Which is available you can either make it as is flying or there's a version where you can add the wheels and the undercarriage as well that's all included in the instructions and the templates yeah and down at the front so in the in the kit you'll get your tissue paper yes and the pliers too yes so yeah. you every kit will get a pair of um, bent nose pliers like mm -hmm. these okay which are very easy just to reach in for the wire around play around there and a pair of little cutters like this and I test each pair of cutters to make sure that they're all right. Oh, good. So, okay. we, so I know they're all right. And we've only got a little bit of tissue paper here, but there are a number of different colours. So, as you can see, a range of different colours are available yep. from the decorator. So it's just a, a little add-on to give you a bit of something more to think about, something yep. more to add on to the sculpture, should you wish nice. to. Nice. Well, without further ado then, uh, uh, take it away. What take are we going to make first off? Right. Well, I'm just going to make our little introductory bird. Okay. Because I made a couple of pieces early already. So this is our little bird. Okay. But the first thing, as I pointed out last time, I've got here is a piece of ordinary chicken wire. So this is ordinary chicken wire that you get in the garden that you'd use for your fencing, this sort of thing. This stuff is really quite sharp. This glass... People moan about chicken wire, they say, oh, it's horrible stuff, it's really sharp. This is the stuff which is, you know, this is for the garden. So we don't use that. Oh, I see. It's nothing like that. One I've managed to get and uh, to source over the years is some wire from a manufacturer where we can make it with a much thinner wire, with a much nicer covering, and which makes it very easy to use, mm -hmm. very bendy, very malleable, and you're not going to hurt your fingers. And very friendly, yes. Absolutely. Finger friendly, that's the way it's described. So that's our wire, and we've got our two tools. We've got our cutters and we've got our pliers, and that's it. That's all we need. Now, here we have our highlighted template. Right. Okay. okay. So each of the gift boxes has a highlighted template because it just makes life that little bit easier. Okay. It's very easy to see what you're cutting out with that. Now then, if I hold it up again, on the smaller piece here, there are a lot of points coming out yeah okay these are what I call the threads okay. and when you cut the, sh the shape out you cut the threads long mm -hmm. and then you can use those to wrap around and connect the two pieces together okay yeah. so the larger piece short yeah small piece long so all I'm gonna do is lay it down I'm gonna take my wire and then just starting right down in the corner just like this we're gonna go for the small piece first there we go and I'm going to line it up. Oh, I see. And we can see that the pattern lines up. Yeah. Nice and easy. It's very clear what you need to cut. I've got my cutters. And if you notice on the cutters, one side is flat. Turn it over. It's more like a bucket. It's the flat side that we like, OK? Because that means we can cut the threads long or short. Mm -hmm. Simple. I'm going to start at the bottom. My flat part is going to be pointing outwards so that I can get as much of the wire as possible. Then I can cut it. And as I've cut at the bottom, I can simply fold the wire away. Okay. And we can begin to see the shape. And then I'm following the orange line, and yep. at the end of each thread, I can simply cut the wire. As soon as I've done a few, or if I've finished in one direction, yep. over it goes, out the way, and then we can carry on all the way around our shape. Nice and easy. On the other templates in the gift boxes and in the actual single kits, uh -huh. they are not highlighted templates. Right. Okay. And the idea then is simply to count and count how many threads are in one direction, how many threads are in another direction. So there's our piece, our first piece already cut out. Put the wire to one side. Okay. Okay. So when I'm in counting, we've got one, two, three, one, two, three, four mm -hmm. in each direction. So all we're doing is counting to match up with that one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Yep. Nice and easy. We're trying to make life as simple <laughs> as possible. So, done my first piece. Mm. I can take the wire, put it back onto my template. Again, marking it up. 
Yeah. Make sure I've got plenty of space, no problems. This piece is different as it does not have the threads. Nice and clear. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, these ones here are in the middle, so those are just cut in half. Let me show you. So put the wire across. Because we've got no threads, that flat bit is going to be up close. So that when we cut it, it's a nice smooth line. It's very satisfying. It is a very satisfying <laughs> thing. Click, click, click. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. Can these, can these go outside? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It won't, won't rust or anything? It won't rust. I mean, they'll last longer than I will, probably. <laughs> so there's no problem with that at all. So, and then we carry on cutting around the shape. And in true style, mm -hmm. here's one I prepared earlier. OK. Just in case I go wrong. OK. <laughs> OK. So there we have our two, two shapes, the two shapes for our bird. And all we're going to do is use these threads to attach the two together. I'm going to take one, pick it up, <clears throat> and put it straight down again. See how the two fit together? Perfect, yeah. Perfect, absolutely. It all <laughs> matches up. There's a certain amount of logic to all of this. OK, so we've got our two, match two pieces matched up. Just with my finger, we can use our pliers. We'll bring those in a moment. Just with my finger, I can just push the wire around. One corner, I use the pliers. Yeah. One half in the hole, one half on top. We just gave a little pinch, attached together. Right. Job done. I'm going to turn it round. This time, instead of just using my finger, I use the pliers, one half through the hole, on top of the thread, and then we can just guide the thread round. Mm -hmm. And once it's gone all the way round, we can just make it nice and neat, and connection is made. And we carry it along, carry on, all the way around our shape. Mm -hmm. and so eventually, again, Blue Peter style, <laughs> here we go. So what I've done there is simply carried on with all of these attachments so that all of the attachments are nice and neat. The neater it is, the easier it is to work with the wire. Right. OK. Yep. There's no rush to this. You know, they, they, there's nice no hobby. reason to say, no, oh, not at all. Yeah. Not at all. Take your time. You can get lost in it. You can have a very absorbing hobby. So we've done the cutting. We've done the connecting. Yep. The last part is the creating. And that's simply done by pulling at the wire. So either side. And then I'm going to gently pull up the wire, bring it out to a 3D shape. To make mm. our bird more yeah. three-dimensional, a bit more lifelike, give it a little bit of life, that sort of thing. And we work away at our shape until we are happy with how it looks. This is a nice family thing to do, isn't it? Yeah. Well, this is it. You can sit down with family, parents, grandparents, yeah. siblings, whoever it might be, mm -hmm. and just play around. And the thing is, there's so much wire that's available in the boxes. If you go wrong, no problem at yeah. all. No problem at all. In fact, I shall show you what I mean by that. I'll take my wire back. Mm -hmm. So, we'll turn it around. Because we want to use as much of the wire Definitely as possible. You know, well, this, uh, even tiny little pieces can be used. So if I was to try and make the shape again, I go, one, two, oh, but I've gone wrong here. I've made a mistake, I've cut in the wrong place. Okay. All I do, move it over a couple of holes, have another go. It doesn't matter if you've made a mistake, you've missed out a little bit there, we yeah. just moved it over, start again, and away you go. Brilliant. This is, and, that, and that way we can use as much of the wire as possible. Marvellous. Well, what I'm going to do, and then I'll come back to you, is um, a quick recap, because you might just be joining us, um, uh, and you want to see what the kits are, are like. These are great Christmas presents, aren't they? Such good presents to give to people. Uh, now, don't forget, with any purchase, you're going to get a template. Uh, it's like a gift with purchase um, w where you can make it the snowman and the stars. Right then. So you're having a look at uh, these kits. Okie dokie. Let's go through each bundle. So um, with the farmyard, here we go. You've got the uh, bunny, you've got the duck, the chicken, and that nice little chick there that's a good starter piece. And again, you'll get in the kit, you'll get the pliers and also the uh, tissue paper. Tissue just paper to, is included as well. Yeah. Just and, yep. In the gift boxes, there are four sheets of the wire. Yeah. And in the single, um, uh, the single kits, there are two pieces of wire. Right. Okay. And I must admit, with the single kits, you can make the sculptures no problem at all. Mm -hmm. um, whether you can be able to make the star and the snowman and 
the oh, okay. pieces. You're going to have to be economical with the wire. You're going to have to maybe plan it out Frugal. first. Yes. Uh, otherwise, accidents will happen. Right, see how. There's always opportunity for coming back for some more wire. That's good. Indeed, it is. <laughs> um, right, so that was your farmyard animals. Then we've got the desert critters. This, I love the meerkat. Um, you've got the scorpion, there's a spider in there, and the little lizard. So that's your second option that you can go for, what you can make. Next then, we've got our dinosaurs, and I, I can't pronounce these names. T-Rex, the... Diplodocus. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that's the one. Um, and you've got, you get a little baby T-Rex that you can make as well. Marvellous. Uh, then what else have we got? Oh, yeah, Plethi Plethiosaurus. Plethiosaurus. Right? I believe so. I believe so. <laughs> I mean, I'm happy to be proved wrong, but that's how I've been saying it for the, for, for the duration. Now, the next bundle, then, is the um, Feathered Friends, which we'll just have a look at. And that, <coughs> you can actually make six different shapes. Mm. So you've got the bird, the standing bird. There's an owl, a macaw, a phoenix, and the flamingo. Love the flamingo. And then we've got the um, Under the Sea. There you go. So you'll see what you can make. You've got here, you'll be able to make the dolphin, the seahorse, and the penguin. So that's in there. And then the next one is the insects. And here you've got the dragonfly butterfly. There's a little bumblebee. The so does this make five then, this one? Uh, dragonfly and bumblebee, uh, fly and uh, butterfly, yes. Ah, cool. Yes, 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 yes. Lovely. There's usually... Um, Four substantial pieces uh -huh. and then a couple of little itty-bitty ones. Yeah. Because um, the, 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 the fly is just a tiny little one. Like, but it's, I put it in because it's nice and it's a complicated little piece. It's cool, isn't it? Uh, so for any of those kits, it's £21.99. pence. Item number is 663297. Then if you do want to go for the pick and mix, there's an extra saving on that one. Um, we'll pop the details on screen. Uh, Thirty-nine pounds and ninety-eight pence, and you're, you're picking any two of those project kits. There you go. Here it is, lovely jubbly. Um, so it's thirty-nine pounds and ninety-eight pence. One seven one one six seven is the item number, and then. You can, if you just want a little taster to dip your toe in. We've also got the single ones, um, where you where you can go for the bunny. Uh, T-Rex. Thank you. We've got T-Rex, the birds, we've got the rabbit, we've got the beginners, which is the bird, uh, the introductory bird, the angelfish and the dolphin. Yeah. And then the Spitfire, um, which I have class as a master, master class. I bet you. It's, it's not too tricky. I must admit, it, it, it's surprisingly easy, but it's quite an effective piece. Yeah. Saying that, the wheels are. The wheels are a tricky bit, but as Lee, just as the plane. Yeah. I like that. It I, is I was cool. very happy with it. It really came toys. out really nice. Nice. Um, £11.99 pence for any of them. Remember, all the kits come with your um, the, the pliers and also the um, tissue paper, and you'll get a gift, the gift with purchase, which is the template to make the snowman and also the star. Lovely jubbly. What, what, uh, what would you like to show us next? Well, what I'm cutting up here at the moment is the, um, uh, the star. Right. OK, so we just have a quick go at putting that together, or just to start you off, because I don't think we'll have time to do the whole thing right now, because there's a fair amount to it. But as you can see, I've got one sheet of wire that I've started up, and I've already managed to cut a bird out of there, a part of the star as well. There's yep. still plenty left, so we can put that to one side. If there's little bits trailing off, yeah. just cut those off into the bin with them, okay. but the rest of it, it just could be used again. So. What I've got here is uh, we're starting off uh, making the main part of the star. And all we need to remember when cutting out this shape is the number four. Because we have one, two, three, four across the bottom. Yeah. One, two, three, four, and first diagonal, and in the second, across the top, diagonal, diagonal. Four all the way around, so it's nice and simple to remember. And then we take the one over the top, on top of it, it goes. Mm -hmm. And again, we just... Nothing different, just twisting the wires around with my finger, nice and easy. Yeah. Okay. What you want to avoid is using the, the point on the, so just the flat of your finger against the wire and around it goes. Once it's gone round once, you get your pliers. Yeah. And then just give it a little pinch. Okay. Oh, nice and easy. But you were saying this is, this isn't sharp, this. No. no it's really good. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. 
We're going to work our way around the shape. Now, what I haven't mentioned is the differences with the threads. So if I open it up, in fact, let me get my wire back. Oops. Oh, we've had a question actually about will we get these in time for Christmas? Yes. Our kits. Good. Yeah, yes, well, as long as there's not too much of a rush, we should be <laughs> fine. But no, no, we will be fine. I have got a shed full of wire ready to go out and uh, create some Christmas magic. <laughs> That'll be fine. OK. But if we look down on the part of the wire that I'm working on here, you've got three different directions in the wire. So we've got a horizontal going across the top here. OK. This is where two bits of wire have come together, and that's why I call it a double thread. Right. Nice and easy. And when you're cutting the double threads, all you need to do is cut them in half. All the way across. Ah. OK. Yeah. That's nice and easy. If you cut them too short, then they will break apart. Just like that. Yeah. So in, if you cut them in half, no problem at all. So that's horizontal. Right. And then we got vertical. OK. And if we can see, we've got a hole, a bit of wire, and then a hole. So you're jumping hole, there we go. Right. If we were to cut that so that there are no threads, so we've got our flat part, we're going to go in, top, bottom corner, down to the next hole, top, bottom corner. Uh-huh. And there you see, we've got a nice vertical line. OK. If I was to do that to include threads, then all we need to do, turn the cutters around, this time either side, and then as far as possible to make the threads as long as possible. Top and bottom, top and bottom. Nice and simple. Right. Are you happy with that? Yep. Good. Simple, simple stuff. This is, it's a very simple craft, and as soon as you get the basics, yeah. anything is possible. The last direction, diagonal, whether it's this diagonal, diagonal up here. So if I come down here, and again, we're going to make this side with long threads, so on the actual main piece of wire, flat bit, cut down, Oop. there we go. We've got our diagonal line. Right. And I'm going to come across one hole there. Yeah. And this time, I'm going to go up with the flat up close to... So if I can just move that out of the way, and you can see the diagonal then with no threads. Yeah. And that is all of the different cuts that you need. Right. And it's just the different variations of those cuts that mean that you can make any sort of shapes, any sort of, well, everything. Uh-huh. So that's, uh, that's it in a nutshell. So what I've done with the star so far is just to have connected up one part. We can work our way round with the single threads, just goes round. Get your pliers, little pinch, nice and easy. Double threads at the top. Mm -hmm. Same, easiest way to do it. Get your pliers through the hole, on top the threads, and then you just got to wind, wind them around each other. Do it a couple of times so you know they're nicely connected, and then we can just fold it over to one side. And that's Fabulous. It. And that's it. And yep. I know you just work your way. So. It's like a jigsaw puzzle that you cut out your show, your, uh, yourself, uh -huh. and then it's, it's like knitting with wire. Yeah. So it's, it's not something that, it's not a skill that no one will be able to pick up or, is, mm -hmm. you know, you have to practice or, it's a very simple thing that needs to be done. It's just a little bit of patience, mm -hmm. a little bit of care, and away you go. Well, you just, you can get into the zone with it, can't mm. you? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Because, I mean, yeah. What you want at this time of year, when it's nasty outside, is something that you know, just takes your mind off other things and lets you disappear into your own little world for a while, and you're as happy as Larry. And at the end of it, I mean, I've been making stuff which I've been adding to bird feeders and yep. this sort of thing. So I've got a little hand out back mm -hmm. in the garden, which is a hand with a little kind of like um, saucer on it, mm -hmm. and then you can put the bird feed in there, and the birds come down and land on it. Aww. So, I mean, it's just lovely. And, we were saying last time we have um, topiary options, yes. so you can put um, topiary, put flowers in there. There was uh, mod rock is another possibility. Mm -hmm. Materials is another possibility. Yeah. I um, decorated some fish for outside with some plastics as well. Right. So, so I went to a school and it was year one, and all the children painted um, some ornate scales for a couple of giant fish that I made. And then we attached all the scales onto the fish. And wow. They are outside the school now, with a bit of luck. Bet that is amazing. I was going to say, is your house absolutely filled with these? Yeah. Like, up your driveway, <laughs> do, we, do we see loads outside I've got well? all sorts of things. I, I had a uh, six-foot 
shark on my washing line. I've got a <laughs> wow. twelve foot giant in the backyard. I've got I me mean, my shed is there's thousands and thousands of different ones in the in the shed. Wow. You just can't stop. Once you start, away you go. And it's always a question of well, what can we make? Yeah. You know, if you can make a if you can make a dolphin, then you can make a T Rex. If you can make a T Rex, uh -huh. you can make a turtle. Yeah. And it just goes it goes on and on and on. It's a lovely way of spending a, a bit of time. Do you also have like video tutorials as well? I have a few videos on uh, YouTube. So if there's any tips tips and tricks. So what I was showing you with um, the cutting out mm -hmm. and the different we've got videos to show you that. I've got videos that show you the connections, mm -hmm. the basic connections. And um, if anybody has any problems with any of the sculptures that they're making, just drop uh, drop a, an email to Hochanda. Yep. And pass on to me, and I'm more than happy to answer any questions they might have. Oh, amazing! Look at this. We're just seeing that video again now. Yeah. Yeah. Right, look at that. It could be anything, like you said. Yeah, it could be okay. anything. So cut, connect, and create. Yes, cut, connect, and create. Mm. Cover if you would like to as well. Uh -huh. So you could also cover it as well. Yeah. Right. Okay. So I've got my my. Could we? Main part. Done. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Sorry, we've got the main part there. That's now made. We can hold on, and again, gently work around the shape, bit by bit. Yeah, not exactly something you need to rush to make it as quick as possible. Mm -hmm. There we go. And slowly but surely, we'll start to get our round shape for the centre. Yep. Coming out nicely. It is, isn't it? And ready for the next part. Uh huh. Which are the rays to go on. So I've made some rays. We can start adding those on. Uh huh. But I have to start by putting these two together as well. Lovely. Okay. So same again. So um, don't forget, you get the gift with purchase to be able to make the star and the snowman. That's the that's the templates you'll get there. Yeah. yeah absolutely. The, 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 it'll give you all the instructions. The only difference between. Or what I'm giving as a bonus is there are some further instructions within the um, instruction booklet, yep. which just explain how it goes together, how you make the connections, just so you have all the details at hand. Lovely. Um, but those are the only things. You'll have those in the templates that you buy, so okay. you won't need it for these ones. And could we see the finished articles again of your gift with purchase, what we'll make? Well, you have our star, yep. which is this one here. And as I mentioned, the only thing I've not done with this is not made the last couple of connections at the bottom of the last ray so that way if you imagine the top of your Christmas tree mm -hmm. then we can just pop it onto the top of the Christmas tree decorate it with a bit more tinsel or something yeah. on those lines so I'll make a nice um, topping for the Christmas tree the other is our snowman okay oh, he's so cool he um, I mean with any of these put mm -hmm. some you can put some Christmas lights around yeah. Yep, you can you, you can paint them up. Yeah. So um, I have another snowman at home. And what I did with him, I spray painted him white, mm -hmm. and then the arms were painted brown. Um, and he actually had some buttons on the front, painted those black. Yeah. Orange nose, black hat. Away you go. Lovely. And just paint around. This makes additional projects. What's your angel policy with these? Are these for per, like for personal use, or are finished products that we've made are we allowed to make to sell? See what I'm saying? Oh yeah, well you yeah. can do. I mean, um, I, I'm you, they are they are yours. Once they are made, they are yours. Right. So I mean, I've often given sculptures as gifts to people as well. Yeah. So um, if they, you you can make um, a template. Mm -hmm. uh, we can make a T-Rex for dad, or you can make a Diplodocus for your brother, or you can make a chicken for your mum, whatever it <laughs> might be. <laughs> nice. Right then, we're going to go through the kits again. Like I said, really, really great Christmas presents for you. You will get them in time for Christmas. Um, William said. So. Let's have a little look. So we've got our, f we've got six different kits. We've got our farmyard animals. You can make the um, bunny, the duck, the chicken, and the little chick. And this one is currently in the lead. So this one's the most popular. <coughs> I think they'd look great outside, actually. Then <coughs> we've got the desert critters. I adore the meerkat. I love the meerkat. If I put my, there you go, put my hand behind so you can see his head. There you go. So we've got our meerkat. Um, there's the big scorpion, there's a spider and there's also the little lizard, he's there. Then moving along, we've got the dinosaurs, a T-Rex, a beginner's T-Rex, um, then we've got the, what is it again, Diplo <laughs> Diplodocus, that's it. <laughs> or Diplodocus, depending on your preference. <laughs> 
Plesiosaurus is the yep. uh, swimming, the swimming dinosaur. Right, that's there then. Um, then the next set that we've got is our lovely feathered friends. You've got, you can make six in these, six different birds. You have enough wire to make that. Oh yeah, you will have. Yeah. You'll definitely have enough wire to, yeah. to make several, I should imagine. Good. Um, the, we've also, you'll be able to make the flip. Oh, I was told not to pick this up. Oh, do it. There you go. Here he is. He's our flamingo. It's because he, because he won't stand up again. But anyway, you can see our. Flamingo. <laughs> if you make him out of steel wire, he stands up okay. With this wire, it's a little bit more tricky. Yeah. And if it's live television, then it's definitely not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. There we go. And then uh, you can go for the under the sea. Uh, penguin, seahorse, dolphin, and more. There you go. And then we've also got our insects. If you like those. Dragonfly, butterfly, uh, there's a, a bumblebee. Bumblebee, ant, and just our little fly. Yeah, fabulous. Right, then each kit is £21.99. Item number is 663297. If you want to go for a pick and mix and get any two of the kits, um, and then there's a, a bit more of a saving. Here it is. So you can pick any two of those kits for £39.98. One seven one one six seven is the item number. Now, out of the single options, the Spitfire is in the lead. Really? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I had a feeling it might be. Yes. Yep. That's fab. There you go. So you've got the um, uh, Spitfire you can have on its own. There's the lovely little bird. Um, the rabbit you can get on its own. The rabbit, yes. Yep. All the single kits along here. So we've got rabbit bird which actually includes two different birds Lovely. the introduction or beginners kit which is the bird dolphin and the angel fish uh, t-rex and the spitfire cool yes. uh, 11 .99. so those are little tasters should you wish because maybe you've not done anything like this before here's the spitfire it's very very grand isn't it <laughs> love lovely. that um, 624841 is the item number could you um could you make any of the parts so that they move See what I mean? Um, you sit like, spit like a, the spinning um, propeller and stuff like that. It would be tricky, I must tricky. admit. Okay. Yeah, there, I was there just is. Curious. I mean, the, 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 for example, I've got a large owl which is in a tree at my mum's house. Yeah. And that's just how, held in the branches of a, of a tree. Okay. So on a windy day, um, you can just see the wings <laughs> yeah. flapping away. So yeah. that's quite nice. So, so we can, it works in that capacity. It mm -hmm. has the, the movement of the wind. Can, but as far as mechanical or anything along those lines, Bitch. it would get complicated. Okay. And it could be, yes. Just curious, just curious. No, no, no. Anything is possible <laughs> apart from that. Okay. Shall we come back to you then? Where you, yeah, well, what, what I've done, I have made, as I said, we've got our main body of the star. So yeah, we try to make that as round as possible. It's, it's nice and thin, so it's not a globe, it's just a circular piece. Yeah. Okay, and then we have the long star, long rays and the short rays. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the trick here, there's, uh, in the instructions, there are four of these. Yeah. Four of these, so these ones will go on at 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 3 and 9, mm -hmm. and the small ones will just go in between. So, if I'm to add this, what I'm going to do is just open up the base, I'm going to turn this around. I don't really need to, but I'm going to turn it around and I'm just going to hold the ray into the star, into mm -hmm. the sun like this. Okay. Now, when you're doing two pieces that you're putting together, yeah. it's a tricky until you've done your first connection. And I'm going to just put my pliers through, take the thread, and then twist it round. So I've got my first connection of the ray onto the star. Mm -hmm. I can let go. That's going nowhere, yep. and I can just take my time positioning all of the other ray, all of the other threads, so that the two pieces can be held together. Okay. Do you nice get lots easy. of requests for kits? You know, people say, "Oh, could you make yeah, this?" Yes, yes. In fact, last time I was on, I, um, I was asked about a orangutan, and <laughs> somebody got in contact about a gerbil. Right. And. Uh, both of proving really quite tricky, but the orangutan is on its way. Oh, is it? It's on its way. Well, the next kit that I might put out there, there's two um, choices for the next gift boxes. It's either myths and legends or primates. Myths and legends, because they're saying um, a unicorn in my ear. Yes, there is a unicorn. Is there? There'll be a, in, in that, I'm thinking unicorn, witch, mermaid, and dragon. Right. So that would be the 
but I'm not sure which one of those will be the beginners. So yeah. still working on that one. And um, primates would be when it's done, the orangutan, and then a spider monkey, a gorilla, mm -hmm. and man. So I'm mad. I'm mad. <laughs> and that's going to go through the, the chain. There, there we yeah. go. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And the man's actually going to be the easy beginner piece. Oh. But you can you can extend it and make them larger and yeah. The biggest one I've made is 12 foot. So right. again, anything is possible. So anyway, I've added just the start of one of the one of the rays there. We can carry on, but we can then take our next piece and then just add it onto the corner. I tend to move the two the four large ones piece and then do all the corner ones. But as we're here, again, what we're going to do, put our pliers in, grab a thread, twist it round, yep. and then once it's attached, it's attached. And we'll work our way through the rest of it so that we end up something like that. In fact, Amazing. here's another one that I made, which will probably show up a little bit better. So yep. we can see how each of the rays at the different points of the compass, smaller ones in the middle and between. Amazing. Okay, so bit by bit we can make those up. So it's a lovely little piece. Yep. And we'll move on to what else we can do next. Fabulous. And if you've got, you've got about 15 minutes at home to ask any questions. Um, if you'd like, email in at uh, studio at tachanda.com or you can pop it on Facebook. Yes. Uh, what would you like to show us next? Right, well, we'll have a little go at the, uh, at, at the hat here. Okay, for the snowman. Uh, that's a little, well, why not? Let's give it a go. Okay. Top hat. So we've got the top hat and one, two, three pieces to make our little top hat on mm -hmm. there. So that's quite a nice little piece as well. And to be honest, I took the top hat and I made a little man and I made a, a ringmaster. Oh, to, amazing. You know. So... All you can do is use your imagination and see what comes up in your mind. Oh, yeah. I think I'll have a go at this. So what I'm going to do, I'm looking at this shape. And while I'm taking these out, just to show you how to count mm -hmm. when you're cutting out the shape. So we've got our double threads at the bottom. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight along there. And then two going up. So let's find a piece of wire. I'm going to start over here. Again, it's just a little bit of wire. It's already been cut up, but we can use as much of it as we can. There we go. Mm -hmm. One piece gone. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Exactly what I need. At this end, there are no threads so that the cutters will be nice and up close to give us a nice, clear line. One, two. Then, the bottom line. Yeah. And all you're doing is counting. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And at this end, we want the threads long, so that flat bit again yep. is going to be held to make these as long as possible. There's our first part of our hat. Okay. Because I often explain in the workshops that if you can count to ten, you can pretty much make anything. Right. Well, I'm still fascinated, though, how you come up with making the shapes. I just think that's really cool. Well, it's trial and error to an extent. I mean, after several decades, you start to see the shapes in the wire itself. And um, what I'll do, if I'm making a new sculpture, say the orangutan that I'm having a go at, yeah. I'll cut out a shape, which I think is a leg, and then I'll make it. And uh, I'll cut out two different, two or three um, different copies of the shape that I'm working on. Mm -hmm. First one, I'll play around with it, make it, see how it looks. If it looks good, fine, we'll move on to the next one. Right. If it's not quite right, then I'll look at the other piece and say, right, I need maybe need to cut a little bit off there or I need to add a little bit off there. Mm -hmm. So there's a certain amount of trial and error as you're making these things so that they come out. And that's the thing which I'm having with the orangutan is I'm not too happy with a couple of the shapes. Mm -hmm. So we'll go back to the drawing board and we'll have another go. Yeah. Some of them... It's, it's something strange about the wire that makes it mathematically very good to get the, 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 the proportions right. Right. So when I made a little man, it came out looking in proportion, which I found amazing, really, because <laughs> it was by Aston Moore design, that one. Yeah. I wouldn't admit to that one. <laughs> OK. So what I've done there is just made a little tube. Yeah. OK. And that is the main body of our hat. Easy. Easy peasy. We go on to our little piece here, the top of the hat. Okay, and that's just four squares. Oops, one, two, 
And for anybody just joining us, I mean, what sort of things can we fill them with? Our lovely sculptures. Well, you uh, have tissue paper included with it, mm -hmm. so you have um, a bit of tissue paper. We do that, that brings out some nice colours. Yeah. So, oops, here we got my little bird here. So you can see one that has been decorated with uh, tissue paper just to make some patterns. Yeah. Get it, give it a bit, li little bit more life. Okay. Um, we've made sculptures for the outside using um, plastic and using plastic waste really more than anything. We had a project at a school which was bringing together the sea and the environment mm -hmm. and we made some great big dolphins and had those hanging from the ceiling but they were filled up with Fabulous. plastic bags and right. plastic waste to bring the um, like the idea of yeah, mm. you know the marine life and the dangers of pollution this sort of thing. Mm. So that worked out I and mean, looked very nice as well. So. Yeah. Okay so I've cut out my little shape. All I've done is just giving it a bit of a tweak just to give it a bit of a, a bit more of a rounded body to it. Okay, and then I can simply finger into the hole of my hat and arrest the wire on top. And I'm simply just going to push the wire around with my finger. Oops, there goes that piece. And uh, we've just popped the uh, single options onto the screen for you. There you go. Um, Make a bird feeder, maybe. You can certainly make a bird feeder, yeah. yes. With all of that, because like you said, you, you, you're putting a lot of wire in for us, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The well, the, if you're making a bird feeder, um, yeah, if you, don't, don't go for the tiny little seeds, because they'll simply <laughs> fall through. Yeah. So. <laughs> Yeah. As long as you, are, you solve that particular problem, uh, yeah, they'd be outside. I've, I've got um, a couple of feeders outside in the garden as well. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and it is nice. It, 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 it's a nice thing to do. And you can make them your own design as well. Good stuff. Right, so there we go. We can see our hut coming together at the top here just by twisting the wires round. There we go. Nice. All nice and simple. All yep. nice and simple. And we work our way around the shape bit by bit until it's all nice and neat and tidy. I like it neat and tidy. I like nice neat connections. The yeah. neater the connections, the easier you can work with the wire and play around with the shape. Mm -hmm. If you don't make nice connections then you might just pull the wire apart and you don't want to do that. No. Can you imagine making a whole suit of armour <laughs> with the wire? <laughs> yeah, I mean anything's possible. I've got a skeleton back at home as well. Life and size? Yeah, pretty much. Wow. And and what I did was made kind of like little circles like that. Well, probably about the size of the head there, but the amount that side. Yeah. And that was made all the way up the spine, to um, to give. And that's got a bit more movement to it. So it's Amazing. a, a spider. Yeah. It's a sculpture that can move around a bit. Uh -huh. Right. Okay. I'll drop my wire. And then we want the last piece of the top hat, which is if you can see it here. Mm -hmm. Coming over to there. it. There. And again, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. And I'm just counting the way around. Right. I can't remember all of the shapes. I try my best, but it's just counting. And then, again, find some little corner of the wire. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. That snipping sound is just so satisfying. <laughs> it's just bizarre. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've had workshops where you have a hall with 100 kids in there and all you can hear is a click, click, click sound. Yep. Which is marvellous. Okay, so, and now I'll cut that shape, which doesn't match the one in the middle, but we've got a little bit which is missing in the middle. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Now, if you actually look at the holes, mm -hmm. you've got one, two, and then a gap, one, two on the other side. Right. So, I'm going to look at it and go, one, two, there's my two, two on the other side. Yep. So I can see, actually, it's just this little bit in the middle with the prongs, which is what I need to take out. Mm -hmm. So, one, two, three, ooh, and four. Off it goes. Mm -hmm. And we got our shape. Okay. Great stuff. Great stuff. And all we need then, have a little play with the wire. Yeah. We're going to push these over to the side. Do you do um, wire top-up kits? Yep. Just for wire? Yep, there's a, a refill pack if you like. That's good, so for anybody who's got the templates. Yeah, or good. even if they've just got an idea of their own. Yeah, true. Absolutely. Well, I mean, I've, I've had um, children of friends 
been given a kit, mm -hmm. they've made whatever it is, and go, ah, oh, quite fancy making a dog or a yep. this or that, whatever it is. Nice. Okay, so we've got our top hat, main part there. We have our rim of the top hat. Mm -hmm. And again, all you're doing is putting the threads through and connecting all the way around. Isn't that cute? There we go. We've got our little top hat. That just is do, adorable. There we do. Let's just do a couple of quick little connections on either side. Okay. It's good to do a connection on either side so it's held in place. There we go. We can carry on with those little connections just to finish it off. Uh -huh. We can also, you've got a little bit of a um, bad line along the wire here, as you can see. Just take our pliers, give it a little pinch. We can give it a little bit more of a rounded edge mm. to the hat. So you can really manipulate it. Mm. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You can you can stretch the wire. You can pull the wire because um, in the but the this one here. Thanks. Sorry. You might just be able to make out that the wire on the actual feathers. What we try to do is just give it a little bit of a pull, a bit of a squeeze. Yeah. Just to make it a little bit thinner, a little bit more feather-like. And to, if you like, differentiate it from the main body. Mm -hmm. So it looks a little bit more light. Yeah, it does look good. That. There we go. I like that. That's one of my faves. I love that piece. Which bird is that one? That, that one. is our feathered bird. Um, right. But if you've got the one there, it's our phoenix. This one? That's the one that's been decorated with the uh, uh, yellow. And... So this one's in the feathered kit. He's cool, isn't he? Yeah. I love the colours you've used as well. Oh, that, that's it. He's a... Uh... Yeah. I mean, with some of these, you could make mobiles as well, mm. if you wanted. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, you're literally ruled by your imagination. Mm. And that's all there is to it. So the more you try, the more you have a go at I think one of the most effective ones is the little bumblebee. The bumblebee. It's so cute. Right at the front there. Right at the front. Okay. And, uh, and uh, yeah, just a couple of yellow and black with a very simple little frame around it, mm. but very effective at the same time. Amazing. So I'm just... I'm just looking here because you've you've popped um, a butterfly. Yeah, here. that's just a little butterfly. That's in the insect um, kit yeah. as well. Because the butterfly is nice. Because uh, again, if you've got younger children, you can mm -hmm. make the sculptures and then uh, explore colours and patterns. Lovely. And you never know what what they're going to come up with next. There's Lovely. always something. There's always something. But if we want to have another quick go, we'll have a. Oops. How long we got? Uh, three minutes. <laughs> three minutes. Well, we'll see how quickly I can do. Okay. Um, a lot of the sculptures, when you make them, it's all about symmetry, right. making things symmetrical, yep. the shapes match up and all this sort of thing. So, I'm going to make a quick dolphin's body. I might not have time to make it all, but we'll see how we go. Okay. Um, now, I know that there's four along the bottom, so we go one, two, three. Um, the dolphin is in the under the sea kit. It's in the under the sea kit and yeah. in the beginner's kit. Oh, is it as well? Yes, yeah. But uh, the beginner's kit, they are not highlighted templates. Okay. Okay, so that's a slight difference uh, as far as you have to count them rather than just putting the wire on top as I did at mm -hmm. the beginning of the hour. Um, there's nothing wrong with that as well because it helps with just counting. Yeah, you know, absolutely. It's, 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 it's just a, another option, another teaching method. Mm -hmm. And I often visit schools uh, during maths uh, weeks rather than art weeks because, in a way, they can use this to bring a bit of mathematics to life. Yeah, I totally agree. So it can be educational as well. Oh, yeah, well, educational yeah. Educational as well as fun. Oh, well, the thing is, it's, it's, it can be quite tricky. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to think what you're doing. Uh -huh. and, if you, and to be honest, I find when people go wrong, hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit cruel, but, you know, because they go, oh, I've gone wrong, what should I do? I'm going to do it again. Yeah. <laughs> it's not simple. Okay, so here we are. What I've just cut out there is our dolphin's main body. So you've got the tail end, the tail, back and the body, and then we come down to the front and the nose. And all we need to do then is fold it like it's a piece of paper. Yeah. And just give it a little bit of a squash, and we can see how the two sides match up. Right. All happy with that. And then all we need to do is go along the back, touch, spin them round, and touch them all together, working all the way right up to the nose. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as it's attached, we can then just bring it out into the 3D. Fabulous. So there it is, nice and easy. So we have our dolphin here. Mm -hmm. Oops. We and line them up. See. We can see how the body matches up. Yeah. So once we bring it out to the 3D, away it goes. Great stuff. So for anybody sat on the fence, to, you know, this, these are all going to make absolutely brilliant gifts for Christmas. We'll get it in time for Christmas. Oh, yeah. yep. Yes. 
Um, Indeed. All prepared. So why not start a brand new hobby? And of course, every kit does come along with um, your gift with purchase, which will be the template to make the star and the um, snowman. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so please do check out your baskets. It's been a really interesting hour, hasn't it? Um, so yes, something a bit different. Um, and don't forget, all of the kits will come with the pliers in there and also you've got some um, tissue paper. Tissue paper included as well. Everything that you need is included in the box. You don't need to, you're not going to open it up and go, oh, I need some glue, I need some scissors, I Good. need this, that and the other. It's just like, no, it's all there. Open yeah. up the box, away you go. Brilliant stuff. Well, thank you so much then, William. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for letting me come back. Uh, no, not a problem. We'll see you again really, really soon. I look forward to it. There you go. Um, thank you also for joining us. Do make sure you're checking out after the hour. Start a brand new hobby with any of these fabulous wire kits. Ooh. Coming up next, we have got Crafting with Clarity. Oh, of course, it's Sunday. It's a double hour. Yes, it is. And then we've got the Fabric Freedom Blenders one day special final call. Hi there, my name's Leona. I'm a presenter, a guest and a crafter here at Achanda. I got into crafting years ago. Ever since I've been crafting since I was a child and I absolutely love it. I love my job, I love the presenting side because I get to meet loads of really inspirational people. And that's just the beauty of this. There's always something new to learn. There's always something that you want to get into. It's fabulous. My Let Leone Loose show on Achanda is also fantastic. It's my weekly highlight. I get to work with loads of really cool brands, loads of fantastic products, and again, I'm always learning. And I do get loads of wonderful viewers getting in touch as well, which is obviously a highlight of our job. I hope you can join me on my Let Leone Loose shows every Wednesday, 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. Hi, I'm Alice, I'm Alice Stitch Fingers. Um, I've been sewing most of my life. I absolutely love sewing. I've been with the Chanda now from the very beginning, really. That's when I started to go there. The Chanda family are lovely people to work with and I'm really enjoying my time with them. Designing is a big part of the journey uh, for me as well. I, I love going out and finding the fabrics to use in the projects and bringing them to you. I love the designing process from start to finish and then the finished project is just the icing on the cake. So make sure you don't miss out, come and sew with me on Achanda. Hi, I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly and we're really excited to still be working with you guys here on Hachanda. We were there from the very, very beginning and we're still bringing you lots of really exciting soft crafts. We design and manufacture all of our kits and all of our fabrics here in the UK and we love bringing them to you. So if you're an experienced sewer or you're just starting out in soft crafts and sewing, join us. There's tips and fabrics for everybody. Make sure you don't miss our shows and come and craft yourself silly on Hachanda.
Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dyes in there, designer papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. So on our Hope Chanda shows, we aim to inspire you to be educational and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Be sure to join us for our Sentimentally Yours shows on Hope Chanda. Good afternoon everybody, lovely to have your company, I hope you're having a gorgeous weekend and uh, you're keeping snug and warm and uh, you've enjoyed all the shows that you've been seeing with us on Hachanda of course throughout the weekend so far and uh, it's always lovely uh, because uh, in fact I was treated to a, a double helping of lovely Barbara a couple of weekends ago and it seems my time has come round again, I've been a very good boy this year it seems so there she is, the lovely Barbara via Skype, good afternoon <laughs> lovely. Hello, Scott. Nice to have your company again. We meet a second time within a month. I know, I know. <laughs> I think everyone's shining down on this, but we, we shouldn't uh, have too many. People will start talking, Barbara. Um, and that's all right. I say bring it on. Uh, <laughs> I'm looking forward to this couple of hours because it's a real celebration of, uh, of something that we've been working on for all year, actually. So, yeah, I, I, I'm excited for these, oh. for the next, for the ODS as well, actually. Yeah. Yes, we've, we've got, we've got lots of lovely times together. And uh, I know, and I know, I'm sure you're going to spread a little bit more news on this as well, what, you, what we've got in front of us here, because like you say, you've been really working with this. So this will be uh, quite uh, already well known by a couple of people or a few people, again, that you have <laughs> your sessions with. But for a lot of people, it may be the first time we're seeing these. Just talk to us straight into <laughs> then regarding the fantastic town stamp and everything we got here with regards to the coasters as a project. And we've also got some lovely other houses that will go hand in hand. So two pieces here really yes. that people should go for together. Just talk to us about here, Barbara. Right, so what you're looking at here is a, a delightful stamp that we doodle together in the Shack Shack where we meet, hundreds of us meet Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays at 10 o'clock on Facebook and we doodle together. It's, it's called the Shack Shack, Safe, Happy and Creative, Stay Home and Craft. Love that. And, uh, and this actual town uh, stamp, we doodle this together only a few weeks ago because, again, you can see it here from our house to your house. Um, it was just a, a a really lovely couple of weeks. Um, think about this particular doodle uh, is that it works for so many occasions, Scott. So yeah. whether it's a new home or a birthday or we went very wintry because, of course, it's Christmassy. Um, but just for any any reason at all, really, whether it's a birthday, an anniversary, a new home, Oops. whether it's for a man or a woman, they're just such delightful stamps. They and are. we've also, of course, got them in Groovy. Yes, we have. We've got those on the counter. We'll, we'll go down the counter together for seeing those. Uh, but you're also going to get, I'll just show obviously here as well, uh, the actual uh, stamp itself with all the little extra, uh, lovely little additions to those, the actual main image, Barbara. And you know what is so lovely? These, there are, oh, oh, like, do you right, hold that thought. See the little carrot man? Right, yeah. so we call him, he's right there in the corner, there he just is. gone past him. Right, so that little fella there, right, we, we, we learned how to draw carrot people when we were back in the summer, we were in Holland and we were doodling little carrot characters. Let me show you, can I, Jimmy, would you come to me for a minute and I want to show you that little stamp. Go on. Look, oh, look, wow. look, 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 look. I know, I had to hold this one back. This is Linda Spencer's masterpiece. Look at this. Talk about social distancing gone haywire. Do you know what? I love it. Do you know what? I think Lowry was onto something because that looks like a, be a beautiful modern version of a Lowry. It 
so does. It's matchstick men. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Absolutely glorious, isn't it? This hats off to Linda Spencer for this masterpiece. And later on in the show, because what you'll see is that it's actually been extended. If we take the stamp, you'll see that it... She added a little tree from the from the other set, and I want to, I deconstructed it, and I want to show you how to make this in the second hour. But I just wanted to, I just wanted to kind of flag up that little tiny carrot man has created that that effect. Isn't that super? That is brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Mm. But like you say, you've got all sorts of here. You've got the bunting, you've got pieces for the sky as well. You've even got the beautiful wildlife to go through. Uh, even the pets. Yes. I mean, it is absolutely beautiful. What a lovely, lovely stamp to work with. And what I'm going to do is show you how to make a really nice plaque and how to add the uh, the, bun the the fairy lights. Oh, yeah, great. We're going to add the fairy lights. Well, listen, I'll give the details of these ones. It really is fantastic. You have got a £5 saving on here. It's only 14 97 That's 158699. You will be getting your 19 stamps and also you're going to be getting your four fantastic coasters that you can work on and, uh, and print them. So it's a yeah. lovely gift idea or a lovely uh, little setting for your own uh, little uh, lounge table, for example. One five eight six double nine yeah. fourteen pounds and ninety seven. Now, oh, we're already approaching 20% of the stock there. Now, there's another set, and when you see what you've just been looking at there with Barbara and myself, and then you see what we've got also for, you'll see why these are a perfect addition to go with it, because we've got our fantastic funky houses, which really are, they yeah. go hand in hand for you for these ones. Just talk to a little bit about these then, Barbara. Oh, I just, I love these. When we, when we made, you see those two uh, areas down the bottom, they're actually rolling hills and fields. And you may look at them and say, well, they're just swirls. So what I'm going to do today, if I may, yeah. is show you how we actually built a fantastic winter land, a, win a, wonder a wonderland um, using these little tiny doodles. But what's brilliant is that this comes with masks as well. And uh, it's so important that the, the masks come with all the little trees, all the little houses and the fields they all have their own mask it's really key oh. to um because you can build so many different little tiny scenes it's crazy yeah. it's so good yeah so no, good that is that is lovely because i'm sure this is really designed for that is building up isn't it i would have thought just to sort of create all those lovely different scenarios so i've got some other examples just to show very very quickly here for yourself cool. then barbara but again we're selling that, that whole idea of the rolling sort of landscape to go with it there already uh, there's your little carrot man again there he is. Ask who did that one and take a walk on the wild side. Who, who actually made that art, please? Uh, this was done by Deb. Deb McMullen, isn't that superb? So she's taken the frame. It looks almost like a photo, you know, like yeah. photos. Yeah, it does. She's taken the frame from the first set and she's created that that brilliant um, border with it. That is, that is fantastic. I love that. And they've all got their lovely oh, quirks like about them. Well. Look at that. This is beautiful. This is also by Deb's as well. That's so cool. I really like that. So, yeah, isn't that, is that a stencil? Yeah, it must be. Yes, I think, I think it is, isn't it? I think so. Um, we've got Linda's also been busy. Oh, I love it. Yeah, there you go. So she's taken the good luck stamp. You see, the thing about the houses is you can have so much fun with them because with all the social distancing and my house to your house, from my home to your home, there we go. Look, you see if somebody's moving into a new home, there's yeah. been a lot of movement, a lot of people selling and buying at the moment. Yeah. That's such an, isn't that lovely? That's that beautiful. One? Now that, that, that letterbox, and the other thing about this is because this again is available in Groovy, so that, would be so easy to do with the groovy plate as well. Oh, of course, of course. Here, I'll go show one more again because you talked about that landscape again, but we've got the trees and the singular house in there as well. And we've also got one of the sentiments that are coming up as well. That's beautiful. Yeah, we've got some poetry stamps that we decided to make larger, um, which are just so appropriate and just add the the narrative to your art, really. Yeah. So, look, to the world, you may be just one person, but to one person, you may just be the world. That's so and look, lovely. he's sitting there in his little house on his Jack Jones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, I think we all know how that feels this year, to be quite honest at times, Barbara. Absolutely. Um, I, I, I know. Tell but, me about well, it. Well, let, we're, we're nearly there. 
yeah, we're nearly out of this year. Uh, 825840. You've got six pounds saving on this bundle. Uh, 1999. And again, as you can see already, how those are going to work. They're the yin to the yang on the first set, uh, or the vice versa. Perfect addition. Yeah. If you could go for both, certainly advise you do that. And I'm sure that you'll see that through the techniques that Barbara will offer. Um, we're moving straight on to that we can see these lovely poetry. And these are gorgeous. Like you say, they do add a lovely narrative to the images. And it makes it really very special, whatever the projects you've worked on in here, aren't they? They are lovely, these, Barbara. Yeah. They are. Now, th these are these have been launched very in much smaller uh, format with some beautiful frames. And uh, what I found was I just I, every time I went to the stamp, I thought I actually want these larger. I want them larger. I want them larger. And so um, so that's what we did. We've just you know we've just taken the stamps and made them much much bigger. And you'll see that they now become the centerpiece. But they work so beautifully in that kind of times. You know that sort of typewriter font i really yeah. like that it's just uncomplicated you know really and i think they're half price i yes. think there are two a5 sets and you you pay for one get uh, the other one as a gift i mean as far as uh, a bargain goes it's right in front of you now um i just i think this yeah. is one of those I, I love this this people will forget what you said people will forget what you did but they will never forget how you made them feel i think that is so yeah. absolutely on the nail i think that is lovely that um and it is it is a fantastic Angelou. yeah mm -hmm. I, I just think that is a beautiful it's a, and i think we all know that whether we recognize it or not and i think that is lovely happiness is a butterfly which when pursued is always beyond our grasp but which if you sit down quietly may alight upon you. I mean, how beautiful. These are yeah, absolutely gorgeous, Barbara. They are lovely. Um, and they, the thing is, they, they sit so well with so many of our stamp sets, but they are what give it that the, the story, the narrative. To see a world in a grain of sand, that's Blake, isn't it? William yeah. Blake. Yeah. Yeah. And heaven in a wild flower. Hold infinity in the palm of your hand and eternity in an hour. Beautiful. Ain't that the truth? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It is a fabulous stuff. We are looking at half price of this one. You're saving £20. And right now it's under £20 for all of that. Sets one and two. Twelve stamps. I mean, you can really add an awful lot. In fact, I'm hoping, uh, and I'm sure Barbara will have testament to these as well, when you read these, it probably inspires you to actually to create the image around the actual poems themselves. It gives a lot of scope, doesn't it? Yeah. Yes, and I think I think that's it. That they, I find, I go to these these verses a lot, which is why I took the decision to make them larger, just a bigger format. It's not that we're running out of ideas. It's just that really the ones within the frame were often so tiny. They're lovely as a little a little, you know, like uh, on the back of the card, for yeah. example. If you've already got the other oh, set yeah, of the beautiful nice. floral frames and that, they make a lovely little handmade by on the back as a, you know, the, the smaller version. But the large versions, they really are front, front, centre front, and uh, and they, they, they pack a punch. They really know? do. They are beautiful. 186901. We want to get to Barbara ASAP for everybody, because I know we've got two hours. We want that to be as, as educational as we can. But just as you've already heard Barbara mention, we have have got for you here if you want to go for the groovy so we've got the offers for you that you can see here so you can go for the funky house and about town duet on these ones so it's got that saving so it's down to 12 pounds and 98 pence double two five seven four nine that's a really good price for these barbara really fantastic yeah, and they are they are A5 square. You see now here we've got that fabulous grid work around the outside. So, you know, this is for somebody who's starting out. I mean, parchment is really uh, receiving a lot of recognition at the moment. And uh, and so for somebody starting out who wants to dip their toe in the in the parchment world, these these plates are absolutely beautiful. They're also lovely for children because they're so playful. Um, and because there's so many elements in each of the plates, um, you can you can mix and match s just magnificently. I mean that grid work is spectacular. Who did that piece, Scott? <laughs> Who's done this one? This is by Sheila Bradley. Wow, Sheila, hats off to you. Look at the snipping. Is that That's beautiful? That's what you call advanced pico cutting. Uh, and another one by Sheila beautiful. as well here to look at. It's a joy to the world. Oh, I like that. Now you see, now this one, this is delightful. And what you'll see with this one is there isn't, there isn't so much, pe there isn't any Pico cutting. It's all done with a little bit of white work, a little bit of shading, but what, what a gorgeous, 
What a gorgeous composition, actually. Absolutely beautiful. I tell you what, I've got a lot more that I will show, but um, and we've got a lot more on the counter. I can advise everyone to please make sure you look at the website for everything else that you want to go for. Um, and there's loads. Everything we've been looking at, those beautiful poetry verses, steps one and step two. And everything you're going to see in the demonstrations from Barbara as we go through the next uh, two hours together uh, is all going to be there for you, lined up on the website for you to add, pop into your basket. Uh, just remind you, don't forget, if you put things into your basket, make sure you do check them out uh, because after 10 minutes they will bounce back out into the normal stock so I don't want you to miss out uh, by the way just to let you know as a heads up the poetry verses a heads up on those we are looking at 40 Four zero, forty percent of those have already gone. I'm not surprised. The offer that you're getting there, basically, get another one for free, isn't it? It's half price. Uh, so do take advantage of that. Uh, right, let's go straight over to our favourite lady, of course, lovely Barbara, and is going to talk us through how we can put all of those into projects that you can then start working on. Over to you, Barbara. Right, so here we go. It's like being back in the shack shack. <laughs> These particular house stamps, uh, they, we were only doodling them uh, a couple of weeks ago and, uh, and they went down a real storm uh, just because I think it was so easy to do. And I just want to show you how we illustrated them and how we translated them into what has become this beautiful product. It's brilliant to have an idea and then take two or three or four hundred people on a doodle journey and then come out with these fantastic stamps and groovy plates oh, at the lovely. end. So let me just show you, it really is so cool. And what we did was, this is how we start most of our doodles in the Shack Shack. We just start with a bit of tracing paper, Scott, and a pencil, just an HB pencil, and we doodle, you know, and yeah. I'm the bus driver and I give a few ideas. And then once we doodled, we transfer it to paper or to watercolor paper. I did it on a piece of uh, buff paper, interestingly, yeah. which is also on the show, um, but I did it on the back because the the other the other stamp set we did on the front and this particular this is the original artwork colored in oh I was going to um, say that's so beautiful if i show that. you up close you see it up close yeah and you can see i've still got all my where's my all my scratches and my <laughs> scribbles making the colors right so this was colored in for example with um with polychromos and pergoliners. So these are what we call wax or oil-based pencils that you build up the layers. And then we use the, um, the Posca pens over the top to create the snow. Brilliant. I love they're, that. They're on the show as well. If you haven't got the white Posca pens, you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> they're absolutely I'll tell you what, next time I get a pantomime. <laughs> Next time I get a pantomime on, Barbara, you're doing set design because that will be a perfect, beautiful village scene for Christmas show. That I love that. It's beautiful. Isn't it? Yeah. Well, we decided to make it into our Christmas cards at Clarity as well because we all liked it so much. I love it. So let me just show you a couple of variations on this so that you can see where we can actually go with it. So, for example, here, it's a card. It's just a straightforward card. And this is where we can start to feel good factor, these stickers. Mm. So the idea, let me just get in the right place here. Right, here we go. The stickers, they tell stories. So they, they add the narrative. For example, at the moment, a lot of us are social distancing. A lot of us have decided to spend Christmas alone. Mm -hmm. And so from our house to your house is perfect. Yeah. And now, for example, I take the same artwork we are going to make a card in a minute, or, well, a plaque, actually. <laughs> now, this is the same artwork, but we've put it into a coaster. And on the back, there we go, be safe. One of the feel-good factor stickers, oh, all our love, Barb and Dave. Love but it. what a nice, just a simple, nice gift that is, you yeah. know? Yeah, it's lovely, that. Lovely idea. So then the next thing, for example, this is nice. This is, I took the same thing. Um, this was on on paper and I wrapped it round um, a canvas board, but doesn't that look beautiful? Mm. So this is actually now, this is on canvas board. And again, on the back, keep <laughs> calm and carry yeah, on. So well. these lovely little feel good stickers, they just add a really professional, meaningful touch to it. Yeah, you know? yeah, lovely. And then now this one, for example, now this is a, this is a stamp board, it's also on the show. Just delightful. And this is where we're going today. Now, I want to show you a contrast 
Let me have a look at, let's have a look, look at these two. So this one is quite bright mm. because it's been done using um, the pergoliners, and I'll show you. This is or polychromos, the B pencil pergoliners. This one here is more muted, isn't it? More yes, pastel-y. It and I've made a little a little plaque. If you can see here, I've just added a little um, uh, to hang on a knob or on a doorknob. And on on the back again, I've written from from our house to your house. So it's a really nice little gift, you know. I love it. That's a gorgeous um, idea. Yeah, so that's what we're going to do today. I thought we'd stamp on stamp board and, and I'll show you how to use. When we look at the pergoliners, let's just, let's just take a look at the pergoliners for a minute because they are what we call a combination box. That means that we've got watercolor pencils and then we've got basic pencils. There are 20 watercolor and 16 basic ones. Okay. So that means I've got, a, I've got a, I've got a box of them that I've got more in than that, but I will show you that you've got the B pencils, which are the white ones, and the A pencils, which are the um, the, wa the watercolor ones. And today we're going to concentrate on the aquarelles, on the water ones. Okay. So let me just put that back because we often use the B pencils, and they're the ones that we layer up the colour and we make it really vibrant, like polychromos. They're wax oil based pencils. They don't move with water. These ones, the watercolour ones, they they behave differently. So I wanted to show you how to use those. Right. So I've got the colours that I want. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to, first of all, let's take the stamp and let's stamp that stamp onto a piece of our stamp board. So okay. the stamp board, the clues in the name, it's fantastic for stamping on. Um, there are four different shapes in the bundle. The price is, I think, extremely good. Yeah, 11 99 that's it. And I'm going to stamp on the largest it. one. I, th I think you must have them there, yeah, do you? Yeah, we've got them on the screen now, Barbara. 971682. They're just 11 99 That's 60 shapes in total, which is phenomenal. Yeah, they, they are. You've got four different shapes. You've got three different sizes in each shape. So you've got you've got hearts, uh, triangles, which I always think of as bunting. You've got the square ones and then you've got circles as well. So you've got four different shapes, three different sizes in each shape and five of each of each size as well. Uh, of Yeah. So you you've got a really big selection Huge there. And I'm using, just for orientation, to fit this stamp, the largest of the square ones fits the stamp. But look, you can make so many cute, with those other funky house stamps, mm, you can yeah. make the most gorgeous little, uh, and these are, because it's hard stamp board, it's the same stuff as you would mount a picture with, for example. Right. So, so it's you can you can hang it on the wall. That's the point here. Love it. So let's take our our stamp, and I'm going to use a black archival ink pad. It's a permanent ink pad because I'm going to use a watercolor watercolor um, pencils. I'm going to be adding water, so I want something that's not going to bleed. I see. I see. So we're yep. going to use our yeah. So you need a water resistant ink pad, and the um, the archival is great for this. Now, that. the other thing is, I'm working on a hard surface. This is a big stamp. Over the next 24 hours, we're going to use quite a few big stamps. If you've got a stamp positioner, happy days. If you want to give your stamp a little bit of give, as in a bit of softness underneath, mm. then you can also use a pink mat. And you'll, that's just a bit more of a cushion, got you. especially if you're working on card. It's just a, it's just an additional, the, the, the excellent mat. We use it in parchment, but it works really great if you've got, if you're using big stamps. Oh, uh, okay, okay. So, let me just, yeah, because it's a bit soft, it's got a bit of a cushion. We use it for embossing, don't we? Yeah, I see. Yeah, just give right. a little, little extra bit of buff for it. That's it. So then we're just going to hover over the board like that. I've mounted this on a five by five mega mount. And then all I'm going to do is press in the center of the stamp and I'll just hold it in place. And then I'll just push through like this and I will get, well, that's the theory. I will get a beautiful, <laughs> sharp, crisp image. Okay. Cause it's a big old stamp. It's a huge yeah. stamp. Look, but it's like a finished piece of artwork already. So when, when I lift this off, perfect. Uh. 
Lovely. So when I lift this, let me Lovely. offer it up to that camera so you can see it. Lovely. You can see all the different layers in there. Right, easy, easy, easy. <laughs> so, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, one that's already dry because it takes, although the archival ink pad is a fast drying ink pad, I'm going to be going to this now with, um, with water. So I want to make sure it's absolutely dry. Now, the other thing, before I start colouring in, let's yeah. go to this camera. Yeah. Um, before I start colouring in, I also want to add the, uh, the bunting. Oh. So if we have a look, for example, at the finished piece, not the bunting, fairy lights. You can see here they've got, we've got these fairy lights. Yeah. And they're actually, they're in front. You see? Oh, yes, yeah. So let's have a look how we can do that, because clearly we haven't masked anything off, so these are going to go straight over the front. So the first thing, if I put this one here, let's go from the top so you can see it. This one, this particular piece, is going to go from that roof there to that roof there, and it's, it's built to fit. So I've mounted it, but it's a single, it's a single line, isn't it? It's quite mm -hmm. fine. So what I've done is I've taken a little stamp, one of the other 19 stamps, and I've popped it at the top of the handle. So what that does is it stops it wobbling when I'm working. Oh, right? I see. Yeah, I just got to be sure not to ink it up. So, yeah. so what I'll do is now I'll just make sure that I I, I only ink up this part. Of this I'm only going to ink that just stamp the up. Just the or just the lights. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I decide where I want to go. I make my mind that I'm going from here to here. Right, because remember we're working with a fast drying ink pad, and then I'm gonna just come over here. Excuse my head while I is my head in the way. Uh, yeah, you're okay. It's okay. There you go. It's just, but you see this stamp up here. This stops it wobbling while I oh, work. Oh, clever! And you can see it's gone straight across there like so. Lovely. You see? Yes. So that's how it works. Now, the thing is, this is this is standing out a lot because I've got a brand new ink pad and what the one I used before. So I'm going to go to this one because I've got a brand new ink pad and I've, I've over inked it. It's standing out too much. Right. So if you don't mind, I'm going to go with an older ink pad. OK. Oh, I see. Because it stands out so much, it, it looks ridiculous. So let's <laughs> see if I go to this one now. It's because I decided to use a new ink pad for the show. There you go, that's uh, better. That's, yeah, it blends, blends in more, more now. Yeah. Right. Yeah, the, the thing about this is, because this is a, a lighter ink, a dried out ink Yeah, pad, I see. It, it shows too much. Yeah. But there you go, you live and learn. <laughs> right. So now what we're going to do, you think you're doing the right thing, and then you go and do the wrong thing. <laughs> right, so I'm going to take the same one, but this one I'm going to come across to this this house here. But this time, what I want to do, because I don't want to... I don't want to overstep it. I'm going to go from here to here, but I'm just going to mask off so that I only get, I've got enough fairy lights to go from that end to that end. Let me come over here. That might be easier for, for me at least, so I can see exactly what I'm doing. Yeah? We got that. So now I've got my, my bunting coming across from that house to that house. Okay. Oh, yes. And then the third one is the little rinky-dink one, and I know that that fits, so I don't think I have to worry too much about that. So now I've got those three things in place. One, two... Sorry. It's all right. right. That'll do. Okay. So I've got my bunting or my fairy lights in place now. And this is the thing. If I wanted to do bunting and I wanted to draw it, I could take a micron pen, Scott. Yeah. I've got stamps here to use. But I could go over the top of this. Let me take the one that I, I wrecked, right? <laughs> and if I wanted to, I could draw this in like this with a micron pen. And let's say instead of Christmassy, wintry, I want to do... Um, uh, a, a party, a celebration. Oh, yeah. Right? And I want to do bunting instead. So now I can go through like this. Ignore, don't worry about going over the top. It doesn't no. matter. No. Do you see? Yeah. I could go straight through like this and I can draw my bunting in like that. And it makes no difference if I'm going through the window because when I take my, my Posca pen, once this ink is dry, when I take my Posca pen, yeah. it will completely, it's so opaque, it will cover up. 
Oh. So, so that's my point. You, you can oh, see. You. Let me just see if it's dry enough yet. It should work. Yeah. See. So once you go in with a Posca pen, you can cover it up and you mask completely. Like, see this area oh, here. I see. We're in. Do you, do you see? Yeah. So, like here, you can see that the house behind it. Well, that would be a bit weird if you could see that through the bunting. Yes. But now, for example, I can go in here. So you're not limited to the stamps. No, no. So you can go in here. And if you say with a white pen, I'm going to deliberately now go over the black line. Just humor me, right? Okay. When that's dry, I can go back over with my... Because I doodled it to start with, so I know how to doodle a bit of bunting now, don't I? <laughs> Once that's dry, I can go back in and I can redefine those lines. Oh, okay. So you you've got a bit of, a bit of give on it, really. Precisely. Yeah. So, so that's that's the whole the whole idea, and this is how we're going to um, do this. That's how we're going to get these these fairy lights. I to see. Bring them to oh, I see. I see. I'll just let people know that's the details. We have got the white Posca pens. They're on the show right now. You also get the buff and black paper pack as well. Nine zero five four three six. Uh, they're very very busy, and that's what uh, Barbara was talking about there. So you can really give those additions to these projects and the stamps. Only fourteen thirty nine as well. That's nine zero five four three six for the two white Posca pens. But you also get the buff and black paper pack as well. Good. That's it. So that makes sense. And the buff and black paper pad, um, that comes with the Posca pens because the pens work so beautifully, as will be shown in the second demonstration on, on coloured card, because they're like paint pens. They're, they're so opaque. The oh. whiteness is like something I've never found before. Oh, they're great, really great. But now, we're, yeah, they are. They're very good. So what I'm going to do now, though, is use the aqua pencils from the Perga liners, and I'm going to use, um, I'll show you how to use these. You see, if we were to just colour in with the watercolour pencils, which is what most people would tend to do, for example, they would tend to get, if they want to make this house red, they would colour it in a little bit red, they would add a bit of water, and they would hope that the water moves the pigment around. Yeah. Trouble is, it gets a bit blotchy if you do that. If you want to make it more like a wash, like a proper watercolour oh, yeah. wash, like the sky, yeah. the trick is to use what we call a mix mat. Okay. So let me let me give you an example of how to use a mix mat. Let's pretend we want to. Well, let's not just pretend. Let's do it. <laughs> let's say we want to do this house here, and we're going to use we're going to use a bit of orange. Now, on the mix mat, it's got like a purchase, you see. And so what I'm going to do is add a little bit of orange to this mat. I wonder if I put a piece of white paper underneath whether that is easier oh, yes yeah. I can see that nicely yep right you can see it better now yeah that's so there's great, a little Barbara, bit yeah. of orange for example from a an a pencil a for aqua and let's take a little bit of yellow again it's an aqua pencil if you by mistake you take your perga liners and you pick one of the um, the B pencils. You'll know immediately because water won't won't move it. It just doesn't shift. Right. Right. And let's put a little bit of red up there as well. Right. And what we're going to do now is we we'll enter the water pens. So these are brilliant for this kind of work. Okay. All right. They they just they're delightful. They, they they just because they've got water in them. When you when you get them, let me just explain something. Um, you get two different sets. One's long and one's short. Yeah. It, both of them, both sets, they're, they're a really good price. Sometimes you buy these and they 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 sort of um, they splurt water out. These really hold the water well. Right. And let's have a look at the the nibs because what you'll see is the nibs are different. So you've got like a large one, a medium one, and a a small one. So you've got a, a thick, a medium, and a fine, and this makes quite a difference when you're when you're working on the tiny detailed stuff. What I love about these though is they've got a really good point. Yeah. So they work. You can get right in the into tight. Yeah. So you just fill them with a bit of water, and then you're good to go. 
Um, and if you want to extend the length of them, you just put the, the, the caps at the, the, the base and that, that works as well. Okay. Um, but they're really nice to use. I'll show you how they work. Yeah. So you get two different sets. They're good. And you can also, in the smaller ones, for example, you can put a bit of mica powder in there with a bit of water, Ooh. and then you get you get a really lovely shimmer as right. well. Right, yeah, lovely. You know, you know like a bit of, yeah, you put a bit of mica powder in there, a bit of water, give it a shake. It's fab. It really works well. <laughs> or um, if you wanted to just have a blue one, because for the sky to wash, then you put a couple of drops of uh, distress ink in there and dilute it. Um, I would say about four to one. Oh, Fantastic. Right. That's a nice you know? call. I'll just give yeah, it a bit of a heads up on those for you, Barbara. 525062, and that's for the County Stamp, the watercolour pad, the Petite Journal. You're going to be getting the six water brush pens there that uh, Barbara's talking about, but you're also going to be getting the Pergamano mix mats as well. So that is all there, and it's got five pounds off also. So a really good time to go for those. They're down to 32 pounds and 97 pence. So there's, and it looks like actually for trying to get that style, these mix mats are really quite crucial for trying to uh, mix these in together, Barbara. They, they, they work so beautifully with water, with any sort of water pen. Yeah. And I, I just want to show you something as well, especially if you get a clean one, a cleanish one, right, you're, what you find is like this is, say I want to do this house now. I can, I can go with yellow. Look, as soon as I touch the yellow with a bit of water, it, 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 I've got my palette now. Yeah. If I want it to be a little less yellow, I can pick up a bit of orange and drag a bit of orange got into you. it. Now it looks a little bit more terracottery. Got you. you see? Yeah. So I can change. I've got a, a loads of different options. I can go in here and add, take a bit of red and add a different color. So I, straight away, even though I'm only using three colors, I've got loads of different variations within there. Yes. Right? So now, if I take a clean one, let's take a clean one, and what I can do is, in the area that I want to, let's say I want to just add, um, I want to colour in this particular house. I'm not going to get too hung up on, right? But I'm going to use uh, just a clear water to do, let's just put a little glaze down. Okay. And it's just wetting the area that I want to colour, Scott. Okay. Right? Yep. And when you do that, what will happen is, when I pick up now with the yellow, let's say I go in with, with a bit of yellow, and you'll notice I've got a scrap here, just a paper towel, just so that it doesn't get too blotchy. But what you'll see is, what, because the glaze is there, what it will do is, the, the water it behaves, look, the stained water, if you like, the watercolour, it it just stays where I've added the glaze. Yeah, that's a great tip. So when you're doing this sort of artwork, you can, you, you'll be amazed how quickly you can add depth. Look, here we go. I've added a little bit of orange now. Oh, that's really so lovely. So this kind of artwork, if you were doing this the traditional colouring way like we did when we were in the Shack Shack, this took days yeah. with the with the polychromos, a layer at a time on, you know, whereas with watercolour like this, it, it works so quickly yeah. and you get a really arty effect, you see? That's a great and then technique. I can go in, yeah, it's really nice to do. And you can see here, just with those three colours now, I'm adding a bit of depth. Ideally, what I'd do is I'd wait. I'd do all the houses now. Let's say I want to do another yellow one. Let's say I'm going to do that one in yellow as well. So I'm going to put my glaze down. You see, so what you do is you add your glaze, which is just the water, and then that will make sure that the colour, when you get, when you add your, your colour, your, your aquarelle, it will stay in, in that area. It just floats into that area. Let's make this one a bit more orange. Do you have to work so quite quickly at this, at this part of the process, Barbara? No, I've got, I'm working quickly because we're on live television. <laughs> <laughs> this is supposed to be enjoyable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. No, not at all. Right. You see, so, yeah, no, you could take your time. Right. It, it isn't that you've got to go quickly. It's just that I'm running against the clock. No, <laughs> no I, understand. I totally understand, yeah. So, so you can go in 
and you can you can add as little or as much you can water it down the number of um, the the number of colors that are available to you in the perga liners when you start to use a blending mat like this is crazy so what you would do is you see you would you would add your different colors maybe you would go to the blue let's let's do this now I just want to turn this around so I've got a clean area here to show you. Okay. Let's just pretend I want to do the sky because the sky is the one that most people will say, well, how, how do you do a vast expanse yeah. like that without it getting blotchy? Yeah. Okay. If you, again, it's more of the same. There's the blue. So I'm using an aqua blue, A5, and I'm just scratching a little bit of the pigment see what this does as well is it protects my pencil see what a lot of people want to do they take their brush any paint brush a water brush and they think if you do that you're going to get a beautiful pigment and you will scott yeah. it will be really really vibrant trouble is though if you do that a lot the water seeps down the shaft of your pencil and it makes your your pigment brittle so it might be brilliant on the day you're doing it, yeah. but a month later or a week later when you go back, you think, why does my pencil keep breaking? Why yeah. is it crumbling so much? And it's because you've compromised the, the, um, the pigment in the right. shaft. Right. So, so just this is the, the mix mat. What this does is it kind of protects your pencil and it helps you blend loads of different colors. Let me take, for example, my blue, my blue brush now. I can see that it's blue. I could wash this though. It would look if, if I've got a little bit of water, I can I can clean this off and it will come out like white. Look, right. it's only uh, because yeah. I've been see what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It, it's it's only because I've been using it with the blue. So there you go, I'm back to white again. But I've got a bit of blue. So let me just say I'm gonna just squeeze gently, right? Hang on. Squeeze, and out comes the water. So now I'm going to add a little bit of water. The more water you add, obviously, the more pastelian light it's going to get. Mm. So now I've got my blue ready to go. I don't want it. I want it night sky, though, uh, and I don't want it to be too dark. What about if I add a bit of black to it? So let's see. If I add a bit of black, I get a really beautiful oh, night sky. No. Yeah, I see. see. If it's too dark or I want a big expanse, I'll add a bit more water. So here we go. I'm going to make enough. You know, it's like a plasterer. Yeah, you don't I see. Make, yeah. You don't make enough for half a sky. No. You make enough for the whole sky. Do you, do you know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So you just, I'm liking this. Nice so I color. reckon that'll be enough. I'll put a little bit more water in. I'd rather do two layers. And the only other thing is, what's important when you do this is that you, um, with a large expanse like this, I mean, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not. I'm not a watercolor specialist, but I figured this bit out. If you <laughs> if you add a bit of that glaze again over the top, let's add a bit of the right here we go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the, the, the water in the back, just spread it out through the sky. Yeah. Again. And what that will do is, you see, it will help when I go to add the black or the night sky. Because it will keep the it will keep the pigment, the water, the aquarelle color, just within that set. Just when you so, need I it. So I mean, yeah, exactly, yeah, Scott. Yeah. Can you uh, see this? Okay. Yeah, yes, yeah, lovely. Yeah, perfect. I want I want to see you add a bit of that color because then I just want to give a quick stock update once we start seeing some color added because um, it's it's going very yeah. quickly, Barbara. <laughs> is it? Yeah, it is. Oh, good. I, I think these are just wonderful stamps. Now, so now I've done my, my glaze, so to speak. And then what I'm going to do now, and I, I will hang on to a little bit of water as well, just in case, uh -huh. right, if I need some water quickly. And now what we're going to do now is just start to drop the colour in. And you'll see it moves. Look, see how it just Easy. moves along? Yeah. It's so nice to do, Scott. Look. Yeah, it looks lovely, it, that. Come on in. the glaze down. Can you see this? Yeah, really, it's a lovely, really lovely demo of this. It just spreads into it's that so area, nice doesn't it? Do. Yeah, and as you come down, you'll see 
you won't get those, the, you know, like the watercolour blotches. Yes. You, you, if you want watercolour blotches, then by all means, go for it. But if you want a nice sort of wash, I think that's yeah, the word that's I'm the looking word. for. Yes. A nice wash. You see, you've got the, it, it's amazing how, how quickly I'm going to turn it round so that I can bring the colour in. But just a couple of little tricks like this. That's really looking and lovely. And it doesn't really make a difference, Scott. Look. Yeah, you can see that. That's because it is a big, a big space, isn't it? It's a large area yeah. to colour in, and I'm just because the brushes are really robust as well. You can see how I'm just whistling around the the fairy lights that we added, and once I've got my look, isn't that lovely? That looks see? absolutely beautiful. And once beautiful. that's dry. I could go in, once it's dry, I'll go in and I can add a bit more, you see. But it's better to wait until it's dry. Yeah. Oh, I see. Well, I'll tell you but what, Bob, can I just still... leave you with that for one second? I'll just give an update for us and then I'll come straight back to you. Yeah, uh, please Just do. to let people know, because uh, we've only got around about ten and a half minutes as it stands. So it's really busy hour. Um, for the first stamp, by the way, 70, 70, 70% 70 of the fantastic uh, About Town stamp set. And the coasters that you're going to get with that has already gone. That's 19 stamps, because you've got the little carrot man, you've got the pets, you, you've got the bunting and the lights there as well also that you can see that Barbara is working with on this and it's all designed to fit around that and you get those fabulous uh, four coasters as well so you know, those gift ideas that Barbara has shown at the beginning great way of putting those on made to measure for them as well which would be great lovely gift ideas to do that's one five eight six double nine five pounds saving fourteen ninety seven but as I say over well, seventy percent of the stock has gone already as well um, um, yeah, I know. We are here till four o'clock. I don't think we're going to be, uh, that they'll still be around at the end of this particular show. Also, just to give you some of those additions as well, with the fantastic houses that will work again, lovely uh, work on those as well. So this will give you 26 stamps. You're also going to get your mask and the six sleeves that work with this. Six pounds saving for this one, and that's got the bookmark in there also, for just 19 99 8.25, and a quarter of the stock of these has gone also. So very, very, very busy, really, across the uh, across the whole show as well. Uh now, the poetry, we got, uh, basically, you've got uh, half price on this, really. It's like you're getting one of them for free from this one. Uh, but 80, 80% 80 of the stock has gone. It's down now to a brilliant price of just 19.98. You've got those beautiful, sort of larger versions of those gorgeous poems, 186.901. But as I say, because you're sort of getting one for free on this one uh, with, that, with that sort of price saving, uh, you are getting this now, half price. Uh, get them 80% of the stock has gone on those. They are gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. Uh, very quickly, just to finish off with as well, the Groovy, by the way, a third of the stock of the Groovy that was uh, that About Town stamp for you that we looked at here. So we got the Funky Houses and the About Town duet here for just 12 99 OK, we are going to go straight back to Barbara. Even though we're going to be with Barbara for the next hour, we still want to use as much of that time as we can. We've got about eight minutes left of this hour with you, Barbara. So uh, we left you making our skies a little bit darker, even though you're brightening in our day up. Ah, well, let me just let me just get ready for the next demo because I wanted to show you how the other stamps work. So um, just give me one moment. Perhaps you could have a look at some of the beautiful artwork um, that is showing off these particular stamps. That would be great. Just give me a couple of minutes just to regroup. Because otherwise I'll be scrambling. No, that's fine. That's fine. I've got some I can show off, actually, while you're doing that, if you wanted, Barbara. That'd be great. Yeah, there we go. We'll go, we will go back straight to Barbara in a second. But I'll tell you what I'll show, just a couple of these here that we didn't get a chance to show at the very beginning. And they actually beautifully complement and work in uh, with the, the poems that you can see as well. Uh, May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face. The rain fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. I'll tell you what, when we do meet again, it's going to be some celebrations and lots of hugs, I think.
thing. Um, but beautiful, as you can see already, that uh, when Barbara was talking about how they're used as that sort of landscape where you can see sort of that lovely, that, you know, when you sort of drive across in the countryside and you see those meadows and you see the lovely fields that the farmers have sort of worked and ploughed, etc. You got that. But they work beautifully when you start seeing them with those funky houses to put on them. So you get some lovely uh, sort of perspective as you look through. Real love that. Lovely and simple. The Christmas tree on there. We've got a little carrot man on there that's from the first set. And then with the Merry Christmas that works with it. Ah, oh, this is lovely, isn't it? Look at that. And the, and the great thing is, and I'm sure Barbara will go into more details, because you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different funky houses. Your combinations of working them to create that magical little village were beautiful. Lovely that, the way it's been used as a frame all the way around there. Uh, but some really lovely... Oh, look at that with the Christmas tree. I mean, well, that's very funky, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Really, really, really lovely imaginative ways of working with this as well. And, uh, and I, know, I know that we've got that's what I just had to show, but it's worth having a little look at that again. Uh, similar kind of idea. Uh, but you can see with the good luck, because they're not just having to be about festive. Of course, this might be about a lot we talked about with regards to uh, new homes, etc. as well. But look, really lovely, lovely, lovely ways of working. Uh, the poetry, uh, by the way, we are limited stock. They are limited stock on those. And uh, so it's you're, you're basically here from 39 down to 19. It is half price uh, offer that you're looking on those as well. Uh, 186901. Right, we've only got about five minutes. But uh, I wonder if Barbara's there. We might just be able to sort of uh, use those five minutes very quickly, Barbara. Yes, I think what we could do is make a start, yeah. and then in the second hour we could carry on with this demonstration. Does that work? Sounds perfect to us. That's <laughs> lovely. Thank you. Yes, please. Good, 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 good. I, I was just in admiring this beautiful piece of artwork by Sam Crow, where she's used the, um, she's made little. Look, she's made bunting, but it's all one piece. It's so pretty. Look. Isn't that great? I love that. Right? I love Using the these little houses. Yeah. And then you could take something that Andy's done that is so cre clean and crisp by comparison using the same stamps. It's great, isn't it? Love that. I love so, that all the way around. So let it. me show you what we did in the Shack Shack and how this whole, so that you understand why all these pieces are there. If I show you the artwork that we completed, yeah. you'll see this was actually the original piece that we doodled. So when you look at my tracing paper again, which was where we always started out, ah. that was exactly the, the scribble. That was what we doodled. You can see exactly how it ended up. That's great. And when you, then you, you take that and you end up with this. That's you see? beautiful. I and love that. that. Was, and then, because that's why you've got the bookmarks in the set, you'll see the bookmark, it sits beautifully in a bookmark. Isn't that lovely? That's perfect. And there you perfect. go. And in the back, health, peace, and sweet content. But what a nice present to go with a book. Yeah, nice idea. See? That's lovely. So that's the original piece of artwork, and that's what I want to show you now. How are we doing for time? We could at least do the. the, the the We've bottom, got about we? three and a half minutes on this part of this section. That's about yeah, three minutes. I've just been told. All right. Well, that's good enough. So what we've got, for example, we've got a piece of the um, the buff paper, which is great because it's white on that side, but it's lovely because it folds beautifully as well. And what we're going to do now is take a black archival ink pad, and we'll just start by putting the the. Um, Let's just start by popping the hills down. Now, they may not look like hills yet and rolling fields, but they are. We okay? trust you. So you can see there's a start. And what the nice thing about these is that you could take that, go one, two, three, four. You've got samples on the counter there, Scott. They make brilliant frames. Yeah, I was just showing so a then, couple, actually. See? Yes. So now I've extended, you see, so you've got one picture, two picture, or a long picture. It's entirely up to you. And then what you do is, you see, you take your masks and they cover up. So they cover up perfectly. And that's how you cover up that bit. Hang on. I've got to get my head over the, over the top. Now, the masks, you can see here, there are masks for every single house, for every single tree, and for the base. And when you've finished using it, like I've already, here's one I did earlier. 
you can see once I finished using it, I can I can go again. Yeah. So um, th these are reusable, which is great. Perfect. So then all you're going to do to to put them in place. When they're new, I've got my head in the way. I bet I have, haven't I? No, no, we're just on the edge there. We can see where you are there, yeah? But... I've got to go to the third camera because I've got to get my head over it to see it. Of course. You see, and then I can get in absolutely perfectly. That's it. So once you're in there, that's it, you see. you just got to get your head over it, so to speak. And then you just add the next mask, and again, you're just going to pop in there and once you've covered up the fields, then you can add the trees and the houses. Oh, uh, yeah. As you can see. You see? So now I can take my house and I can start building. And I could, let's say I want to pop that house right at the top there, like so. <laughs> and then I start building my house with the trees and what have you. And as I go along, if I want to put, say, for example, I want to put a tree behind that house, then I take the mask from that house, I cover that up, like so. So you could, it's so much fun. There are hours of fun. And you do that. And then, of course, you could take a tree, let's say. So I could pop a tree now behind that house. Oh, I see. I see. And the okay, best thing is, and I know we're going to run out of time yeah. now. <laughs> Listen, I'll tell you what, well, well, we just let you continue building those up. We will be back with you just in a matter of moments, of course, we go through. Uh, just to let you know, just before we do take a quick break as well, that the, the fantastic um, About Town is now limited stock, everybody. It is now limited stock. So grab that now in your basket and then we'll come back and join Barbara and myself there. We're going to carry on the demonstration. But now's a really good time. You're not going to miss a thing from Barbara and myself, of course, uh, while we get that into your bargain. And we'll be back with Barbara uh, on the other side of this. For now, see you in a second. <laughs> Yes, we'll be continuing on with lovely Barbara in a moment or two. Then, of course, we've got the final call for the Fabric Freedom Blenders One Day Special. And then we've got fantastic metal craft. So grab that brew. See you in a moment. Did you know you can continue watching Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, for free, using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If you're not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember to have your router's password to hand, whether you're using a wired or wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the centre of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type hochanda.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. So now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. Back in the day there were very few quilt patterns in the marketplace and so uh, I started to bring patterns into the UK from America and Australia and along the way I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic British designers and that is what really the essence of Daisy Chain Designs are. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows on Hochanda.
Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dyes that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders. We have decorative dies. We have coloring daubers. We have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping molds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. So I hope you can join Heartfelt Creations here on the Chanda. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years, Studio Light have evolved. They listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Echanda shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on Echanda. Uh, so a very warm welcome back if you were with us for the last hour, Barbara and myself. If you've just sat down and tuned in, a very good afternoon to you. Uh, we have got the fantastic Clarity Stamp and it's a two-hour special uh, with lovely Barbara that's taken us through. We've got gorgeous, gorgeous stamps and we've got some of your groovy as well. We'll talk about those a little bit later on in the show. Now, before we left you, though, we are uh, we working with a beautiful stamp set, basically, uh, which is the uh, About Town stamp that you can see. And it's been uh, the sort of the main feature of the project. Now, really, it's a sort of a, a show literally of two halves because the first half we have dedicated to talking to about the About Town stamp. And I will tell you now that we have now technically sold out of that. It has gone as the stamp, uh, which is absolutely beautiful. So if you've got that, congratulations. Now, uh, it's worth saying, I say it's a, it's a show of two halves, really, because what we're going to be working with now in the last uh, hour, last five minutes or so, Barbara started to focus on the additional parts that we can start to create because you get these funky houses. Now, let's be honest, if you just joined in and you've missed out on the About Town, not to panic because as you see the demonstration of what we're getting with the funky houses, what Barbara's got for you is great because it comes with the masks in there. It's a lovely way of you creating really your very own villages, a street scene, uh, a horizon you'll see which is absolutely beautiful and it's absolutely also got this lovely gorgeous sort of landscape. Now just to, I just want to show you this but we will go to Barbara in a second again but Barbara just mentioned at the end of the last hour she talked about how they could be used not just for that but also so for creating beautiful frames themselves and this is the this is the part and you'll see that there if you imagine that just as the kind of the landscape which is where we've left Barbara working she just put one house on and a tree we're gonna see where she's up to but as you can see working all the way around it makes a really beautiful a beautiful frame as well um, works here as you can see so it's framing and we've also got on the show those wonderful larger sort of um, fonts and larger images of those gorgeous poetry that's basically to uh, two for uh, the price of one really uh, but you can see them being used as the frame but these themselves the funky house is going to give you 26 stamps it's going to give you the mask and you can see how it works which is absolutely stunning because it's also got the Christmas trees on there and in fact just an idea there of the Christmas tree being used as a really kind of brilliant funky way and you've got more additions on there which as we go through this next part of the demonstration uh, with Barbara you'll get a chance to see how it's all going to work now I'll give you the details now what tends to happen and it happened also with the the last hour uh, with the about town is people get so engrossed 
goes with watching a bar where people will be missing out because if he gets to put it in the basket. So just as a rule, just before we go to Barbara, put these into your basket now and check them out because after 10 minutes, if there's no action, what happens is they will then get ejected from the basket for other people to pop into theirs. So I would like you to just sit back and enjoy Barbara's presentation knowing that you've got yours. So put it in your basket now, check it out. Half the stock has now gone on the funky houses. So half the stock's gone and literally only just started working it three minutes before we came to the end of the last hour. So no more to say from me. 1999, six pounds saving, 825-840. And we'll go straight back over to Barbara and continue on. And for those that are just tuning in, we'll say a very good afternoon to the lovely Barbara as well. Okay. It's been really, really busy, Barbara, really busy. I know. I still, I'm doing a little swan routine and my legs are going like the clappers. <laughs> and, uh, calm it, calm it. It's okay. It's all fine. I'm really glad. Um, what's so lovely is that I know that a lot of our shackers, the shack shackers, they will be watching and they will have drawn that townhouse, you know, that whole scene with me. And they will have drawn this lovely, um, this lovely winter wonderland. And having done it once, most of them have probably purchased <laughs> these yeah. sets because they love the image, but the thought of having to do it by hand every yeah. time is extreme yeah you know? so and I think also there's a lot to be said when you've actually been a part of the um, the design you know it, it sort of evolved as we were all together doing it which is great you really know? lovely <laughs> And so at work, what's great is Lucy and Lisa, they're so good at, at working out which parts need to be masked, which parts, you know, this is all, I think we're the only stamp company in the world that provides you with masks um, for their stamped images, you know. So, for example, this lovely piece here, let me just show you this. You can see, this is by Andy, and you can see the houses and the trees are completely white. This is so easy because all, all that's been done is they've been covered up before the background was introduced. So that's that's how easy it works. Oh, now see. here, for example, I love oh, this. Oh, that's beautiful. So this here, isn't it nice? Oh, yeah, I love we were that. Gonna, we, we were going to do this one today, but apparently we're... Um, we're going to run, we've run out, have we? Um, we'll get there. <laughs> we'll try. If not, I shall blog it. Okay. But you can see here, this is a piece of um, just really nice um, designer paper. Carol Pankstello's done this. And she's looked at the, the designer paper and she's found a scene. And then she's just used a couple of the little trees from this set. That's what impresses me. Wow. She's used a couple of the little trees. And then she's coloured them in, a little bit of a drop shadow on them, and there you have a beautiful is, landscape. It's and you know so beautiful. About? That. I, love, I feel like that should be an imagery mm -hmm. on the front page of a Tolkien book. <laughs> it's, just, it's beautiful. You know, it's so pretty. And, and this is the front of the paper, and this is the back of the paper. So I'm thinking this is Amazonia, this one, right? Um, but you'll see that the... The back and the front, they, they're tone in tone. Mm. Let me show you. Let me humor me for a minute. Yeah, here. No, it's, yeah absolutely. It's lovely. I did all the prep for it. <laughs> and you'll see what I'm talking about. Look, you see, that's the top, that's the front side. And then that's the back. So if you use the topper, like here, the card, it's using exactly the same colors. Yeah. So this is Amazonia, and you'll see it fits absolutely perfectly. You see? That is like lovely, that. that. If you're, but just let people know that we've got, we've got the details for that on the screen right now, actually. Just to let you know, Barbara, uh, <laughs> it's the 8x8s eight and the 5x7s, Amazonia. 2797 for the paper and the card collection. That's 169428. If you're as smitten with that as I am, uh, please go for that. That is, that, I love that. It's absolutely beautiful, that, Barbara. <laughs> When we look at the Amazonia, just humour me for a minute here and you'll see, when you look at the papers, you'll see that the backs and the fronts are as beautiful as each other. But the front tends to be brighter and then the back is more muted, but mm. they sit beautifully together. Can you see this okay? Yeah, perfectly. So let's look at this one, for example. I love this one because you can see the landscape in it. 
you know you just need yeah. a couple of little trees if i turn this one around straight away i can see a pink sky at night shepherd's delight you know yeah, but then when lovely. you turn it over the other side look it looks like something like one of those beautiful pinky gray skies that you get in the mornings yes then you've got this one for example which is really dark and dramatic but then on the other side it's using exactly the same colors but it works beautifully together do you see yeah really lovely compliments yeah nice so so this is amazonia and there's another one antarctica which has got more of the blues but i just wanted to flag up that the back and the front are are actually independent designs you know but they work really they're very color coordinated yeah so there you go lovely right let's carry on then so i just wanted to explain that was carol's work just using you know, I said about the, the the verses speak volumes. Yeah. You just need one tiny little element from these. There are so many of them. It's, it's brilliant, really. So let's have a look what we've got here. Right. If I, when you, when you mount all the stamps, what you've got now is an indexing sheet. So this is, for example, this is, if you, when you buy the stamps, they come on a sheet. When you take all the stamps off the sheet, it's printed. The sheet is printed. Oh, okay. This is really useful, this indexer. One is handy because when you peel a stamp off, look, you know where it goes back when you for storage. That's the result. Yep. So in a folder, for example, you know exactly which ones you can see what you're looking at. Yes. Now the other thing is, this is great for a lineup. So when you're, for example, here it is. <laughs> oh, I've been looking for it. <laughs> if, for example, now I want a composition, I can have a look at all my all my bits and pieces here, and I can say, right, I think I'm going to put. Okay, let me make sure it's around the right way. Yep, I'm going to put. Let's say this house here, or maybe I'll put that house. So I can mock it up yeah. with my indexing sheet. Do you, do you see what I yeah. mean? Really ideal. It's really ideal. Give it a test run. So, and the other thing is, you can see here, this is really cool, this is the picket fence. So if I come in close, you can see that right down to the, the picket fence, we've got even got that in stamp. And it sits really nicely. So let me just show you. If, for example, I wanted to add a picket fence behind this you see i can take this house i'm going to fast forward in a minute but i just want to show you so i can ink up that that piece of picket fence i tend to only because i, t I like to play it safe i tend to check what it looks like before i stamp it right you know yeah so that's going to look really cool there so then i'm going to excuse my head I'm going to cut, I'm going to put my head, see, I've got to do that so I can see it. And then I'm going to go in like that, there, you see, and it's gone into the house. But when I lift the house away, that'll disappear. It's gone behind the house. Got you. It's so cool. Yeah. It's so fun to do, you know. Um, so let me fast forward. Let me go from there to this one. And you'll see what I'm going to do now. Let's say I've, I've stamped all these up, I've masked them all off. So if I lift this mask off, you can see there's the little house. Mm -hmm. When they're a little bit fiddly like this, sometimes it's good to get a, a tweezer. Just get a tweezer and you'll find that that helps. Right. So then you can fiddle like so until you're happy with the position and then just press it down right. and it's in place. So now all this is covered up. Behind, underneath here is the stamp image. Okay, sorted. Let's take our uh, picket fence and let's, I want to put a picket fence right across the top. Let's look at the original. It's beautiful. So that picket fence is right there and it goes behind these trees. Do you see? Yeah. So I'm going to go there. I'm going to go to the third camera only because I want to make sure that I get over the top and I'm going to come down like so right on on the edge there and it's gone straight in over the top 
and onto the mask a little bit. Now, let's say I want to put a bit of picket fence behind that house. Oh, yeah. That'll fit. Yeah. Right. So I'm going to ink up the picket fence again, and then I'm going to come in like so, hover till I'm happy with the position. And then when I press, the picket fence has gone through the house, but it's gone round the back yes. of the houses. Do you see? <laughs> Got it. So cool. <laughs> so cool to do. And so, so that's how you, and then you've got different, different sizes of picket fence. There's a little rinky dink piece. So where am I going to put that? See, that would look really, so the rinky dink one, so you've got different size picket fences. It's so cool. Uh, I'm going to Barbara, bring I'm just, that one down as if it's disappearing. I'm just, I'm just interested yes, uh, because the whole idea of masking and when you're working with masks, etc. You know, we're, you, you, this is quite a sort of a nice long landscape. But you know, I suppose this is really com comes into itself if you're building your own sort of street or even like a village scene, sort of quite crowded. Is there any other sort of general rules when you're looking when you're building this up when you're working with with masks, for example? That uh, is something to sort of bear in mind for when you start from the beginning before before you put your first piece down for example just is there any general rule that you I work exactly to with regards to that yes when you, it's the rules of stamping when you're stamping the idea of the mask is you always stamp what's at the front of the picture first okay then you cover it up right then you cover it up and then you stamp beyond it so i mean we're going to stay with this one don't get me wrong but let me for example Let's go to this. This is a perfect, you know, the Lowry one. Oh, yes. This is yes. a perfect example of masking because um, let me just show you. If I grab my the bits that I did, you'll understand. Yeah. This is exactly how it works. Now, because I used one of that tree, right? Yeah. So that means... Let me just explain, because I'm still using this set, actually. But let's imagine that I want to, I want to put this, this house, right, this set. Let's just imagine. Yeah. Just bear with me a second. No, that's fine. Because that's fine. in order to do this, you, you see, in order to do this, I've got to put this tree down before I put all that lot down. Oh, right. Because it's at the front. Yeah, I know. I had to think this one through as yeah. well. Check it out. You see that? Yeah. That's in front of the houses. Of course. So, in order to do that, the, the thing that's right at the front of this picture is that tree. So that tree has to go in before anything else. And that's why, if you, if you think about that, just bear with me a second. I'm just looking for the stamp. Because without the stamp, I can't really show this off. Here it is. Right. Got everything I need now. So let's say I want to stamp this in. But first things first... This, I mean, I'm, I'm answering your question now about masking off. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I think this is Yeah, this sorry, is really I didn't mean key. to throw a spanner in the works. <laughs> just, I just find no, it, no, because when we talk about masking, it's one of those things that I think a lot of people will I think be... it's important. Whether Scott. they're scared to do it for the first time or they've never done it before, it's, a, it's a, those general rules. And it's really interesting to think you start at the foreground and you work back, because I want to think, oh, yeah. maybe you start at the back and then bring things forward. But, no, this makes sense, what you're saying. So let me just show you this. If we, this is a really good, I'm so glad that I'm allowed to show you this, actually. And let's just concentrate on the little tree at the front. So the first thing is, on this big stamp, okay, you can see that the border has been extended. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to put all the little matchstick men in. Of course. So the first thing we've got, we're going to do is mask off this line. Can you see this? Yeah, yeah, the this bottom line yeah. here. I'm going to cover that off. That's the first thing I want to do is cover that off with a bit of masking tape. I mean, the clue's in the name. Masking tape. Right, that's the first thing we're going to do. Right, now, let's put that to one side and let's take our tree. We're going to take the one with the little, with the, um, the snow on it or the baubles. Okay. Now, this is going to go there and the tree is going to sit there. 
I'm going right. to put the tree about there. Okay. Okay? Yeah. So I'm just going to put my finger there. This is a right rough. You know, you can make it more complicated than this if you want to. Right, let's just put the tree there. Right, tree's in the front. Now the next thing I've got to do, and this is the this is the whole point of this, I've got to cover this one up. Before, and here's the answer to your question. So I take my my uh, tweezers and I cover this little fella up. Takes a little bit of thinking through this one. Yeah. Right, that'll do. Hang on, let's just get it straight, Gray. <laughs> right. Right, so once it, once you're happy with the position, right, that'll do. Right, okay, sorted. Now, this one has got to come in over the top, but we don't want this the border. going right through the back. No, that doesn't work. So we've covered that off. Right, let's see if this works. <laughs> you asked a question, I did. Scott. Yeah, I did. I did. I'm just intrigued. So now I'm inking up this part, and you can see that the masking tape is covered up this bottom piece. So this is such an easy... This is the way that you put things in the background and modify them. I'll lift that off. That's important that you get rid of the inky masking tape. Now I can see exactly where the tree's going to go. And I'm going to put it right there like that. See, because I can see through the stamp. So I know where the tree's going to go. And now I'll pop this in place. Now watch. And now I've got my, hopefully, this will work. Let me just rub it on the back as well, because it's a big old stamp. Yeah. When I lift this off, right. right, there we are. So now when I lift this away, you'll see the trees in Got front. Got you. Got you. There you go. Got you. And that's how morphing works. So start at the foreground good, first when, when, when masking and layering. That's it. And then as far as, because everybody at home is going, yeah, so how did she do the bit around the bottom? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, because I asked the same thing. I thought, how did she do the bit around the bottom? <laughs> and you know, there are hundreds of people at home going, yeah, all right, we got the tree. How did you get the board there? <laughs> Two inches off the top. <laughs> so I will show you. Yeah. And, and uh, I've done it. Here's one I did earlier. Look. <laughs> That's cheating. Social distancing, look. Yeah. It's like a little lone ranger. It's like my local town. <laughs> I know. Oh. The way to do that, okay, is that this is the this end here is going to be the bit around the bottom. Could you that's just bring? The, could you basic. just bring the image in just to slightly to your left on that? As you do, no, that's beautiful. Yeah, thank you, Barbara. Thank you. So what we've got to do now, right? Because we've got a bit of if, if we've got some ink on here, we need to make sure that the stamp is clean. Let's just do that to start with, right? Okay. Just for the sake of argument. And now what we're going to do though. Yeah, there's a little bit of an echo on there, but you're going to get the picture. That's yeah. the main thing. You're going to understand how we do this. Right. So now I need to put this bit along the bottom. See the bit in the sky? Yes, yeah. To get that sorted, what I want to do now is cover up. Can you see the picture all right? Yeah, we've got the yeah. picture beautifully, yeah. Right, so what I've got to do now is cover up the, the house. You see? Ah, uh, yeah. Because otherwise, he's going to be inky. This is how, I, th I bet this is how she did it. I bet this is how Linda Spencer did this. See, so I've covered that bit up. Right, okay. <laughs> and what we're going to do is ink this up, right, then flip it over, and then, and then try and line this up. Extend it. Which is not the easiest thing in the world, but we'll give it our best shot, <laughs> okay, right? Okay, yeah. Okay. <laughs> And and just on a on a it'll be okay note, right? That's where the the micron pen. <laughs> these are our best friends: a Posca pen and a micron pen. Because even if it doesn't line up, you can always tart oh, it up. No, I see. <laughs> That's how it works. That's why they're your best right, friends. Right. Yeah. So what we're going to do now is go back to Linda's. Let's just investigate a moment. Where's Linda's gone? Right, here we go. So she's counting one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, about five on either side. Okay, so only because I think it will help me, right? Where's my little, I'll do it with a white, 
where's my little I've usually got a black sharpie pen right one two three four five I'm gonna make a little mark just cause so I've got a rough idea it helps every little helps yep. <laughs> <laughs> right so now oh I know what I've done wrong hang on it's all right because I know what's going to happen here I've got to cover this up oh you see yeah because I've made that wet now right so that's going to go like that like so and that's because I know I bet Linda's watching going no Bob <laughs> Like that. I've got her here in the studio. She's watching with I me. Know, Linda. <laughs> I'm on it. It's all right, though. It's all right. It's okay. It's important, I think, Scott, that you show how things are done. Oh, definitely. You know? Let's do that now. Like that. That'll do. Okay, Gray. Right, that'll do. You get it. You've oh. got to cover that up. I'll cover that up. Right. We'll get those ones in like that. I might actually, I might actually leave a little gap just so that I can pencil it in rather than, right, and then I'll turn oh, this I over. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to come to this camera so I can get in on my head. You see what I'm doing? Yeah, lining up. Line up, line up, line up. Right, this might go a bit pear-shaped, but we'll give it a go. Right, and then you press down like that. <laughs> 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 this is much more relaxing and therapeutic in the in the calm of your own home. Yay! Hey, 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 hey. hey That's hey, good. Hey, 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 I love it when it works. Yeah. <laughs> pure, pure joy. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, no, I'm going to give myself a cup. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right, so in answer to your question, that's, <laughs> was... that's how masking works, Scott. I love it. No more questions for the rest of the hour, all right? <laughs> no more this month. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, actually, I, I love this I just this want set. to let you... Uh, thank you for that, Barbara, because I, I think it is really interesting to sort of see how that how that does come, just, just so you know. Definitely. Sorry to interrupt, I just want to let you know as well that the poetry stamps, they have now technically also sold out. Uh, so congratulations to everybody that's got those as well, which is absolutely amazing. So it's two lots of the stamp sets have now sold out. And we've still got some left if you want to go for the funky houses, which I know that uh, we're also carrying on with right now as well. But two thirds of that stock has gone. Uh, so the last time it was half the stock. And so just in those last 10 minutes or so, uh, uh, we've already lost them more. So grab it now, 1999 825 Eight four zero. Okay, back to our lovely Barbara, who's done so well with us. Lovely. <laughs> okay, right. And the little carrot man, right? He, if you, again for distance, if you want to put him on the house and on the, you know, like he's not. They're not all down there. They're going to be standing in the front of the house. Then you just make sure that his neck is where the, the line of the house is. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. So now it looks like he's actually, there you go. See? Yeah, perfect. This is what you call social distancing at its absolute that, best. <laughs> that's perfect. That's perfect. <laughs> yeah. OK. So now I've absolutely demolished the counter. Let's go back <laughs> to where we were. <laughs> I'll just put this precious piece of artwork away from Linda Spencer. Thank you so much, Linda. It certainly, it was everybody's favorite at work. Everybody was like, wow, check this one out. This is so cool, it's Lowry. Uh. I went to um, I went to university in Salford, Scott. Oh yeah. And the building, the big red brick building at the university, was the Lowry Building. Oh. So it's particularly close to my oh, heart. Oh wow! Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Nice. So let's go back to this little fella now. Right, this is cool. So we're going to go to the original one, and I want to show you a couple of little tricks now. So we've put our um, fences in. Yep. Okay. But. If you look at the original, you'll see that the fence is actually white. Look, let's go back to the original. Oh, yes. Each one of these is, is a scene, isn't it? You know, you were talking about different. There's a card. There's a card. Yeah. 
they're all individual scenes. It doesn't have to be a great big long bookmark, but I love this set. Yeah. I do love this. So, for example, now, if I wanted to put the sky in, if I take a pergolina or a polychroma or something like that, I'm going to go very, very gently. Let me just practice on a piece just to get my... Right. So what we're going to do is just use the side of the, the pencil. Now, we could use a polychromo or we can use um, a pergolina. If I had a pergolina, I'd be using that. It's the same thing. Right. But this is what we're going to do is just use the flat, just the flat of the stamp, the flat of the pencil. But what, what we'll find is, let's just have a look here, for example, and I'll show you what I mean. I'm going over the top of the, because we haven't got masks for these, that would be insane Insane to have a mask for a, right? Yeah. But this is where that Posca pen comes in again, watch. If I just put a little bit of blue through here, just behind there, I mean, this isn't completed, but let's have, just, just have a look and I'll show you. So if I put the, let's have a look. Can you see, yeah, you can see this fine, can't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, perfectly, yeah. Right, so let's say, for example, I want to put a moon in as well. So I'm going to use a, just a, a white pencil. You can use, a, again, the pergolina or a polychrome, whichever one. I, I, they both work beautifully. So let's just make a circle. What we do is we sort of air draw to start with, right? So you kind of go like that until you're happy with the circle, and then you, you slowly go down to the paper. There you go. So you've got your, you've got your moon. That will do. This is the sort of stuff we do in the shack shack. We go, right, air drawing. That means you levitate above the paper. You don't actually commit until you know what you're doing. So we do a lot of air drawing, you know, where you just sort of go like that, but there's nothing actually happening. <laughs> you there, Scott? I am. I think I've just had a message come through from Caroline that's watching. Uh, sorry, Barbara, another question. Um, but it's, more, it's more of a, more of a requ uh, request, actually. Um, but Carol was asking, yes. you know the About Town samples that you had over at your end? You showed that one earlier on at the beginning of the last hour, the really, really colourful one. Would you mind? Really, really colourful one. Yeah, really lovely colour, uh, colourful sample. Do you sample. mean one of my ones that's like there, that? That's the one. That right. Hold that there. Only Carol tried to record it, and something's happened to her recording. Um, but she's bought the stamps, and she's looking to reproduce what she's got there. But tried to record it, and something failed on the recording. So I was asking if you could just show it again uh -huh. for. You're basically doing a live catch up um for, for carol but so i think she wants to take that as a master okay. to to carry on from but it's beautiful because it's so lovely that's great thank okay you. good thank that's... you for that barbara thanks so, so sorry i went quiet i was being given some information uh, in my ear from carol <laughs> oh i suddenly thought oh no skype he's gone was... he's gone he's left <laughs> he's gone to find another <laughs> question no no <laughs> <laughs> but so what I'm saying is, let me just show you. If we, for example, now, if we if we lift these these little characters off, let me find my masks, and you'll see. See now, straight away, I'm going to pop these on here, and you'll see that the wherever we've popped the house, the fence now is behind, which is again going back to all that what we're talking about with. You see? Yeah, I see. Oh, uh, yes. So as you you lift the, the masks off, it works so nicely, yeah. Scott. You yeah. See? I'll just peel these off quickly so that you can see the whole point of the layering. But I think with these funky houses, I think this is one of the nicest sets that we've come up with in, in a long, long time oh. because it it's there are so many elements to it. Yes. There is a lot to it. Uh, just so you know, Carol's just messaged back in and says, thank you. I think it was in capitals, the way it was said in my ear. Thank you, Barbara, for showing those, uh, that lovely colourful image again. She managed to capture it our second time. So that's great. Job done. Good. Thank you, You're Carol. You're very welcome, love. <laughs> right. So what we're going to do, you see, if we want to put a bit of sky down, right, we're just going to literally, you, you kind of almost levitate Right, let's just add a little bit of sky like this. I'm going to show you just a couple of little colouring tricks. Yeah. So that's the first thing. You use the side of the pencil and you just 
and you ignore the fact that you're c coloring in the fences again, because what you're going to do now, there's like a two-step, there's a two-step process. You use the Posca pen, you use the white pencil, there's a white pergola liner, um, and you use the the Micron pens, all of which are on the TV, sh all of them are on her calendar today. Yep, yep, you've got the okay. lot, yep. At the bottom of our screen, 905436 for the Posca pens, everybody. You'll see, you'll see exactly how easy this is. Now, to get this sort of subtle um, whiteness, you're just going to take a white pergola, a pergamano pencil or a, or a polychromo, and you're going to run through. This is a winter wonderland, this is, you see. You've got mm. to use your imagination. Beautiful. So what we're going to do is run the the white pencil through the fields. Let's, let's do that for a start. So you've got your base down now. Before, we had to draw all this, but this oh. is great. And you work in layers, depending on how white you want it to be. Okay. So you're going you're gonna to use your pencil to get a more subtle, like on the tree. Let's do a tree. So you're going to use a white pencil on the tree rather than the the Posca pen. It's got a, it's got a nice, almost like a feel of like for on a groovy um, when it's been sort of popped through to get that sort of lovely whiteness coming through. It's, it's very similar in that sort of look. It is, and it looks always looks so beautiful. Yeah. I find it always looks really lovely on uh, on craft card. Oh you right, see? yeah. So, and you can build up the layers as well. So let's just stick with this tree for a minute and, mm. I, and this fence and this field so you see what, I'm, what we're up to. Are we okay? Just come and left. We'll see just how come it works. Left to There we go. That's perfect. All right, lovely. That keeps Jimmy sorry, happy. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, I understand. Sorry, Jimmy. <laughs> so what we're going to do now is, for example, we're going to take our Posca pen and we're going to, we're going to reintroduce the whiteness like the, the snow and the picket fence. So if we go up close on the original, you'll see, let oh. it just focus. Oh, yes. Right, yeah, you see how yeah, the picket no, fence is suddenly white and the windows are white in the house? Yes. So let's have a look at how we do this because it's, it's a really easy way to go. Let's take... Let's take this house as well, and I'll show you while we're on it. There's just a couple of little tricks I want to show you. How to do the house. Right. So let's get just a white pencil to do the house. That'll work. And then, right, so we've got the white on the fields as well. Now, to get the, the, the fence out, what we're going to do is use a, a Posca pen. And I just need a little bit of black card just to check that it's working. Okay. Oh, yeah, beautiful. Yes, okay. working. That's perfect. Right, so what we're going to do now, if I've got the right glasses on, yeah. Now, take your time on this. <laughs> and what we'll do is we're going to reintroduce, you see, you just reintroduce the picket fence. Oh, so you're going right. to recolor in. Once you've done all your blue work, yeah. and you're happy with your blue work and your shading, then you're going to go in and you're going to reintroduce your... And we said it earlier on, if you, like with the fairy lights, if you go over yeah. the black line art, it makes no difference. You just reintroduce it again with a doodle pen. Right. For example, let's look at the windows. Now, it would be, I think you can see this best. It would be for me, it would be quite hard for me to put these little... The oh, squares. it's not too bad. Look... But it'd be easier to just colour in the whole thing like that. Yeah. Just do the whole window. And when it's dry, then I'll add, let that dry now. That we'll just, let's make a mental note. Hold that thought. We're going to leave those two white windows and then we'll put the black line, the frame the back frame. in afterwards. Oh, I see. Okay. Right? Yeah, yeah. Do you see, see what I mean? Now, let's look at this tree. Let's forget about the, the windows for a minute. They, that needs to dry. Let's go back to the tree, and let's add a little bit more white. Yeah? You okay. do it in layers. Okay. See, this is where the B pencils in the pergoliners, they work brilliantly on, on coloured paper. Really nice. Look. Yeah, they do, don't they? You know, that's a pencil. So we can do, for example... You can do the, 
the smoke coming out of the chimney really nicely. Oh. So let's go back to the pence, uh, the tree. And what I'm going to do now is take a grey and add some shade so that the trees become more, see? Very great. More yes, I see, yeah. Layered. So what we're going to do there is just take a grey or a blue, whatever, or a pencil. If you've only got an HB pencil, use a pencil. Okay. There you go, you see. But you'll see as soon as you do this, it starts to look 3D. Yeah, look, it is. So you can cool see the layers. See the layers of the tree coming yeah. out now? So it's a real fun doodle. So that's the, first, the next thing. Now, let's see if these windows are... Are they dry? I'm not quite sure about the windows yet. Let's do the snow. <laughs> <laughs> Let's stay outdoors. Yeah. It's all right. When in doubt, do a bit of snow. <laughs> I can always ask another question. Look how... Yeah, you could. You certainly could. You could. <laughs> <laughs> See, and then, and then, for example, here, all these, you just go through... And you just colour them in, and then you reintroduce the black liner afterwards. Yeah. But what the stamps have done for you is they've given you... What's so cool is the stamps have actually given you the shape, which is what we really like. Yeah. And then you can just add your own flavour. It's it. That, that, there are so many... How that, many houses are there? I'm going to ask you a question now. OK, go. I, I did say... Oh, did I say? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Eight, eight houses... Well done. Seven trees, two lots of different snowflakes, yeah. four picket fences, and we've also got, we've actually got a circle <laughs> there. A a oh, you beat me to it. <laughs> 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 Very festive banter. Oh, the games we play <laughs> that Sunday. I love it. Oh, um, no, we had so much fun. <laughs> Are they dry? No. Right, you ready for this Go window? On. Come on, you're going to blink and you're going to miss this. <laughs> <laughs> Right, you ready? Yeah. So now it's dry, so I can go in and I can reintroduce. Look, it oh. looks so sharp. Look. I know. You wouldn't believe it. Perfect. <laughs> Look, I'll come up close so that you can see it. It looks so, so sharp. It's no, little things. Brilliant. That, that is. You see? wouldn't know that that's not been drawn on. That, that's, that, that's not part of the stamp. I tell yeah, you what, so, let me just give the details now, so for these. Check out the bit down the bottom. Let Go me on, just then. give the details for the pens, uh, Barbara. Seven, the, the bottom of our screen, 734931. Now, you're going to get a set of seven. That's 0 0.2, 0 0.25, 0 0.3, 0 0.35, 0 0.4 and 0 0.45. Uh, 5, 6, and 0 0.5. Oh, that's it. Them here, look. Yeah, that's them. That is them, I know. Well, <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> well worth going for. I tell you what, uh, I've got them on the deep. Right, twelve ninety nine. We got there. We got the details on the screen. Twelve ninety nine seven three four nine three one. I can't wait for us to be back together again later on, Barbara. It's all sorts of trouble being caused between us. It seems. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you know? I, I love working with you, Scott. It's always a pleasure. Oh, bless you. I love working. Love working with you. Lovely. <laughs> Oh. So you see, once you put your white work, your white work in with your Posca pen, then you can go back and you can reintroduce. Like now, I'm adding the buttons or the stitch work, and you can change it. So again, it's really just a real simple trick, but really nice. Otherwise, you would struggle to colour that in like that. Right. You know. So, so that's that's really um, as much as I want to say okay. about these particular um, stamps. I tell you what I did want to show you though yeah. is how it's very simple, but how to get a um, a bookmark into a bookmark sleeve. So let's say, for example, we've drawn it, we've coloured it in, we're happy with what we've done. We've this is two inches wide, and this is two inches. Just shy of two inches. Now, because it's paper, yeah. if you try to push this in, it's a little bit difficult to push in. So what you're looking for to do this is always a ruler. And if I could find the ruler in here, I would be 
uh, one happy person. But what you do is usually, it's somewhere here, but what you would do, just bear with me, because I okay. did have it earlier. All my demos went out the window. You know that, don't you? <laughs> well, everything's sold out. Everything's sold out. I'm that's why. Well, that's why. <laughs> that's why. Now, normally, I've got a ruler here, but the idea is that you pop the ruler in there as well, okay. and then that just slides in. Oh, I see. On the ruler. Yeah? That's the bottom line. But I'm going to do it with my finger now. But if you had a ruler, it just goes straight, straight in. Straight in, yeah, got and you. And it doesn't buckle. Yeah. So that's how, that's how you do it. But what a nice present, you that's know? A, they're lovely ideas, that. It's lovely. <laughs> So, if you do me a favour, yeah. go and have a look at some of the artwork, and then I'll I'll just do a, a, a left arm sweep, and then we could have a look at the groovy. Should we have a look at the groovy piece? Perfect. So yeah, gorgeous. we've not really given her that a lot of, a lot of looking at, so uh, we'll come straight back to Barbara and look at that. We've got about 12 <laughs> minutes left, so let me just give you the details that we're talking about at the moment, and uh, these are the fantastic funky houses, plus, as you can see in there also, the uh, we're going to get the six bookmark sleeves, because they do work beautifully. Now, that's using that part from the course uh, that you're going to see. If I just show you what these are, uh, all the images that print out, uh, so you can see that these will create the landscape uh, that Barbara was working. Here's all your fantastic Christmas trees all ready to go. Then, of course, you've got all your fabulous different funky houses, but as you also saw the demonstration, you saw the picket fences being used. You've also got the little added extras. That you, All of that comes as that. So in total, 26 stamps, and also you're going to be getting your masks, uh, which you can see down the front, which is really important, again, when we talk about how you're getting those lovely build-up of scenes, which is a perfect way of working uh, with the funky houses and the trees as well, if you're creating a little woodland scene to go with that little forestry area, and you're also going to be getting the bookmark sleeves, because they do make a perfect addition, and you're getting six of those. All of that has got six pounds off, so really good time, and it does work hand in hand if you actually got the Our Town um, stamp set at the beginning of the, from the last show. Uh, 825840 is your item code there, so right now it's 1999. Where are, is it three quarters of the stock? Three quarters of the stock has gone, and again, uh, just to show you, just one or two, very, very quickly. Again, uh, I'll just run through, just so you can see some of the images of how these have been used, and they really are absolutely beautiful. Um, all the way, all these sort of different designs. I've got a lovely different feel. I just love that whole idea that you can see with this sort of um, landscape being used, and those lovely meadows, and then of course your trees, all to work with them. But perfect, not just for Christmas, but also great ideas for new homes. Um, moving home, etc. Our house to your house, those kind of lovely messages that work beautifully. Uh, right, very quickly now to show you uh, with regards to the groovy, because we're going to go back for the last uh, nine minutes with Barbara, but this is the, the, the set that you'll be looking at to go for the whole complete collection, and they re it's really lovely, actually. So this is going to give you uh, the funky houses that we've just been talking about, and you're also going to be getting the groovy plate for the about towns. You're getting all of those together, which is a lovely combination. Only £12 and 98 pence for you to go and take advantage. Uh, 225749. Now, if you think about both sets, that's both sets for that price, because you've got a three pound saving, I think that's a phenomenal deal. Not only do you actually get the about town, but when it is about town, you've also got in there even the little carrot man, you've got the brickwork in there, you've got the love hearts, the bunting, uh, with all the different uh, effects you can have. Everything you've just seen that's been worked on that last stamp set with Barbara is there again with those fantastic uh, funky houses groovy set as well. 12.98, if you do love your groovy, that is perfect. 225.749. Now, if you are new to Groovy, just to let you know, you might want to be getting the starter kit as well. And when you see what Barbara's going to be doing, here's your starter kit. For, it's the deluxe starter kit. Everything you need to work with it, the tools, you're going to be getting the actual uh, embossing, uh, sorry, the um, uh, nestled uh, squares to go with that, dies, and you've also got the actual plate itself to work with, uh, with including the alphabet and all the other extras. It's 946594. It's available on Flexi. Two payments of £27.50. If you're thinking about 
about uh, gifting for, for again. We've got more uh, coasters and bookmark sleeves also for you if you want to work these projects as a present for somebody. Eight three seven two nine five. That gets you eight of the coasters and six for your bookmark sleeves as well. Great ideas for your artwork to be there as a gift to give. Fifteen seventeen one. Uh, we've got uh, seven and a half minutes left. Let's go straight back to lovely Barbara, if that's okay, and uh, to see where we finish off with our lovely Groovy. Okay. Are we, are we here? We yes. are. Yes. Okay. So the, the Groovy plates, they're absolutely gorgeous, and there's no need for all the masking with Groovy because it's just, you just take the bits that you want. So for anybody who's new to parchment art, um, the starter kit is a fantastic place to begin. But let's just have a look at these plates and I'll show you how they tie into the starter kit. You see, so, so what we've got here, let's have a look at a couple of pieces of artwork. You can see here, this is a lovely piece by, by Linda, Linda Page, and you can see that she's lit Literally, just if I take this, she has literally just traced out the center and then done some beautiful um, grid work around the outside. So, so that's 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 simple. Now let's take a look at this one, for example, and this one's by Carol, and she's done again. It's the same same houses, and she's just taken the center and then she's just changed the border and layered it up on some designer paper. So that's pretty special as mm. well. And you see, you can use all the different elements. Now let's take a look at this particular piece of artwork. This is from Karen Jackson. This is gorgeous. What she's done is she's taken one of those verses, may you always have walls for the winds, and she's taken this plate and you'll see, if I just hold the plate, over the top, you'll see she's taken that little bit. Then she's taken the tree from there. She's taken the fence from there. Then she's taken this little piece, which is that little section there. And then she's moved into that house and she's put another tree. So every single one of these little images here mm. is like a little baby scene. Yeah, beautiful. They make, you can either string them all together like I did exactly like I did, you could build the exact same picture as I did on paper. Yeah. You could do that with this. What's also super cool is the outside edge. You can see this makes a fabulous frame. Yeah. So, and how does this work? For those of you who are absolutely new to the Groovy system, now this is part of that starter kit. This is what we call the Groovy plate mate and these a5 square plates they sit exactly in here now they're they're etched they're laser etched precision etched my brother steve does all this i'll just see he uh, uh head of manufacturing for groovy plates he n never takes a day off i don't think uh -huh. but you can see that because they're etched when you lay a piece of parchment over the top this is just to show you how it works in the starter kit also, you get tools. You can see here, you, they've got numbers. One, two, three, and four. Number one and number two are the ones that fit inside the, the groove. And that's how this, this appears. So you're stretching the parchment. Let me just take a couple of groovy tabs. Okay. These are tabs that, the way they work is they... They don't leave a sticky residue. They hold your art in place. There you go. This is a, a tumble dry sheet. This is in the starter kit as well. Let's take, for example, can you see this okay? Yeah, but yeah, that's perfectly positioned. Thank you. Yes. If I, let's just take, um, let's take this piece here. I just want this area here. I'm working from behind, you see, and I get in the groove. And if I jump out of the groove, it doesn't make a mark, look. So I can, I can design my piece like this, exactly as I want it. Yeah. And I take my time. This is very therapeutic, actually. Mm. Right? And then I can come through here. Here we go. And I can put my little marks in. And I take my time. And I'll add my dots and my 
my lines and my, okay, this is just, I'm showing the person who's never done any parching. Absolutely. This is what this is all about. Right. And what you'll see is, as you go through here, I'm going to fast forward so I know we're going to run out of time. When I lift it over, you can see it's stretched the parchment, and that's how you end up with these pictures. Ah, lovely. Yeah, it is. It's that simple. It's that basic. And then when, you, when you've when you designed your 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 composition, you see, then I could take this and I can move it to, let's say I want to put that house on there. So then I just take my groovy tabs, hold it in place, position the house, wipe it with a tumble dryer sheet so that it doesn't, so that the tool glides easily. And then in I go again. And then I can just, I can add, if I don't want a window upstairs or I don't want all the detail, I don't have to add it. You see, you just, or if I say I don't want the, I don't want all the bits in the middle. Right, Turn it over yeah. and I've got my house. You see, Absolutely. if I've missed a bit, I can go back and I can improve it. So, so this is how a groovy plate works. Great. And it sits in the groovy plate, mate. And in the kit, you get parchment. You get, I think you get a, a nested frame. Mm -hmm. You get one of those. You get a, a trees. You, there are two different plates. Tina Cox, one of the best parchers in the world, she has um, designed a, a, a double project for you so that you can see exactly how it works. And it tells you precisely how to use the starter kit. So that's well worth considering if you're if you want to get into this. If I'm not mistaken, there's also the inset, as we call it. And this piece sits in here. So when you get little baby plates, you can use the groovy plate mate with the inset with his collar and so then smaller plate in there as well. Oh, to, oh so for, lovely for again for those that have never seen before. Absolutely perfect. Um, Barbara, thank you so much indeed for that for the last two hours. Uh, but get yourself that coffee because we'll be back together again at six o'clock uh, with, of course, the launch of that one day have you special. Run out of time? Yeah. Have we run out of time? We have. We have. We have indeed. We oh. have indeed. But, but, well, I'll put my glitter and my sticky ink away then, shall right. I, before I launch it. <laughs> Just for now. No, we'll don't put them too far. Oh. Barbara, thank you so much indeed. Oh, we'll see you later on very, very soon, Barbara. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, lovely, oh, lovely shows. Don't go anywhere. See you soon. Oh, but get ready, everybody, though. We have got final call, though, first of all, with the Fabric Freedom Blenders One Day Special. We've been really, really busy. Then we've got Brilliant Metal Craft. And then, of course, it's Crafty with Clarity One Day Special. Hello, my name's Stuart, and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business, and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with Achanda is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dyes, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please, don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on a channel. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. 
Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it, now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the Added Channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase, and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Anna, and I'm the founder of Craftbox UK. Craftbox is a box full of craft supplies that we send to our customers monthly. All products are placed in a beautiful, sturdy box, which is ribbon tied, and we hope that by receiving this box, you will feel like it's Christmas every month. Make sure you don't miss the craft box shows on Hochanda. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Blanche is a crafting company located in Germany. For over 20 years, I'm designing and selling stamps, paper crafting products, and home decoration. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. We produce a whole range of products. We produce paper products. We have also shrink sleeves for your jars, glasses. We have home decoration products, paints and wall decals. Everything, the whole range of crafting we produce for you. I hope you enjoy watching us at Hochanda and crafting with La Blanche. Very good afternoon, everyone. I hope you are well. We've got a fantastic show lined up. It's the one day special. It's the final call, which means this is the final live hour with the lovely Hayley Smith. Hello. Well, not the final hour ever. No, I'm on tomorrow. Yeah, you're on tomorrow. <laughs> uh, but it is great to have your company, Hayley. How's it been going today? Uh, it's been going very well. We've been doing lots of different things. Um, we've got a fantastic one day special, which is all kind of blender fabrics, which and um, those kind of worker fabrics yeah. that make all of your kind of big fancy ones work. So. And we've got them at great prices as well. Yes, that saving of £25 is for the next hour and then through until 6 o'clock tonight while stocks last. You can divide the payments into two monthly payments of £19.98 if you want to. Right, let's go through the different options for you. Uh, don't worry, that was just Hayley tearing up some fabric. Yes, Rather sorry, than I don't to, know I've, what. Got to, I've got to prep some stuff. Oh, and things. we're going to tell you all about the street. I'm not quite sure what it all means yet, but I'm in the street, and apparently some of you guys are as well, but we'll talk about that in a moment's time. Let's go through the options, Hayley, for the okay, fabrics. Okay, so the one that, that you've got there now, that is the Brush Strokes Natural. Yeah. And this is a fantastic option. They've picked out all of those really neutral colours, your greys, your creams, your kind of um, your beiges, your really natural. nice, soft, natural mm. colours that will go with anything. 
yeah. and one of the advantages of something like this brush stroke pattern is it seems really simple I mean that would be fantastic if you were doing art quilting and you were looking for maybe something for a dog or yeah. a cat it, yeah. it looks like fur and um, but what you can do with these is because they they're not as simple a print as they look they look as if it's one color on the back and then another color on top but it okay. isn't it's actually four colors that are within there is it and that means that if you're trying to get an exact match with something you can't find that fabric to be an exact match something like this that's got that little bit of variation within the color will match far better than trying to get just a plain fabric match yeah i really like these i really like this pattern as well um you're quite right it's got a bit of depth to it even if you're just using this particular pattern on its own, I think it's going to make uh, a wonderful cushion or feature fabric, even though we're using these to top up our stash. So that is your first option. Let's move on to the second one. So really nice, beautiful, um, natural colours there. And then we're moving on to some colours that are a little bit more bright. Now, does that one belong over there? If I push that there. Uh, no. No, it's, that belongs I think over it's, here. Yeah, you have got a couple of lighter ones in there. How, well, to count them is my advice. That would be a good idea. So we've got ten. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, ten. There, there you go. You go. So it does belong one, over there. Yeah, belongs over there. Then let's get into the brighter colours, even though we do have some. Uh, There's a couple uh, of slightly... more muted ones in there. Yeah. But I'll show you them with some of the other fabrics, and you'll see what a difference that blended uh, kind of four or five different tones of yellow or pink or blue or green make to actually helping to match with other fabrics. Yeah, I do. Like this green one is luscious. If you've got any uh, kind of tropical design or themes in your home, that would be absolutely fantastic. I love that. We've got the orange colour there, so nice and bright. We've also got the blue, more of a purple actually, uh, with this one, with the different tones in there. So you've got lots of lovely depth. These are all 100% cotton as well. Beautiful, vibrant pink. All quilting weight cotton yep. as well. And what I will do is, if uh, once you get to the end of that particular selection, I'll just show you a couple of options that we had on earlier. I'm not going to do them all properly. Um, but just to show you how those um, fabrics can make such a difference when you're matching. Yeah, beautiful. That red is gorgeous. Love that. Um, and then we've got the orange. Oh, no, I think I've showed you the orange, burnt orange. And then we've got that lovely grey. But again, you've got the different um, colours in there as well. There you go. Two pounds and nineteen pounds and ninety-eight pence. Those are your first two options. You get ten options in each. What? Well, not ten options. Ten varieties in each so one. So that particular one that we've just looked at, which is the brush strokes brights, um, they you can match with so many things. So I've got over here the um, oh wildflower. Hang on, I've got to go across a bit. There we go. There we go. So um, these are the wildflower option, and I've got two of the colours from that uh, brighter brush stroke set that just go with this so brilliantly. And you see, as soon as you add those in, how it kind of lifts it. And this green, there is not one shade on there that probably is exactly the same as any of the greens on here. But because it has that kind of differentiation of lots of different shades of green, you can't see that as a problem with the match, and it, it works with it ever so well. With the yellow, yes, you have got a couple of the colours in there yeah. that are perfect matches, but you can see that that just lifts the whole yeah. thing now yeah, by really, adding those couple of really uh, does, doesn't in. it? Even though you've got that pattern in there, you it's have. not. It, it's a, it's a pattern, but it goes with all of the other um, colours that you've got in there. Right, we're moving on. Uh, because we've got some more options for you now. We've got these fantastic uh, dots for you. So yes, these um, are the batik dots yeah, and like the batik uh, florals that you've got. Yeah. So we've put these two on the same rail because if you're going to kind of mix and match them together, these are perfect because these are the same kind of colour families yeah. that you've got. So you've, you've put got the, the, the dots and the flowers that you've yeah, got on here. You can here. pick the blue dots yeah. and the blue flowers to go together or you could, as we said earlier, you can literally put these in a box or a bag, pick out any three and yeah. you'll come out with a fantastic project because everything will work together. Yeah, I was going to say, if you didn't want the dots and the florals together, if you want the dots with one of the other varieties, it will go because you've got those beautiful 
beautiful colours in there. Uh, really like this colour range. So we've got some greens, some purples, a nice grey, some browns and greens. So some nice earthy colours, uh, but some really nice bright colours in there for you as well. Uh, moving on to the next section, we've got your beautiful batik florals. Nice ditzy pattern in here, but the batik just gives it that nice depth. Uh, almost looks like you are flying over a forest there and looking down. You know, if you're in a helicopter or a plane or a bird sweeping over that, uh, because you've got the lovely florals on there, but also the different shades of green. Those nice small patterns in those two options as well really help for doing things like your bindings, your edgings, those finishing touches, maybe sashing, things like that, where you're looking for a smaller pattern because you're generally working with a smaller area. I think lining as well, Hayley. I think these would look gorgeous as a lining, maybe um, in a bag or a purse or something, yep. don't you think? I mean, they're, they're kind of too good for lining, but at the price that yeah. they're at, because it's yeah. £4 a half metre, Yeah, you could easily use them for that if you wanted to. Yeah, you certainly can. Um, beautiful colours again. All you have to do is choose and decide. Two pence of £19.98. pence. If you want more than one option, you're more than welcome to do so. The price will change accordingly. Uh, so you've got your dots and you've got your florals there uh, but we are moving on now um, to another set which oh my word I really like these Hayley absolutely love these you've got um, a vintage vibe to these yes yeah. I, I mean they're called vineyard but um, I've been calling them vintage all day because I yeah. think that they really kind of kind of scream of that and what you'll find is as you go through you'll find the positive and the negative for each of them yeah. so they'll kind of act as little pairs so you oh, can work them together yeah. The purple one's one of the easiest ones to spot, and I yeah. think there's a green one that's quite easy to spot as well, yeah. where you can actually get the um, positive and then the reverse. So instead of having the dark background, you've got the light background and the opposite colour print on. There you go. If you pull that next to your other green one. The other green one. That one there. You've got this it right one. next to it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yes, got you. Yeah, the positive and the negative. So you can work those as pairs. Yep or you can kind of work them into other projects. You could take that pair, add a white, and away you go. Yeah, these are gorgeous, lovely. I think that's my favourite colour in this particular set. Isn't that wonderful? That one also has its little opposite. Which is... I'm not close enough to... Oh. Uh, no, this yeah, one? That's it. No, keep going. No, this one. Next one. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> look at those two together. Aren't these fantastic? Yeah, these they are would. really, really nice, and these have been ever so popular. We did have dark options as well, but we've even... Oh, um, oh we, they're pinged back in. Yes. Okay, just as we came to air, we were like, oh, they're sold out on the extended. Right. But now, apparently, there's is two that, or three. Is that on the next set that yes, we're Yes, that's the to? next right. set. Right, so um, you're good to go on this particular set, but on the next set, the darker colours, it's, oh, it's extended on both of the vineyards. Okay, extended on both of the vineyards. And they're going to be dispatched on the 9th of December. So if you want to go for these gorgeous darker colours here, uh, which are really nice for the winter months, um, but if you want to use these with other fabrics as well all year round, you're more than welcome to do so. Uh, and you've got the opportunity to get these now because clearly they're back in stock on extended delivery, dispatching on the 9th of December. So let's show you how you order on the website so you can have a look at all of the different collections. So here they are on the website, so you just select which ones you want, so you've got your brush strokes, you select that, you've got your brush strokes in neutral, your mottled florals, love those, aren't they beautiful? Uh, you've got your floral vineyard, is that your floral vineyard there? No. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, it's <gasps> not changing. It's not ah, I know why, it's because it's gone on to extended, there's a ah. glitch at the minute. If it's right. gone on to extended, that might be why the uh, pattern is not changing. But we can show you live in the studio which one is which. So okay. don't look at the picture necessarily. Um, I think it's something to do with extended delivery. Perfect. Right, we've got some... Oh, we've got some happy hour deals. Shall I go over there or over there? Where am I going? Oh, OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go behind here... I'm going to go here. Here I am. It's amazing, isn't it? Live television. Who would have thought it? Oh, I love live TV. It's great. Uh, right. Shall I move this out of the way, first of all? Because this is something we're going to be talking about in a moment's time. Yes. This is the street, everybody. This, this is... Mm. is it's yes, going it's, to make more sense We've in created a, a monster. Time. Yes. Is, uh, <laughs> where I'm going to we'll, go with we'll that. We'll talk about that in a moment's time. So let me pop that down there. Right. 
Shall we start with our first happy hour deal? Remember, the price of these is going back up at the top of the hour. So let's first of all start with this beautiful roll of fabrics here. Uh, these two and a half inches wide. Uh, yes, mm. they are your standard kind of jelly roll, freedom roll, Swiss roll, whatever you want to call them. It's a standard size. It's yeah. two and a half inches wide. So uh, you're getting 40 strips on these. There are five patterns, so you're getting eight uh, repeats of each. Can I open it up? Uh, well, now, yes, you can, because what we, um, I, have I had a chat sure? with Fabric Freedom. Yes. And uh, any samples that we kind of use on the shows. Yes. Uh, what we're doing is anything that's been either opened or cut into. Yes. Uh, is coming back with me, and we stack it up for about three months. Yes. And then we do a great big giveaway with it. So you guys want me to open it up, don't you? <laughs> of course you do. I knew that. I'm here for you guys. I am, I am, I am. Right, let's open this up. So I want to show you the different fabrics that we've got in here because it's absolutely beautiful. If you want to multi-buy your happy hours, you're more than welcome to do so. Uh, the 19.99 at the moment, saving £10. But I'm sure you will agree, the patterns on here are absolutely divine. That being my favourite with the foxes on and the forest scene. You've got your owls in there. For me, this is like a, a 60s vibe, like a throwback to the 60s with the different colours that we've got on here. Oh, yeah, patterns. I think the colours in there with yeah. the turquoises and the pinks and the teals, definitely. Definitely Aren't a little bit beautiful. of a throwback. So there's your mushrooms in there. You've also got your dandelion clocks in there. You've got uh, you've more forest scenes. So fabulous fabrics. It's a happy hour deal. Remember, that means top of the hour. It will go back up to whence it came. Now, clearly, I can't roll that up properly, so that will be going into the prize drawer <laughs> at a later date. So we'll just pop that on there. Right, we've got some boutiques for you now. And um, we've got some choices. You've got three colour options for you. You've got your pinks, you've got your pastels, and you've got your earthy greens as well. Your happy hour deal will give you one two, three, four, five of the batiks and they are half metres. 100% cotton. Batiks are absolutely beautiful fabrics. £24.99 for this hour, saving, saving £15. Absolutely divine. Can I just open up one to show? Yes, you can. May I? May I, may I, may you I? Do I'm going to open this one up. <laughs> I'm going to open this. Does this mean this will go into the giveaway? Uh, no, only if I chop chunks out. Ah. That's, I can that's hear you rules. at home now we go, chop those chunks, <laughs> chop those chunks, <laughs> chop those chunks. You never know, we might be able to for you. Isn't that beautiful though? Love that. Now, with your batiks, do they have a bright side and a muted side? These are really, really yeah. good ones and I would say it's more or less the same colour all the way through. Yeah. There may be a tiny shade difference between front and back, yep. but that's one of the advantages of, of the batiks is they can go wrong way up, right yeah. way up and you know, it really doesn't matter. They're I such them. good ones that they you, really you wouldn't be able to really tell the difference. So, fantastic price there, but remember it is a happy hour for this hour and this hour only. So if you want to get your batiks, you've got your three options there so let's fold that back up neatly um, and we're busy now for the earthy greens and the pink so busiest for the earthy greens and the pink I think your yeah, earthy greens are brilliant for if you're doing art quilting and you're doing lots yeah. of trees, lots of landscapes, that kind of thing. Yeah, definitely. Um, definitely. Um, Making pictures with yes, fabrics. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Love that. Um, and we've got a pick and mix for you. A pick and mix available. Um, now, you've got nine choices in your pick and mix, and we'll bring up the details on the screen. Um, I'll run through the colours for you, but you can also go onto the website. Nine ninety nine for any two. So let's start with the top one. Um, you've got the beautiful, gorgeous. This one is the red, red betel. What's a betel? I think it's the kind of leaf it is, maybe. Betel leaf. Yeah, I like that. Beautiful. I, I'm not sure. Yeah. Is the answer? You know, email it. Email it. Next up. You've got your red salt dye blender, which is really nice with that salt dye effect on there. Next up, you've got your green swirl vines, which again is another beautifully vibrant colour. You've got your green salt dyed blender. Again, all those wonderful effects there. Great for mixed media projects, these. Uh, you've got your green flowered vine, beautiful depth. You've got your purple ink blotch. Is that your purple ink blotch? Ah, what was that then, then? Ah, that was your green flowers vine. What was that one, then? I thought, did I, <laughs> I think I, green... Have you, have you skipped ahead one? 
That's your green flowered vines. Yes. Right. Yep. That and makes that's sense. your green fossils. There you go. I knew there was a fossils in there. And I'm not talking about myself. Um, that's your salt dyed again with your purple, which is beautiful. Then you've got your betel leaf in the purple. And then you've got the purple horseshoe right there. Uh, they are a pick and mix. You can head to the website or give us a call. The call centre will do such a better job than myself there they really will they'll run you through all of those options imagine perfectly. the scenes if you worked in the call center well i would i wouldn't like to nobody would get anything but, they wanted well i tell you what we should do we should get someone from the call center to come here and do my job i'd love that job, job swap yeah because i know they would be absolutely fantastic they really <laughs> really would honestly the guys in the uh, girls in the call center are top notch they are fantastic so a big call out to them we love them we really do um right Right. Can, oh, I, can, can I just let you know streets? where I'm up to with this? Because I can sew these bits together while you're you doing that. So, um, one of the demonstrations we did in an earlier hour was a disappearing nine patch with some of the brighter um, brushstroke blenders. So, that's what we're going to do again, but we're only going to use two colours this time instead of the three that are in this one. So, all I'm doing at the minute is uh, taking these pieces and popping them into a little grid. So, that one needs to go there, that one needs to go there, and I'm just going to sew those into the nine patch and then that's not very exciting so you can talk about the uh, street and then we can come back to this in a second anything you do is exciting yeah. yes it is yes it is okay thank you for the enthusiasm uh, you're welcome you can this, pay me afterwards we have created oh, a monster okay we have a street a street which is kind of made up at the moment but we're planning it so it started with our lovely Scott last night peeping through the fabric like peeping through the curtains and then that gave us an idea about a street accused him of being a nosy neighbor right um, so then you gave him a house so yeah then we, we then we were living next to each other okay and um, and then you and Paula came in so you guys kind of moved yes. into this street yeah, we did we did and then indeed. people started emailing in yes <laughs> so then we had to have a planning meeting between the six o'clock and eight o'clock show last night okay did you get it approved uh, well, we're well, coming to that. Oh, okay. Um, so then this is the plan and people were moving in, but the only stipulation was if you moved into the street, you had to have some form of um, either talent or something you could bring to oh, the street minute, wait to help the community. Wait a minute. Some form of talent. I might need to move out that street. <laughs> I'm sure you can. No, you have seen your photographs. They're I'm moving back in. I'm moving <laughs> back in. And, I've got, and apparently I've got a dog. That's my talent. <laughs> sitting and taking photographs oh you know no, you what can... my old teachers are thinking about no. me now what did janice grow up to be well when people are janice, stuck with the gadgets she got a dog did no. she she's all right then that's my talent i've got a dog when, when you, people get stuck with their gadgets you can go and help yeah. them out yeah of you can course. go set up the rokus and stuff i've got dogs you've got ducks yeah. we're all right it's better yeah. than a degree that it really is <laughs> <laughs> okay so um, okay, the reason so... why we're telling you about this street is because do we have a it's, house left. Uh, we have one house oh. left. But oh, actually, we've got a flat available, but we've also got... Have we got somebody running We need a landlady as well. We need a landlady or landlord. Or landlord. Yes. Landlady or landlord, or landlady and landlady. Doesn't really matter. And uh, we've we split the dog and duck and so that you can... We've got... Because we were asked for some kind of community space that people could do craft show... Um, craft Okay. Um, classes in so we've put a function room in the dog and duck now okay now for the purpose of anyone at home who is absolutely confused now probably a little bit like myself what are we going to do with it right so what we've done is we've got planning permission oh, so, really? Great. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is uh, as craft yourself silly I am going to print out 40 houses onto fabric and the first 40 people to email me in, yes, I will send them one. I want you to sew it, decorate it, stitch on it, colour on it, whatever you like, and get it back to me. And then we are going to create okay. a street. And that's something that Craft Yourself yes. Silly is so going to do, not you need Hochanda. Don't, don't email, email studio. Hochanda. You need the address at the bottom of the screen there. Yes. You can do that. Competition at craftyourselfsilly.com. Um, and then Hayley will sort that yes. out. And you will be able to move into the street along with everyone else. We should make here. it real. Uh, so we have number, planning permission. What number is it that's available? 33A and 33B. Two flats available. They're really nice. We'll call them apartments. Make it posh. Um, <laughs> I live at number 12, so you'd be far away from me so you will be safe and fine right we'll put the street away 
for the moment. Yes, yeah, Scott, I think Scott's let's, coming back let's, in. Let's have a, a demonstration. <laughs> okay, so I'm just popping this nine uh, patch square together, and even just you know simple sewing like this is uh, a really nice way to use the blenders. But I mean, they're, the blenders always work best with some kind of feature fabric where you're not looking to have you know a plain plain with them. You're looking to have something. It's got just a little bit of something else about it rather than just a plain solid colour. So let me just get that lined up at the end. And then, oh, sorry. yeah, that wasn't going that slow. Uh, <laughs> so once this is all together, because I've got one more to sew uh, on this end here, once I've got that full nine patch, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut into it. Now, it seems bonkers mm -hmm. to sew it all together mm -hmm. to then cut it apart again, but it's the easiest way to mm -hmm. move things around mm -hmm. without having to add in all of these extra uh, pieces because it you know sewing this tiny square to this tiny square to it's a lot of work and this is a much quicker way to do it so I need to I need two minutes just to sew this last piece on and then we can cut it about stick it back together again oh Janice have you... well it took me my time to get through the gap I'm not as slim as I used to be you know with all this <laughs> lockdown you try getting in and out of there in a couple of seconds right um, we have got a choice for you on day special and they are fabulous choices and they're available at two payments of £19.98. and pence. We are getting busy for the different choices. So my advice to you, pick which ones you want, pick which bundles. They come in a set of 10 and then make sure you check out your basket so you can enjoy the rest of I the show. I think it's probably worth showing the um, vineyard white uh, the lights and the darks again because obviously those pictures because of the extended delivery have dropped off the website so i yes. think it might be worth having a look at those to show which ones Do you want which. To show those first if you don't mind oh that means i've got to turn around that's a lot well, of effort they're over there so you're really gonna have to get jack oh, to give you a hand yeah they're over there that's gonna be tricky jack, isn't it can, can we have some fabric i could just give you a little dance for a yeah. moment <laughs> Or we can talk about the other fabric, which <laughs> might, might, oh, we'll show you on the website how it doesn't work. Uh, there you go, so those are the mottled florals. So they're, yeah, they're the brush you know, strokes. I'm so glad I came into work today. I know, it's, it's, it's going I mean, well so been far. Stuck at home doing um, nothing. So yes, they're the brush strokes. Now, um, if you're going to want the ones that are the vineyards, if when you click on them on the website, it isn't going to show you the right picture. Don't worry about that. We will show you here now which ones are the correct ones. And then uh, you'll be able to give either the call centre the number or you'll be able to just put it into the website and ignore the picture. Are you all right there? You're I'm just, yeah, it's, it's Jack. It would just, he's so strong. <laughs> he's, going, he's coming in with these like this and just, you know, placing them down. It's absolutely marvellous. <laughs> marvellous, I tell you. We might do that live a little later on. Never seen anything quite like it. Right. You can have Jack in the street. He can be removal. Uh, why have we got Jack? You know, in a street you need... There's a flat left. Do you There's a flat? flat. Okay. Oh. We need Jack to come and move into the street. You could move into my house. My house is quite big, apparently. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, come size. in. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'll charge you, but it doesn't matter. Uh, we'll talk about that later. Right. <laughs> Let's talk about the options that we've got available for you. So we'll start here uh, because I'd like you to see those due to the, the website not giving you uh, the exact uh, colours. So we've got these beautiful florals for you now. And these are the vineyard florals. Uh, nice ditzy pattern option that you've got there and I think it's got that real kind of vintage 40s feel to them as yeah. well. With these, can I ask a question, are they multi-directional, the, the fabrics? Um, no, the pattern will work in one direction, Yes. but uh, what I would say is the pattern is so small and intricate, I don't think that if you were patchworking it, that you would notice. No, I don't either. No. I think you could get away with it. Definitely. Uh, right, so this is your first option with these bit. What's this option called? This is the... That's the lights. This is the lights. Okay, the vineyard lights. Uh, we've got your purples and your pinks in here. This is a gorgeous colour. Now that is that is definitely a, like a... Is that, would you call that a duck egg blue or is it more of a grey? Uh, oh, it's kind of in between, isn't yeah. it? Like a uh, wedge wood. Yes. Interesting. That's, that's a good, good choice of colour. Very. Really like these fabrics. Absolutely gorgeous. They are 
beautiful. So that's your first option. Your next option, which is back on extended delivery, dispatching on the, is it the 9th of December? So it's not long to wait. It's only a I couple think of days. They're both dispatching. Both dispatched on the 9th um, of December. Um, again, not long to wait. And this is the floral vineyard dark. So some really nice chocolate style colours in here. Um, and again, um, I think both of these um, would go marvellous in, in a vintage style. Could I use these if I was maybe making some upholstery, maybe, uh, for yes, a chair they, cover if you were something? doing covering a chair, um, yeah. then depending on whether it's an occasional chair or one you're going to use all the time, what I would probably recommend, if it was one you're going to use quite regularly, mm. I'd probably be tempted to put some kind of stabiliser on the back just to beef yeah. it up a little bit. Good idea. Uh, to make it a little bit more sturdy and a bit harder wearing. I thought an occasional chair was when you had an occasion, people came round and sat on it. Does it mean just occasionally use it and yes. occasionally not? Yeah. Oh. It's one of those ones that you just put in the corner and like either all the clothes end up slung on it. Or, or the dog. Or the dog or <laughs> like a little pillow or yeah. something like that. <laughs> we love that. Um, excellent, beautiful <laughs> fabrics there. I also really hear nice we've, we've had a bit of an email as well, haven't we? Uh, yes, we've had, we've had an email and... Cheyenne, oh hello Cheyenne, hopefully that's how you pronounce your name, um, from Fabric Freedom. Now Cheyenne said that she'd pre-booked house number 16 last night, but she's actually seen on the plan that someone else has moved into it. Has she been gazumped? Possibly. You've possibly been gazumped but we might be able to do a house share. I think that's only fair. Yes, um, yeah. I think we've got... And Angie would like to move into the street, apparently. Uh, Angie's got a dog, so excellent. I don't know if it's that's enough of the talent, It's having a though. degree. <laughs> <laughs> having a dog is better than having a degree. Uh, so she's going to offer doggy daycare. I like that. And she can also cook and do catering parties when it's safe uh, to do so. There is a function room at the Dug and Dug and... The Dug and Duck. <laughs> Dog and duck. When I don't think we're in tier number three in that street either. I think we're, no. we're out of the yeah, tiers. We're out no of the tiers in our street. We're well, all it's happy. A, if it's a gated community, so what and then community? once we're all clear, if we're, so if, what we're, if, we're a, if we're a, if you want to be a gated community, oh, gated once, community. We're, once we're all clear, yeah. then um, we we can do what we like because yeah. if nobody's got the Rona, then we're all good. Is it nobody's got what the Rona? The Rona. Yeah. The Rona. Yes, that's what I like to call it. That's what we're calling it. Yeah. Not taking the mickey out of it. No, we do know it's, it's very, very serious, serious. But sometimes you've got to have a bit of a giggle. Uh, right, let's move on. Oh, you're on. in. You can come, Jack. It's okay. Uh, these are your brush strokes. Um, I'm going to stand, in, I'm gonna stand in, the, in the middle for you. <laughs> this is... This there's, is... Not much, there's not much room in here. It's not like my walk-in closet at home, you know. <laughs> oh, no, sorry. I haven't got a closet anymore. I came out that years ago. Uh, right, we have got oh, some brushstrokes for you. Uh, we know, like a... Janice, but you tell us all the time. I know, well, you know. It's Do you think that... we might have forgotten? It's not that obvious anymore. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's not about me. It's about the fabric. It's a little bit about me, don't you think? I'm, I'm just going no, to do not. some demos. Um, <laughs> So your choice in fabric with your brush strokes. This is it's almost um, a light mauve colour. This yeah, one. Yeah, like it's really it's kind of got a kind of grey blue tinge yeah. to it. It's really nice. It's one of the ones I'm using in the demonstration actually with the disappearing nine patch because yeah. I thought it was quite a quite a subtle one. I think that one particularly we yeah. do for a lot of um, a lot of different projects. So we've got some bright colours in this particular collection. Yeah, you've which got is a really real nice, nice mix. You've got yellows through to that kind of um, quite soft orange, and then you've got your kind of terracotta -y brick reds. You've got your really bright reds. You've got uh, purpley blues. You've got pinks. You've got lighter um, lavender y mauvey colours. You've got a couple of different greens in there, a lighter yeah. one and a darker one. So you've got a fantastic mix in there. There'll be something in there to go with any project, or you can literally just work them together in their own right. Yeah, beautiful these are. Uh, right, we've also have the other choice for you. And these are your brush stroke neutrals. These are these are just as lovely. And would you say, if somebody likes the brush stroke style uh, of the pattern, would you say that the neutrals would go really well with the brights as well? Yes. Even though they're two different colour yeah, schemes. Because it's the same pattern, yeah. you'll get it to work. It'll be no problem at all. Yeah, really like for example, that colour would go really well, do you think, with the yeah, you can, I mean, you could literally yeah. put all of these in a bag, pull out any three, 
and, and they work together. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so those are your choices, and um, details are on your screen. Nineteen pounds and ninety-eight pence to pay myself. Let's have a look at what Haley's doing. Okay, so I have sewn those nine uh, blocks together. And what I used to create the block in the first place was one of the super square templates. So the super square templates are concentric squares. And um, this it just seems like such an obvious thing to do, but I don't know why we didn't think about doing it sooner. So we create um, a four inch, and then there's a six inch that goes and fits over the top of that, an eight inch that goes over the top of that, and a ten inch that goes over top of that. So once you've done your finished block, you can use your kind of your 10 inch uh, to, to trim it down to it back to its proper size. The four inch is actually what I used to mark out these squares in the first instance. But that means if you've got a whole stack of fabric, you can literally just kind of go all the way around and you're not having to measure and move all the Got time you. because it's a four inch square. Fabulous. Um, so now I've created my uh, nine square block. I've cut it down the, cut it into, into a cross, into quarters. So if I just shuffle those, you'll see it's cut into quarters. And then from there, I can rotate and move some of these blocks to create lots of different patterns. So I might want to rotate the other two as well. And then we'll have a, a block in the middle with a kind of a frame around it. You've got lots of different ways you can move these around and the more options you add in with in terms of colours, then the more options you'll kind of have as you move them around. So it's a really nice fun one to do and a really simple one that you can do either with these blenders that we've got today or you can do it with, with any fabrics this kind of block will work and the templates are just really handy for that. Now we do have more templates. <gasps> da, da, da. Yes, because we made the 10 by 10 and I thought oh well, that's a really good idea. Um, because all the uh, templates that we'd made were working to a, a kind of a 10 inch block which would give you a nine and a half inch finished block but then we thought what about making the other sizes so one that starts at 10 and a half inches so it'll give you a 10 inch finished block and your eight and your six and your four um, we did a, a nine and a half inch one and a nine inch one as well because your nine inch block comes with the five inch square which if you're wanting to cut charm square sizes that's perfect for that so if you're new to quilting if yeah, you're getting these, into your soft crafts would you say that this is an excellent idea it's a great to way purchase to purchase something like this a great yeah, way because to it's, start. it's just going to be it's going to be one of those kind of tools that you use all of the time either yeah. to cut your blocks to start off with so maybe you're doing half square triangles and mm. things and but you need the squares to start off with so you can sew them in they're there Mm. And they're in all of the sizes that you'll need. So if you went for the whole bundle, you'd go right from three inches up um, in half inch increments all the way up to ten and a half inches. So you've got every, you know, you've got so many there. And you start in the right way, aren't you? Yes. That's the you, great you thing. You know you're starting off with dead square pieces, yeah. so it's really handy. It's and then when you're finished, if you want to check your sizes, let me get one... Well, so many people are getting into soft crafts now, making quilts and making items for their home, you know, due to this year and being at home. Uh, they've invested in sewing machines, they've upgraded yeah. their sewing machine. Can you see there, I mean, I've got the red ones behind as well, but you can just see that's dead square now. So if I'm going to come in and trim those bits off with my rotary cutter, I can just hold it down and trim all of those bits off and I know I've got a dead square without having to measure. Because we've all done it, well, we've done it with a ruler, we've squared off a couple of sides, and then we've measured it up because sometimes the rulers can be a little bit, you know, you'll get one that's like 12 and a half inches. Yeah. So if you measure from one side, you're fine. If you measure from the other side, you end up being half an inch out. And if you're half an inch the wrong way out, then obviously you've got to start again. So we just made squares. And they all come out separately. Uh, yes, yep. they you've come out separately. Got I've just together. got mine stuck together because... Uh, and the what is it made of? Just so people uh, at home It's perspex. Know. It's clear Brilliant. perspex. So it's going to last. So yeah, it's going to last. And um, uh, Steve-O is the, the one who cuts them for us. Okay. Steve-O. Uh, and he sticks a bit of um, just masking tape on the back so just so they hold Steve together. Steve-O, Steve-O. What? Not Steve-O, Steve-O, Steve-O. Steve-O. Oh, it's another Steve-O. Not, not our Steve-O. I didn't he emails in all the time. Oh, no, I don't think he's been emailing in. Oh, OK. No. It's, but if the I other Steve-O's watching, hello to you. But they all come, each, you can get them individually, um, but they all come with a little seam guide okay. as well. So this one is my quarter-inch one. 
Now, I can't remember which ones go with which size, but if you get the bundle, you get all of them anyway. So, well, Do you have any instructions that come with them? Or well, guidelines? It's, well, not really, because okay. they're just squares. Yeah, you don't but really need them. you don't really need them. But what you do get is you get a quarter-inch seam guide. So if you want to add um, or mark a quarter-inch seam allowance along an edge, you've got that there. One of the other sizes comes with your three-eighths. So that's really good for if you're doing half square triangles and you're cutting the triangles out first you would normally put a quarter inch on the straight edge and your three eighths on your uh, diagonal edge you've got a one in a half inch so when you're doing the half square triangles and you are sewing both sides and then cutting through the middle this is exactly what you'd use you'd use it like that draw a line either side stitch on those lines and then cut through the middle and then you've got your 5 eighths inch one as well, and that is perfect. That's your dressmaking seam allowance. Excellent. So what do we get in the squares tool for £14.99? That, that you get the choice of um, any of the sizes that you've already seen. So your 10 and a half, your 10, your 9 and a half, or your 9, plus you get one of these tools, but I cannot remember which size goes with which Okay. Size. So you get a little bonus tool to go with it. Okay, so you can go for them individually, but the tool set is what most of you are going for. It kind of makes sense uh, because it means that you've got the whole set there for you. So if you do make and create your quilts and you're making your blocks, this is the best one to go for at £49.96. Saving £10 on that price, might I add. Uh, 79153 zero now you it is available on two payments of 24 pounds and 98 pence so it's a great way of dividing the cost over two months and if you're a freedom member there's no pmp to pay if you want to become a freedom member here at hochanda um have a think about it with the run-up to christmas we can still get things out to you so it means you won't be paying any pmp so if you're thinking about gifts and ideas you could be buying something in every show you could be buying something every day but not paying any pmp 597 that's your freedom membership triple eight triple eight in your basket it will begin today it's a monthly rolling contract which means at the end of the month if you don't want to continue just let us know right so let's carry on with your fabrics in the one day special this is the last live hour uh, the prices have been reduced up until six o'clock today so let's get on to the ditzes we've got these beautiful bright colors for you now uh, a beautiful small floral pattern for you uh, again if you're just using a little bit of the fabric you're still going to get that wonderful pattern on there and the detail so we've got your blues in here the two tones of blues this is a nice one is this a navy rather than a black it's a, wow. it's a full black, but sometimes like when um, you're doing projects like the wonky window template that we've had on before, but maybe you're using plain colours, yep. and you maybe want something that's not plain plain, you want something that's going to add a little bit of something to it, then replacing the kind of what would be sashing bits that go in between with that, ah, um, oh, there you go, I'll leave it there, um, with the slightly kind of mottled black rather than the solid black that'll just add a complete another dimension to it and it'll really really lift it obviously this one's done with the plain ones i have actually got some blocks that we did with the celtic fabrics that we've got on as well so we'll just lay some of them out i haven't sewn these all together yet there we go there's a couple of them that way around i think and then adding the black in between them to then create your block. I've gone on to me. There we go. I've gone on to be bit. But it's a, the one for windows are really nice one mm. to do with when you've got patterns that are quite big patterns, quite striking patterns, because you've you've got a nice big space to kind of showcase them. And it's really simple to put together because all you're doing is putting the small blocks together and then you're repeating those and you'll be able to twist them and turn them and you know add them in in all sorts of different ways so the fabric you've got there the black fabric is the is that the ditzy one that we've got available it here? isn't but I, but you could that would use work it yeah. In it beautifully yeah, yeah it really would and it would get you that extra detail that's in there um so your ditzy florals beautiful colors in there available for you um and it is your one day special so you can divide the cost into two payments so that's your ditzy florals with all of those different colors running from your blues you've got your black in there a gray your pinks and your purples and then a nice uh, earthy colour in there as well and then we have these are the the batiks the batiks florals now ah that's not that is the um oh what's it called mottled 
That's the mottled floral. The mottled floral. Yes, sorry, that's the mottled floral. That's and all right. And the ditzy floral is the next one along. That's your batiks behind you. Yep. You confused? So yes, I am. Because there's what a lot of options. I don't yes. blame you. What's You've this kind of... one that we were just looking at? The one that's with the ditzy, ditzy patterns. So that's, that's just ditzy. That's your ditzy floral. Okay. Yeah. So that's your ditzy floral. The next one along is your mottled batik. Mottled floral. <laughs> It's your mottled floral, yes. Uh, do you know what? I might, I might just go run round the block and come back in. <laughs> Don't leave me. It might help me a little <laughs> bit. Um, okay, so You've got another hour straight after this, Janice. I'd just I like know, to remind you. <laughs> uh, we have got some beautiful colours in this particular option. Again, nice vibrant purples in there. Some delicate pinks. We've got some greys. Uh, two shades of greys, actually, which is really nice. We've got your blues, your green, an aqua colour in there, and that vibrant lovely gorgeous orange which i think if you pair those two up together or even pair that one up with the gray look how beautiful they are right next up we have got dots and these are the batik dots that's correct so i've got that right <laughs> i mean there are a lot of options there are to be fair there's a, always a lot of fabric on a fabric freedom show and it is hard to keep up and um, uh, it's just the fact that I see them more often that I know which one's which. <laughs> so if you like dots and you like batiks, then I mean, that's the option a, for really you nice to go It's a really nice kind on. of mottled background. So again, you're not looking for that perfect, perfect colour match mm. when you're taking it through another fabric because there's a lot of different shades within there. And then the little dots on the top that almost look bleached out, they're just um, you know breaking up that even further and not relying on... A complete and you know a completely accurate color match you can get away with a lot more with these colors if you go for your batiks could you use some of the other fabrics that don't have that mottled look behind them oh Would yeah they look you can okay? you could mix and match them in yeah. absolutely you could put like a, a plain uh, color in or you could put pa other patterns in with it i mean they work quite nicely with a little floral pattern yeah anything it's just that mottled background just allows you to um, a bit more option on your matching yeah perfect right and then finally finally we've got your batik florals which again you've got that lovely batik background with the floral design in and there the with your put different the florals next colors to the as well spots is you've got the same color family so if you, where you've got there you can see the two greens that are just about together and the yeah. two purples that are just about together if you put the purple spot next to the purple flowers and the green spot next to the green flowers you'll see they'll work perfectly together yes so they will you can team them up as well if you want to perfect um i guess it's your choice you decide whether you want mottled batik whether you want florals whether you want ditzes vineyard style or dots have a look on the website uh, remember a couple of the items are an extended delivery um and that's the vineyard both of the vineyard but that extended delivery is only the 9th of December, so it's not long to wait at all. Uh, so, two payments, you can divide the cost, and then anything else that you want to add to your basket on the show, you can also divide into two payments as well. 215611 is your item number. Right. Okay, Hayley. I have I finished sewing this one together while you were uh, just running through those. So that, I've got some... I've got some bits to trim off, but it's, well, there. You just get all the bits off it. There you go. So that is just a disappearing nine patch. Use the four inch square to start off with from the super squares bundle and then kind of built it up from there. So now if I need to trim that down, I can use my bigger square. So I think it's my 10 and a half I need for this one. Yes, it is. So you can see, I've got a few little bits that are over just on each of the sides. And then I would take my, um, not my laser cutter, that's a bit excessive, my rotary cutter, and just whip those edges off. So then when I'm putting the, all the blocks together, they are dead straight, and that is going to help you when you're sewing all your blocks together. Excellent. Fabulous. Now we've got some happy hour deals for you. And um, the happy hour deals, well, the price will be going back up at the top of the hour. So this is your only chance to get them at a discounted price. £19.99. This is lovely. Now, we have different names for rolls, but it's strips of fabric. So it is, yes. your beautiful strips of fabric. I'm going to take one, Hayley, if you don't mind, just to open it up so we can see the actual size of each strip. In case anyone's new to these different style rolls and different names that we give them. Uh, but it's two and a half inch. 
in width and is it a metre long? Uh, it's one four, uh, no it's not, it's 112 centimetres long. Okay, so uh, just over a metre then? Just, just over, over a metre. So what you're realistically looking at is if you took all those strips and just laid them all out together, yep. you're looking at about one, I think it's one point two, oh is it a big one or a little one, is that 40? Is it is 40 it, strips? Uh, 40 it's strips, It's 40 yeah. strips, right. You're looking at about two, two and a half metres. Wow. If you just kind of took them all out and laid them end to end. That's not two and a half metres sewn together, because obviously you're going to lose seam allowances from each one. Yeah. But just now, if you laid them out I've in I've seen you fabric. do a project before where you've taken the strips, just as I'm doing now, and you've actually put the strips together to either make a bag or a project and that could be quite a funky idea actually just placing them together randomly because yeah, they it's quite do, fun to they, just yeah, put them together randomly work. because it's one way you you know you often get kind of caught up in projects that they you know take a lot of time and a lot of effort and a lot of concentration and it's really nice to just kind of be able to have all your bits cut yeah. and just so and see that. where it takes you great idea 1999 975 542 is your item number if you want to go for that. It will come nice and rolled up for you, but we've unfurled that because that's going to be part of a giveaway to come in the next month or so. Right, we've got some batiks for you. Um, you've got your different style batiks here. So you've got three different colorways in the batiks. You've the pinks, the pastels and the earthy greens, all very, very busy, saving £15, £24.99. You get five half meters they're all 100 percent cotton as well so we've got some really nice patterns in there for you as well uh the next one uh i'm going to talk, tell you about is a pick and mix so you've got a pick and mix of your fabrics but we have sold out for a few of them so i'll go through them and if we've sold out i'll take them away so the first one that i have here is the red betel leaf do we have that in we do. So if you want that, that's available for you. The next one has sold out, so I'm going to take that away. Avert your eyes from that one. Then we are limited stock on the green vines. It's beautiful, the swells and the vines in there. So that is available, but we're limited stock. Limited stock on the salt dye blender. Uh, do we have this one in? Let's find out. We do. It's limited stock, and that one is your green swirls and flowers i don't have my glasses on so i can't read that label oh, beg your pardon your glasses uh no they're no they're in they're in my bag which is over there That's uh, the fossil. your green fossil do we have that in stock it's limited stock literally a handful if that next up uh we are safe on the pinks and purple so you've got your lovely purple ink splotch. blotch yeah like that one then you've got your purple leaf and then you've got the purple horseshoe. Beautiful fabrics there. Um, so those are the ones that are available on your pick and mix. You choose any two for $9.99. That is have an you, absolute Have you mixed bargain. them all back in again or did you take the other ones away? Are you taking them away? Yes. Okay, that's fine. The ones that have I've sold out have gone. There's only one that's sold out. Okay. Anyone. I thought you'd mixed them all back in again then. I was like, oh no. dear. No, no, we're all right. <laughs> we're all right. I oh, do need to dear. tell you about, we've got limited stock, have we, on something? Oh, the square tool set, limited stock, Hayley. Lots of people taking that well, they're just, up uh, today. I don't know why we haven't done it sooner. Yeah. It's one of those things where you think, well, that's, that's just obvious. Yeah. Why have we not made these? <laughs> Well, we're glad you have. We're limited stock. Uh, it's a great gift for yourself or to someone you know. You know, think about Christmas presents as well. Um, you can divide the cost into two payments. 791530 is your item number. Now, your one day special, the choice of fabrics, will be available to you at a discounted price all the way through until 6 o'clock tonight. This is the last live hour with our lovely Hayley for the one day special. But Hayley, are you back tomorrow? Uh, I am. Lovely. I have. I think I've got you again, actually. Oh, excellent. Uh, Five o'clock and nine o'clock. So we should have the street completed uh, by tomorrow. It's not going to be sewn together. I've got to send the. Well, the I mean, just the out. list of people oh, that yes. live on the street. I think the the list has the list has. If you're thinking, cool, what think, on earth we? are you two chuntering on about on a Sunday afternoon? Um, it's a long story, but to cut that story short, we're creating a street where people from Ho Chanda live, and also some of our viewers live as well and we've had people emailing in and going on to Facebook so some of your names will be on there um, but we do have two properties left two flats uh, yes. so email in competition at craft yourself silly dot com no so now what we're after because we've had a bit of fun and we've you know everybody's kind of contributed and actually filled in the the fantasy street which is called eclectic Avenue apparently um, 
And now what we're going to do is we're actually going to make it. We're going to make a quilt or a fabric version of it. So I have said I will print. Here's the man himself. Oh, have you got the wrong I'm one? I'm to put an extension on the back of my house if anyone's missed out. Right, <laughs> Scott has just announced that he's going, he's happy to put an extension on the back of his house yeah. in case anyone's missed out. Maybe Jack could take you up yeah. on that because Jack needs somewhere to okay. live. We do have two flats left and we need a, a landlord and a landlady. I know, I'm as confused as you are at home. I really am. I'm so nervous okay, talking about so... this. I've got no idea what I'm talking about. Well, but Scott, Hayley and does. Bit, Scott and I have made a street. And um, what we're going to do is make it real now. We've got planning permission, haven't we? Yes. Um, and <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to print uh, little houses and then I will post them out to the first 40 people who uh, go on to competition at craftyselfsilly.com. Um, I will post you a house out. I need you to decorate that house uh, either with stitching, with colouring, with inks, with painting, whatever you like and send it back to me and we will make it into a Excellent. Quilt. You live at number six? Six, yeah. And Scott, you live at number four? four. four. He's I live neighbor. at number twelve. I've always said you're right up my street, Scott. Yes. <laughs> always said that. <laughs> I've always said it. Now he is. Oh, while um, you're here, yeah. hang on. Catherine. I've got... Catherine's got oh, the show Angie, room. Oh, Angie, Angie. Uh, she's Catherine got the show on the street? Number one, she's taking the show room. What a relief. I thought she was going to have to move in with me as a lodger. <laughs> I wouldn't have minded it at all. I wouldn't have minded because she'd have painted and decorated beautifully. Uh, we need to put Angie into okay. one of the um, I just have to show flats. you this, Scott, Anyway, we'll sort that out for you. Hayley, what are you showing us? Well, I have, um, we have been making the beginnings of one of the houses. And um, the, the whole thing that inspired this was that we had... I'll turn it right way around so we can do it on the, on the overhead. That we... Um, Scott was peeping through the fabric like a nosy neighbour. So this is exactly what I have made. I have made, this is Scott's window. <laughs> That's it, you. Has he got glasses on? That's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and I've left his, um, his curtain out so he can peep out from behind it. Can I just say <laughs> that Scott only peeps through the window when he's got a delivery? <laughs> Don't don't worry. He's not that thing. It's just when he has a delivery, Scott will be peeping just like this. Just like this. Don't have nightmares. <laughs> just like this. <laughs> so I'll, I'll finish this off. We'll put it in the centre, and we can have Scott peeping out. That is fabulous. Now you've got this idea at home, you can see where we're going with it. <laughs> Love that. Right, I know I've got only a couple of minutes, so I'm yep, going to quickly got a of minutes left, uh, just um, run Hayley. through the... We showed you very briefly the Celtic quilt and um, how we were putting it together with the wonky window template. So the wonky window template has four, five pieces. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, initially, it looks like it doesn't fit together properly. That is why we've called it the wonky window, because it's kind of bigger here than it is here. But then as soon as you add or you take away all those seam allowances, then it fits together perfectly so that's why it's called a wonky window so you okay. cut uh, the even numbers in whatever your sashing fabric is going to be and you cut your odd numbers in whatever your feature fabric is going to be Fabulous. you sew one onto two three onto four onto five you sew the two together and then you get your block ba -ba! fabulous Hayley you're so talented you know that uh well i'm really not no you really are i you can, really I can are. make a like weird Scott peeping out a window. I know, but you are. You're very talented and you know your fabrics. It's always a pleasure to work with you because we learn so much. Well, we, we've learned a lot today. Yeah, we, we certainly have. learned about and everybody. You always, you always bring the element of fun to crafting. Oh, I, can, I can do the fun. We like yeah. that. We like that. <laughs> so, um, you're back tomorrow? Yes. Um, okay. We've got some fantastic panels tomorrow. Really? Which are kind of watercolour dogs. Ooh. Nice big ones that you can make into cushions or quilts. Oh, can't wait for that. Can't wait for that. Um, Hayley, thank you so much. Thank you. For all your hard Janice. work today. Um, uh, thank you for watching your one day specials. Do check out your baskets. Make sure you get what you want. Don't miss out on these fabulous prices. They will be going back up at 6 o'clock. The happy hours will be going back up at 5 o'clock. Check out your baskets and we'll see you guys for a very special show after the break. We've got Metal Craft coming up next. How exciting! Crafting with Clarity One Day Special begins at 6 o'clock tonight and then we're back with Jelly Bean Crafts Happy Hour at 7.
Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week, using the Hochanda app on your Amazon Fire Stick for free? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Amazon Fire Stick accesses the Amazon App Store to add new applications. By downloading the Hochanda app, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Simply turn on your TV and connect your Amazon Fire Stick. If this is your first time using the device, follow the on-screen instructions to connect to the internet and log into your Amazon account. Once set up, you'll need to open the search bar. To do so, simply use your remote circular directional dial to scroll to the search icon and select it. Now simply type Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. All you need to do now is select download and remember it's free. Once this is added to your Fire Stick, you can move the app for easy access. Press and hold your home button on any app and then select apps from the menu that appears. Scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the button with the three horizontal lines on your remote and select Move to Front. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Donna and this is my brother Simon and we're Pearly Winks Craft Supplies. We've been crafting since we were very young. My mum got us into crafting and we've been loving it ever since. We have a good selection of inks. We started with our winks, which are just a water-based ink, and then went on to the pearls. We've added some chalks, we've got some glitter sprays, and then we've added some beautiful stamps to complement the inks. We've got a fantastic design team who help us with all our designs for the stamps, and we've got a great range of inks, which we manufacture ourselves here in the UK. Our pearl sprays and our pearly winks are loaded with mica so they give you amazing results on your projects. We hope that our products bring you as much fun, creativity and inspiration as they do to us. We love all of our products and we hope you do too. So make sure you don't miss our shows on Achanda. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world including brands like Kaiser Craft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with Achanda is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dyes, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please, don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on Achanda. Hi, we're the team from Daisy B Stamps. My name's Nina. This is Josie. And this is my dad, Roy. And we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. So three years ago, we decided to embark on turning our own designs into polymer stamps. We're really excited about where this is going to take us in the future and how we can evolve those designs and keep bringing you something that's just so, so different. So we wanted to add an extra element to our stamp collection and this was down to Josie using her iPad and hand drawing the amazing sentiments that we now have in our collection. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. So make sure you don't miss the Daisy Bee shows on Hachanda.
Well, a very good afternoon to you. Yes, we're doing a little bit of a twist and a shout, aren't we? Using metal to be creative around your home and around your garden and possibly to make and create your own designs and beautiful metal, metal, metal decorations. Um, I'm really excited about this show. This could be the second time that you've seen Metal Craft Practical Workshop here on Hochanda, but it's my first time working with Paddy. Paddy, how are you? Good afternoon. I'm good. Good. Now, Paddy, can you tell us a little bit about Metal Craft Practical Workshop? A little bit about yourself as well, because it's always nice to meet and greet our guests and know who you are. Well, Janice, well, what's, what I've brought with me this, this afternoon is something slightly different to what you'd normally see on the agenda. Um, now, this is not arts and crafts. This is Metal Craft. Yeah. Um, so, Metal Craft are hand-powered metal working tools that can cut, scroll, roll, twist, punch holes and rivet metal without no heat or electricity. I think this is absolutely fantastic and because you're doing it all by hand as well you don't really need to have an awful lot of strength because it's the it's the actual turning points of well they're not machines but the actual uh, mechanics in there that will do it for you so I'm right in saying you don't need to have that power arm to be able to turn and twist the metal. No, it's, it's it's, it really is that easy. I mean, you'll see when I'm demonstrating this afternoon. I mean, I've even forgotten to bring my muscles today. <laughs> I've left them at home. So, uh, but the good thing about these tools is that the leverage on the handles and, yeah. and yeah, the quality and the craftsmanship in these tools, what, what goes into it, you know, you get good results and, yeah. Well, we could see that by the metal twisting at the start of the show. You're seeing that right there. So if you wanted to make a gate, for example, if you wanted to make something decorative to your garden, we've got lots of samples to show you, uh, including uh, gates. We've got items to place your boots on. We've got handles. We've got items to grow your plants up, to put your glasses on. It is an absolutely fantastic hobby to get into. And we have got a fabulous array of different packages for you and uh, they're all available on flexi buy as well we know they're a considerable purchase but when you're taking up a new craft or if you're thinking about making creating and selling you do need to invest in the right tools and that's exactly what we've got here you may have been online to try and buy something for the garden over the summer or the winter months just to enhance the look of your garden uh, now you can make it yourself you certainly can and you don't need a large workshop to do this in we'll talk you through all the different packages we've got available for you and exactly how they'll work within your crafting environment so first of all let's talk about the practical workshop shop that we've got available for you that's what we've got in front of me at the moment and we'll talk you through the different items so Paddy show us what we're getting in our first bundle so in that first bundle there you can see you've got your uh, three-in-one tool yeah uh, which will roll bend and rivet all of your work together okay uh, you've also got your two-in-one machine so that... these are with you at the moment in your demo area so can we have a look at the ones that are with paddy um just so we can see because i can point to them but it's nice to see them yeah, yeah. Uh, in situ. so uh, this tool here is a two-in-one machine this will do what will do all of your cutting and it will punch your holes as well um, and then we've got this machine over here which is our three-in-one tool so these two really are, are married together because uh, this tool here will do all of your rolling, bending and riveting. So you punch your holes and you rivet Perfect. by using, by squashing rivets. Now are they difficult to put them together? I'm just picking one up here um, where I am. They, they, it doesn't look like you need to construct anything. That's it to as it them. comes in the box. It's just ready out the box, two, two screws into your bench or if you want to use a wind nut, you know, to tighten it down. And that's it, ready to go. It's that easy. Perfect, perfect. Excellent. So what else do we have in the kit? And you've also got a large squirrel machine. Okay. So this is, what, this is what creates all of your fancy squirrels. And you've got a baby one. So I have a small squirrel machine here. And then also, um, as an additional extra add-on, we've got our practical twister machine here. Uh, not only does it look decorative, but it also strengthens your work as well. With more, with more twists in there, you know. The better it is. That's right, yeah. And also, we've got these pedestals here. 
that um, that raise your scroll machines off the floor. Do we get the pedestal in this particular package that we've got at the moment, or is that an upsell? That is an upsell. That so let's upsell. just talk about what we've got in our first package for you. So if you're interested, you've got your tools here to start building and creating. You've got your riveting, bending, and your rolling tool included in here. Uh, you've got your pink punch and shear tool in here as well. You've also got the tooth scroll in here. Um, we'll be taking you through what they do for you as well. And you've got your book and your user guide as well. Now, shall we go through all of the bundles or should we have a demonstration on each of the bundles? Can we? Oh, brilliant. So let's talk about the first bundle we've got, Paddy. Could we go through each of the different items so we can see what they do for yeah, us? Yeah, of course, yeah. Perfect. So this here is our tool one machine. So this is what we'll do all your cutting and punching. So quite simply, you just open it up, insert your metal. Now it also comes with a tape measuring device here, which will come in handy. So you can adjust the tape measuring device. Now the maximum you can go to is three foot. Okay. Um, now we do supply the metal, and when it does come to you, it comes in either three foot or six foot. Okay. So if you've got that option of the tape measuring device, you can cut down to three foot. So I'm going to set this to approximately 200 mil. So if people want to start making and creating, they can get the metal strips from yourself. That's right, they that's right, They can have yeah. them as an add-on if you want to. There is a bundle with metal included. You might want to jump ahead on the website and have a look at that if that suits your budget. But you will be able to buy the metal from Metalcraft Practical, um, um, from Metalcraft if you want to. So is it a certain type of metal, Paddy? It's just metal steel. I mean... This stuff here is a bit—it's a bit shiny. Uh, yeah. it, all it is is a softening process. Uh, it just make it comes out nice and shiny when it's um, goes through its process. Does that look really easy to cut? And it, is that the down effortless. to the actual it, me mechanic? Mechanic. What helps the is that the blades. Mechanics. The, what helps um, it cut really easy, like butter. It helps because the the blade itself is case hardened, you see. Yes. And this is just mild steel, so it's really soft. Yeah. So it just cuts it like butter. But you can see there how easy it is, you know, and it's it's real quiet. And it's done in a matter of seconds yeah, as well. Yeah, it certainly is. And what sort of things would we use that metal for? Could we make a metal get that gate with this particular metal? You can make would we gates, find something else? You can make fences, um, anything from garden projects to house projects, gar um, garage projects. Anything really, you know, what Lincolnshire is your inspiration. Yeah. Um, but yeah. That is fabulous. Love that. So that was really easy to use that part. That's included in this particular bundle. What's next, Paddy? So on the same tool as well, not forgetting, you've got your punch hole as well. So this is what punches holes. So we've got a little platform here. You can adjust this up and down, depending on the thick the width of material you're using. So I'm using 12mm wad here. So I've got a little gauge here. Now this is something that you don't get with your set, okay. but I'd highly recommend that you'd maybe make one of these gauges. It just helps when you set your punch pin, you can adjust it really quickly, that's all. Okay. So this is all this does, it helps when you punch your first hole, it's in the middle. So that could be something you make when you get your kit home, the very that's first That's right, thing. that's right. And also another nice key feature is on the tape measuring device. If you, I'm going to set this to 50 mil. Now, on here, I don't know if you can see, it's got like a little hole, a little pin that sticks out. So okay. I'm going to put my, my pin, my hole in there. So when I punch that, these two holes now are 50 mil gap. Perfect. So I can create a chain. Yeah. Of 50 mil punch could, holes. Now this could be something for your shed. You might be putting up shelves, for example. Uh, you might be making and creating something for coat hooks. Um, now you've got that equal distance between the holes. And did you see how easy that was? It's almost like taking a punch through paper or taking a punch through leather. Um, it really does go through, like Paddy said, like a knife through butter. So it's very, very easy. So our next tool, we've got our three-in-one tool. It's our rolling, bending and riveting machine. And that's included in this particular bundle as well. So I'm just going to cut a bit more material. Now, so this machine here is already set up for bending. So you've got these nuts and bolts here that you can adjust. So what I'm going to do, using the nuts and bolts, I'm going to wind in this threaded nut, so it locks off. 
Oh, bear with me. Now, could you connect this device to a work table in your garage? Do you need anything in particular? Any any good solid workbench. Yep. Or, I mean, some people have even used a kitchen worktop. Have they? Yeah. Um, Will it damage the kitchen worktop, though? Because I can see Possibly. That... I mean, yes. young kids out there, if you're looking, in, you're interested in these, I mean, don't tell your mum that, you know, but yeah. maybe cover it up with a piece of plate or something. But. <laughs> <laughs> but we take no responsibility, by the way. So I've set my bend there. Yep. So what I can actually do, I can create, I'm going to go a bit more there actually. Wow. You can create the same consistent bends. Now this is, this is tough metal that you're working with. We're not talking something that's as thin as uh, silver foil or anything like that. But it looks easy because of the devices that you're getting in this particular bundle. It's the quality of the tool that makes the quality of that design and product that you're going to end up with. So now I'm going to demonstrate your rolling now. So this is our winding handle. So and that's included if, as well? That's right. I don't know if you can see here, but... Um, once you undo this bolt here, you can adjust this nailing tool here. So when you're doing all of your rolling, um, when you are rolling, sometimes if you don't set it correctly, you will find that when you roll it, it'll be off. It'll yeah. be... So I'll demonstrate that now. Okay. So it's just quite... All you do is put a little bit of leverage on the handle and then just roll away, just like so. And there's slightly bit more pressure and then just continue it round. The more you send it through, the more w will it... Will it's it just handled, so more? all I'm doing is putting pressure on this handle yep. here. And I'm just going to repeat the roll. And there's a little bit more pressure and just keep repeating it. Wow, now, can you see that? You can create a semicircle. Yeah. So you can see that both ends are just meeting. Now what I should have done, really, I should have put in the um, in the scrolling machine. And I can, well, I can actually ask, I'll, I'll demonstrate now actually. Yeah. And you're so also you get getting a nice the finish. scrolling machine in the... It's just deal. so you get a nice finish, that's all. Okay. So there's a little tip here. Actually, no, yeah, I'll go in here. If you put a little kink in that, and the same again at the other end. So what I'm going to do, I'll put it back into the machine. It's a light bit of pressure. I'm just going to keep working it round, and you yep. will see eventually it will marry up and we will create that semicircle. And is this the kind of tool you would use if you wanted to make something for your hanging baskets outside? That's right, yeah, hanging baskets. Something to put your hose pipe on, for example. That's right. And then right. something more decorative, of course. So you can see there, sh slowly but surely, they are starting to marry up. And there we go. Perfect. Look at that. Absolutely perfect and circular. So you get that included in the deal as well on your first bundle. Details on your screen. Two, three payments of £183.33. Um, oh, sorry. Let's just change the details. Beg your pardon. I'm just getting so excited. These are the details for this particular bundle that you're getting at the moment. It's a great starter pack, £389.99, but we'll divide the cost into three payments of £130 for you. Uh, 862633. If you've got any questions, uh, you can email in and you can ask Paddy live here in the studio. It's studio at hochanda.com. Or if you did purchase one of these last time it was on, we would love to see some of your designs that you've made and created. Show your makes off. Again, same email address, studio at hochanda.com. Uh, is there anything else you want to show yeah. us, Paddy? So I've created like an almost semicircle here. Now, sometimes you will find that you know when you get used to this, when you're new to these tools, you may think, oh no, I've maybe overworld it there. No, that's going to go straight in the bin now. That's not the case. Okay. What you can do, you can put it back in, just invert it, and put a slight bit of pressure. And it takes it back. And you can put it back straight again. Wow. So you're not wasting material either. Look at that. That is absolutely fabulous. And then it will start to go around. And then I can go back the opposite way, the yeah. Opposite way. Wow, okay. Um, can we have a look at some of the items that perhaps you could make and create? We've got some marvellous items around the studio, and I do want to show them off to you. Um, oh, 
Let's start here. We've got candle holders. Isn't that lovely? Imagine buying something like that online, how much something like that would cost, but also think how much you could sell it for, because we're talking about making and selling. I've got this fabulous clock here. Now, this could actually turn into an heirloom. Why not? It's absolutely incredible. You could make items bespoke for people as well. And then you could paint them all kinds of different color. That's marvelous. Have you seen this on the wall here? Uh, we've got Rudolph. Uh, isn't that fabulous? Isn't this lovely, Paddy? I really love that. How easy is something like that to make? I'd say out of five, that's maybe um, two out of, maybe not, I'd say three out of five. Now, I'm looking at the way that that is actually connected together. Is there any welding? No, there's no, there's no welding there. There's no heat treatment. There's no power. It's all cold form. So it's very easy and safe to work with. It just quite literally is um, punching holes and using rivets and squash the rivets together, and that's it. Wow, we do have some rivets available in a larger kit for you. So again, remember, no heat and no soldering or anything like that. So it's safe and easy to use. So your practical workshop, you are getting the tools um, that we've just seen uh, to start building and creating. So just to run through them again, um, we have the riveting and bending rolling tool. You also have the practical punch in here. Uh, and you've got your tape measuring device here. You've also got your scroll former, which is just there. And that's the large and that's the small just here. Sorry, I'll just pick that up. So you can do your smaller scrolls as well. And you've also got your user guide and you've got your full instructions as well. So making those lovely scrolls and round style features, this is going to be perfect for that. Now, at the start of the show, you did see a piece of metal twisting round. And did you see just how easy that was? Maybe we could have another look at that if we've got a piece of metal to show you just how easy this is absolutely fascinating it really is this is going to make a great addition to your kits or maybe you just want to go for this 606812 three payments of 50 pounds that's 50 pounds today 50 pounds in a month's time and 50 pounds in a month after that but it will get delivered after we take the first payment so you don't have to wait so let's just show you how easy it is to take a piece of metal that's straight and make it decorative and twist it around uh, with no real effort at all. Paddy, let's have a look. <clears throat> yeah, so this is our practical twister. Now, very easy and fun to work with. So yeah, from a, lov a lovely piece of flat metal, and it quite simply just rotate it. Now, are you putting any muscle power into that, Paddy? I mean, like I said, I've left my muscles at home today, <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> but You can what, see how easy that is to what turn. What helps, yeah, is that, yeah, these machines, you know, when they were they were made, you know, they've really thought about, you know, the leverage and the handle, yeah. you know, it's all science, really. And, yeah. And, and there you go. Now, just knock that on the side of the tool, just to show that it is solid metal. I mean, that is... And it's, yeah, that's not card. That's metal. Yeah, it's not card, it's not paper, uh, and it stays very strong as well. So think about the designs that you can make and create with that. We've got a great uh, boot holder. Uh, that's been made with this particular style with that twist. Think about maybe gates, think about fencing as well. Uh, something decorative for the garden wall, something for the plants to grow up as well. But you can see, you can take it out, you can twist it a little bit, leave it straight, twist it a little bit more. So you really are going to have that creative license to start making. This is the boot holder uh, we were talking about, the blue one there. I think that is absolutely fantastic. I'm just going to nip round, actually, if you don't mind, uh, just to show you this, just to take that off and to take that off. Um, isn't that a great idea? It's decorative. It doesn't take a lot of room up, but you get to pop your boots on. And I'll tell you something I like about that. Your boots aren't on the floor, so you get none of those creepy crawlies going in. Do you know what I mean? Um, and no dirty wellies on the floor. So you could just put a little rug under there or have it outside, actually, of your home. Remember, if this is made of metal, it's not going to rust in your porch way. Um, how about cleaning your shoes? This is a good idea. I could have done with this, actually, this morning when I took the dog out for a walk. Something like this will take moments to create. Can you believe that when you go for the 
the full kit that's available for you. No welding on here whatsoever. No heat tools on here whatsoever. It's safe and it's easy to use and you don't need to have those muscles. Paddy himself said he's left his muscles at home. I love that. You can see there that adding just a few of those extra squirrels and rolls yeah. and twists, it also strengthens it as well. Yeah. So back onto the welly boot stand, uh, if you didn't put the twist in there, they'll probably sag over yes so adding that twist it just adds that bit more strength yeah. and it looks decorative as well yeah it certainly does it's, it's fabulous to think about the science of this we've got um a plant grower as well which is lovely so if you're if you've got an allotment or you've got a plant you've got an area that you want to grow up and twist around that is going to be absolutely perfect for your climbing plants uh, maybe for your sweet peas or maybe for your passion flowers absolutely gorgeous so many other decorative items that you can make and create we've got cake stands we've got candle holders uh, we've got coat hooks we've got flowers designed for the wall we've got a peacock which is also a plant holder my word we've got sleighs as well um, it's incredible so many different things that perhaps you've seen in shops thought about buying they're too expensive to buy look at the lock holder as well I've been searching for something like that for ages but I'll tell you something that's put me off buying it it's the price tag that goes with it. Now you could make your own. Wow, this really is incredible. Uh, so we're taking a look at the different bundles available for you. Um, and we're, we're moving on to the pedestal. Now, why do we need the pedestal, Paddy? Right, so what I'm gonna, I'm gonna demonstrate now the reason why you would need the pedestal is because back onto our, our small scrolling machine here. So you can see how it's raised off the table. Yep. So when I scroll that round, it's not going to hit any of my other tools. Yeah, what a great idea. So, yeah. And then same for the, the large scrolling machine as well. I'll demonstrate that as well on a, on a longer piece, actually. Yeah. So you can just see how easy it is. So, yeah. See how it's just it's missing all of my tools and it's not hitting any of yeah. them. And you're just turning that metal again. It's the science, isn't it, that's incorporated into the device you're using. It's enabling you to take that round. Now, would you say you need that pedestal if you are going for the start of it? Yeah, I'd, you, I'd, yeah? I'd highly recommend it. Yeah. Um, it just makes life so easy, you know. And you can, like you say as well, you can have a smaller table yeah. and have more tools on it. Yes. If yeah. You're, as, no, without the pedestal, you'd have to have a bigger table. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah so. absolutely perfect. Three flexible payments if you want to go for the um, bench, uh, the bench pedestal. It's only £15.98, pence, but if you are adding it to your bundle, that's three payments of £5.32. That's excellent value for money. And it's a good weight to it as well. And then you just connect that to your tables. Now, we have a DVD available for you because it's always nice when you get your kits home to be able to make something. Sometimes you're a little bit stuck for an idea, so you just want to get those creative juices flowing. So we've got a DVD at 9 99 We've got a good saving of £4 on that, Seven double nine four two four. What do we get on the DVD, Paddy? So on the DVD, you get a few demonstrations on, on there of all the tools into a bit more depth. And there's a few more projects on there as well. Uh, it's like me, but on a DVD. Perfect. Love that. So we can watch those projects and maybe create something as soon as we get our items home. But of course, we'll need that metal to do so. And we've got another kit available for you that includes the metal. Now, how many pieces of metal do we get in this particular bundle? Do we know? You get four different types of material in there. Yep. Uh, ranging from 10 more wide to um, 12 more wide to 15 mil wide and 20 mil wide as well. Excellent, so a whole variety. So there's four different widths in there, yeah. and thicknesses um, from 1.6 to 2 mil up to 3 mil. Yeah, I can feel that in the weight. I can feel that in the weight of the larger one. Uh, so really good weights to these to work with. But it's not just all about that. We have got a fabulous, fabulous uh, bundle put together for you. So your tools to start creating and making that we've seen already and the metal. You've also got the rivets. Now, this means we don't need to use any welding or heat. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Very yeah. safe and easy to work with. It's just like how the Titanic and boats and ships are all put together by rivets, you know. It's and then when you do put that rivet in there and you squash it, it's yeah. really strong, you know. Yeah. You can even grind the end up the edge off, and it'll still be there because the the, uh, the rivet itself squashes itself into the hole, and it, it holds that strength. Yeah. 
Included in this, you also get the DVD as well. Now, we've got some Allen keys. We're all familiar with Allen keys. Yes. Um, what do we need these for? So, they're just for your handles. Yep. Uh, for putting the, uh, the rivet purse on. Yep. And if you have to make a few adjustments, and obviously also for lowering the platform on the two-in-one machine as well. Perfect. So, your instructions and some projects as well. If you would like to make and create a log burner, we do have one of these here in the studio just to show you. Uh, can I go over there so I can, we, I can stand beside it? Because it looks absolutely remarkable. Um, it really is. You know when we've made something like this, because I'm looking at this and it's black, what kind of paint or spray would you recommend putting onto that paint? You can use any, any ordinary DIY aerosol. Uh, I'd maybe recommend using primer first and yeah. then deciding what colour and then just to spray it on. Isn't that good? How long do you think that would take to make? When we've got all the kit home, we're all ready to go, how long do you think that would take to make? Uh, for a beginner, I'd say maybe three hours. Wow. That's incredible. But um, it's, a, it's a great project to start with. But imagine selling something like that. I mean, I most peak customers uh, start off as a hobby and then they see, you know, because with Metalcraft, you see, it's highly profitable as well. Yeah, it certainly is. So, um, I mean, with Metalcraft, it's either business or um, pleasure or profit. Yeah. Metalcraft, quite literally, is a business in a box. Yeah, it certainly is. It certainly is. So you've got, you've got all your set stops and your markers on the tools. So if you look at it from a business point of view, you can do all your bending first. Yeah. And get the same consistent bends, same for your scrolling. So it's almost like a production line. You know, you can set all your stops and then fire away and then... Yeah, you certainly can. Something like this, you could have, it, have everything made up left on the side and when people get their orders you just build it up i still can't believe you don't need to weld these i think it's absolutely fantastic so that is your log burner the welly boot stand you also have the project for the welly boot stand we saw that earlier on which is fantastic we've got the log holder now that's here this is something that i absolutely love i'm just going to take this and just move that out of the way have you seen that have you seen that? Now that is like a hammered effect. Is that using a different type? It's just of a different type of aerosol. That's all. Really? Yeah, yeah. Is what? So that's spray. Yeah, spray. Yeah, yeah. Oh my word, Paddy, you're giving the secrets away. <laughs> of all these businesses selling items like this for a high price, you're giving away all the secrets. <laughs> Look at this. This is absolutely incredible. That looks vintage to me. Now, if I saw that in a shop, I would probably be looking at. I'd probably say about ninety-five pounds. I think immaterial, there, uh, immaterial is maybe about less than five pounds, I reckon. Your... So if you think about the profit, you know, it's, it's almost like a business, you know, and you can make it a bit more bespoke, you can maybe add a few more twists in there, and, you know, you could take orders off customers how they want it, you oh know. Oh my good... Do you know something? That's it. I'm going to go and be a metal expert. <laughs> Five pounds to make something like that. That I just I I can't get over that. What an investment this is going to be for you if you want to actually start to make and create your own business. Also, we've got a Christmas tree in these designs. We've got a reindeer as well. Uh, so the Christmas tree. Look at this. I mean, this is spectacular. And this doesn't have to be just for Christmas. You can have that out. And you can decorate it with other items as well. So it doesn't have to be just for Christmas. But imagine this time next year making and creating and selling those. My word. Um, yeah. And we also have um, in there some other beautiful uh, designs to make and create those gorgeous uh, swirls. I still can't get over that price. Now, that particular bundle will include everything you need, bar, if you excuse the pun, bar the twister. So if you do want to add the twister to this particular bundle, you will be able to get it now. Here it is, £549.99. But you're saving just under £70. It's a marvellous saving. And when you think about what you can create, your first creation, you'll probably get... If, you, if your first creation, for example, was the log holder or the log burner, you possibly, you possibly might be able to get back a fifth of your investment just like that just by making something. It really is incredible. Um, I can see all that creativity at home now bubbling up. You're nudging each other going, go on, can we do this? And you're looking at your finances. Well, we'll divide the cost for you. It makes it easy to buy from us here at Hochanda. 
Right, let's have another demonstration, Paddy, because this is fascinating. What else would you like to show us? So we've got a large squirter machine here. So what I can do, I'm just going to cut this down again. I'm going to cut this down to about 800. And you just measure that with the measuring tool? Yeah, that's right. Now, and what I can do as well, which you will also get in all those kits, yes. you will have one of these squirrel templates, template okay. sheets. Yep, we've got that. So, on my sheet here, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to mark um, 250 millimetres. So, using my uh, strip of metal here, I'm just going to mark 250 mil, just okay. like so. And it's going to score it on the side as well. So I set my little marker there. So this is how you can work out what size squirrels that you want. Okay. So I'm going to put it into my large squirrel machine and I'm just going to start scrolling it around. Now you also do get a handle with that as well if you find it a bit difficult, but it really is that easy. But I can, it just helps that guidance if you're struggling. And then I'm just going to stop there, I'm going to put my next segment piece in. So what I'm looking out for is my marker piece where it meets this squirrel, the segment here. So I'm going to stop there now. I'm just going to hold it. Now you also get these little magnet pieces. So I'm going to insert my magnet piece in there. And I'm going to mark it, join it up where my little marker piece meets. And I'm going to stop there. So what I can do now, I can repeat the same squirrel again. Just going to bring it round and I'm going to stop there where it meets again. So what I can do is demonstrate, well I'll, actually I'll show you one here. Oh. So you will see on there, oh. sorry I'll, what we'll do can demonstrate another piece okay. next to it, beside it. And this just goes to show how easy it is to take a piece of metal, cut it, look at that, no heat, no soldering, no blow torches, and then we take it, we just bend it, and that gives you um, a reason to get that um, little pedestal as well, because it makes it easy, it keeps everything out of the way. Um, Paddy says he's not brought his muscles today, and it looks effortless to just twist that metal around. It's all in the science of the actual devices that you are getting. I say devices, you're the one that's making the manoeuvre, but you can see there how perfect they are. So you can see you've got the same consistent squirrels. Now, do you know something I'd like to see? Because I'm looking at all these projects, and, I'm, and it's starting to tick away in the head, thinking, right, I could make that. That's going to be cost-effective. I'm thinking about the markup on everything, thinking about how I'm going to get my money back in next to no time, thinking about the fact that people are loving their gardens at the moment, so they're looking around, buying decorative items. So I'm thinking, well, how easy are these to put together? Um, could we have a demonstration with the rivets on how to connect two items together? Yes, sir. Uh, because for me, that's what really, really brings it to the fore of how easy this is. Rather than welding and blow torching, that I can actually make these items like this and connect them together with rivets. No glue, no heat tools whatsoever. I find it absolutely fascinating. Um, and, there's, and there's not a lot of noise either, so it's nice and quiet. So we just made the holes. So, this, so on the printing machine, you've got a 3mm diameter hole. So uh, you get a, a range of uh, rivets. So I'm going to select... So because I'm using two pieces of 3mm thickness here, yep. I'm going to join this together. So I have a 6mm there. So what I'm going to do, I've got an 8mm rivet here. So you quite simply move your rivet, Pull it into the hole, see if it next piece, like so. And then use, using these two rivet posts, it's going to quite okay. simply put these in. Now this is where your allen keys come in handy now. Yeah. So we're just going to, we're not going to over tighten it, just a, quick, just a little nip. Yeah. And then repeat that again on the next rivet post. And then all you do is quite simply, oh, don't drop your rivet. 
and then we're going to squash the middle, go to the left, go to the right, and that's it. That's it? No, it will obviously move wow. there because obviously yeah. I can put another, another bit of it in there if I wanted to, yeah. but that will not come off. That's. Wow. That's See how easy that is. Again, no blowtorch, no glue, uh, no mess, no fuss. Really, really easy. Um, I'm thinking about a brand new business, a hobby for yourself. And if you've wanted items similar to the ones we've shown you, like a log burner or a log keeper, or we've got a lovely bicycle over there that's got a plant in the background. Maybe you've been thinking about buying that for your mum or yourself for your garden. Um, now you can buy the kit to make it, create it, and you can also sell those items as well. Have a look at all the different bundles that we've got available for you. We can divide the cost, so we're going to make it easier for you. Um, but this is a great investment. It's a one-time investment, it is. Uh, and it enables you to get home the different kits available to you. You can have a look on the website and you can have a peruse at all of them as well. Now, I am trying to have a go so what we're going to do of course because we need to be safe here in the studios uh, we're going to sanitize the area that paddy's been working on i'm going to get myself some gloves on and a mask i know some of you at home will be going oh thank goodness for that uh, but i'm going to wear a mask i'm going to wear some gloves we're going to sanitize the area paddy's going to go behind the camera and i'm going to have a go while you take a look at this <laughs> We are right. Oh, just so exciting! Right, we've managed to clean everywhere down, which is brilliant. Um, I've got a mask on, as you can see. Um, does it suit me? Um, and we've got the gloves on, so we're all good. We're all sanitised. We're all good to go. Paddy's uh, moved away behind the camera, so I've got the twisting tool just here that I'm going to have a go with. So Paddy is uh, behind the camera, but he can still talk, so we can still hear him. So Paddy, I've got uh, my gloves on. Do I take the handle like this? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and towards then... me. Yeah, you can go left or right either way, as long as you take the tension. Oh my word! And then now look, I, I, I'm going to look. Watch this. Finger there. Look, that's all it's taken. I don't have to like grip. Just a finger. Look at that. That's just a finger. Look at that. Yeah, it will bounce back, obviously, but you just take, yes, of course. Take I'm not going to let go because, yeah. like you say, you've got the tension yep. going. But you can see how easy this is. Now, I do have issues with my wrist and my hand. Uh, on my right hand, I do, I always have. I've got a little bit of um, rheumatism in this hand here, but if I take that and just pull, look, look how easy that is. Look how easy this is. This is perfect. And even if I was sitting down, maybe if I'm in a chair or something like that, I can still twist and turn that. Now, I've twisted quite a bit. How much would you, could, could you do more? What you do you recommend? Maybe just go around a bit more. Yeah. And I'd maybe stop there. Just a little bit more, just a little quarter. Yeah. 
stop there. That'll be done. Yeah. 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 Love that. Now I can feel there's a bit of tension. Yeah. If I let go, is that going to go whizzing round? No, it won't. No, of course not. No, it'll so just, yeah. just fall back down to there. That's it. Yeah. That's Look it. Look at that. So that's uh, so when you've done it, don't just let it go. Just move it back down like I've done, which is great. And a little slide at the, the slide at the other end. Just pull that out. Push so that away. Put that in there. Yeah, push that slide away. Let me come around here. Yeah. You can see how. Oh, and look there you at go. that! Look at that, everyone! <laughs> I've done it! And look, that is that is metal. Just give that a little bit of a of a bend. That's not that's not fake. It's not paper or anything like. I've done my own twist. I've done my first twist. I think that is brilliant. Can I do something else? You can. That's it. Yeah, you, you've taken over the show now. Okay, I, yeah, I can brilliant. Sit down right. Now. What else can I do? What else? What else? What else? What so else? So we've got the bending machine. Should we have a go at that? Well, Where you stood now? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, this one. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so where do I put this? So you want to put it in between the ruler and the little square headed bolt. Like no, that? The other way, sorry. No, the other way. Other way? Like that? That's it, that's, that's it. it. That's okay. the one. Oh yeah, look at that. So, where, what, what am I going to create using this? So go a bit this? more towards my way with yeah. the metal. Just a bit more, a bit more, a bit more, a bit more, a bit more. Yeah. Stop. Yeah. And then with the handle, this keep one? keeping the metal flat yeah. to start bending. So I just bring that towards yeah. me? you can go all the way if you like because it will oh. bend a 90 degree bend. Oh my word! And there you go. <laughs> Look at that! What the? That would be it. That would be like a, a shelf bracket. That's a, how easy was that? Oh my word! And if you have a look at there, it's not stressed no, the no. metal at all. So you've got the quality of the metal. You've got the strength of the metal. It's not stressing at all. You can see there if I just turn that either way. Look at that. That's perfect. I found that the more time. When I first got to grips with metal crafts, you know, yeah. I was told just have a little play, and then yeah. you can just you can be there for hours. And then the more times you play with the tools, more yeah. scrolls and bends. The more you, you get used you get, to you it. Get, you get you get a bit more inspiration ideas. You think, well, actually, if I put a twist in there and a bend in there, and then this is where your creative self com comes into it. You certainly can. Can I have a go at cutting? Yeah, of course you can. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go down to the end here. So uh, with the right. tape measuring device, just behind yep. the tape measuring device, is a little there's a little bolt at the back of the. At the back of at the back of the television device on this, this one side. here. Yeah, that's right. Okay. There's a little bolt. This one under oh, our balls. Oh, this, yeah, this, this one. Yeah, yeah. Under, yeah, and you can slide it out the way then. Ah, so I can start, like, move those out of the way. And get that out of the way. That's right. And then just twist that just to keep it. So won't yeah, shoot just back keep down. it. It won't spin back. Great. So I'll I'm going to take this end. Yep. Yeah. So I go through here. Do so you want to open the um, just bring the handle all the way to you first? Ah, right. Yeah. Brilliant. So it opens up the blade, and you can see there's a little gap. Oh yeah, I can put no, that. No, right at the bottom, sorry, right at the bottom. At the bottom. The other one, that's the one. This one. Oh yeah, yeah that's easy. So then I can measure. Yeah. Uh, I might want to. If that you want length. to, you can maybe bring the tape measuring device down. Hey, yeah, that's a good idea. Maybe right. set it to maybe two hundred. I don't know what I'm making it. I'm getting all excited. <laughs> this is brilliant. Okay. Got... So there and you go. And just lock it off. Yeah. Just apply. Just apply a little bit. I'll put pressure it on there. On a bit lower. And sorry, come back. That's right. Yeah. Just apply a little bit of pressure onto that, so it takes attention, and yep. then just, just bring the handle over, and then cut. Oh my word! I was expecting that to be really hard. <laughs> I've done it. That's fun. Look at that nice clean edge. This is amazing, and not a welding tool in sight. This really is incredible. Um, you know, I, I do like to think of myself. Uh, I have a bit of strength, but I didn't need any strength to do that at all. Can I have another go? Can I have another go? Can I take that or take another piece? And yeah, got, yeah, that's right. Shall yeah. I? I'm going to I'm going to take this piece okay, here. Yeah. So, do I need to pop that there? That's right. Pop it in there, keeping it flat as possible. Yeah. So it's like go back in again. Sorry. Back in, yeah. Yeah, keeping it flat. Now you want to. Oh be, yeah, because it's going yeah, in If there. you go a bit close to yourself. Yeah. Use your other hand as well. So you've got one hand at the end of the metal. Yeah. And the other hand is a bit closer to the segment piece. Yeah. And you want to that's it. Start scrolling it. Do rounds. I keep this end straight? Yeah, keep it as flat as possible if you can at the bottom. That's right. And now if you have to, you can maybe use a handle if you like. Put that on there. Just put the handle on, yeah, and just wind that round right up against the metal, yeah. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, look at that. There you and then go. just take. Oh, my word. I've only gone and, and done a twirl. Just stop there, stop there. And just put your second. Just take the handle off, sorry. Yeah. And then put your second segment piece in now. Oh, yeah. You can't use the handle this time, but that was that, that was all the hard work done for you now. This is the easy bit now. So I'll go around And again. just keep going now, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, everyone. I've already gone and done a double twirl. So I take that off. Yeah, just take that off now. There you go. And take that off. Wow. Look at... Now, I, I'm quite proud of that. Where are we? There we go. I'm quite proud of that. 
I could actually, now here you go, I could put two rivets in there, I could fit that to some wood, um, and maybe, maybe, maybe that way, or maybe I could do it that way. Oh, I'm thinking of all different things now. Or maybe I could turn that into a tail feather and make a peacock like you guys have done with the pe yeah, a squirrel. That could be a squirrel's tail. Because you can make decorative art. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's a number six. Or Oh, I can think of all kinds of things. Look how easy that was to do using the right tools. And that's really important, isn't it? Really, really important. Um, OK, let's have a look at some pictures in a moment's time. Um, are these, yeah, let's have a look at that peacock. Have we got that? There you go. That is absolutely magnificent. And again, if you see that in a garden centre, can you imagine the price of that? Now you can make them. When you've made one, you can make another, and then another, and then another, and then another. You can make them bespoke to people by putting their name on the actual pots as well. So you can see just how easy this is going to be. If you've just tuned in, and you think, why is Janice wearing a mask and gloves? It's because I've just come over to the demonstration area. We've sanitised it all down. But you can see I have taken a piece of metal. I've made that. Wait a minute. I've also made that as well. Yeah, really easy. Really, really easy to make. Now, we've got a few pictures to show you while we sanitise the area again and Paddy can come back in. So these pictures are of items that have been made. Look at that snowman, isn't that fabulous? And you can imagine, oh, now I really like that with the arrow. That would look gorgeous in a garden. See now on the TV screen. Yeah. Um, once you sign up to Metalcraft, you can even download all of these free of charge off our website. Oh, really? Uh, as long as you've got an A3 printer, you can even print it to size onto A3. So when you are bending and rolling and scrolling, you can physically, physically put it to the sheet and you can check your roll and scroll and bend. Wow. And the great thing is, you can let, once you know how to make the swirls, how to make the twirls, whether to stop, whether to start again, making benches, oh my word. Kev. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Paddy. A learning curve. I like it. I like it. Um, oh, there's twists and turns in this show, aren't we? Um, so I've made these effortlessly. It's been absolutely fantastic to do so as well. How long? Have we, oh, I don't know where the hour goes. Right, Paddy, what else can you show us? Let's have some hints and tips. Well, if, if you would like to, uh, I can maybe make, make a quick reindeer. Have we, got time, have we got time for that? Let's do it. Yeah, a I've, quick reindeer. Yeah, we've got a few My word. We've got seven minutes left of the show. Right, here goes. So, I'm going to set this, my tape and device, to 380ml. Okay. Now, I'm using 12ml, be 2ml thick here. So, I'm going to cut that like so. Okay. And then, so, on the reindeer design sheet, you can see here, on the back, if I flip it round, you will see you've got all your cut dimensions. So, it's actually to scale. So, I can physically put that to the sheet. Easy. Like so. And then I can mark all my bend points. So I don't have to get a tape measure device out, you know, a tape measure, I can yeah. do it, it's a lot quicker. Now, at this end, I'm just going to go to the three and one tool. I'm going to put in a 90 degree bend there, like so. Easy. And then at the other end, I'm going to create the bottom of the reindeer's neck now. And the great thing about this, it's not too dear to make. So all I'm checking there is to see where my bend is. So you can see there, I'm slightly out there, so I need to put a bit more of a bend in there, in here. So I'm going to, so I can get it to marries up. There's a slight more. I'm about there now. So what I'm going to do now, put it back in the machine, and I'm just going to set the, the threaded nut all the way to the end. Okay. So that is set now. Now this is only a template, don't forget, it's not that accurate. So I'm going to create the same bend at the other end. And then you can put it up against the you template. You can put it up against the sheet. It's, like I said, it's only a template sheet. Yeah. It's slightly out there. It's also got a twist on his tail there. Oh. So if you've got the twisting tool, that's an added feature. So I'm going to put a little twist in his tail there. Now, you can get the twisting tool in the complete kit, but you can also add it to your other kits as well because you can buy it on its own. And it's three payments of 
50 pounds, 606812. You can see how easy that was to use. And the beauty of all of these um, items is that you decide how high they go on your bench. So if you do find yourself having to sit down to use any of these, um, then that's a possibility for you. So I'm going to cut his legs now. Uh, God, it sounds awful, that. I'm going to cut does, his legs. Yeah, you don't want to cut his legs off. There's no animals in the hand in the making, trust no, me, believe no. me. <laughs> so I'm going to mark his legs now. So same again, back onto the, the reverse side of the sheet. It's already set for me. So I'm just going to mark my components up. And then back onto the three and one tool. Now it's okay. already set this, yep. the bend is already set. It's the same bend as the previous two bends I've just done. Yep. So just back into the machine, and then I'm just going to cut that bend out, sorry, like so. And I guess the beauty of this as well, you can make to order. So you're not making 12 reindeers and only selling six. You'll be taking orders for perhaps 20, but making them one at a time. So you can see there, I've got the same bend on both pieces. Perfect. There you go, like so. So from a business point of view, you know, if you're making 50 of these yeah. or, so, or 100, yeah. you can have someone cutting them, yeah. someone bending them, you know, yeah. and then create the same consistent bends and rolls and cuts. Right, so the next piece is the squirrel of the body in the middle. So I'm going to set this to 300. Like so. Now on the squirrel, I know that this is set at, um, just have a look, 120 mil. So I'm just going to mark that on the side. Now into my small scrolling machine, I'm looking out for my little marker piece to see where it meets. So on here, it meets right at the end of this first segment. Got so me. I'm just going to repeat that again on the set. I don't need to put a magnetic marker on there. Yep. I'm just going to bin it round. And there we go. Perfect. So that's the middle piece. Now you can see it's already taken shape now. Yeah. I've only got his antlers now, so what, what would a reindeer be without his antlers? Probably so, a doe. Yeah. So I'm just going to set this now to 150mm. And I've got four of these pieces to cut. Because he's got two antlers on each antler. So. Oh. Back into the three and one tool. So now I'm gonna do all my rolling now. So I need four pieces curved now, consistently the same. How easy is it to get more metal to work with once they've bought the kits from us here at Hochanda? Um you can buy the metal from any steel stockist, but we do supply it ourselves. Okay. We've got a full range of steel on there as well. And like I say, it comes in three foot or six foot as Excellent. well. Excellent. And we have bulk packs on there as well, so you're saving money as well. Brilliant. So I'm just gonna do a slight curve. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna set using these little nuts here. I'm just going to bring this one right to the end, like so. So that's set now. So I can't go anymore. I'll see there. Yeah. I've put all my pressure on that end now. That's a really easy tool to use. Isn't and I'm just going to test that now on here. So I'm not far off there. I'm yep. very close. So I'm going to put just a little bit more. Oh, you just put a slight little bit more on the bolt. Now remember, all of the kits that we've got available for you on the show are available on FlexiBuy, so it makes it easy for you to divide the cost over three payments, and you will get it in the post um, after the first payment, so you don't have to wait. So as soon as you get these home, you can start making and creating, and if you're going for the larger bundle with the metal, you've got that there, so you can start creating. You've also got your rivets included in that and the DVD. Uh, so it's a good idea if you are thinking about getting the kit to have a look at the full kit and caboodle as we like to call it so you can start making and creating as soon as you get these home but as Paddy said it's very very easy to source more metal for you to carry on creating as well so maybe start taking your orders in now for your creations back to Paddy the complete itself um, it's been around since the 50s yes and Obviously, we're still going strong today, yeah. and the tools have been redeveloped since then, since the fifth, and they've not really changed. So, yeah. and we sell to over 50 countries now, well, worldwide, wow. and a lot of rural countries where yes. there's no 
electrical power. Yes, yeah, a good they point. They also benefit from us as well. That's a good point. If you've got a workshop, actually, that you don't have electricity going to, this is going to be the perfect craft in the daytime, not at night, uh, unless you've got lights in there uh, that aren't electricity uh, run. Um, if anybody needs any help and advice, we've got 45 seconds left. Um, Paddy, if anyone wants help and advice, is there somewhere they can go to after they've bought? Uh, yeah, we've got, um, we've got uh, our... You can email us. Yes. Uh, we've got a great customer service. Great. Uh, we'll you know, respond to your emails straight away and get back to you. Excellent. Uh, Paddy, we have run out of time, which is a shame, but we did almost get there with the reindeer, which is fabulous. Paddy, you've been an absolute star. Thank you so much. You're very um, welcome. And it's been an absolute pleasure to work with you. And thank you for letting me have a go. How easy was that? Hopefully we'll see you again very, very soon. Yep. Uh, thanks to Paddy, thanks to Metalcraft, and thanks to you guys for watching. We'll see you in a few moments after the break, but do check out your baskets. Right, we're starting a brand new one-day special here at Ho-Chandra. It's six o'clock. That means crafting with clarity one-day special. Jelly Bean Crafts happy hour after that, and then we're back to the one-day special at eight. <laughs> heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Hachanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with Hachanda more than twice a month then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Hachanda Freedom today. Hi, I'm Emma. And I'm Pam. And we're from Quilters Trading Post. We've been open since 2007, so we're coming up to 10 years now. We started our business um, in Cambridge, really, with a long arm quilting machine. We decided we wanted to make a proper business of it, so we bought a shop in this area. We soon grew out of that because we became successful and we bought a school, and now we're in the school. We have four parts to our business. We have the quilting service, we run workshops, we sell patchwork and quilting threads, fabrics and notions, and we do patterns and books. That's our newest thing, and our favourite being our crafters carry-on. We've really enjoyed being on Hachanda. It's um, made us famous, really. We've got lots of people who now come into the shop and tell us that they've seen us, and that they've enjoyed the demonstrations, and they've watched us over and over again. Make sure you don't miss our shows here on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly, and we're really excited to still be working with you guys here on Hachanda. We were there from the very, very beginning, and we're still bringing you lots of really exciting soft crafts. We design and manufacture all of our kits and all of our fabrics here in the UK, and we love bringing them to you. So if you're an experienced sewer or you're just starting out in soft crafts and sewing, join us, there's tips and fabrics for everybody. Make sure you don't miss our shows and come and craft yourself silly on Hajanda. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. 
Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dyes in there, designer papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. So on our Hope Chander shows, we aim to inspire you to be educational and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Be sure to join us for our Sentimentally Yours shows on Hope Chander. Uh, let me be the first to say a very good evening as we strike six o'clock, everybody, on this Sunday Eve. I hope you're all well and welcome to a brand new launch of another fantastic one-day special. And it's been hours, literally, since I spoke to this lovely lady who's going to take you through what you've got, which is a fantastic brand new, like I say, one-day special collection. Loads and loads and loads to offer you. It's lovely Barbara Gray via Skype. Ah, uh, evening, Barbara. Hello, Scott. <laughs> Haven't seen you for a while. I, I know, but we. What's lovely though is what we do see between us now is another lovely collection from Clarity Stamp and uh, lots a huge runway of a, of, a, of a presentation table to go through with loads of goodies for us. Um, so I know there's lots of behind the inspiration behind what we're going to see here and how they all work. And you're going to take us back a bit in time to how this all came together, Barbara. Is that right? Yes, yes, I am. Because, um, again, you know, we talked uh, in the two o'clock show about the Shack Shack, yeah. you know, the, the community, the group on Facebook Live that meets every other day now, Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 10 o'clock and how we, we doodle. Now, when we originally started this, of course, um, it was when lockdown occurred and, you know, everybody was quite rudderless and didn't really know what on earth was going on. And so I sort of shepherded everybody and said, come on, grab a piece of paper and a pencil and we'll just draw stuff together and doodle and hang out and yeah. and we'll figure anyway nine months later here we are <laughs> and so this evening on the counter we've got just uh, a whole a whole row like all the lovely shack shack stamps and groovy plates and i've saved the best to the last ods yes. of the of the year so so this particular, if we go down to the woods today, uh, collection um, is really, it really hit, it hit a, a nerve with a lot of us. We, we all really liked going down to the woods with this one. Oh. So, um, so I wanted to show you, there are, there are three sets actually, two of them are the woods. And then the third one, which is birds on a wire. I, I wanted to put this one in the collection as well, because it was actually the very, very first doodle that we did together oh. right back at the end of March. So, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. This one here, for example. So all these little birds, they speak volumes. And had they known, we were doing little speech bubbles back in April the 1st. Had we known that in December we'd still be um, in the shack shack, we'd never have believed it, you know. I know, I know. And certainly about that time was when you talk about the sort of the woodlands and being out there as well, because that's where a lot of people first started, when they were told we've got to get outside, we've got to exercise. And I think a lot of people found yeah. those sort of woodland areas because even areas on their own doorstep they didn't realize they'd actually seen before you know which uh, so it's it's great that that's sort of a great way of marking it off i've got the actual stamped out images and i've got some lovely samples to show here uh barbara if there's anything you want to comment as i show well i tell you scott i tell you what would be brilliant yeah. if you come to me now yeah and i can show you why these stamps are, if you if you have a look for example yeah exactly what scott is uh, showing the good people at home as well so these two sets here are the actual stamped images now if somebody doesn't hasn't been involved in the shack shack the shackers will know immediately when they see this where all the images have come from if you're not if you're new to the shack shack then i thought it would be a good idea to show you where these images actually come from and how mm. these stamps were born so for example if you were to look now 
again, it's just on a bit of tracing paper. That's the first thing we doodled was the, was the toadstools. Oh. And when you look now, you can see exactly here are the toadstools and, and here is the butterfly. Right. So, yeah. so we, we, we kept it to that. Now, what was interesting was as the, um, as we sort of developed, what we did then was we created a, a kind of a triptych. You see, again, on tracing paper, because that's what we do. And then we overlaid it and we made these three bowers. Now, oh. this will start to make sense because then when we, that was where we ended up in the shack shack. So we now have a look and you'll understand. Here's the honeysuckle. Yeah. Here are the toadstools. Here are all the, here's the butterfly. Here's the wishing well. Oh, here's see. the, you can see here, here's the blackberry. You see? Oh, With all the yes. little aspects. And then, of course, lovely Lucy, what she did was she gave us a badger and a hare and a, a fox. Um, there's ivy. There's the dragonfly. Here's the dragonfly oh, and the stamp the set. So, so you understand now why all these bits that they build these wonderful trellises, whether you've got that picture on its own or yeah. this picture, whether you turn it this way and create a frame like this. So, so this is really what the one day special is all about. Even the fern, cause we did this real curly fern. Yeah. We learned how to do that, and you can see it there too. So, so many lovely things. And then this particular set, this one, I want to show you this, because yeah. this is really the very first. This was when we first started. It's crazy how far oh. we've come in, in the Shack Shack. You see, look, we were doing birds on a wire. We did little swirls. That was all we could do. Oh, I know. And we were all in a bit of a, in a quandary, really. We didn't know what was happening. Look at the date. Yeah, all the Tuesday, the 31st of March. Oh, it was all kicking off. And that was, there it is, look. Yeah. And that's exactly where all these, wow. where all these stamps have come from, which I think is really cool. Really lovely. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. I've got some samples here if you want to have a look at those, Barbara. Um, but I know that the Smash team, in. Uh, these are the first couple I'm going to show you are by Julie Dunn, uh, that's worked with these. But you know, I talked about the dragonfly. How beautiful is that? Oh, isn't that gorgeous? That is absolutely gorgeous. That's by Julie. And also we've got them here as well. They're very magical. Like you can see here as well, the way they've been worked together. Really oh, magical. that's beautiful. Who did that that's one? That's Julie also. That's also Julie. Really lovely. Nice. Absolutely. And again, the nice thing is you get some really different images to work through. Uh, this one's done by Elaine. Uh, is it Elaine, Elaine uh, Milner, yeah. Hitcher, Hitcher, is it? Milner. Milner. Milner, that's it. Yes, sorry. I couldn't really quite read her name at the back there. Yeah, but I mean, absolutely... Beautiful. They've got the birds, the birds there as well that we can see. Just the two little love birds going together. Uh, but a very different feel about all of these. This is by oh, Sarah that's Brennan. Lovely. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Now that is gorgeous. And that's using one of our, that's the woodland, uh, the big mixed impressions texture plate. Looks like wood, doesn't it? It does. Look like a tree. It looks fantastic. Mm. Perfect for that setting, actually. And a very different feel again here that we've got. This is also from Elaine uh, Milner as well. But yeah, again, that's very, a good card. Very beautiful, nice. really gorgeous. So, I mean, this is a great one day special to go. Like you say, you're saving some of the best till last on these ones. The, and this one again uh, from Sarah Brennan, uh, just to finish off with here. Uh, that isn't that beautiful. Really, absolutely beautiful. So glorious. I'll just give the details for this because I know we've got a lot to get through. But as you've heard, then also 10% uh, of the stock has already gone. By the way, just showing that just those last few there we've seen. And as you heard there as well from Barb, we really have saved you some of the best uh, to the end for final one day special of the year. Two three zero four three zero forty four ninety seven. That does give you a brilliant saving of fifty. Fifteen pounds if you'd like to go for these and it is available on your flexi two payments of just 22 pounds and 49 pence 230430 grab those walls we have got stock okay let's what about so uh, we've got of all, all the lovely plates that will go with this for our groovy fans um these are mm. lovely and they're already proving very very popular actually you'll be surprised to hear that i'm sure but look at that saving eight pound saving 24.97 double six eight double eight nine it's one of those why not deals if you'd like to go for these uh just talk us through here barbara what we what we've uh, what we're looking at here in the whole collection with regards to the groovy 
Well, again, you see, for our parchment fans, these are absolutely perfect because you've got every single element that you've got in the stamps and you just pick and mix. You just take the bits that you want. You build your beautiful, especially for trad parches, you could build those bowers, you could build those swirls and twirls, and then, you know, they make the most fantastic frames. And you'll see with the artwork, I can already see it on the right, that lovely green art. Yeah, yeah. there we are, you see. That is so gorgeous. just glorious. Um, and this is actually also, uh, again, it's very much for the person starting out. These plates are very, very achievable art. Yeah. You see, nice. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? They are beautiful. And that's using the starter kit. Uh, the landscape plate from the starter kit in the background and then taking that tree, it's really lovely. They are stunning. I could, just watch, a I could look at these all night. There's a, <laughs> there's a couple of that are also, the first couple you're going to see this were also by, by Karen Jackson, uh, and she's done a beautiful job with these. I mean, they are absolutely... Oh, you know, that's, that's the seasons. She's taken the four seasons with the trees. Yeah. You see, and that's one of the clever things about the, um, the parching system, the groovy system. You see, you can, you can, you can take out the leaves, you can, you can, put the frame around, you can drop the leaves on the floor, and then you can have the naked tree for winter. So all four seasons done with one single tree stamp. Very clever. How gorgeous is that? That is absolutely beautiful. I just wanted to show that as well. Also by Karen oh, Jackson on this. The detail is Isn't lovely. Isn't that gorgeous? Is that Karen Jackson as well? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely oh, look beautiful. look at that artwork. Uh, Spectacular, isn't it? Double six eight double eight nine twenty two forty seven. That's including your P and P, uh, which is phenomenal. So, well, are we going to just do a quick rundown for you, just to try and take advantage of these. If you'd like to go for the three plates, twenty four ninety seven twenty two. Oh, sorry, hang on, details, wrong details. That one. We've, we're just we're just catching up. Uh, we are at five six zero oh, five seven three uh, seventeen ninety nine. There we go. And these are our fantastic rectangle backdrop stamps. I suppose these are great right across the board, aren't they? These ones, particularly uh, Barbara. Yeah, if I get a chance at the end of the show, I've got a very quickie this sort of demo just to show how they work. Um, but they're they're just beautiful for for back. That's what they are. They're backdrop stamps. They create the back the frame. Mm. We'll see. See how we get on for time. Hopefully we can fit that one in as well. Uh, moving down again, yep. we are talking about all the ones that have been coursed, of course, uh, through the team uh, throughout this year, basically, here. But we've got the, I love this, the yeah. hot air balloon, the gorgeous doodle stamp, and you're looking, and the mask set as well that's in here for 1999, But these can produce some absolutely beautiful images. Mm. Do love the idea of flight. These are by, that's Sarah. And that's uh, Elaine uh, that's brought you those. But these gorgeous. are gorgeous. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. And again, we do all these in the Shack Shack. And I remember it so well, as well, the Shackers. We had a real challenge with this one. <laughs> uh, but, but, oh, but it was the pattern in the balloon, you know, and, yeah. the, and getting that perspective. But the stamp just does the job for you so beautifully. It really mm. does. They, they are stunning. Because we're all locked in. Look at that. That's, it's Look nice, that. nice to see beautiful. that something good's come out of lockdown, and, and these have, really, <laughs> literally. Yeah. Um, but that, yes. I love that. They really have. Uh, Who did that one, please? This one is done by Carol. Carol P. Isn't that beautiful? Done Thank a beautiful you, job, Carol Pankstello. Loving yeah. that. Uh, that was 65370. Staying with the idea of flight, but our feather friends rather than the balloon. We've got the lovely birds table. All things grow with love. Uh, the stamp here. Mm -hmm. 191379, 1499. This is very, very beautiful, very calm and very peaceful in these, aren't they? And I remember when we doodled this, this was one of the earlier ones. And uh, and this was where we moved to birds from the side. And everyone was like, oh, I can't do birds from the side. It was such a, you know, and now when you see what we doodle now, it is quite astounding. Yeah. But yeah. this is a really, really pretty one, isn't Very it? Very beautiful. Even like yeah. that, just like nice and yeah. simple. Jane Telford's done this one for us uh, and shown that. Gorgeous. It was absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, in fact, beautiful. Uh, Deb, has it done this one? I'm just having to check my glasses on and off here. Uh, Deb Deb, Malin, yeah. Yes, yeah, Deb's done works on this one. Um, and absolutely beautiful. And one final one here, Maria, 
has brought us this again, those beautiful uh, pinks and purples that work together. Is that They are gorgeous. Again, lovely. all very different. Yeah, lovely, within a frame. In mm -hmm. a frame there, lovely. 191 379 uh, we're looking at there. Uh, so, let the sun shine in. Uh, Wow, wow, wow. This has got huge amounts on here. £5 saving, fourteen ninety nine. But there's so much in this particular stamp that you could use with all those different flower heads. Yes. This is a real packed set mm. because you've got so many different bouquets and floral wreaths and see all these little flowers. Again, when you're in, if you were in the Shack Shack, you'll know how we built it up. But this is self-explanatory, this one. Yeah. It's so nice to use. They really are gorgeous. I was just going to try and show a couple of these. Carol P has uh, done this one oh, again. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Isn't yes, that and pretty? They let the sun in. It sits exactly perfectly. I mean, we doodled it so that it would fit exactly into the banner. Yeah. But, you know, you can write anything in that banner, can't you? Yeah, absolutely. And last one here from uh, Julie Dunn. As also, I love that with the colours of the paper behind that. That's beautiful. All that work there. Fabulous. It's Absolutely stunning. Yeah, isn't that nice? Um, we've got lots more, but we've got plenty of time over the course of the one-day special to bring some of these. Well, but we're just going to get you. I've still got four more to bring to you, and I've got uh, apparently one minute. So uh, just to let you know, Barbara, three zero eight four two zero. 14.99, five pounds saving on here as well that we got from the shack, uh, the Geisha Doodle. Uh, this is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Yeah, this is a lovely, this is very Japanesey. We enjoyed that one. Um, yeah, glorious. That was the first time we added, we started with colour. That was when I remember we started bringing in pinks and colour and oh. very, very lovely framework with Gorgeous. the cherry blossom. Uh, this is by... It's lovely just to see all this artwork. It's like a oh, trip down memory lane. I bet thing. it is. I bet it is. And for everyone that's part of the shack as well, I bet they're enjoying this as well. That was by Julie. Exactly. Uh, this is Dee. Dee's done this one for us. Nice. Um, but, I mean, Lovely. I think the geisha really lends itself to colour, doesn't it? I mean, uh, they are beautiful yeah, that's it. that we can see. Look at yeah, these, these ones. Yeah, these are very lovely stamps. And and you'll find that the frame lends itself to so many things as well. Same as the, the one with the, the hot air balloon. The frames are so, so useful yeah. as stamps. Oh, yeah. Mm. You're going to use time and time again. 308420, yes. £5 saving on there also for you as well. Uh, we've also got the Dream Catcher. Now, I bet this is going to lend itself to lots of colour when we see these. I mean, these are very graceful, very calming as well with the old Dream Catchers. 20 stamps in total. Yeah, we enjoyed this one. Lots of elements. The arrow is particularly lovely for building a frame. Nice. Yeah, there we go. Look at these now. These are... These are stunning. This is uh, from uh, Elaine's done this. Uh, Linda has worked with this. Yeah. Again. Oh, that's a gorgeous piece, isn't it, there? Isn't that lovely on, on craft cards? Yeah. Looks like you could lift it off. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Carol's gone with this with yeah. the colour uh, that we can see that's worked beautifully from Carol. And uh, yeah, let's, show, let's show one more, very different feel on this one. This is also by, by D. Look at this. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that gorgeous? It is, it is. Uh, 065 749 1499. Again, another £5 saving for you there. Um, fly away with me. It's not a proposition for you, Barbara. You're quite safe. Um, but <laughs> but uh, uh, we've, we have got the, the beautiful one here with the kite. This is absolutely gorgeous. I'm loving this. Yeah, I love this too. And uh, this is very Tuscany, very Italy. And we, we had some fun designing the uh, the trellis work on the kite as well. Nice. I bet. I bet. Just a couple just to give you some ideas. This is one by Julie uh, that's working there, which again, really very... Cool. Oh, so many times I wish I was in a place yeah. like that this year. Uh, and D has yeah, wow. got lovely and bold in the colours. Never Isn't seen that ever. beautiful? It really is. I think the thing is, you know, in the Shack Shack, because it's safe, happy and creative, the whole idea was every su all summer we, we would come, we'd pack our suitcase and then we'd go on virtual trips. So we went to, to Lake Garda, for example, here. Oh, yeah. You can see this is absolutely, we, were, we went to the lake. And well, look at that. Isn't that just it's a magnificent lovely. piece of artwork, you know? So and then and then we went to Japan and then we went to New Mexico and we just travelled all around the world and we never left our houses. 
<laughs> and so this artwork is particularly dear to our hearts. Ah, uh, listen, it's a beautiful collection. You've mm. got so much in there, everybody, I can promise you. Do check out on the website, have a look, because we've got huge amounts, and there are savings for you right across the board as well. So do make sure you fill your basket. But just a word of warning again, don't forget, don't just leave them in there, because after about 10 minutes, they will get ejected out back in stock for everybody else, in case you're wondering where it's gone. So once it's in there, get it checked out ASAP. Speaking of ASAP, let's go to our lovely Barbara for our first of our demonstrations in our launch of our brand new one day special. Right, so I'm going to focus on these toadstools. And you know when you when you think of toadstools, you immediately think of those beautiful big red toadstools with the white speckles on. And that's exactly what we're looking at here. And you can see that they're just coloured in with watercolour, exactly as you would expect to, with a little bit of shading, um, with, uh, with a grey polychromo in, in here. There's a little bit of, you can go with a little bit of red to to add a little bit of depth. This is just stamped out. I just want to explain because I'm actually going to go to the opposite. I'm going to go negative on this. Oh, okay. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Yep. But you can see here exactly how it's just, it's drawn out, stamped out, coloured in, and it's on watercolour. So, so this watercolour paper is really, really good. It's this... Um, it's it's just lovely to use, and uh, oh look, this is what we've been doing this last week in the Shack Shack. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, really? I know. It's I brilliant. love them. I can't get enough of this. But I thought this time I would use these stamps to make one of those trellises, and I'd use the honeysuckle, and I'd just you know you were talking, we were talking at, um, earlier on about the. Um, masking oh yes and how one masks yes so i thought right so what we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of this watercolor paper and i'm going to we're going to work on watercolor and this time let me just pull this out gently i'm going to pull it out so i can stamp on it better right and then i thought we'd go through the motions again of how to how to layer this up and how to how to get the depths on here. When we go to this camera, yeah. you'll see, you'll see that it's what, what, what was first? Do you remember we said this, this yeah, afternoon? Yeah, foreground what first, comes wasn't it? First. Yes. Exactly. And so whatever's, whatever comes first has to be laid down first, then covered up, then the next thing, then covered up, then the next thing, then covered up and the next thing. So the very first thing is this lower branch. So I thought we'd start again watercolor paper. Yep. And I've 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 laid up I've mounted the large branch from the set and you can see this is this branch here. Right. Bottom, I've yeah. mounted it up on on a big mount and remember I said about putting a little stamp there to to give it that anti wobble device. Yeah, as long as we don't ink it up. That's right. <laughs> Don't ink it up, that's right. <laughs> and then the other thing is, you know, we're going to ink it up with a black archival ink pad and we're going to stay in the middle of the watercolour paper because this this afternoon we were just using, uh, what were we using this afternoon? Just a stencil card, I think, was it? I can't remember. Oh, Let's have a look. No, yeah, I we can't. were using stencil card. So now I'm just going to pop this down like so. You see, and I don't have to worry about wobbling because I'm using that stamp there. Yes. And also, remember that we're working with watercolour paper, which has a bit of um, texture. Bit, yeah. So that means, because it's cold press, it's got a bit of texture to it, which is lovely. But it also means that if you miss a little bit, this is where your um, micron pens come in. Don't, don't worry, just add it, because these are waterproof. So oh, it means yeah. when we go in with the watercolour paper, it won't make a blind bit of difference. Right. Now, we've got masks for this, but what we don't have is a mask for this. So the way to make a mask is to literally, I think it's worth knowing this, mm. if you haven't got the mask, you just stamp it at the sticky end of a post-it and then cut it out. What I tend to do is if I've got to do this, I mean, we provide you with masks for most things, but this was so fine, 
you, you, you stamp it on here. I always do two layers, and then that way I've got two lots. Uh, you see? That's a good idea. And then I can take this off here, and then I can just pop this on here like so. And that now protects, because it's sticky, because yeah. I stamped it at the sticky end. Of course. You'll only stamp it up the not sticky end once. Yeah. And then you'll realise that it doesn't stick, right? Now, this is interesting. So this is this tall here. This is this tall um, honeysuckle. So let's go to here, and you'll see that it comes straight. But, of course, you can bend it. So that's another lovely thing. You can oh. make it. You can about you can change it a bit. You see? Ah, uh, that's nice. Yes. So you, it, it's a self cling, isn't it? It's, it clings. So that's going to go there like so. But if you look at the artwork, you'll see that the toadstool is in front. So mm. that means that I've got to stamp the toadstool first. Toadstool first. Mm. Got it? Yep. So this is just, this is a pure exercise in, in layering up. I think the reason that I thought this would be a good idea is because there are so many elements to this. The whole collection. There are so many elements yeah. to this particular stamp set. I think it's a good idea to see how it all builds into a, composition you see yes so now the bottom of that toadstool is masked and now i can go into this masking i see i can take the mask off here and i can pop that straight on there like so so that covers this one up right there's that one now the next toadstool so we're going to pop this one here however i want to put the little one in in here now if i wanted to i could put the hair in there you know the the little rabbit. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I'm going to stick to the plan and just stay with this little fella. <laughs> so this one here is going to sit underneath there. Right, let's have a look. Now, I want to make sure that I don't go to... I'm just going to cover that up. There we go. Because I want him to sit shy of that that stamp if you see what i mean uh, i don't yeah. want him to be behind yeah, see, there yeah. so i lift that off and then i've brought the mask down so he's buried you see well and truly yeah see i, I just love composition scott yes. yeah no i just think it but, uh, these these so stamps really lend one. themselves to that don't they that you can build some really lovely pictures with again perspective in there as well with all that perfectly so perfectly so so now i'm going to take the the next toadstool and this one again goes to the front so i'm gonna but it's gonna sit behind this one a little bit so we'll just pop that in there like so and then we'll stamp that one into place right there you go so all the toes so it doesn't take long really no, does it to no. build up a picture like this you know well, so there's a little bit of ink on there and like i say these are reusable which is a real delight Okay, so that's that. Now comes the bower. So this is going to sit like that. That's right. where I want it. Okay? Right. So, black ink pad. Yeah, and I think the thing about the Shack Shack and the whole, all the doodling and the stamps, to me, the woodland one, I mean, for any occasion, for any, this is just such a beautiful set. And, and then we're just going to pop that down like so, and then we'll press well. And like I said, if you miss a little bit, this is the honeysuckle, which is gorgeous. Yes, it's beautiful. If you miss a little bit, then you just take your micron pen and in you go. Yeah? Yeah. They're great, those, actually, right. those pens. Perfect. So now I've got that one. Now, on the show as well, we sold out at 2 o'clock, but we brought someone on delayed. We've got our uh, large verses. You know those half price? Yeah, the beautiful, they're big, great. They sold the out, didn't they, stand. earlier? Yeah, I think I, I had a word with Paul, and I think we've brought some in on delay. 
Yes. I hope so, anyway, because I'm are, using it. <laughs> they, are, <laughs> they are back. We're going to put the details up on the screen for you, uh, just to let you, because they were really, really popular. They are basically a half-price offer on those, and that's going to give you sets one and sets two. So you're getting 12 stamps in total. Item 186901, that £20 saving. Get, go, honestly, they are absolutely beautiful. And uh, if you are... Really upset that you missed out in that last show between Barbara and myself. Grab them now. I'll be honest with you. I think even that extended stock that we've got for you, I don't think it's going to last the hour. So if you want them, go for them right now. I think that's fair advice, isn't it, Barbara? I'd say so. I'd say that's pretty sound advice. <laughs> <laughs> they are beautiful. They're gorgeous. So, so we're looking at, I've just stamped that into place. So I, what I'm doing is I'm working my way around so I can make sure that it fits in. And now what I'm going to do is look at the set again. And I'm, this one here is the one that interests me. This one and this one, these mm. two. Mm. So rather than join them up at the top, which is how it was drawn to start with, I'm going to use this down here now. So the idea is that we take this one and we... We use the mask of the toadstool as a, as a kind of a launch pad for this. So again, I'm just going to ink up this stamp with the black archival. Right, just bear with me a moment. Okay. And then I'm going to just, I can see exactly where I want it to sit so that it kind of nests into the words. And there's a little bit of symmetry going on here, you see? Oh, that's it's coming lovely, around that. like that. And then, and now, because it's not long enough here, I can take this one, this one here, and I can bring this one down so that it it came in like so. Ah. Do, you, do you see how you yeah, build your picture? Yeah, lovely. It's really nice to do. They're lovely shapes, right, though. Right, so this one here. Sorry, love. No, so just saying, they're lovely shapes, that one. They've just got that lovely sort of, like, I know you can move them around and, and, and bend them around, but they've got a lovely flow about them. They do, yeah. They're nice to draw. They were nice to draw. And now, you see, because this one hasn't got a foot, all I'm going to do is take my micron pen and just give myself a foot. There you go. So that's that. That was easy. Nice and easy. So I've done that. Now, the other thing is, in the set, what you've also got is really lovely. Uh, let's have a look. Um, let me just check. Uh, yeah, the little honeysuckle. See the little blocks, oh, yes. these little pictures here. Mm. So now this is what you can use to build out. So what we can do now is get more balance. So this one looks a bit empty. So if I wanted to, you see, I could add a bit of a, see, I think that would look good. So I take one of the, the honeysuckles now and I can, I can add it. I can add a little bit of a, that way. Do you see what I mean? Oh. Bringing it out that way a little bit. Yes. And in the same way, I could take a smaller one here. Let's take this one. And I could, let's say I want to, I could add it to the top or I could add it down here like that. And then again, you see, if I need a stalk, all I need to do is always, I've always got my micron pens at the ready. And then I can just add it wherever I fancy. So if I wanted to, I'm not, I won't say I would now, but if I wanted to add one right up here, then I can just add the stalk with the pen. It's that right. simple. I, I tell you, there's, there's, it's, they are beautiful. Just let people know about those, those pens, by the way, the Micron uh, pens. You get sets of seven. The details at the bottom of the screen, 734-931. You got all the way from 0.2 all the way up to 0.5, actually. 12.99 for those, and you get all those pens, those sets of seven. Beautiful. Now... Enter the another set of masks. These are quite magnificent. These are the Woodland Collection. And the reason that I'm bringing these out of the cupboard all of a sudden is because I'm after these moons. Ah. I chomp through these moons. <laughs> and I need one of these in the background here. So, but let me just show you what's actually, what's going on here with this set. Let me just pop that in there. Can, I can put it anywhere just to get a bit of balance going again. But I want to show you, because these are quite spectacular and um, when we look at these and I digress but I I hope that you don't mind my digressing I want to show you a couple of pieces of artwork that I've done here we go oh wow just using... now you know we're talking about the backdrop stamp yes that's using the backdrop stamp just spritzed 
This is using this mask. That's okay. beautiful. Really, really amazing. Um, and then, again, in this set of masks, let me show you another example with the backdrop stamp. Uh, there we go. With the children. Look. Oh, that's joyful. That is gorgeous. Really nice. Yeah, very nice indeed. So I just wanted to explain, in this set of masks, you've got the deer, you've got the moons, you've got the children, you've got two lots of children. So you, if you if you look at them, they're, they're different. Yeah. You see? Yes, they are, yes. So you've got the deer, hair yeah. deer, but they're, they're really lovely. There's the, there's one set of the children, oh. and I've got the other set here as well. I might as well get them all out. No, the they are. They're, they're, they're joyful to look at. Look. Ah, beautiful. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Well, this is just done on some uh, Amazonia paper. But the, the point I'm making is, and then you've got lots of little m moons, which are brilliant. And then you've got the forest as well. So, so going down to the woods, I just thought the deer, the moons, the children, the meadow dance, the big moons. I thought this would be a perfect compliment. If you haven't got them, they're well worth investing yeah, in. Definitely. I think pound for pound, hour for hour, these are superb. I'd say they're only seventeen ninety nine. You do get all six masks in total there that from the A five size uh, six five seven zero three nine. Uh, but a really good deal. I'm sure you have a lot of use for those 17.99 only there we are now let's have a look again we, we we touched on this this afternoon do you remember we were looking at the mat yeah and we were looking at the water brushes now if i'm not mistaken the water brushes they actually come with these two things don't they they come with a little petite the journal, petite journal the in there. and the and the larger pad and you, I think you get six of these brushes also, don't you? You do. You get all of that. You get the pads, you get the petite journal then as well, Barbara's talking about. You're going to get six of the water brushes, uh, pens, and you're also going to be getting the Pergamano mix mats as well. So that, uh, both of those, which we were using, oh, yeah. I think you were using the mix mats the, um, in the three o'clock hour, I think it was, wasn't it? Do the background. Yeah, we were using it to colour in. Do you remember yes, with the pencils? That's it. You, you used the B, pe the A pencils, the watercolour. So I was going to show you a variation on that theme because that's how we're going to get this lovely watery wash. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Now, one of the things that I wanted to explain was in the little journal, these pages are actually they come out. And the way to, they're, they're, it's perforated along here. So, for example, if I, I found that ruler, by the way, that I was looking for. <laughs> well um, if you, yeah, I know. You just need to just tease the, um, with a ruler, just use a ruler to tease the perforation so that it doesn't buckle. Right. You'll see. Right, and you just tease it, and then it will, it will pop out oh. really, really easily. Very easily. Yeah. Yeah, very easily. Um, so this is a smashing little little notelet book, and um, and it, what I like about it is it's got a little, it's like a proper little diary look with a little mm. little stick thing. So that's quite nice. That's lovely. I'm filling mine up slowly. <laughs> So this is the reason that I've done this is because I want to have a taste a tester and it makes sense to use a tester of the same material as the material that you're working on. So if I'm using this watercolor paper, this is the same stuff. I want to test my color before I go to my masterpiece, if you like, my yeah. original. Yeah, got you. Yeah. Yes, so that's why I wanted to pull one of these out as a little sampler, and I will use that now as my, my watercolour paper sampler. So now the thing about the mix mat is it's got the tread, it's got like a bit of purchase. So that means, now you'll remember, this is what we did in the, um, earlier on, we added, because I want to get that lovely, that grey colour, don't yeah, I? Yeah, that's it. And you'll remember, that we deposited a little bit of black and a little bit of blue from a pencil onto our mat. These are these are from the Perga liners. They're the they're the water ones. These A for aqua. Mm. You see, so there are twenty water and sixteen of the blending pencils. Now let's just indulge these for a moment. The blending pencils. They are. Let me show you. They are more waxy, oily. So this kind of artwork is what you would 
create it's quite vibrant it see is. this one here yeah. is what we're going to do this one together at um this is linda spencer's artwork but i just loved it i thought the colors were perfect really so pop. tomorrow morning at eight o'clock i thought we would you yeah it's gorgeous isn't it yeah they're beautiful colors. so this for example is using the b pencils um this also is using the blending pencils this is sheila metzelar's work she's done a fantastic oh, that's gorgeous in that 3d kind of feel that's gorgeous beautiful yeah and she's used the the birds on a wire stamps as a frame isn't it lovely isn't it i tell you what that and one you you've got in your hand there barbara <laughs> that one there i love the colors of those leaves um that you had the, the one before that. I mean, I love the toadstools there. It sells a bunch of, but those leaves there, they've got that lovely, just turning into autumnal colours. They're gorgeous. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. And now these are using the B pencils, the blending pencils, and you can you can blend straight onto the paper, and then we use our blending tools to just tone the colours in. That's how you get. We're going to do this at eight o'clock tomorrow morning. This one. Do you want um, me to do a very quick now, a quick update on the one day special just for a second, or are you? Just, yes, please. Yeah, yeah, good idea. I'll literally just, I'll just spend yeah. one, one minute just to, uh, we'll do that. We'll come straight back to Barbara. Uh, just want to let you know, and we'll just give you a quick update as well on regarding the plates that we've got for you as well for Groovy. So this is, well, you heard it from Barbara, saving some of the, well, the best until the end of the year, really, the last of the one day special for you. These are phenomenal. Uh, the best place to get hold of all of these, 50. 51 stamps and now you're recognizing all those elements uh, that you've seen now Barbara putting together and a great way of working with is with the um, the masks as well don't forget we're talking about so you really can layer up all those elements whether it be the dragonfly the butterfly the birds whether it's going to be the actual um, mushrooms as well that are working through in there the birds coming through so much and there's so many options when you're working with all of these it's got a brilliant 15 pound saving on here two three zero four three zero means down to only 44.97 as well so it's and i will tell you uh it's uh where, where are we with the one day special how much we're just checking the, the quantity on that one for you 230430 um and uh, but again i will tell you it is busy 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 across the board actually we've got for you i do know that the plates over a third of the stock of the plates has already been allocated now and we've not even really touched on the size of the plates yet but you know what you love and these are gorgeous double six eight double eight nine what you're seeing in the stamps you're getting a chance in the groovy right now that's got an eight pound saving and that's a phenomenal price for just 24 97 so if you're loving your groovy then please take advantage 10 pound 50 also if you're a freedom member off so it's down to 22.47 including your postage and packaging so really really fabulous fabulous prices and plenty more on the website as well for you to be looking at as well huge amounts are there uh, we've got around about uh, ooh, what we got some 14 minutes or so left back over to Barbara thank you for that Barbara Oh, you're welcome. Thank you very much. What I'm doing now is I'm just adding a little, what I would call a wash, where we just add a little bit of water uh, as an undercoat to the to the um to the watercolor paper and what you'll find is when you do this it's just a clean brush that i'm using one of the water brushes and what it will do is it will help the the ink or the pigment from the pencils um, blend much more easily. So I'll show you, I just wanted to show you a little trick. Yeah. Now I've got a blue brush and I've got a clear brush. The clear brush is the one I'm using here. And I showed you how we, you take a little bit of water, for example, from the brushes. Let me just squeeze. And then you can blend your colors so you can get a lovely, wash mm. for your that's quite dark isn't it i mm. need a little bit more blue on that one <laughs> but i wanted to show you something else it's a variation on a similar theme let's just take a little bit more blue so it's not quite so dark so you can you can build your color up and you can change it just by bringing in a little bit more gray like this you can decide at which point you want it to be lighter or darker or cloudy or what time of year it is now one of the things that i wanted to also introduce at this point was ink pads because if you don't have pencils ink pads these are dye based they will work in the same way let me take for example let me take midnight blue 
Okay. And let me take, these are great, these little ink pads. Um, that you get different sets of them, and they, they always, um, they're named after the top left-hand corner. So, for example, if I take golden turmeric now, and I add it, I'm going to get a lovely green. If I take black shadow at the bottom, this is, golden turmeric is the name of the one that I've, I'm finding the black shadow in, but we call it golden turmeric. We always take the top left-hand corner. So that sets golden turmeric. Oh, this set is old parchment. These are like brilliant little, little taster ink pads, right? Oh. And so what I'm explaining is that you don't only you don't only have to use pencils on a mix mat, you can also use your ink pads. So if you've got your ink pads, but you, you think, oh, I'd rather buy the stamps than the, than the, than the pencils. Yeah. See, now I can, I can add a bit of water again from the clear one. I can clean this off so you don't think, well, she's just transferring the water from the... So I can clean the water, the brush off there. And then I can come in here. And I can do, it's exactly the same, look. Ah, uh, yes. So I can use this colour exactly the same as I, it's just, decide. I can mix them up as well. It's water-based. Of course. So it'll work brilliantly. Yeah, it just, it's entirely, it, it depends entirely which colourway you want to go with. So I just wanted to explain. Thank you. So we've yeah. got our water here, for example. And then I can just bring it in. Once I've, I've added a glaze, let me just show you if I've got a glaze down the bottom there. As soon as I, let me just test it on here. See, no glaze, stains immediately. Now, if I put a bit of water down first and then go in with the colour, watch how it changes. Uh, Do you see what I'm talking spreads. about? Yeah, beautifully. That's the difference. That's the difference. So, so basically, you're working with two brushes. You're working with one with clear. You put your glaze down, especially on watercolour. Right. Um, then I've got my, yeah, and that's it, really. And then you just pick up your watery colour. You can add, see, and then in you go. And what we're doing is we're adding, I've already put a little glaze down on this while you were doing an update. You see, and I can come in and I can just move this colour through here and I'm going to let it bleed out a little bit because I've got some water on. So let it just bleed out to the edges and I'm using my masks as well. See, and then I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to add like a, a wash through here. And what I'm doing is I'm just sticking with my... Rather than colouring in the toadstools, which is the natural thing to want to do, yeah. I'm going with the the out the negative. See, and when you get to the mask, this is where the mask comes in, really useful, because you use the you just sweep off the mask, ah. you just sweep away from the moon. Oh, I love it. See? I know I'm working upside down, it's just easier all round. And it, it's it's quite dark at the moment because it will dry a lot lighter than yeah. this. Yeah. But you'll see as you do this, you can go through here and then all these little bits here, you just go in and just you just go around and you'll find if you've gone in with the with the watercolour first. If you've gone in and put a little glaze down first, it will make your your art glide. It makes the colour glide. Yeah. And whether you're using whether you're using the um, the pencil ink or I mean I've stuck to this one just to show you a different option. Yes. Um, but whether you're using the pencil ink or the um, or the ink pad ink, um, you get a really lovely. See, and then all you want to do then, you've still got some water on here and you just glide it through. And when you take your, I know we're always running against the time here, but when you take your masks off, what you'll see is, this is where you can... You just bring it into the left slightly for us off. there, Barbara, just so we can see what you're Sorry, you sorry. Oh, there. there we go. Thank you. See, so when you take your mask off, you can see how it... Ah, there's that. It spice. comes to life. There we are. And you just peel your, your your mask off and everything Wow. 
what you've done is you've kept everything inside like this That's beautiful, inside that. and then once it's dry then you can go in with your pencils and you can add your depth and your dimension all i'm doing now is going in and adding a little bit of shadow here and there so you can't really do this while it's still wet this no. needs to dry yeah. and when it dries it will dry much much lighter like this that is a gorgeous gorgeous I think this is a really nice it's a classy Classy piece of artwork. Yeah, it really is. That's, that's, thank you for that, brother. That is absolutely a beautiful demonstration. That's gorgeous, as, as ever. Uh, we've got just around about sort of six or so minutes left. Is there anything you wanted to look at for the last sort of five minutes, Barbara, just to uh, give us another little... Uh... I wouldn't mind. Yeah, yeah. please. I would, actually, I think if it's all right with you, what I'd like to do, because I've just got a couple of minutes, yeah. I think I would like to <laughs> show you... Um, the third set. Let's have a look at this set here. Okay. Because I did what I called a mood board. You know, young people really like this kind of thing where you... I've taken all the stamps uh, from that third set and I've turned them into little, little meaningful messages. If we look at the third, you can see here... So I've stamped out and then I've just taken different stickers from our feel good set and you can see look harmony. Yeah. Let's get together. So these little birds, these were the very first set that we did. You can see they really, really sort of speak volumes. Yeah. And this one here, oh. I miss you so much. Oh. Yeah. With the birds coming yeah. So, so you put a little bird in the tree and then you put the ones in flight. They all are in the set. Oh. Or this one, you lift my spirits. Ah, oh, it's gorgeous. So, and when you do this, Scott, you yeah. see, so you, you build this kind of mood board and you could frame it just like that. Or once you've done this, then what I did was I started, I started making, I just cut it all up. I did this and then I cut it up. So now what I've got is loads of little pieces to make cards with. Do you see? Yes. Now whether I mount oh, wow. that on whether I mount it on on a craft card or on white card or or on on black card. You see? Yeah. So you, you can then you mix and match and um you can this is a nice one. I thought about you today. That's oh, a lovely one. That's beautiful. See? And then you just you just mount them on cards and you can make the most simple, just beautiful little mm. notelets or sets of notelets as, as Christmas presents. They they work so well. That's a lovely idea. Now, um, have I got enough time just to do one? I've got four minutes. Four minutes? Yeah. Okay, well, let me show you, if I, if I may, let me show you. This was one of the the ones that I wanted to wow. explain. Wow. This one here is really nice. So, for example, again, it's all about the mask. Let's just concentrate on this tree for a moment. Okay. If we look up close. There we go. Right? So, what I've done here is I've taken one of those little sets and I've... I've added it to an Amazonia. Let's take an Amazonia piece of paper. You see? Oh, hang on. Here. I'm taking the Amazonia paper. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp this tree into this area here. Exactly. You can see what I've done. Yeah. So I'm just going to stamp the tree into this area. But what you'll see is that actually the... Um, You'll see what I mean. If I pop this in here like so, I'll just stamp this into place. And what I've taken a pink from the ink pads right like here. You see this pink? It's not oh, yeah. here. Yeah. But when you if you take the mask now and you you cover up where's the mask on? Just bear with me one second. Just... Oh what I'm sure I've got it here. Here it is. If I take the mask and I cover this up like so, then what I can do is I can take a little makeup sponge and I can take, let's say, the pink from one of these um, 
ink sets, oh, Fancy yeah. Fuchsia, because it's in here, you see. And then what I'm going to do is, and this is the interesting thing, if I just, if I smear a little bit of this ink, see, it, it looks as if it's part of the it paper does. now. It does. Right? So I'll add a little bit on that side, and I'm using the middle of the mask as a kind of a springboard. So I'll do this. And then when I lift this away, you'll see it oh, makes wow. the tree pop. That's brilliant. Do you, do you see what I'm getting? Yes. At? And then, but it looks like it's part of the of the art now. This here, it, does. it wasn't there. We just added it, but it looks like it's part of the picture. And then all I, all you do then is just um, add your your beautiful verse to the centre. And and then I've used from the same set. I've used that little trellis. There are so many lovely trailers and pieces. You see, to to add, and the tree itself. When you when you look at the tree, what I've done is um, Scott. I've doodled that basin to match this oh, I stamp. Got you. I got Do you. You see what I mean? I got you. Well, it does look beautiful. That so, I tell you what, those it. pens are worth their weight in gold. They are. They really can help, like you say, fill in the gaps and finish them off. Um, Barbara, we've come to the end That's of it. this hour. OK. 